This is a heart that can resonate with the gods. Whoever possesses it can change to an S-class hidden profession. However, as the owner, I failed to change professions and became a useless person mocked by everyone. It's because a car accident left my heart damaged, and in order to survive, I had to use machinery to modify it. This caused it to be unable to withstand the power of the gods during the profession change and it broke on the spot. At the critical moment when my life was hanging by a thread, the scenes of my parents lying in the hospital bed, my sister living in a wheelchair, and the mockery of my classmates flooded my heart with sadness. With a roar, the mechanical heart in my body forcibly started again, even barely resisting the pressure of the god's power during the profession change. But the sudden appearance of my dear brother caused my belief in a successful profession change to collapse. I spat out a mouthful of blood and fell onto the profession change platform. Chapter 281, Never Take a Needle or Thread from Others Looking at the palace that was already shaking, Wang Chen gave up his idea of turning on super god overload. He couldn't imagine how powerful he was now. At the very least, no one under level 100 would be a match for him after he turned on the super god overload. Wang Chuan slightly raised his head very satisfied with his current strength, with his current strength, I'm afraid that not many people would be able to pose a threat to him anymore, Wang Dust had a satisfied face and was in a good mood, he turned around and left, waving his hand once without taking away a single cloud, right after Wang Dust left, the original golden palace was as if it had been robbed by bandits, not even the wall skin was left, it was directly robbed by Wang Dust, after all, even the wall skin is gold, it can be worth a lot of money, the things within the treasure trove of the king of the blood devils Wang Dust also did not take less, but also shallowly all taken away. Wang Dust at the very least left a needle over there. After all, he Wang Dust is a great person. Absolutely do not take away a needle and thread of others. As soon as Wang Chen stepped out, the huge palace collapsed. Under Wang Chuan's attack, the palace was already shaky, plus the digger's excavation. It was already a miracle to be able to stand there for a while, and these were only minor incidents. The divine light of the divine shield of apocalypse in Wang Chen's right hand was released. There was a blur before his eyes. And in an instant, he had arrived at in Xiao Zhao's side. Spatial transfer. Wang Chuan had long since utilized the skill to perfection, and was able to reach every place with precision. Wang Duan, seeing Wang Chen, and Xiao Xiao was surprised. Although she trusted Wang Chuan immensely, what kind of existence was Wang Chuan facing? A full 95 levels of terrifying foreigners. Such a powerful existence. Not to mention Wang Chuan, even the governor of their Tianning province arriving in person would only be sending food to the table. And it was such a terrifying existence that was actually solved by Wang Chuan. What kind of history was this? Unknowingly the gap between his and Wang Chen's strength was so great, although there were some small regrets in her heart, and Xiao Xiao was still happy for Wang Chen from the bottom of her heart. Wang Chen being able to become so strong was naturally something he was happy to see. What's more? Wang Chen was actually able to leave from that terrifying 95 level alien blood demon king. Such strength, such power, was truly surprising. Wang Chuan nodded in response, and the crowd was jolted when they saw the expression on his face. This fellow had such a glib expression on his face. Could it be? Wang Chuan, you wouldn't have killed the king of blood demons, Li Ening said with a shocked face. She finally spoke the doubts in her heart. He didn't want Wang Chuan to die, but under that kind of environment, not to mention Wang Chuan, even if the heavenly king came, he would definitely be planted there. But Wang Chuan actually managed to appear in front of them intact. This almost impossible thing actually appeared in front of them intact. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. 95 levels of existence. For them, freshmen, it was an unattainable existence. No, even for their family, the 95 level of terror is an insurmountable mountain. And now, it is precisely this kind of existence. Actually by the beginning and the gap between him is not too big people to kill? I'm afraid that no one would believe it even if they said it. Li Ening just wanted to say something, but when he saw Wang Chen's rank, the words that were just on his lips suddenly could not be said. It was as if his throat had been strangled by some being. 62 levels. What kind of existence was this? Let's not count Wang Dust as having killed the Blood Demon King, but the crux of the matter was that this guy had risen to 62 levels ah. Even for a top genius like Li Ening, Wanting to rise to level 60 before his senior year was almost impossible. Unless there was some great chance. Other than that, it was absolutely impossible. Li Yining couldn't even think of a way to understand how exactly Wang Chen had risen to level 62 unless he killed the king of blood demons. Such a terrifying battle power was enough to make people smack their lips. Aha. Wang Chuan nodded lightly. But Li Yining was not calm anymore. How could she not expect that the gap between her and Wang Chen was actually so great? After spending so much time together. She understood Wang Chuan's character, if it wasn't something he had already determined, 
Wang Chuan would never attribute it to himself. In other words, Wang Chuan was truly capable of killing a 95 level or demonic creature. And, Wang Chuan had killed it when he was at level 56. This was simply unheard of. This was no longer called fighting at a higher level. It's like a newborn baby doll using its undeveloped mouth to tear into a peak Tyson. The conditions for breaking the defense were simply not met. And even so, Wang Chuan still did it. What Li Ening had never even dared to dream of, Wang Chen had actually done. Li Ening instantly felt that her heart was shattered, and that the higher career planning, higher elemental reaction, and top career skill matching courses she had learned before were all for nothing. Wang Chuan this guy, in the end what kind of freak ah? Chapter 282 Red Dragon Guards Descend Wang Chen's terrifying background. Everyone's eyes burned as they looked toward Wang Dust. Although they could not lift their heads from the powerful pressure, they still saw a single figure blocking their way, and that was Wang Chen. Regardless of whether Wang Chuan had the strength to defeat the King of Blood Demons, they knew that it was Wang Chuan who had saved them. Holy shit. It's worthy of being ascending dragon scholar Wang Dust. His strength is actually so powerful. My old Zhu admires it. From today onwards, my old Zhu kneels to heaven and earth to his parents, and the head of his bed and set a statue of Brother Dust to kneel every day. Me too. Boy. Brother Dust is really strong ah. So handsome and dashing when he raises his hands and throws his feet. Worthy of being our Huaxia's dragon rising scholar. Really giving us Huaxia people a long face. Wang Dust is awesome. Indeed ah. Who is bullish if not Wang Chuan? With such strength as Wang Chuan. Give me me to be bullish too. For a while. The crowd was talking. And there was a rare absence of discordant voices. After all. Wang Chen had truly saved them all at this moment. Of course. Those discordant ones had all been killed by Wang Chuan. After all, Wang Chen is not someone who likes to keep threats around. Since there is a threat to him, then directly kill. In the eyes of ordinary people, the Dragon Ascending Scholar still had gold. In their eyes, the Dragon Ascending Scholar was the absolute strongest in the country. Those members of the big families were also far inferior to the Ascending Dragon Manor. Unfortunately, they didn't realize that it wasn't the Ascending Dragon Scholar who was strong. The strong one was just Wang Duan. If the previous Dragon Rising Scholar was thrown in here, it would be nothing more than a delivery. And Xiao Xiao was also happy for Wang Chen from the bottom of her heart. Wang Chen didn't know when he had become so strong. And Xiao Xiao clenched her small pink fist. It seemed that she had to work hard too. After all, as someone beside Wang Chen, she had to keep up with Wang Chen's footsteps. It might not be as strong as Wang Chen, but it definitely couldn't be dragging Wang Chen down. And Xiao Xiao secretly swore inwardly. Unbeknownst to her, the closest moment in her life with Wang Chen had long since passed and the gap between them and the future would grow wider and wider until there was no possibility of catching up. Wang Chuan didn't say anything more. What he really cared about was only those few people. It didn't matter much if these people died or not. It didn't matter much if they lived. If he could save them, he would do so. And if he couldn't, he definitely wouldn't fight for his life. Right at this moment, in the sky, countless red dragons came over in a pressurized manner, and an incomparably terrifying aura instantly shrouded the heavens and earth. Red Dragon Red Dragon Guards, this is one of the most terrifying organizations in China. Ordinary people spend their whole life not even see the qualification of the Red Dragon Guard, but here actually a whole lot. This is how horrible. Who would have thought that this matter actually alarmed the Red Dragon Guard? The freshmen gathered all their eyes on the Red Dragon Guards. After all, such an existence, one might only see this once in a lifetime. It's actually the Red Dragon Guards. Why are they here? I don't know. But things have definitely gotten big this time. Could it be that the Red Dragon Guards saved us? This is definitely ah. Red Dragon Guards are who they are. Any one of them is a first class strong man. As one of the most mysterious organizations in China, to be able to see them once is already the smoke from our ancestors' graves. Everyone was shocked. Not expecting the Red Dragon Guards to actually come to their rescue. Just then, something even more shocking happened. The one at the head of the Red Dragon Guards was looking around. And the moment he saw Wang Chuan, even the normally forever expressionless Long Di couldn't help but be shocked and elated. The person that the boss had his eyes on was actually still alive. This is simply great. Long Di jumped straight down, looking at Wang Chuan with an expression as if he had seen his lost brother of 800 years. This blazing eyes gave Wang Chuan a hairy look. This guy wouldn't have any special fetish. Actually looking at him like this. What? Actually running towards Wang Chuan. I thought he was an ordinary genius, but I didn't expect there to be such a powerful background. The leader of the Red Dragon Guards knows him. Alas, geniuses and us mediocre geniuses are just different. People's backgrounds, then look at ours. Stop it. This background can't be replicated by anyone. Red Dragon Guard as a backer. Who can do it? Everyone was shocked. 
The most exalted existence in their eyes was actually shushing another person at this moment, and with the relationship between them, it even vaguely felt like Wang Chen was trying to overpower Long Day. What was going on? Was this still the red dragon guard in their eyes? At the same time, the other side of the chaotic land. Caitlin wasn't affected too much by the king of blood demons because of her ancient god inheritance. Nine was attracted here, which was able to completely ignore the various skills of the king of blood demons. In her eyes, these demons were always evil. It was normal for them to not be able to affect him. Caitlin looked towards the red dragon guards in the sky. Wine dust. This time you were able to escape under the shelter of the red dragon guards. So what about next time? After all, it's not your strength. Yes. Caitlin didn't think that Wang Dust would be able to solve the King of Blood Demons, such an existence, he wouldn't dare to touch the porcelain, not to mention the district Wang Dust, chapter 283 Bayon bowed, and the whole house boiled, Caitlin had a disdainful look on her face, this kind of child's trick was only believed by those naive guys, nor did they use their brains to think about how a guy who was at most 50 levels or so could face such a terrifying existence, even if it was Caitlin, who had the inheritance of the ancient god and S plus level talent, he would need to be at least level 90 to be sure of defeating the king of the blood demons, and there was even the possibility of overturning the car. As for wanting to completely crush the king of blood demons, then he could only say that this person was naive. As we all know, the outside world has a certain limitation for those who are stronger than 100 levels. Under this restriction, even Merlin, the great magical instructor of the pretty country, who was known as the number one person in the history of the world would never dare to say that he would be able to defeat the 95-leveled foreigner, the king of the blood demons, not to mention this fellow, Wang Chen. According to Caitlin's speculation, this time, it was mostly likely that Wang Dust had utilized a bunch of life-preserving means to fight to the death, and after reviving himself many times, he had barely managed to delay the arrival of the strongest person from Huaxia. As far as he knew, the new generation of Huaxia might be far inferior to them. However, there were many strong people from the older generation. If it wasn't for the fact that the new generation strongmen were green and yellow, they wouldn't be inferior to them. But what did all this have to do with her Caitlyn? The era where she Caitlyn existed was the grave of all geniuses. Being in the same era as her was simply the sorrow of these geniuses. After all, everything she did was the will of the gods. And she, Caitlyn, walked the world representing the gods. In other words, she, Caitlyn, was a growing god. From beginning to end, she was walking a completely invincible path and no one could stop her, not even Wang Dust, even if this guy is now looked up to by a tiny bit, it's just a tiny bit, compared to her, it's simply a firefly compared to the white moon, it's not even a grade, Wang Chen looked up to the sky, two powerful auras came one after the other, Ba Yon, Chen Tian Dao, Brush, the two were very fast, even a few points faster than the king of blood demons, the two arrived in front of Wang Chen in a hurry, they had just sensed a powerful and extraordinary aura on their way back, when they came back to take a look, it was really Wang Dust, seeing that Wang Dust was still alive, Ba Yon, an iron-blooded tough guy's eyes turned a little red, this was his first meeting with Wang Chuan, but the only time he truly felt that Wang Chuan was a strong man and could communicate with him as an equal was now, he had now brainstormed that Wang Chuan had already lured the king of blood demons away from him as if he were dying, and then utilized a bunch of life-preserving props while still being tortured by the king of blood demons in pain and it was hard to finally drag out that senior's rescue while he himself had been hammered beyond human shape. Then now, in order to maintain the tall image, he was only able to stand in place with forced composure. This as if nothing had happened, as if he was really intact. Oh, too touching. Under a burst of brainstorming, Bayan's evaluation of Wang Chen went a few points higher. Hiss, Wang Dust sucked in a mouthful of cold air. Why did it feel as if this fellow was brainstorming something extraordinary? Were all the eyes of this red dragon guard looking at people so fiery? Bai Yang all gave Wang Chuan an inward look that was so terrifying that it was hard to suspect that he didn't have any special hobbies, but now was obviously not the time to care about that, because Bai Yang made a move that shocked everyone in the next moment. I, red dragon guard commander, Bai Yang, Bai Yang shouted. All the freshmen of the Imperial Capital University's tiger body shook. Just now, they felt that this big brother was a big deal, but they didn't expect that he was actually so powerful. What kind of person is Bai Yong? Looking at the whole of China, he is considered to be one of the top handful of people. Today he actually appeared here. F asterisk CK. It's actually Lord Bai Yong of the Red Dragon Guard Commander. His, Wang Chuan's background is as terrifying as this. To actually be able to invite such a big shot, could it be that this kind of big shot is also Wang Chuan's background? Can someone comment on the strength of the Red Dragon Guard Commander and the President of Imperial Capital University? You kids said this better not be heard. 
The last Imperial Capital University also gave you an evaluation on Lord Bayong? The people present were all shocked. After all, such an existence, they might not be able to see its back in their lifetime. But today, they were able to see a living person. This was perhaps the closest they had come to Bayong in their lives. How could they not be shocked? And how could they not be excited? In the next second, something even more shocking to the crowd appeared. I, Bayong, on behalf of all the Red Dragon Guards, salute you. Bayong finished and bowed deeply. The entire crowd was a buzz. After all, they didn't know what kind of existence the King of Blood Demons was, nor did they know how high the gold content of what Wang Chen did was, but they knew about Bayong. Such a highly respected top tier powerhouse actually bowed to Wang Dust. Wang Dust was also shocked by this action, and he had not expected Bayong to be like this at all. This is what you deserve. After we return, I will prepare another generous gift for you, Bayong solemnly said. Chapter 284 Forgive me. Ping in, this is the last time. Wang Dust did not expect that Bayong's pattern actually opened so much, bowing to him in front of so many people. This was undoubtedly telling everyone that he, Wang Dust Matters, was covered by the Red Dragon Guards, and whoever wanted to move him weighed the odds. Although it was not of much use to Wang Dust, it could avoid a lot of trouble. Of course, this is Wang Dust does not know Bayong in the end what things in the brain, if you know not to be angry to death. If he knew, he would be infuriated. I don't know if this guy actually thought of him in that way, he was simply looking down on Wang Chuan's strength, a level 95 monster, how could it cause damage to him Wang Chuan, with Wang Chuan's current strength, not to mention a blood demon king, or 10 hundred I'm afraid it's nothing more than that, just a hand can be destroyed, although Bai Yong didn't know about this, and probably didn't even think that the king of blood devils was killed by Wang Chuan, but such an attitude made Wang Chuan very comfortable. Wang Dust had a hint of goodwill towards this red dragon guard leader that he had met for the first time, like that Lu Hongsheng, both of them were doing it for their own good, since they were doing it for their own good, there was nothing wrong with repaying him when his strength was completely unrivaled in the world, what interested Wang Chen more was, what kind of generous gift could Bai Yong prepare for himself, to know that Bai Yong is the commander of the red dragon guards, the status is very high, the whole of China then he is higher than the number of people I'm afraid that only a handful, can be called by him as a gift, I'm afraid that the gift will not be so simple. As for what this generous gift is, Wang Dust did not know. However, he wasn't the least bit worried that this generous gift wasn't to his liking. Since it was from Bayong, the preciousness of the gift was naturally guaranteed. We'll catch up on the rest later. You guys go back to the school with your teacher first, and leave the next matter to us. The Red Dragon Guards. The land of chaos is peaceful for too long. Our Huaxia has also been silent for too long. It's time to give the great world a little bit of a small shock. A monstrous killing intent erupted from Bai Yang's body as he looked dead into the depths of the land of chaos. It seemed that it was time for a wave of clearing strangulation. Otherwise, they would still vibrate stick thinking that the human race was easy to bully. Wang Dust nodded. Anyway, the valuable ones had taken themselves away. There was no point in staying any longer. The rest would be given to the red dragon guards. At this time, Chen Tian Dao saw a familiar figure, and he was suddenly bursting with joy. Because, he actually saw his soul jade shattered son, Chen Pingan. The reason why he gave his son such a name was so that he would be peaceful in his life. His strength could not be strong, but he only needed to be peaceful in his life. But don't be like him, he had to rebel against the heavenly Tao at birth. But his own strength was not good, his talent was not good, and his luck was not good, resulting in almost ending up alone. When he was born, his mother had a difficult labor. When he was a teenager, his father had a car accident. And when he awakened his profession and wanted to go home to his grandparents to report his good news, he learned that they had long since died in the mouths of monsters. In the blink of an eye, he, Chen Tian Dao, had actually become the homeless and downtrodden person he was described as. Since that day, that naive teenager had died, and he vowed that one day, he would kill all of the foreign monsters. Since the Chinese sword immortal appeared in the sight of others, he was invincible in the contemporary era. That year he was in the springtime, seeing the 300. 000 alien army as a piece of grass, which he alone could destroy with just one hand. But until the self-proclaimed ancient demon god appeared, abolished all of his meridians, although there is still strength, but now every time he moves his hands, are consuming the life essence to build meridians. His heart died, and he had planned to quietly marry his wife and have children. Who knew that because of the toxin in his body? His wife did not tell her, and a person secretly suffered the pain caused by the toxin until the birth of Chen Pingon finally died. He only had one son left to live in heaven and earth from then on. And he, if he lost Ping and Chen, he really didn't know why he existed here. Chen Tiandao secretly sighed in relief when he saw that Chen Pingan was still alive. 
Although he was extremely strict in his normal life, the moment he saw his son, even he couldn't help but have red eyes. This time, he had finally not lost anything. Father, why are you here? When the heavily injured Chen Pingan saw Chen Tian Dao, his heart was overjoyed, but when he thought of his usual seriousness, he lowered his head again. But even so, the pleasurable feeling of having survived the calamity caused him to raise his head. Chen Tian Dao did not speak. Quietly, he walked over to Ping Gan Chen's side. He, who had never hugged Ping and Chen before, reached out and hugged him for the first time. Father, there are so many people. Chen Ping Gan blushed, strangely shy. He was usually a high cold male god, to actually be hugged by his father in front of so many people. Since you were born, I haven't taken good care of you. Will you hate being a father? Of course not. Well then, for father to avenge you, I want to see if the world has truly forgotten me. Chen Tian Dao. From today onwards, the name Chen Tian Dao will once again resonate in heaven and earth. Chen Tian Dao said forcefully, he would rather die in battle than die of old age like a dead dog. Father, Chen Pingan seemed to realize something and looked up sharply. But who knew? Chen Tian Dao smiled at him. Forgive me, Pingan, this is the last time. Chen Tian Dao knocked out Chen Pingan with a hand strike. Chapter 285, Traitor to Humanity. Little friend, please bring him back. Chen Tian Dao smiled faintly. He then placed a jade pendant on Pingan Chen's body. H.M. Wang Chen nodded this old man in front of him. He looks very strong. I didn't realize that it was actually Pingan Chen's father. Hiss, that doesn't really look like it. However, since he had already made up his mind to look death in the face, he really shouldn't stop himself. Chen Tian Dao smiled gently at his words. An extraordinary genius had truly appeared in Huaxia. He saw in Wang Chen an even more invincible demeanor than his former self. He had a premonition that in time, this kid would definitely surpass him. It was really a fearful future generation. The waves of the Yangtze River push forward the waves of the past, and the waves of the past die on the beach. It's fine. Anyway, his days are long gone, so he might as well open up the path for the future generations. Senior Sword Immortal. You, Bayong also realized that the situation was not right. Could it be that this strong man who even if he needed to burn his life essence to explode his strength master was going to intervene in their purging operation? Followed. Chen Tian Dao and replied positively. In an instant, his body's majestic aura instantly erupted out. It was as if the entire heaven and earth was only left with his Chen Tian Dao's terrifying sword aura. The Chinese sword immortal. His name was true. It was hard to imagine how powerful Chen Tian Dao would have been if he hadn't suffered a sudden disaster. With such a talent, I'm afraid that it's not the slightest bit weaker than Caitlin, who had an S plus grade talent. So strong, Beiyang sucked in a mouthful of cold air. He didn't expect Chen Tian Dao to be this strong. It seemed that the previous him had underestimated Chen Tian Dao. With such a level of strength, no wonder Chen Tian Dao was able to have the title of Chinese Sword Immortal in the past. Since he couldn't stop it anymore, it would be a big battle. Beiyang also displayed his powerful stance. The two big men erupted their power on each other, causing all the students to be ruthlessly shocked that these two were actually so powerful. It was simply an honor for them to be able to see the heroic stance of such big men. With the entire team of Red Dragon Guards striking, several teachers were only able to slow down. What had they just seen? They had actually seen the top figure of the Red Dragon Guards, Bai Yang bowing towards Wang Chen. Not to mention the students, even the teachers they didn't dare to think about it. It was simply unimaginable. What kind of talent or background did Wang Chen have? To be able to have such vigor to be able to make Bai Yang bow, this matter was enough to make them lose their teeth. However, they didn't dare to ask anything. They hurriedly summoned their own mounts and prepared to take the students back. This was an order from the Red Dragon Guards. Not to mention Bai Yang, even if the Red Dragon Guards pulled out the weakest one at random, they would have to treat them with respect. This is the lofty status of the Red Dragon Guards. Not only that, but even their vice principal and even the principal. First to decapitate and then to authorize. This is the Red Dragon Guards. Wang Dust took Pingan Chen to Ling Han's mount like he was pinching a chicken. Promising someone else is just a trivial matter anyway. As for what this jade pendant was, Wang Chen was a little curious. Then, the appraisal technique was flung over. This is, seeing the contents of the jade pendant, Wang Chuan's pupils shrank. I didn't expect it to actually be this. F asterisk CK. This old man's handiwork was a bit big, actually giving something so awesome. Unfortunately, it wasn't for him, but there was no use with him. The only one who could use this prop was probably Pingan Chen. Wang Dust shook his head. But just now, the old man also secretly slipped him a storage ring, which possessed quite a lot of resources, and it was estimated that he had also asked Bayong about his occupation in advance. He had picked quite a few rare materials for himself. Since it was for Pingan Chen, let's help him put it away. Otherwise, 
It was a bit too conspicuous to put it outside. Wang Da stuffed the jade pendant into Ping and Chen's arms. Afterward, his mind recalled the attributes of the jade pendant just now. Special prop, Green Lotus Sword Immortal Transformation Jade Pendant. Prop grade, special. Prop category, transition props. Occupation level S plus level. Prop description from the unique profession of the Green Lotus Sword Immortal Chen Tiandao's lifelong inheritance. Condensed all the essence of the profession Jade Pendant has the ability to transfer any S-level sword profession to S-plus level profession, and automatically obtain all the original owner's inheritance. However, after the original owner had condensed that essence, he only had a lifespan of one hour. Wang Chuan turned back to the chaotic land. It seemed that Elder Chen had long been prepared to die. No wonder, the storage ring that was slipped to him without his knowledge was so precious. It didn't look like a meat and greed gift in any way. The reality was exactly the same awe. Wang Dust sighed. War had long since broken out over there, and it wasn't good for him to intervene. He only needed to be responsible for bringing Chin Pingon back to the Imperial Capital University. What's more, the threat of this trip was not only the foreigners, but also the traitors of the human race. Naturally, he couldn't get away from this side. At that moment, rumble. Several terrifying auras suddenly appeared one after another. Rumble. Rumble. There were constantly teacher mounts carrying students being killed. Wang Dust's face changed. Someone was coming. Traitors of the human race. The scum of the Ren family. How dare they make a move on so many students. Not giving the slightest thought to the lives of humans. I'm afraid they have long since gone off the deep end. Chapter 286 A 77 level powerhouse is as terrifying as it is. These scumbags. They still dare to appear in front of him? Wang Dust smiled contemptuously. This group of guys. Are they worthy? If they didn't go looking for trouble from themselves. They're just stealing their joy and they actually dared to come in front of themselves? I'm afraid they don't know how to write the word death. Wang Chuan coldly looked at these Rin family killers. In his eyes, these people had long since become dead. When he returned to the imperial capital and arranged everything properly, the first one to be destroyed would be the Rin family. The Rin family is just a small area. At this moment, the incoming Rin family assassins moved. Wang Chuan glanced at their attribute panel. Name, Ren Tian. Level, 77. Profession, Explosive Magic Instructor, Grade A. Introduction, The Top Assassins Cultivated by the Ren Family. Extremely powerful. Under the combination of several people, they can even kill top level 79 powerhouses. They are the lackeys of the Ren Family. Naturally, they are less transformed by the foreigners. They are human on the surface. In reality, they are already half human and half ghost. The remaining few were not too far off. All of them are the lackeys of the Ren Family and the foreigners. These guys, Living in this world was simply a waste of human air and land. Who is Wang Chen? Hand him over or you will all die here. The leader, Run Tian, said indifferently. Don't look at him being so pretentious. But he did have such strength. A single strength of 77 levels was enough to be proud in the outside world. I'm afraid that there are less than a few tens of thousands of people in the whole of China who have surpassed him. That's why he has enough confidence to be so arrogant here. Not to mention the fact that these teachers at the Imperial Capital University are not very good. These teachers are not very good. In their hands are like chickens. They wouldn't last more than two rounds. All of them look towards the top of their heads as if they were on the verge of an enemy. Especially Ling Han. He didn't want his students to just walk out of the wolf's den and now enter the tiger's mouth. Wang Chen. And Xiao Xiao looked at Wang Chen with a worried face. Subconsciously, she tugged on Wang Chuan's arm. She was really worried about Wang Chuan being captured. Although she was confident in Wang Chuan's strength. But, these guys looked really strong and Wang Chuan had just escaped from under the hands of an existence like that. Now he had to face several other incomparably powerful existences. How could this not make him worried? Wang Chen smiled faintly. Reaching out, he gently pulled up in Xiao Xiao's hair. Don't worry, these people are nothing more than scum to me. Wang Dust said indifferently. His tone was very light, yet he had a feeling that made people feel very at ease. And Xiao Xiao nodded heavily. She trusted Wang Chuan, and her heart, which had just been incredibly nervous was as if it had been given a shot of peace of mind at this moment. And, Wang Chen had just actually made such an intimate gesture towards her. Oops, shy, and Xiao Xiao's small face was red, and she somewhat dared not meet Wang Chuan's gaze. Wang Chuan did not see the shyness of the young girl, because he had just seen what seemed to be a bit of dust sticking to in Xiao Xiao's hair and helped her dust it off. Next, there were things waiting for him. Wang, Wang Chuan, when did you become so strong? Li Ening stammered and asked, Don't get me wrong. I've always been strong. I never used my full strength in my fights with you guys before. The gap between you and me would have been huge before. And it will be even bigger in the future. Wang Chuan acted as if he was talking about something mundane. However, 
Li Yining knew that what Wang Chen said was by no means false, but he really had this strength as well as this certainty. Li Yining nodded. This answer was much better than the false ones. She wasn't afraid of a gap. If she was false, it would turn her off. Being truthful instead made him want to go after Wang Chen. She believed that even if there was a big gap now, she would definitely try to catch up in the future. Wang Chuan flew into the sky with an indifferent face, treating the three Ren family killers in front of him as if they were grass. You are Wang Dust? Ren Tian said in a cold voice. He didn't expect the target of this mission to jump out on his own. He didn't know what kind of medicine this kid was selling in his gourd, but since he dared to come out, he would quickly solve the target. I am, Wang Chen said as he locked eyes with him. You have offended someone, and you already have a way to take your death. Ren Tang behind Ren Tian said in a cold voice. You mean the Ren family? Wang Chen was disdainful. A mere Rin family was worthy of telling others that they already had a way to die? The old Piker's family was full of Pikers too. It was surprising to speak so wildly. What? Ren Tian's pupils shrunk. I didn't expect that this guy actually knew that the Ren family had sent them. What was going on here? Aren't these secret things? Something was wrong. Nine out of ten was wrong. It was logical that this fellow shouldn't know. Since he knew, then it's all the more reason not to stay. Explosive magic. Heavenly collapse. Ron Tian shouted explosively. The next moment, an incomparably terrifying sight surfaced in front of all the teachers and students. A 77-level powerhouse, terrifying as hell. Chapter 287, Ron Tian Shock. Wang Chen's strength. A large fireball carrying incomparable destructive power roared into the sky. Wang Chuan looked up to the sky. It was worthy of being explosive magic. In terms of destructive power alone, it was even enough to be ranked in the top three of A-rank professions. It was a pity that a rank was only a rank after all. Even the same level of foreigners couldn't touch the porcelain. So how could they defeat him? And how could they defeat him? The king of the 95 level foreigner blood demon Wang Chuan, who had just defeated the king of the 95 level foreigner blood demon, Wang Dust let out a cold smile. These Rin family guys, they really wanted to die. One by one, two by two, they were eager to come and die. Then he himself had no choice but to fulfill their wishes. After all, with his strength, it was by no means difficult to send the imperial capital's Rin family to meet their ancestors under the Nine Hells. Wang Chuan had a bland face, not putting the burst of magic in front of him in his eyes in the slightest. Che, this kid, is indeed as arrogant as the family head said, Ren Tian said in a cold voice. So what if he is arrogant again? Our Rin family killing him is as simple as pinching an ant. What's the use of being arrogant? Could it save her? Ren Tang was disdainful. Just what was the use of being arrogant? In his opinion, Asking them to go out and deal with a student who had just entered first was simply killing a chicken with a bull's knife. It was impossible for even the top geniuses to outsmart them at the university level. The huge gulf between levels was not something that could be bridged by mere talent. This was something they knew better than anyone else. After all, they were also geniuses in their time. What's more, they still had the ability of a foreign race, and their strength was only stronger than that of a strong person of the same rank. I'm afraid, this was the real reason why they were emboldened in this trip. As long as they wanted to, it was enough to be able to kill everyone present. Even these teachers were no exception. To be able to stay in school as a teacher and so on you can be any kind of strong person. Either they came back from the front line injured, or they were just trash who didn't even have the qualifications to go to war. But whoever has a bit of strength and a bit of talent would be in school every day waiting for death. Wang Chuan, Dodge, Ling Han, who was buried in the broken trees, shouted. He wanted to go and help Wang Chuan, but he simply couldn't. The strength of these three people was actually so terrifying, and as a top level 75 powerhouse, he hadn't even been able to resist three moves. He couldn't do anything other than watch Wang Chen get hit by the burst magic right now. A deep sense of despair filled his heart. If this blow landed, not to mention him, all the students in a few kilometers around would be implicated. Those who were a little less lucky might die on the spot. This was the terrifying power of explosive magic. Generally speaking, class A explosive magician professions rarely appeared and only a few families were known to have appeared. And it seems that the only family that has a grudge against Wang Chen and has mastered the explosive magic profession is. A name suddenly flashed through Ling Chen's mind. Run family explosive genius, Ling Han. Ling Han sucked in a mouthful of cold air. The Ren family was actually so arrogant that they dared to make a move against Wang Chuan in front of so many people. Could it be? He had defected. Damn it. It was just a pity that he could not return today. Wang Chuan, run away. They are from the Ren family. Ling Han shouted. His forehead was already drenched in cold sweat, and his limbs couldn't stop trembling. Of course I know about this kind of thing, and far more than just knowing it for the first time. Wang Chen said indifferently. Ling Chen looked at Wang Chen with a surprised expression. What? He actually knew. 
But why didn't he run? Didn't he know that such an existence was simply not something he could defeat? Right at this moment, the terrifying aura of explosive magic had already arrived above Wang Dust's head, arriving with an incomparably terrifying aura. Everyone's faces froze, and even their breathing slowed down by half a beat. This such a terrifying aura. I'm afraid it's not even weaker than those existences in the land of chaos. What kind of people were these killers in the end? Even Li Ening was sweating for Wang Chen. Could Wang Chen really make it through? Only Li Ening looked at Wang Chen with a burning gaze. She believed that Wang Chen would definitely be able to do it. In her eyes, Wang Chen was invincible. There was simply no one who could defeat Wang Chen. And if there was, then she must be dreaming. Just in the nick of time, Wang Chen moved. The speed was so fast that the crowd didn't even catch Wang Chen's figure. Even Wang Dust's current normality had at the very least the strength of a one. Two blood demon king. So dealing with this kind of weakling wasn't the same as pinching a chick. Wang Chuan's figure flashed in boom. In the next second, the bursting magic that had just been incredibly loud and powerful was actually crumbling like a toy at this moment. What? Ren Tian's pupils shrank. What exactly just happened? Why did his magic suddenly shatter? He didn't even see clearly what had actually happened. Why the hell was that? Ren Tian looked at Wang Chuan with some disbelief. And Wang Chuan's face at the moment actually still had that cloudy expression. A terrifying thought surfaced in Ren Tian's mind. Could it be that this burst of magic was destroyed by Wang Chen? How is this possible? If he was so powerful, he would have killed the king of blood devils long ago. But he still came here to ink with himself. Chapter 288 Borrowing props from time and also presuming to dominate the king of time? Ren Tian expressed incomprehension, but was greatly shocked. Although on the surface, destroying himself with this explosive magic didn't seem like Wang Chen's doing at all. He had this vague feeling within his heart that all of this was Wang Chen's doing. Although he didn't know where Wang Chen got such courage, the alien cells in his body actually vaguely detected a few points of fear? Ren Tian gulped. It was wrong. 9 out of 10 was wrong. How did it feel like this Wang Chuan fellow's temperament had changed? As if he could kill them at any time. How was this possible? You guys say that I have a way to take death? I'd like to see how you guys can make me die. Wang Chen's face turned cold. His figure had arrived behind the third person of the Run clan in an instant. What? This speed. Ren Tian's pupils shrank. He did not even think that Wang Chuan's strength was actually so terrifying. He was actually able to instantly come behind him without him realizing it. What kind of freak was this that was able to have such speed? Ren Tian looked at Wang Chuan with disbelief. The next second, Wang Chen moved. Localized super god armament. Wang Chuan's hand was suddenly covered with black mechs, and the palm cannon in his hand began to store up a burst of white light. Boom! Palm cannon! The third assassin of the Ren family had been completely annihilated by Wang Chuan without even saying a word. The terror of his strength and the exaggerated speed had long exceeded Ren Tian's knowledge. Ren San, who was a 77 level powerhouse with him, had actually died just like that? How was it possible that the death was actually so rash? Ling Han, who was covered in the bushes and debris below, also looked at Wang Chen with an unbelievable face. This guy, his strength was actually so powerful. He was actually as terrifying as this. Ling Han simply did not think that the genius that he had struggled so hard to secure in the first place had actually become far stronger than even him in just a month. Ling Chen let out a bitter smile. He was really incompetent as a teacher. Not only was his own strength so poor, he couldn't even protect his students when it mattered, and actually wanted them to come forward to protect themselves. Che, originally wanted to privately swallow this prop, I did not expect, but still have to take it out, no matter how strong you are, in front of this prop you are just as strong as you are, but also of no use, ha 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 ha, wang dust a wang dust, I'd like to see, you a weakling, in the end take what to fight against me, ha ha ha, Ran Tian laughed out loud, then he pulled out an instrument from inside his storage ring, what is this, Ling Chen's face was grave, he actually felt that this object looked familiar, could it be, Suddenly, Ling Chen's face changed. Wang Chen, quickly leave his range. This prop, Ling Chen's words hadn't even left his mouth. Ren Tian interrupted him. Ha ha ha, this is a disposable world-class prop of mine. Even though it's only a fake, it can be enough to deal with you. Smash Voludo, time stops flowing. Ren Tian shouted explosively, and in an instant, heaven and earth were instantly forbidden. The flow of time began to become stagnant. A one-time world-class prop, a fake of the world prop. The effect was to pause time for 10 seconds. If it was a real world, it could be used an unlimited number of times. But unfortunately, this was only a one-time opportunity. Even so, this prop was often able to fetch astronomical prices at the auction house. Even if it was as strong as the Rin family, there was only this one. As long as it was in the middle of the pause time. So what if it was even a stronger powerhouse? 
As long as his head was broken, he had to die all the same, no matter how high the blood level was, he had to die. Run Tang, I'll leave it to you. Run Tian looked at Rin Tang beside him. The corner of Rin Tang's mouth quirked as he opened his hands, and hundreds of flying daggers instantly surfaced beside him. Grade A professional, Imperial Weapon Master. Nine seconds, Rin Tang's flying daggers flung out, and in an instant, hundreds more flying daggers appeared beside Wang Chen. Lingering cold light shone on Wang Chen's side. Run Tian had already pulled out champagne from his storage ring and was ready to open it at half time. Eight seconds, Ren Tang flung the flying daggers again. In an instant, countless flying daggers surrounded Wang Duan. It was almost about to drown Wang dust in a sea of metal. The incomparably terrifying cold light refracted continuously in the air. It was as if the entire heaven and earth were filled with flying daggers. This was the terror of Ren Tang, an A class professional. Don't think that A class professionals aren't powerful. In fact, a-class professionals just don't appear to be very strong under the aura of an S-class professional. But no matter which A-class professional, they all existed in this world as a phoenix. Absolutely rare. It was only because Wang Chen was surrounded by geniuses that they appeared to be too weak. As a matter of fact, an A-class professional was an absolute powerhouse. One second. Ren Tang once again flung out a flying dagger. Tens of thousands of flying daggers surrounded Wang Chen. With the flying daggers so close together, it would be hard to escape even if an immortal came. The two seem to have seen the tragic situation of Wang Chuan being stabbed into a hedgehog. Just then, tick, tick, the sound of clocks flowing resounded in the ears of the two. Space instantly became black and white. What? Borrowing props from time. You also presume to dominate the king of time? Chapter 289, Killing the Two in Seconds. Wang Chen's voice sounded behind the two. And the two of them were as if they had heard a whisper from the devil at this moment. Their bodies actually could not move. The two of them looked horrified. How was this possible? actually being directly suspended in time. Why is it like this? Suspend their time? Wasn't this something that only props could do? What's more? They were pinching the time. Clearly there was still one second left. Even if they had time props, it was absolutely impossible to use them. After all, time is honored. Space is king. Fate is not out. And karma is king. The reason why time came first was because he was powerful enough. Even this disposable world-class prop was able to suspend the time of any strong person under level 100. Not to mention truly mastering the power of time. This kind of occupation involving time can't be said to have no. It is that there is also cannot do these ah. For example, there is one in their Rin family. But that was also Rin Inyan's profession. Moreover, his horseman of the apocalypse wasn't this powerful and had many limitations. And was simply unable to confine opponents that were stronger than him. This also led to the fact that although Rin Inyan was an S-rank occupation, he wasn't valued much by the Rin family. Other families' S-class professions were probably treated like treasures, but the Ren family was different. Over the years, all of the S-rank talent in China has been taken by the Ren family and secretly digested, but where there is no background, simply cannot escape the palm of the Ren family. Clear all kinds of calamities are attacked. What's more? For example, the other day there was an S-level professional genius who wanted to resist, and as a result, the next day, he was shot 12 times in the back and was judged to be forced to commit suicide by the forensic examination. Due to the large number of S-class professionals, the Rin family is only a handful in many places. If it wasn't for this, the young generation of China would never be so young. Someone once made a statistic that if one of the parents is a strong person, the probability of the heir being born is also a strong person. And there are so many strong people in this era. But what if they die in battle? It seemed that the only way for his heir to go was to be persecuted by the Rin family. Other than that, there was no other way. Wang Chuan's figure was like a ghost, causing the two to feel a sense of oppression from something close to the god of death himself. Just now, they hadn't realized that Wang Chen's strength was actually so terrifying. How is this possible? One must know that Wang Chen is still just a child, a freshman who had just awakened and probably hadn't even been there for two months. Where did he get such strength? This is simply unscientific. Run Tian looked towards Wang Chuan who was walking slowly. If it wasn't forbidden by time, he would have pissed his pants. This guy, in the end, what kind of god is he? He could be anyone, but it would never be the Wang Chuan who had once been arbitrarily bullied by their Rin family anymore. How about it? Time suspension. It's fun. Wang Chuan walked to Ren Tian's body and stabbed a flying dagger into his brow as if it were tofu. Ah ah ah. Ren Tian's heart was like 10. 000, 000 grass mud horses crashing inside. Such pain that went deep into his soul. If it wasn't for the fact that he couldn't make a sound at the moment, Otherwise he would have definitely erupted into a scream as if he was killing a pig. Run Tian felt that his current state was that he was obviously alive, but he was already dead. A blow deep into the center of the eyebrow. Not to mention him, 
Hua Tua in the world is also difficult to cure ah. Pain. Too much pain. It was the first time Wang Chuan realized that his time suspension was still so useful. Here he could open up any of other people's senses, including but not limited to vision, consciousness, pain, and touch. Of course, he could also do a complete time suspension, but that would be too boring. It was still interesting like this. Wang Chen gently raised one hand. Countless flying daggers were like dark clouds, overwhelmingly covering them. The lingering metallic aura sent shivers down one's spine. What is he going to do? What the hell is he going to do? Ren Tian's pupils shrunk violently. So many flying daggers would die. Would definitely die. Although it was dead now. But such a large number of flying daggers was enough to stick him into a sieve. No. Don't. With such a huge number. He would definitely die a horrible death. Is this guy a devil? Wait. What does he want? Ren Tian realized with horror that these flying daggers. Actually slowly approached towards him. Ren Tian's pupils shrunk violently. Was he trying to. Hiss. Ren Tian inwardly sucked in a mouthful of cold air. In an instant, dozens more flying knives were stuck in various parts of his body. The pain that penetrated deep into his soul made him beg for his life. The same was true for Ren Tang beside him. He couldn't believe that such a strong person actually existed in the world. Even he couldn't help but be afraid. He was actually able to return his own moves as they were. Was such an existence really something they could touch? They were incomparably afraid of Wang Chen within their hearts. Had they known this? They shouldn't have come to touch Wang Chuan. Wang Dust snapped his fingers. Time began to flow. Swish. Countless darts flew to penetrate and shoot out. Swish. Ren Tian and Ren Tang's bodies were instantly covered with bloody holes. The entire person instantly became a hedgehog. The two fell straight to the ground. Ren Tian. Ren Tang. Dead. Chapter 290. The Ren family was furious. What? How did they suddenly die? Ling Han raised his head violently. Looking somewhat incredulously at Ren Tian and Ren Tang who were lying there silently. It was obvious that they were dead. What exactly had just happened? He hadn't even noticed that in a blink of an eye. These two guys were dead. This kind of miracle that simply couldn't happen actually did occur? Obviously not. Ling Chen looked towards Wan Duan who had a bland face. A horrible conjecture surfaced in his mind. Could it be? This matter was done by Wang Chen. It was Wang Chen who killed Ren Tian and Ren Tang? How could? How could he have such strength? He was still just a child, but the facts were in front of Ling Chen's eyes. He had to believe it even if he didn't believe it. I'm afraid that all the people present just now combined wouldn't be a match for those two people. The only variable was Wang Chen. Just a freshman. Could he really have such strength? Ling Han shook his head. What he should be most thankful for right now was that self as well as these students have survived. Otherwise, he really is going to hate himself in hell. Don't ask what you shouldn't ask. He shouldn't even know what undercard Wang Chen used to kill these killers. This was something that belonged to geniuses. Mediocre geniuses like him just need to keep their mouths shut and continue. Teacher, continue on your way. Wang Chen handed over a bottle of healing potion. Ling Chen froze. His cerebellum shriveled the moment he saw the healing potion. Holy shit. An extremely high-grade healing potion. One sip of it and even a level 90 powerhouse would be able to restore 100% of their blood within a minute. And as long as it wasn't a fatal injury, it would be able to pull you back. This thing is money can't buy. Excellent healing potion can be firmly in the hands of those big chambers of commerce, even if he is a year's salary. Also do not see can have this bottle of potion worth money. Wang Chuan, isn't he just a child from a commoner's family? How could he have such a divine object? Not to mention him, I'm afraid that even the principal would have to be shocked to see the potion in Wang Chuan's hand with his two eyes glaring out. Such a divine object. Even he was born with only seeing it. For a moment, Ling Han simply didn't know who was the child from a commoner's home. It was really too terrifying. Wang Dust did not see Ling Han's shocked face, or else high and low to come to a sentence. There are still a bunch of it inside his storage ring. Previously, when buying life-preserving props at the treasure pavilion, just saw these healing potions. After the introduction of the people over there, Wang Chuan felt that this healing potion is not bad. The person in charge of the treasure pavilion saw that Wang Dust had such high authority, and immediately shot the board, gave Wang Dust a back door, half buy, half send to buy a bunch of Wang Dust. The price is not very expensive. A pile of 100 million Huaxia coins. Exactly how much Wang Chuan is not too clear. Anyway, he couldn't finish it himself. If Ling Han knows that Wang Chuan is like this, high and low have to curse a dog big household ah. The normal price of these healing potions is absolutely impossible to buy so many for 100 million. Purely gifted by the treasure pavilion. I'm afraid that this 100 million would not even be a fraction of this pile of potions. Ling Han nodded. He was greatly shocked at the moment. If Wang Chen was able to have these kinds of potions, then it would make sense that he was able to kill the assassin with such a powerful base. 
Wang Chen looked in the direction of the imperial capital, his eyes cold. Run family, I will destroy your Ring family's entire family, Wang Xuan said in a cold voice. Last time, he did not know that there was still the Ren family in the imperial capital. This time, even ten Ren families would not be able to escape him. Imperial capital, Ren family. The head of the Ren family looked at the jade cards of the three Ren Tian people. His tiger's body shook. These three actually died as well. These were the top killers that their Ren family had cultivated, and their strength was an existence that ranked high amongst the entire family. That Luo Hai City's Ren family ancestor was afraid that he wouldn't be able to go more than one round in their hands. It is such a powerful existence or dead? The head of the Rin family, who had always been calm and steady, had fine sweat seeping out of his forehead at the moment. In the end why ah? In the end, who in the outside world was able to kill the three of them? I'm afraid that even that 79 level vice chancellor of Imperial Capital University, Yang Tianxin, couldn't kill them. They wanted to run away, plus the one time world class time prop. It would be even harder to kill them. Their lives weren't important. But if their identity of being able to alienate was exposed, then I'm afraid that the whole of the vast China would be shaken, and their Rin family would definitely be at the center of the storm. The successive deaths of Rin Rushue and the three assassins had undoubtedly added many uncertainties to their Rin family. Even he, who was as stable as an old dog, was flustered at this moment. I'm afraid that the situation today is no longer under his control. The Red Dragon Guards, which existence from the Imperial Capital University, the former Chinese sword immortal. With all these people together, his Rin family had fallen into a situation of 10 deaths. Wang Chuan a Wang Chuan, you actually caused so much trouble for my Rin family. I should have known that I should have killed you in the first place. The head of the Rin family slammed things haphazardly. He was angry that Amir Wang Dust had actually caused so many people to show up. What would happen if the research that the Rin family was conducting behind their backs was discovered? The Rin family had looked in Wang Chen's direction. There was only one way to break the situation and that was to kill him and completely purge all the calamities. Chapter 291, The Disobedience of the Senior Senior Student Wang Dust didn't have the slightest idea that the Rin family was going to retaliate against him, and even if he did, he was afraid that he would have to eliminate his big teeth. Are these guys here to deliver food? To be honest, Wang Chuan didn't put such a weak force as the Rin family in his eyes, if he hadn't offended himself to death. I'm afraid that all these ants wouldn't be able to touch a single hair of their own in this lifetime. Imperial Capital Imperial Capital University. Wang Chuan and his group finally dismounted from Ling Han's ride. They had finally arrived. After many days of bumps and bruises, many people even felt that this was the aftermath of a robbery, as if they had walked through the gates of hell before returning. This trip was simply too dangerous. It was even just a little bit away from dying in place. Some of the civilian geniuses were even bouncing around in blood, with their blood level even hovering around 1% when they were at their lowest. This caused them to almost almost die. It was completely equivalent to a knife going into their neck and pulling it out again. It's still the air here that's comfortable, Li Meng Meng said as she stretched her back. This time it was so dangerous that they almost didn't see the sun today. Aha, it's good that Wang Duan is here. And Xiao Xiao's small face flushed red as she looked at Wang Chen. Why did it feel like his charm was getting bigger and bigger? Family members who understand ah, there really aren't many men who are strong and handsome and calm ah. TSK TSK, someone na. Nah. Those who don't know still think that they have done something. Their little face is so red. Emma Lioli teased. Among all of them, and Xiao Xiao was the most shy. It was so fun to bully her once in a while. Where did I do anything? And Xiao Xiao feigned anger and glared at Emma Lioli. For a while, the three giggled. The scene was very harmonious for a while. You guys, what a great relationship. Li Ening raised her eyebrows, and after holding her tongue for half a day, she managed to hold back these words. Thanks for the compliment. Wang Chen said indifferently, Li Ening was even more taut, Big brother did you think I was complimenting you? It is also a few of them, looks silly, also very good to cheat, this if their future partner also dare to three, she high and low have to directly castrate, Wang Chuan immediately felt some coldness in his lower body, could it be catching a cold? Hiss, it shouldn't be, with his strength nowadays, let alone catching a cold, it was impossible to even feel cold ah, then what could it be because of, it's decided. Let's eat a big meal tonight. And Xiao Xiao managed to subdue Li Meng Meng and Imolili, then looked at Wang Chen. Good. Wang Dust agreed with a smile. Upon hearing that there was a big meal, Li Ening couldn't sit still either. Joking aside, having just taken a trip from the gates of hell, how could he come back and not eat the mat? Eat? Must be toward the big piece of food. Wang Chen led the four women towards the villa. The other people cast envious gazes at Wang Chuan. Worthy of being a rising dragon scholar ah, not only in the chaotic land so strong, even in the school is also so fierce. 
TSK TSK, the former Koen Siang battle for Lang, the existing Wang dust one night seven times Lang, TSK TSK, envious ah, not really, the strength is so strong, but also can let the harem so peaceful, oh, oh, envious, I also want to become a part of it, come on you, which of Wang dust subjects is not a genius among geniuses, even Li Ening lost to Wang dust's heather flower breath, how does he see you, yeah, that in Xiao Xiao don't look like a female licking dog, but he's a real S class professional, I'm afraid that he can easily kill us, not to mention the second rank Li Ening, everyone cast envious gazes at Wang Xuan, his own strength was strong and his girlfriend was still beautiful, this was something that how many people could only dream of, however, they also knew that Wang Chuan deserved this treatment, if it wasn't for Wang Chuan, they were afraid that none of them would be able to return, should I say no, Wang Chuan is too awesome, his strength is even able to fight against foreign races above level 70, if it wasn't for him, I'm afraid we really wouldn't be able to come back, can't come back, not to mention not being able to come back, I guess we would have become the rations of that blood demon king, alas, this year's dragon rising scholar is just too strong, yes, once I thought that the gap between me and the dragon ascending scholar wasn't that big, but now I realize that the gap between me and him is far from being that small, a freshman can powerfully battle an alien above level 70, who would dare to think that, that's right, I'm afraid even the senior seniors don't have such strength, the freshmen who had just returned were all celebrating and rejoicing, just at this moment, a few untimely voices came, oh, just him, he's also worthy of comparing with us, a mere freshman is worthy to compete with us seniors, it's not your fault if you're embarrassed by your lack of knowledge, but it's your fault if you come out and talk nonsense, the one who came was clearly a senior, the strength of a senior student was an absolute powerhouse in the vast imperial capital university, before Wang Chen had shown such strength, they were the strong ones that everyone worshipped, and now that someone else's name actually overshadowed theirs, how could this be tolerated? Someone even compared them to a freshman. Isn't that funny? Chapter 292 Who is the most capable fighter in freshman year? What kind of thing are you? Daring to slander Wang Duan. Du Lei Si stood out, his face disdainful as he looked at the senior student in front of him. Although he, Du Lei Si, was only a district freshman, he thought that he was definitely not weaker than these junior and senior students. The reason for this was because he, Du Lei Si, possessed an S-ranked top profession. Thunderbolt Dharma King. Coupled with his level of 51st, even if he was a senior, he would not be a match for him. He do lay C had acted in his life. Why did he need to explain himself to the senior students? Oh, according to you, who is the most capable fighter inside the freshman year? Say it so I can try. The senior yellow hair in front of him had an angry look on his face. At this time, someone finally recognized this yellow hair. Holy shit, if it isn't senior. Shucks, the top 10 ranked top powerhouse in the entire Imperial Capital University. Huang Tianba, holy shit, it does look like it when you say it like that, S ranked professional, berserk blood warrior, I've heard that he's extremely powerful, and I've heard that he's able to kill 10 powerhouses of the same rank in a single move, you have to know that he's a full 58 levels now, what, so NB, no wonder he's able to rank in the top 10 in the whole school, bad, bad, Durath will definitely lose against such an existence, although he's tough, I'm afraid it's not enough to face Huang Tianba, the moment Huang Tianba appeared on the stage, everyone marveled in awe. They simply hadn't expected that they would actually be able to see a senior here. Realizing that senior had always needed to go on frequent missions to become stronger. Although this school had constructed a dormitory for the senior students, the truth was that the senior students basically never lived in the Imperial Capital University, but instead took on missions to hunt monsters. This also led to the fact that these senior students would see their strength skyrocket at this stage of their senior year. For example, Huang Tianba, the last time in the school is only 57 level, from 58 level is still a big difference, but now, actually completely step into the 58 level, I'm afraid that this kind of strength is enough to hit the 9th or even the 8th in the whole school, from this, it can be seen how terrifying Huang Tianba's strength is, hearing the introduction of the crowd, do lacy forehead seeped out a trace of cold sweat, pretending to play big, this time it seems to have encountered a tough opponent, but so many people were watching, even if they were scared, they couldn't wimp out, of course it's Wang Dust Ah, Du I Ah, but look at you like this, whether you can beat me or to say. Du Lacy corrected his complexion and reverted to an arrogant look. The constant flow of thunder power in his body gave him 10% confidence, and he believed that after so long of cultivation, he would definitely not be weaker than others. Compare and contrast? Huang Tianba said in a cold voice. In this school, it was the first time that someone dared to speak to himself like this. Let's compare. Who's afraid? Shatter the darkness with thunder. 
Du Lacy shouted explosively, in the next second, a bloody shadow flashed in front of Du Lacy's eyes, Du Lacy was instantly blown away hundreds of meters away, and his entire body was deeply plunged into the wall, ch, freshman, vain name, looks like that Wang Duan isn't good either, Huang Tianba snorted coldly, annoyed at Wang Chuan for stealing his spot, one didn't know where the district freshman got such guts, Huang Tianba snorted coldly and walked away with his lapdogs, and Du Lei Si, who was deeply plunged into the wall, was in agony, in the moment just now, he only felt like there was a train crashing straight into him, that terrifying power, even now he was a bit scared, it was really too terrifying, was this the strength of an old student, Du Lei Si looked towards the students who surrounded him, in order to maintain his image, he still forced his pain-ridden body to act as if nothing had happened, a hem, a mere fatal wound, just now it was just a bit slippery on the ground, otherwise he might not be my opponent, that's right, I slipped, Du Lei Si solemnly said, and in the distance, a silhouette took in this scene, Caitlin frowned, unable to figure out why these guys were making such a fuss, Wang Chen had nearly been saved by the Imperial Capital University and was just a bit lucky, that was all, these childish tactics of playing house were really some childishness, Caitlin shook her head, expressing her lack of understanding, if there was no Imperial Capital University, I'm afraid that Wang Chen would have already died an unknown number of times, luck was good this time, but what about the next time, would Wang Chen still survive, obviously he couldn't, Caitlin didn't think for a second that Wang Chen had won that battle on his own, after all, if Wang Chen could have that kind of strength, why would he come to school, he could go out and do it himself, obviously, it wasn't, Wang Chen was just an ordinary dragon rising scholar, and was not comparable to himself at all, at most, he was just a little bit stronger than the two dead losers, in her hands, it was still as if it was a toy, crushed with only one hand, chapter 293, upgrading the mechanical general factory, imperial capital university, villa 1, Wang Luohan was staring into the distance, she always felt as if she had some bad premonition in her heart, and her heart always felt like it was pressed with a big stone in general, brother has gone out for several days, has not come back, although Wang Chuan went out before she has said, this trip will take a long time, short time I am afraid there is no way to go back, but being alone at home was more or less boring, compared to his own boredom, he was more worried about whether something bad would happen to his brother, sisterly Ening said that the land of chaos had many dangers, could it be that his brother was in danger, Wang Luohan's small face was slightly wrinkled, if her brother couldn't come back, she really didn't know what to do, just at this moment, ding dong, the doorbell rang, a flash of joy suddenly surfaced on Wang Luohan's face, could it be that her brother had returned? No one had come back to knock on their door these days, except for her brother there would be absolutely no one else. Wang Luohan quickly pushed her wheelchair to open the door. Although sitting in a wheelchair is very uncomfortable, but for such a long time, she has long been accustomed to it. Compared to her own physical defects, she hoped that her brother would be safe and sound. Wang, Wang Duan, who had just opened the door, froze as he looked at his sister, who was swooping towards him. He was then hugged by Wang Luohan. Brother, Wang Luohan's eyes were a little red and watery as she looked at Wang Chuan. Fortunately, Wang Chuan was fine, and it seemed that her premonition was wrong. Luckily Wang Chuan had returned. She was worried to death. Back, Wang Chuan smiled faintly and quietly let Wang Luohan lie in his arms. A powerful person who rivaled a 95-level blood demon king now couldn't even avoid an ordinary person's hug. TSK, who would believe it if he said it? Aya, someone na, where did that high and cool energy outside go? Li Meng Meng interjected in an inopportune manner. Ahem. Wang Chen's face turned slightly red. Almost forgot. There are still people here. Wang Dust immediately dodged over and hit Li Meng Meng on the head with a big headbutt. Aya. It hurts. Li Meng Meng covered her head and squatted in place. Wang Chuan's brain pop almost exploded his brain. This guy's strength was really great. But it was right. If Wang Chuan's strength was small, he wouldn't have kicked a 79 level alien's head like a ball. Ha ha ha. Wan Luohan immediately leaked out an anti-smile when she saw the scene. One's own brother was not a good person nah. Right now, he has a sister-in-law, a second sister-in-law, a third sister-in-law, and a fourth sister-in-law who just entered the house. TSK, I really don't know how many sisters-in-law he can have in the future. Alright, alright, leave the rest of the cooking to us. And Xiao Xiao whispered softly. Wang Dust nodded. It just so happened that he needed to raise his strength a bit more. The next step could be a direct attack. Run family, just wait. Yo yo yo, a sister-in-law is a sister-in-law. Wang Luohan's eyes were almost narrowed into a crescent shape. I have to say, this family's sister-in-law's speech is just good, which is not, being said so by Wang Luohan, 
and Xiao Xiao immediately blushed. Where did she met her sister-in-law? However, to have Wang Duan's sister's affirmation, it was considered good, right? After Wang Chan returned to his room, his eyes slightly closed, and in an instant, the consciousness entered another space. His strength consisted of many parts, but it was much more than just the super god armament. The strength of the super god armament as well as the super god overload only drove the strength of his main body. If he wanted to make his buildings strong or use them to protect the people around him, as well as use them to clear the screen quickly, he would need to use his mechanical general factory. The mechanical general factory was also an important part of Wang Chen's strength. The current one had already given Wang Dust many surprises. It's not an exaggeration to say that even if this mechanical general factory alone is pulled outside, it's definitely not an existence that can be compared to those S-ranked S-plus ranked talents. And that's far from all of Wang Chuan's strength. Those geniuses would never know how terrifying Wang Chen's true strength really was. Ding, please ask whether to consume materials such as Heavenly Crystal Stone, Blood Demon Diamond, Star Iron, Earth Heart, Giant's Blood, Magical Gold, Warrior's Heart, Ancient God's Breath, Cursed Stone, and Mixed Chi to upgrade the Mechanical General Factory to LV6 level? After Wang Chuan saw the huge amount of materials above, he also raised his eyebrows slightly. His profession was really a money burner. Just upgrading one of the branches would require such a huge amount of resources. It really deserved to be a SSSS rank top profession super god mechanic ah. However, Wang Dust did not regret it. Compared to being heartbroken, he was more looking forward to what this mechanical general factory could bring him after he was level 60, excluding the surprises that the super god armament would bring him. Was it powerful equipment? Or an unrivaled power? He, Wang Chuan, was looking forward to it. Wang Dust moved with a thought. The rare metals within the storage ring flew empty. Right at this moment, a powerful and inscrutable aura tilted out with Wang Chuan at the center. A terrifying aura burst out from within Wang Chuan's body. Ding, the mechanical general factory has been successfully upgraded. And its current level is LV6. Chapter 294 Atomic Laser Sword Quantum Energy Shield When Wang Chen saw that the data in front of him was flashing rapidly and reorganizing in the air, the corners of his mouth couldn't help but leak out a smile. It was worth it to work so hard for so long, and his strength was bound to increase by leaps and bounds. Ding, congratulations, the mechanical factory has unlocked the building. Starport, ding, congratulations, the mechanical weapon workshop has unlocked the equipment. Laser sword, ding, congratulations, the mechanical weapons workshop has unlocked the equipment. Liquid energy shield, Wang Chuan froze, he didn't expect to actually unlock the starport for himself. What was this used for? There was also this laser sword and liquid energy shield. It was reasonable to say that he now had the divine gun of the apocalypse and divine shield of the apocalypse. These shouldn't be of much use to him either. Putting aside the power, the powerful abilities these two weapons provided him with were irreplaceable. Just ask whose profession was able to manipulate time and space at the same time. Obviously, there was none. Wang Chuan was a bit puzzled. Then, Wang Chuan clicked on the panel to continue reading. Name, Mechanical General Factory. Level, LV5. Population, 5000. Function crafting different mechanical units. Description, your faction's technology level is god level technology. The powerful machinery factory contains a complete god level technology tree. You can create powerful mechanical units through manufacturing blueprints and materials. Currently craftable troop types, diggers, invaders, mechanical warriors, mechanical hounds, buildings, scanning tower, mechanical weapons workshop, starport, name starport, level, level 5. Function produce all kinds of heavy and large units. Description, a legendary building built by the mechanical clan with the efforts of the entire clan. Capable of producing all kinds of advanced and terrifying large units that can destroy any powerful monsters. Currently available, light mechs, can be manipulated by myself or mechanical warriors. Name mechanical weapon workshop. Level, level 5. Function, ground level mechanical production building. Description, a workshop that brings together countless divine technology blueprints to create a variety of weapons. Producible Weapons Fixed Automatic Gatling Gun, LV-5. Fixed Automatic Charge Shock Cannon, LV-5. Fixed Automatic Artillery, LV-5. Mecha Weapons, Laser Sword, LV-1. Liquid Energy Shield, LV-1. Name Mechanical Shield Patch Tower. Level, Level 5. Function Replenish the Mechanical Shield Value for the Fighting Mech Units. Mech Fighters whose Shield Value is depleted can come back and replenish it by themselves. Description, a powerful unmanned mechanical device that can repair the shield value of the external body armor for mechanical race warriors. Wang Dust froze, and then, his face was overjoyed. Previously, 
Most of his own offensive constructions were only capable of attacking at a limited range, and although he was similarly capable of controlling mechanical monsters remotely with the presence of the intruder, the biggest drawback of mechanical monsters was that their strength was fixed. Moreover, it was extremely laborious to control, and its strength was not considered strong at all. Generally speaking, if he was controlling level 10 spider monsters, then even if these spider monsters turned into mechanical spiders, their strength would be at most level 11. And the top line was here. The previous mechanical warrior was the same. Its own abilities were extremely lacking. Compared to the monsters controlled by the invaders there was some combat power, but it was far from being powerful, which led to Wang Chuan never using the mechanical warrior. He had always thought that it was a major poisonous point of his profession. But after the appearance of the starport this time, this poisonous point would turn into a truly powerful existence for his profession. The current starport could only store 5,000 people, but what if it was later? With a wave of his hand, he would have a powerful and invincible mechanical army. At that time, I'm afraid that no one in the entire blue star would be his opponent. Wang Xuan nodded in satisfaction. This boost was not insignificant. Next, it was time to upgrade the laser sword and liquid energy shield. Apart from the fact that the resources for upgrading these large volume arsenals were massive, the resources consumed by these single weapons were not much. At the very least for the current Wang Chuan, he only needed to use a sliver of what he had left under his fingernails to easily upgrade. Ding, congratulations, your weapon laser sword level has been upgraded to LV5. Laser sword upgraded to atomic laser sword. Ding, congratulations on upgrading your weapon liquid energy shield to LV5. Liquid energy shield upgraded to quantum energy shield. Exclusive weapon, atomic laser sword. Weapon grade, unknown. Weapon description, with him, your chopping attacks have the purest raw power. And each of your attacks comes with 200% defense ignoring damage. Exclusive weapon quantum energy shield. Weapon grade, unknown. Weapon description when things go wrong quantum mechanics. Quantum entanglement is enough to block any attack. Wang Chuan fell into a brief daze when he saw these two weapons amongst them. He didn't think that even just the standardized equipment issued to his mechanical warrior would be so powerful. What's more, he could have countless weapons like these. At this moment, the exclusive weapons of those geniuses seem to have become a joke in Wang Chen's eyes. Chapter 295 Mechanical Warrior Light Armed Form Because as strong as those geniuses' exclusive weapons were, they were at best only on the same level as one's own formulated weapons. And the production of one's own formulated weapons didn't need to consume anything at all. As long as one's blue bar was still there, one would be able to summon countless atomic laser swords. Although his own population was currently only 5, 000 people, if he let them assemble both atomic laser swords and quantum energy shields at the same time, I'm afraid that their battle power would be very exaggerated, and it might not even be weaker than a full complement of Red Dragon Guards. In other words, under Wang Chen's hand, all of them were at the level of the Red Dragon Guards. Wang Chen was very satisfied with his current configuration. The current him was finally qualified to say that he was a strong man of the party. With such strength, he had no fear of anyone in this world. Wang Chuan was very satisfied with the harvest this time. Entering the 60th level of promotion allowed him to make up for almost all of his previous shortcomings. No matter if it was his personal strength or the strength of his own men, there would definitely be a great improvement. Such a harvest could not be considered as great. A few more points of joy appeared on Wang Chuan's face, and Wang Chuan's mind moved. Mechanical warrior. Click. 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 The sound of twisting metal resounded in the air. The prototype of the mechanical warrior seemed to be created out of thin air by an invisible giant hand. The process seemed long. But in reality, in just an instant, the mechanical warrior slowly emerged. There was nothing in front of Wang Chuan just now. And at this moment, a mechanical warrior emitting a silver-white sharpness appeared in front of Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan fixed his eyes on it, which was an ordinary robot. It was clearly a living human being, only changed from a carbon-based creature to a silicon-based creature. The mechanical warrior's features were distinct, and his body radiated metallic light, and the metal devices on his body spoke of his power. So strong. Wang Chuan exclaimed in admiration. Unexpectedly, such a mechanical warrior was actually so powerful. Is this really just a mass-produced mechanical warrior? Wang Chuan sighed, and had to admire the god of mechanics for actually being able to create such a life-affirming metal creation between his hands and feet. No wonder, he was hated by the other gods, and who would let go of a top-tier powerhouse with superior talent that would inevitably be far superior to them in time. Such a mechanical creation couldn't be said to be dead at all. Rather, they were living beings. The fact that the god of machinery was able to have such greatness was, I'm afraid, the true reason why he was hated by the gods. Even the gods would be jealous of the mechanical god who was also a god, let alone the humans they created. 
The mechanical warriors of the starport are here in response to the appointment. If the master has any instructions please feel free to point them out. We, the mechanical warriors, will clear all obstacles for our master. The mechanical warriors said forcefully. Wang Dust nodded. Afterwards, he moved his mind once again. Light armor. In the next moment, a huge spell formation suddenly appeared above the mechanical warrior's head. Immediately afterward, mechanical patterns appeared within it, along with the silver white light gradually dissipating. A set of silver gray armor that was very similar to that on Wang Chuan's body surfaced in front of Wang Chuan's eyes. The shock in Wang Chan's eyes was self-evident. Although this set of battle armor was not at all on the same level of might as the one on his own body, there was no doubt about it. Even so, this set of armor was far superior to any diamond level set. This set of battle armor was also far from the detailed patterns on his own body. But he was actually able to feel that this set of battle armors actually had life. Sure enough, as a SSSS level profession, a super god mechanic would never be so simple. Obviously, everything in front of him had long exceeded Wang Chen's expectations. Along with a metallic assembly sound rang out. Mechanical warrior, light armor form, appeared in front of Wang Chuan's eyes. Apart from the color, its appearance was at the very least seven points similar to himself wearing the super god armor. This was only mass produced equipment. Powerful. Absolutely powerful. One's previous estimation was still conservative. Attack me with all your might. Wang Chen ordered. After receiving the order, the mechanical warriors nodded. As mechanical creations, they were born with an absolute directive, which was to unconditionally follow their master's words. If his master told him to go east, he would never go west. On this basis, he was also able to have a high degree of self-awareness. Wang Chuan knew that the mechanical warrior's ability to possess such a high level of intelligence was definitely not just as simple as the skill description. The mechanical warrior's right fist was raised high. A terrifying force quickly coalesced in its right fist. The power was so massive that it was even straight up against a level 76 powerhouse. The metallic glow even directly flooded all the light in front of Wang Chuan. Strong, very strong. The metal warrior was really strong. It was definitely able to be called one of Wang Chuan's current powerful undercards. Wang Dust nodded his head. Not bad. Such power. He, Wang Dust, recognized it. Wang Dust casually blasted out a fist. The two powerful forces instantly collided. Rumble. In the next moment, a figure flew out dozens of meters backwards, sinking deep into the wall. Cough. Wang Chen's old face flushed, not realizing that his power was actually so strong. He had just underconsidered it, and had not thought that the mechanical warrior would not be able to withstand it. Master. Master. The mechanical warrior climbed up with difficulty. The armor on his body had already been beaten to pieces by Wang Chuan, and even his right arm had disappeared at some point. Chapter 296, No, Don't. Wang Dust felt as if he had overestimated this mechanical warrior a little. But having taken a punch from his own suppressed power, this mechanical warrior did not look like he had no redeeming qualities. Not bad. The corner of Wang Dust's mouth rose. There was indeed something. However, if it was only at this level, it would not be able to enter his eyes. With a wave of Wang Chuan's hand, the mechanical warrior's original almost mutilated body was instantly repaired. Worthy of being a super god mechanic, his abilities were actually so heaven defying. Such a means was actually no less than resurrecting the living dead. It was just that resurrecting the living was still far from being within the scope of Wang Chundu's business. Wang Chuan somewhat sighed. The emergence of this kind of god level profession was simply the sorrow of those professions. According to this powerful profession of his own, who would be able to compete with him for glory? Obviously there was none. Wang Chuan shook his head. In his own life, he would definitely be invincible in the world. Among the mechanical warrior's resurrection, Wang Chuan assembled the atomic laser sword and quantum energy shield to him. Hopefully, after equipping these, the mechanical warrior would be able to surprise him slightly. Wang Chuan threw out a punch. A punch that used 10% of his strength. Rumble. A loud collision sound rang out. Wang Chuan's fist blasted straight into the mechanical warrior's shield. Rumble. The quantum energy shield hardened against the attack. And although it caused some ripples, it did block Wang Chuan's blow. What? Wang Chuan was somewhat surprised. The defense of the quantum energy shield was actually so powerful. He could feel that if he added some more force the shield would shatter. But his own 10% force was definitely not something that anyone could take. These were enough to illustrate the extraordinary nature of the quantum energy shield. It was more than enough to speak of the terror of the super god mechanic. Such a terrifying defense artifact could actually be mass produced? In time, Wang Chuan would definitely be able to have the largest and most powerful legion in the entire blue planet. There were no two in a thousand years. And the world was unrivaled. The quantum energy shield really didn't let Wang Chuan down. As for the atomic laser sword, 
Wang Chen was not prepared to try it again. He could feel the power contained above the atomic laser sword. It was indeed good to have such power, but it was far from reaching a level that would surprise Wang Chuan. However, it was no exaggeration to say that with the quantum energy shield and the atomic laser sword, the strength of these mechanical warriors was even able to go straight up to level 80. Such strength even surpassed the Red Dragon Guards. Terror? What a terror this was. Wang Dust breathed a sigh of relief and picked up the yogurt by the bedside and started drinking it. At this moment, the meal below had just been prepared, and Li Ening was preparing to go upstairs to call Wang Chuan. Li Ening frowned slightly. Why was it so loud upstairs? It's strange. Did Wang Chen start training as soon as he got home? So hard? Then he is really damned ah. Others than his genius are so hard. She is still here to eat and wait for death. No. Immediately must eat three big bowls of rice. Then go back to train properly. Li Ening secretly made up her mind and walked towards the upstairs. Hiss. Wang Chen took a sip and his hand accidentally shook. The yogurt instantly slashed under his hand and fell straight down. Seeing that it was about to be spilled all over, Wang Chuan's face revealed an unprecedented serious look. Smash Voluto. Time stops flowing. Wang Chen shouted. Only unfortunately, it was already too late. For Wang Dust who was fighting, pausing for a second was enough to make Wang Dust invincible. But for Wang Dust who was swinging at home, it was still too short and too short. Wang Dust froze. Immediately, he let time start flowing. It was too humiliating. With his own speed, he could even react to a 95-leveled king of blood demons. But he actually couldn't react to a tiny yogurt. Wang Dust quickly drew a few sheets of paper and wiped them towards his pants. It was really careless ah. It all spilled onto his pants. At this moment, the sound of pushing the door rang out. Li Ening, who had just entered the door, instantly froze when she saw Wang Chuan's actions. Even if she didn't know anything about men and women, she understood. She covered her mouth with her small hand and looked at Wang Chen with an unbelievable face. Combined with the deafening vibration sound just now, as if it could explode the house, could it be that Wang Chuan had just been utilizing the five-finger girl to do something indescribable? Hiss. She had heard of car shaking, but she had heard of room shaking for the first time. Could Wang Chen be so ferocious? Li Ening ghostly looked towards the wall and she instantly froze. Fuck. So fierce? Hiss. This genius was really so terrifying. Wang Chuan was also dumbfounded. Why did he suddenly come in at this time? Looking at Li Ening's eyes that were out of place, Wang Chen realized something was wrong. Not caring whether he wiped or not, he reached out his hand and wanted to explain. No. Don't. Li Ening looked at Wang Chuan and had a bad premonition in her heart. Could it be? Ah ah ah. What does this guy want to do? Li Ening grabbed the door and flew downstairs. So close, so close, it's going to go into the tiger's mouth. Chapter 297, I'm just cooking a meal, and I'm actually having my home stolen? Wang Chen was instantly petrified in place. It always felt as if Li Ening was thinking of something bad. He was a decent man. Why would he do such a thing at home? He really just simply drank a yogurt ah. How could he encounter such a thing? Wang Dust sighed and looked at the paper towel he picked up and the yogurt on his pants. For a moment, it was neither right to wipe nor wrong to not wipe. Downstairs, Li Ening ran down with an anxious face. She didn't know whether it was because she was running too fast, or she had just bumped into that scene, causing her face to have a few more blushes. Coupled with the fact that she ran too fast, her clothes accidentally rubbed against the handrail, and the whole person appeared to be disheveled. If this was to be seen by someone who didn't know, they wouldn't know what they had done in the room. Li Ening, has Wang Chen come down for dinner? And Xiao Xiao held the spatula in one hand while poking her head out to ask Li Ening. But when she looked at Li Ening's appearance, she froze on the spot, only to see the Li Ening in front of her eyes, with her hair disheveled, her face with a reddish tinge. She looked like she had experienced strenuous exercise, panting and gasping, and even on her hair, there was a white liquid floating vaguely. Could it be? Could it be? And Xiao Xiao felt as if her heart had stopped half a beat. Whoops, this was her first awe. How did someone else get here first? She knew that with Wang Chen's talent and strength, she would never be the only woman in the future. But at the very least, at the very least, she was here first. In the time it took herself to cook a meal, Li Ening stole her own home? Is there such a thing in the world? And Xiao Xiao felt like her moral heart was broken for a moment. What did you just do up there with Wang Duan? And Xiao Xiao stammered and asked, What did what? Holy shit, you don't know ah. Just now Wang Chen he actually. Li Ening's words had not yet fallen and Xiao Xiao's heart felt as if it had been crushed by a boulder. Sure enough, they really did do something just now. What an abomination. Whoops. And Xiao Xiao's heart was so aggrieved that he almost couldn't hold back his tears. No, he had to go and take a look, just in case this Li Ening guy was a trickster. When he said do it, he did it, 
and Xiao Xiao nodded his little head heavily and quickly walked towards the upstairs. Upstairs, Wang Dust finally decided to quickly wipe it off after thinking for two and a half seconds. Wang Dust just picked up a paper towel and wiped towards his pants. Who knows? The click of the door lock sounded. In an instant, Wang Dust's heart was half cold. No way. Not again? I don't want to see the end of this. But it's not the end of this. Wang Dust looked up with an incredulous face. He was about to wonder if he had unlocked some karma skill. Can it be that this super god mechanic has given him other hidden skills? Hiss. But mechanics didn't have anything to do with this stuff either. When In Xiao Xiao saw the scene of Wang Chen, she instantly froze. Unexpectedly, unexpectedly, they were actually real. And looking at that thing on Wang Dust's pants, it seemed like it was more than once. Damn. How did they manage to do it so many times in such a short period of time? And Xiao Xiao's eyes reddened at once, and she forced another smile as she looked at Wang Chen. What's wrong with him? Wang Dust had a vague bad feeling in his heart. They couldn't have misunderstood something. He really just simply spilled the yogurt accidentally ah. Could it be that even this was misunderstood by someone? Could it be that they couldn't differentiate between yogurt and heather flowers? I don't know. Li Ening shook her head, although she had thought wrongly before. But seeing the yogurt box in Wang Chen's hand, she seemed to understand. She immediately blushed for her previous thoughts. One thought that Wang Chen was secretly doing something indescribable in his room. It scared him to death. Wang Chen took a deep breath. He slowly said, No, listen to me. I just had a fight just now. It's not what you think. Wang Chen pointed at the damaged wall. I'm sure that in Xiao Xiao should be able to read it now. It was clearly not the kind of thing he thought was wrong. A person would be able to see that it was the marks of a fight, right? And Xiao Xiao nodded. It seemed that she had misunderstood Wang Chen. Her eyes followed Wang Chen's finger to the wall that was hit by the mechanical warrior. It was fine if she didn't look at it, but she was even more dumbfounded when she looked at it. The mechanical warrior had just been knocked back due to the fact that he had just been knocked straight back. It caused a certain part of him to be branded on the wall. It seemed to look a bit like, and Xiao Xiao glanced at Li Ening's chest. Well, it wasn't that big, but it matched the marks on the wall incomparably. In a flash, a bad image surfaced in her mind. These two, actually playing so. No wonder, just now, she felt that the upstairs had been vibrating, and thought that Wang Chen was practicing, but she didn't think that she had actually been stolen from her home. She misunderstood my ass ah, she was really stolen from her home, combined with the silver white thing on the ground, it looked like it wasn't just a fight. Damn it, always feel offended. Li Ening looked at In Xiao Xiao's measuring gaze and felt a bit offended. How to stare at how to chin. Chapter 298, it's really just yogurt. Ahem, it's just a bit of dirt. Wang Dust's rare old face reddened. However, in In Xiao Zhao's eyes, it instantly changed into another picture. In In Xiao Zhao's mind, she had already visualized Li Ening lying on her back in Wang Chen's arms, and Wang Chen lit a huazi with a bashful face, then slowly said, she's very moist, and Xiao Xiao was a little unsure of what to do, deciding to continue back to the kitchen to cook. Although she had known that there would be such a day, this day came too soon. What's more, why wasn't he the first one? If it is not possible, the first two together. No, three together he can also accept ah. Li Ening looked at the two somewhat unclear. Why, do these two have what melon to eat? Li Ening looked around. Frozen did not see how in Xiao Xiao suddenly red eyes. Oops, I don't know when. Wang Chen suddenly appeared at Li Ening's side and directly gave him a melon crash. Li Ening screamed out in pain. What are you hitting me for? It really hurts. Li Ening covered his head with an innocent face. Speaking of this matter, it's all because you provoked it. Pay attention next time. Next time, it will be more than just a melon crash so simple. At least penalize you for cleaning for a week. Wang Dust put away his fist. He was already not good at handling this kind of thing, and now he was even more finished. It would be even worse to round up in a while. Humph. Just looking at it wrong. Li Ening looked away. Wang Chuan was flabbergasted. Come on, this one is even more heavyweight. Wang Chen sighed deeply, feeling a deep sense of hopelessness in his heart. These were all the troubles he had incurred and he still had to solve them all with his own hands. Wang Chen walked towards the bottom. When In Xiao Xiao saw Wang Chen walking towards her, she didn't know how to open her mouth. After hesitating for half a day, these words popped out of her mouth somehow. Sit? Wang Dust's tiger body shook. What the hell is this word of a tiger and wolf? How could anyone come up and ask this? At the end of his mind, he was still thinking about the fact that the two of them had gone through 981 difficulties before they were barely able to gather together. No, is he sitting or not? Something was wrong. 9 out of 10 was wrong. Wang Chuan felt as if his brain was about to grow out of his head, and the short few seconds had even made him think from the cosmic reboot until now. He even considered using a time pause to give himself a little more time to think. 
This problem was simply a world problem. In the end, Wang Chen made up his mind and opened his mouth to ask, Really, is it really possible? Wang Dust looked at In Xiao Xiao with some expectation for a moment, and Xiao Xiao nodded heavily, with her hand, and Xiao Xiao slowly, that's right, slowly drew out the chair, signaling Wang Dust to sit down. Wang Dust was relieved and sat his butt on it, although it was a little different from what he thought, but fortunately, the final result was harmless. Anyway, how to do it is not doing it. Sitting on the bench is also doing ah. On the side of Li Ening, Li Meng Meng, Mo Liuli three people are even more shocked by Wang Chen such a move to say, no, you really just simply do a bench ah. He really thought to do something extraordinary it. Cut, happy for nothing. But it was also right. If he really said this in front of them, then it was not a matter of considering whether they supported it or not, but rather it had to depend on whether Wang Chen's waist was okay or not. Brother, what are you guys talking about? Why does it feel like the atmosphere is weird? Wang Luohan was a bit puzzled. Obviously it was just sister and Xiao Xiao letting Wang Duan sit in the chair for a bit. How did it feel like the atmosphere had become strange? Cough cough nothing. Let's quickly prepare for dinner Luohan. Wang Dust coughed on the two and digressed. No one at the dinner table asked about it again. It was only in the back that in Xiao Xiao really knew that she had misunderstood Wang Chuan. Her pretty face slightly red. When she thought of the embarrassing thing she had just done, she couldn't wait to drill through the ground. But it was no wonder that in Xiao Xiao was jealous. After all, this world honored monogamy. Although there were strong people who did not abide by this rule, but most of them were marrying the children of those commoner families. But what about in Xiao Xiao and the others? Which is not a big lady. Received education from childhood is so. Overnight is difficult to change. Even if they are for Wang Chuan to make changes, but also need time to accumulate. Of course, these are not problems, they have long been prepared. The real reason was that in Xiao Zhao's feelings towards Wang Chen were too special. After all, she was truly the first person to fall in love with Wang Chen. It was only natural to have this gesture. After all, although she had always supported Wang Chuan, it was impossible for her to watch Wang Chuan not take her. Wang Chuan smiled faintly and reached out to touch Wang Luohan's head. Perhaps the reason for his own efforts to become stronger was here. The only way to guard everything you hold dear was to become stronger yourself. There might only be five people at this table now, but there would definitely be more in the future. When he entered the ancient giant forest to obtain the life essence, it would be the day when his parents opened their eyes and his sister stood up again, and Wang Chuan believed that this day would not be too far away, and was, well, close at hand. Soon, it was all soon. Chapter 299, Who Sinks and Sinks in the Vast Expanse of the Earth Different from Wang Dust's joyful atmosphere, Ping Chen finally woke up in the hospital of the Imperial Capital University. He had a splitting headache, as if something important was leaving him. What the hell happened? Chen Pingan's nails sunk deep into his palms, his eyes bloodshot. He only remembered that his father seemed to have said something to him before leaving alone. But why had he forgotten all that? And in this place between heaven and earth, his only relative was his dad Ah. Chen Pingan's body was still in vague pain excluding the attack that Chen Tian Dao had given him to knock him out. Before that, his body had long since reached its limit, and to be able to regain his consciousness after a short period of time was nothing short of a miracle. It was never the last straw that crushed the camel, but every single straw. Pingan Chen appeared to be intact, but his body was already riddled with holes. Even so, he still braced himself for the pain and climbed out of the hospital bed. These are? Pingan Chen frowned as he looked at the tubes on his body that were infused with fluids. How could he need these things? Chen Pingan pulled them all over with one hand. As soon as his feet touched the ground, it was as if the entire person was instantly weightless. And the entire person collapsed to the ground with a bang. Intense to the point of pain, Pingan Chen instantly came to his senses as scarlet blood flowed out of his body. Right at this moment, the jade pendant that Wang Dust had stuffed in his chest scratched out of Pingan Chen's pocket at this moment. This is? Pingan Chen snapped back to his childhood. At that time, he had constantly swung his sword every moment. Chen Tian Dao, who was once a Chinese sword immortal, naturally wanted to pass on his skills to Pingan Chen. After all, his legacy could not be broken. However, with each swing of the sword by Pingan Chen, he gradually saw the reality. Not everyone's talent can be as invincible as his own in the past, and not everyone can reproduce his own miraculous experience. Even his own son, Chen Pingan, even in the eyes of outsiders, Chen Pingan was definitely a genius, but only Chen Tian Dao knew that this level was far from enough. If he were to leave, Chen Pingan would not necessarily be able to protect himself. It was naturally impossible for him not to know what the Rin family had done, with geniuses being lost all over the place, and especially the loss of S-ranked gifted people being especially bad. However, at that time, he only knew that there was such a power doing such things. 
and did not know that it was just the Rin family. If he died, Pin Don Chen would not necessarily survive. Since that day, Chen Tian Dao had been holding a jade pendant in his hands. This jade pendant was the best material he had ever found. He had decided to do a great thing in his lifetime. That was to brand his career on top of the jade pendant, including his feelings and practical combat experience on the Dao of the Sword. This was a path that no one had ever taken before. Even Chen Tian Dao himself wasn't sure if this path would work, but there was nothing else he could do. He could only inject his few life essence into the jade pendant to warm it up. He had made countless enemies, and in the future, Ping Don Chen would definitely be targeted by countless forces, and the only place that could protect him was at the Imperial Capital University. Don't look at the Imperial Capital University. The president's strength is just like that. But behind him there is a big background. Any family, even the Red Dragon Guards can't mess around in the Imperial Capital University. This is also an important reason for the endurance of the Imperial Capital University. Since that day, every time Ping Gon Chen practiced his sword, Tendo Chen sat serenely in his own chair basking in the sun with a jade pendant lying quietly in his hand. Lord Father, the jade pendant is so beautiful. I want a piece too. Little Chen Pingon asked with an innocent face. When Chen Tian Dao heard this, he smiled faintly. Wait until you are able to be on your own. Then I will give you this jade pendant. Okay. Yes. Little Pingon solemnly said. Since then, Ping and Chen had been working hard until he forgot about this jade pendant. However, when he saw it again today, he felt that it contained a majestic life essence power. This was Chen Tian Dao's lifelong learning and the essence of his life. And now, all of it was condensed on top of this jade pendant. On the other hand, the land of chaos. This will be my final blow. Bayon. Chen Tian Dao stood with his arms crossed. Behind the two of them, corpses were strewn all over the place, like an inferno on earth. Only, these corpses were all foreigners. In this cruel world, only strength is the eternal truth. If there is no strength, dead or alive will be no one cares. And if there is strength, all can boast of God, the vast land, who is the main sinking and floating. Bayon nodded heavily, this way, he deeply admired Chen Tendao's strength, he was even more in awe of Chen Tendao as a person, being able to bring all his strength to fight once at the last moment of his life, perhaps many people would rather store up that power and live one more meal, but Chen Tian Dao, would rather die on the battlefield than bumble around for the rest of his life, the chaotic land this day, deeply felt the fear from human domination, district human, actually able to have such power, horror, too horrible, Chapter 300, His Sword, named the Heavenly Dao. Countless behemoths that were tens or even hundreds of meters tall were actually cut down by the human in front of them that added up to less than four meters, which was simply a disgrace for the foreign races, yet they had to recognize this shame. After all, these two guys were really too strong, just slightly out of hand, they could not raise their heads, such strength, not to mention these small Karami, even the most powerful king among them, I'm afraid that they would not dare to touch the two's eyebrows. Chen Tian Dao lightly caressed the long sword in his hand. His sword was named Heavenly Dao. It meant to take the way of heaven, to cut down all things in the world, and to be invincible in the world. Just like his name, it was wild. I'm afraid that no one else in the world can be as young and wild as he is, and even less will be able to replicate his legend. Born to be invincible, but it's a pity that he wasn't born at the right time. His life, as if by a curse, whether it is relatives, loved ones, or people around, without exception all left this world, the only son also almost left him, he thought he was the lone star of the heavenly fate, perhaps he came to this world, this is redundant, Chen Tian Dao let out a long sigh, I don't know when, once that spirited young man, at this moment actually hunched over, holding a long sword in his hand that has long been baptized by the years, perhaps, just as once a friend, to die in battle, is his final destination, the life essence in Chen Tian Dao's body was flowing away, and his power was returning as if it was returning to him. This feeling of abundance of power really hadn't happened in a long time. The power has returned. Not much, but enough. Chen Tiandao's face had an extra touch of Ying Qi, and it was at this moment that he truly felt that the Chinese sword immortal that he once was, had returned. Maybe it was just a flash in the pan, but he hadn't experienced the feeling of being alive for a long time since his wife's death. It used to be as if he was a walking corpse, only at this moment, did he truly feel that he was alive? a living human being, Chen Tendao laughed out loud, to be able to have such a realization before he died, it wasn't a wasted visit, his will, his sword art, would be inherited by someone else for him, while he, on the other hand, only needed to clear the obstacles for his juniors, so strong, Bayon looked at Chen Tendao's continuous burst of power and marveled, even when he was winded and had very little power left, his strength was definitely not too far from his own, 
worthy of being a strong person of the older generation, even in the face of such a scene right now, still has the calmness of an old generation artist, strong, really strong, Bai Yang had never felt strong before, instead of being strong in strength, it was more like being strong in state of mind, this kind of true strength is unrivaled throughout the ages, Bai Yang immediately stood in awe of this senior, Chen Tian Dao, was a truly strong person, even he, Bai Yang, could not help but admire him, mortal, don't be reckless, a pitch black figure arrived in an instant, the terrifying aura emanating from its body caused bodies to tremble, so strong, even a powerhouse of Bai Yang's level couldn't help but have his pupils shrink, it was actually a powerhouse of that level, that's right, 100 levels was far from being the end of the line for professionals, above that, there was a much broader division of strength, no, it could even be said that below the 100th level was only the starting point of a professional, because it was only after touching the 100th level that one could grasp the true power of their profession itself, this power, how terrifying, it wasn't an exaggeration to say that the difference between a 99-leveled professional and a 100-leveled professional was enormous. Even if tens of thousands of 99-leveled professions fought a 100-leveled profession they would all be brushed as toys. This was even more so for the dominator of the land of chaos in front of them. If the foreign race didn't have some strong people, how would they be able to survive until now? Only, why did such an existence come out only now? And why didn't it come out earlier before? Bai Yang was sweating profusely and looked at his blue bar. What? Bai Yang was sweating even more after looking at it. Without looking, it was a shock. He didn't know when. But at this moment, his originally filled blue bar didn't even support him to release a single skill. The red dragon guards clearing the small monsters in the distance were even more so. Even their mount, the red dragon, suddenly lost weight and fell straight to the ground. What the hell happened? Bai Yang looked up sharply as he finally realized. Had he fallen into a trap? Ha ha, just as you think. From the time you entered the depths of the chaotic land. I have already been drawing the so-called blue amount in your body. Nowadays you are just a bunch of mole crickets. As long as I want to, you will all be executed by me. The alien laughed out loud, and his figure gradually appeared. His main body was clearly a huge dragon with a huge body. Ba Yong recognized it at a glance. He hadn't expected that the king of the land of chaos was actually him. How did he appear here? The king of the black dragon. AOC Hai. Code name. Black dragon. He had appeared in another foreign territory. And at one point, he had ascended to one of the top 10 strongest enemies of the human race that could not be messed with. The strength of the power is evident. It is said that the black dragon is so powerful that it has turned its hand to the clouds and its hand to the rain, flooding hundreds of cities in the Western Federation with a single wave of its hand. It is also said that the entire Sakura country erupted with its own power, killing and injuring countless people in the meantime. Chapter 301, All the Shackles of the Past Have Been Cut Off, And Today I Know That I Am Me. Its strength was so powerful that it even left an indelible shadow on many people. Even Bai Yang was shocked at the sight of the black dragon. Why would he appear here? This shouldn't be Ah, the king of the chaotic land he had probed before. It obviously wouldn't be the black dragon Ah. Things were in trouble. If he was in a healthy state, he would at least be able to maneuver with him for a long time. Not to say defeat. Even fall into an undefeated position. Just now, his blue bar has been completely empty, not to mention the release of fights. Even if it is the release of a few skills I'm afraid there is no possibility. Now he is, at best, a high-level soldier with a lot of blood. Strength-wise, he was simply not enough to worry about. Now the situation has reached the point of a hundred thousand fire. If the black dragon in front of him really wants to, I'm afraid that not only he by young, I'm afraid that he will also involve Chen Tian Dao and the red dragon guards all die here. Such a tactic was just too despicable. Cunning foreigner, I think you might be wondering why I'm here. But obviously, you don't have the chance to know. If you want to know, then go to hell and ask. The black dragon exploded with a cry. Its huge body violently appeared in the eyes of the two. How tall the black dragon's body was. 99,900 feet in length. Pitch black. Its body mostly scaled. With black clouds vaguely surrounding it. Bringing others a devastating sense of oppression when it raised its hands and feet. Powerful. Very powerful. It is really hard to imagine. Such an existence. Actually is real. Strength if weak afraid to see the real body of the black dragon will have to die in place. What's more, this was the black dragon's success in suppressing its size. If its true size was unveiled, it would be hard to imagine what he could be huge into. The black dragon's dragon whiskers trembled slightly. A massive force instantly swept across the entire scene. The terrifying power even made the earth tremble. The rubble constantly trembling as if it was going to tear the entire earth apart. Even the sky changed color. In the blink of an eye, lightning flashed and thunder roared. Dark clouds covered the entire air, revealing a sense of deathly threat. Black dragon. 
He wasn't just an ordinary fey king, it was well known that the king of blood demons was a 95 level powerhouse, but for him to occupy the title of king was simply a disgrace to these true kings, and the true powerhouses among the foreign races were often ancient god inheritors. That's right, true inheritors were not just humans, even the monster fey also possessed the same. Those who were able to become an ancient god's inheritor were all exceptionally gifted and terrifyingly strong, and as it happened, the black dragon just happened to be. He possessed part of the authority of the ancient god, and even to a certain extent, he was a god, walking in the world on behalf of the gods, performing the deeds of the gods and judging the judgments of the gods. This is troublesome. Bayon looked up at the black dragon. If he was given three minutes, he might still have a chance of survival. After all, he simply didn't have enough blue. Save your breath. Under this formation, your blue restoration potion is useless. A mere human. How can he be a match for us Fay? The black dragon said disdainfully. Any form of mana value would be rapidly depleted at this moment. Unless one burned their life essence. It was obvious that right now, they didn't know such a thing. Of course, even if he knew, he didn't care. The biggest threat at the moment, Bayong, had already been resolved. As for the weak looking old man next to him, he was afraid of blowing his breath to blow Chintendo's dentures away. Ch. Damn it. Bayong gritted his teeth. Who knows? At this moment, Chen Tiandao slowly walked over to Bayong's side. His old hand, which was like dead wood, was placed on Bai Yong's shoulder, signaling Bai Yong to rest assured. All of us old things haven't died yet. When is it the turn of young people to die? Chen Tiandao smiled. At this moment in time, he spoke of life and death in how bland a manner. How could he, who had interacted with life and death all his life, not know the pain of parting with life and death? Although he had experienced the parting of life and death countless times, his heart had not been numbed by it, and he would be even more afraid of this moment but today he suddenly realized, if he had been afraid of it, how can he stand up to his former self, and how can he stand up to the Chinese sword immortal, all the shackles of the past were cut off, and only today do I know that I am me, just you, old thing, I'll send you to your death right here, remnants of the old times, don't come out to disgrace yourself, the black dragon snapped, a terrifying black lightning bolt blasted towards Chen Tiandao with lightning speed, Bai Yong was shocked in his heart, this speed, how could it be so fast? Can Senior dodge it? In an instant, the Black Dragon's Black Lightning had arrived in front of Chen Tendeo's body. This speed was comparable to the speed of light. How could an ordinary person dodge it? Who knows? Chen Tiandao smiled blandly. The heavenly Dao sword in his hand was placed across his chest, and a monstrous sword intent violently erupted. The sword chi stretched for 30, 000 miles, and the incomparably terrifying aura shot straight up into the clouds. Chen Tiandao was able to isolate this attack millions of miles away with just such a posture. It simply could not enter him in the slightest. The situation suddenly reversed, and Chen Tiandao's strength ruthlessly slapped the black dragon's face. This, how is this possible? This was by no means the strength that a dying person should have. This is not the strength of a dying man. Chapter 302, watch out. This sword, will be very handsome. The silence of the black dragon was deafening. Such to strength, you told him that it was actually just an attack of a dying person. Who would believe them? Who does not know that once the professional aging, blue blood and even skill power will become weaker. Not to mention, dealing with is once the Chinese sword ferret. Not long ago has been their foreign strongman to waste it. How can he still have this kind of strength nowadays? This is not scientific ah. Black dragon forehead cold sweat straight. Not right. Very nine points not right. He was confident that even the heyday of Chen Tiandao in the past should not have such strength, but now it is indeed possessed. Why is this? Could it be that after dying, he became stronger after breaking? Or is it just an ordinary return to the light? The Chen Tendo in front of him does not belong to the two. If he had to say, Black Dragon felt that he was the third. That is, stepping into the next realm. As for what that level was and how powerful it was, Black Dragon did not know. But such a powerful existence was far beyond his ability to touch. Right at this moment, Chen Tiandao's figure gradually became illusory. Both feet had become transparent. Chen Tiandao smiled miserably. It seemed that his life had entered a countdown ah. In this life, there were really many regrets. If there was an afterlife, he wished that he could become an ordinary person, a carefree ordinary person, so that he could live a peaceful life, carrying a destiny or something, it really wasn't suitable for him. Chen Tian Dao, if he had to say it, he couldn't afford the karma that the word heavily Dao brought to him, and it could even be said that such a huge karma could never be afforded. Chen Tian Dao's life because of carrying these two words, the family broke up and died, the old came to have a child also only left a heir. Alas, Chen Tian Dao let out a long sigh, but then, his eyes became firm again. Today, 
he would be the heavenly Tao of this heaven and earth, bound to kill the black dragon in front of him. Senior, Bai Yong looked at Chen Tiandao's gradually illusory back. He was a little anxious to speak. He already knew what was going to happen next, although he had been able to anticipate all of this for a long time. But it wasn't until now when it was actually happening to him that he realized that the original feeling of being separated wasn't a good one. Honestly speaking, he did not have much communication with Chen Tendao, but his gesture of reluctance today was completely out of the heart and soul of Chen Tendao. If Chen Tiandao was able to go on with smooth sailing, perhaps he would be able to go to what heights now. But alas, alas, ha ha ha, the old me has already made such plans since I came here. A mere fatal wound is not enough to matter. The end of one life, yet the beginning of another. Rather than lingering here for more, it would be better to kill such a scourge early. It's considered the last thing I can do. Chen Tiandao snapped. The aura steeply and dramatically changed. Ch, you're about to disappear completely. I thought how strong you were, but it turns out to be nothing more than that. Ah, when the time comes you're going to go up and smoke along with your soul. And you still presume to think about the next life? The black dragon said disdainfully. He was really intimidated by Chen Tiandao. If his strength was really that strong, he would simply stop playing. It was a pity that Chen Tendao only had the power of the last strike now. As long as he resisted this strike, it was the rest of your B.A. Yong that was not enough to worry about. Chen Tendao sniffed. His face did not change color. Perhaps, even if there was no next life, he didn't care. After all, even if there was a next life, he would inevitably not carry the memories of this life. And instead of that, it would be better to have a final battle. As long as he thought there was, then there was. As long as he didn't make a decision that he would regret, that would be enough. Ba Yong, watch out for this sword of mine. Chen Tian Dao shouted explosively. The heavily Dao sword in his hand seemed to feel the call of its master. In an instant, it erupted in a crisp burst. It was as if the entire heaven and earth was enveloped by Chen Tian Dao's sword intent. Terrifying as hell. Hoomph. Ba Yong had a serious face. This was going to be the last masterpiece of the last generation of Chinese sword immortals. The power of this strike would definitely crown the ancient world. Chen Tiandao's eyes were firm. He had thought that every time he swung his sword when he was young, he was filled with a sense of invincibility. No matter how powerful the people around him were, he always broke them with a single sword. There are three million sword immortals in the sky, but even if they see him, they need to lower their eyebrows. This is what Pingan Chen said. In the past, he was able to walk out of the invincible road, and today, he would never fail to bring himself to a successful conclusion. Watch out for this sword. It's going to be awesome. Chen Tiandao slammed his hands together. And monstrous sword intent rose out of thin air. As if carrying an infinite greatness capable of destroying everything. At this moment, Chen Tiandao's magnificent figure appeared extraordinarily holy under the reflection of the countless precious swords. His powerful strength gave people the feeling of being a god. But right now, such a powerful existence actually said such words at this moment. It almost made Bayon not tense up. But in the next moment, he realized that what Chen Tiandao had said was by no means false, because this strike was really handsome. Chapter 303, I have a sword that can cut down the sun, moon, and stars, with Chen Tiandao's command. Suddenly, a huge green-colored lotus projection slowly emerged behind him. The awe-inspiring sword aura blossomed on the lotus flower. An incomparably terrifying aura echoed between heaven and earth. Powerful. Absolutely powerful. S plus grade profession. Green lotus sword immortal. Perhaps this profession was far from being as powerful as the S plus grade, but his master was Chen Tian Dao, that being who was incomparably attuned to the Dao of the sword, and it was only then that the situation of 1 plus 1 being far greater than 1 arose. In Chen Tian Dao's hands, there was no doubt that he was able to make the occupation of Green Lotus Sword Immortal realize its most powerful might. WH. What? The Black Dragon snapped his head up. He was a bit in disbelief. This was actually a human's power that had erupted. It was actually so terrifying. How else would it allow them to play with the foreign races ah? Don't look at him black dragon like this. In reality, he was already an absolute powerhouse among the foreign races. However, in the battle with Chen Tian Dao, he realized that his strength was simply not enough, and he was being suppressed almost all the way through. How could this be possible? To know, he was a black dragon. Ah, a top tier powerhouse. One of the most powerful foreign races in existence. How could he be suppressed by a mere human? The black dragon shouted angrily wanting to resist, but in the next second, it was as if a large invisible hand in the air had grabbed the black dragon fiercely, making him unable to move. Suppression. Deadly suppression. The black dragon did not expect that he would actually be suppressed to such death. Such an existence. Why would he be heavily injured? And just who had seriously injured him? And who was able to have this ability? The black dragon was at a loss for words. 
He simply did not think of any existence amongst the foreign races that could surpass the Black Dragon. Chen Tiandao smiled faintly and said blandly, You have already entered my domain, trying to escape? Chen Tiandao was very confident, perhaps no one other than himself would be able to step out of his domain. However, his time seems to be coming to an end as well. Chen Tiandao looked at his gradually dissipating body, more or less regretting ah. It was a pity that there was no time for him to think about this now. Chen Tiandao let out a furious cry, and his body's aura steeply skyrocketed several times. At the same time, Chen Tiandao's figure accelerated to dissipate, and in an instant, only half of his body remained. One strike was already the limit of Chen Tiandao at this moment, but it was enough. Behind Chen Tiandao, the massive green-colored giant lotus began to bloom, and countless golden long swords appeared out of thin air. His eyes were slightly closed as he slowly approached towards the black dragon, and with every step he took, a lotus flower would be left in its place. Step by step, a lotus flower was born. This was the highest level of the green lotus sword immortal. As an S plus grade profession, the most powerful thing about the green lotus sword immortal was that it could determine the strength of the profession based on the professional's own sword will. In other words, if you have a weak willpower and no talent for the sword path, you may only be able to utilize the effects of a B rank talent, or even far worse. However, if you have a strong sword intent and an indestructible sword heart, then this profession is simply invincible. Then this profession is simply invincible. There is no S plus level talent in the world, the so called S plus, but it is just a conjecture on the basis of S level talent. Although they were far beyond ordinary S rank talents, they still could not be categorized as SS rank talents. Whether it was Caitlin or Chen Tendao, their S plus ranked talents were considered entirely based on their own strength. If they were not strong enough, how could they not rate S plus ranked talents? If Caitlin's upper limit was from the ancient god's inheritance that allowed his profession to be upgraded to an S plus grade talent, then Chen Tendo was only able to have such strength by virtue of the longsword in his hand as well as his own powerful sword heart. This is when the truly powerful, relying solely on their own strength, if there is no strong enemy from the past, I do not know what kind of existence today's Chen Tian Dao can become. Quickly move ah, quickly move ah. The black dragon's body couldn't stop trembling. However, he couldn't move at all. This powerful aura completely locked him, let alone moving, even raising his head was a luxury. This feeling of quietly waiting for death. Fear, desperate fear. Chen Tiandao's figure had already arrived in front of the black dragon at an unknown time. Standing proudly. Don't try to resist, let alone you. So what if all the strongest of your foreign races come out? 10, 0, 0, 0 come, 10, 0, 0, 0 die. Chen Tiandao said in a cold voice. The black dragon's eyes went cold. What arrogance this was. If it wasn't for the fact that he couldn't beat him, he would have designated to rub this guy on the ground. But right now, the situation was so aggressive that he had to be honest. His body couldn't move at all ah. It seems that it's time to end this farce. Chen Tian Dao gently raised his head. There was not much time left. Watching his body turn into a point of light and float away with the wind. Chen Tian Dao always felt an endless sadness within himself. Yes, it seems that this time, it's really going to die, right? Chen Tian Dao's mind moved. And the heavily Dao sword in his hand was instantly attached to it by countless golden long swords. If one were to look closely. One would even be able to see that on top of the heavenly Dao sword, there was a slight shadow of a green lotus. I have a sword that can cut down the sun, moon and stars, Chen Tian Dao shouted, and in the next moment, endless might erupted at this moment. Chapter 304, Sweeping Everything to Death. Countless forces converged on the heavenly Dao sword, terrifying, truly terrifying. Even the long experienced Bai Yong couldn't help but be shocked when he saw the scene. Was this a strong person of the older generation? Such strength is simply terrifying. However, was it really possible to kill the black dragon? After all, this was a top foreign race that was on the human race's must kill list, and ordinary humans were not even her match. It was very suspenseful, but there was nothing Bai Yong could do. The amount of blue was restricted. He could only pin his hopes on this sword. This sword, named Shattering Heaven, means to shatter this damn heavenly destiny. Chen Tian Dao shouted explosively, and in the next moment, the power of the heavenly Dao sword climbed once again. Swish. A golden light flashed through the air. The entire heaven and earth also changed color. In a split second, the earth shook. The clouds were combed mid-sentence. And even just the aftershocks shattered hundreds of mountains. The huge body of the black dragon was neatly sliced apart as if it were a toy. There was not even a hint of procrastination. Such power. And how could it be described as more than terrifying? It was simply perverted. Chen Tian Dao smiled miserably. He could feel the life essence in his body draining away at a rapid pace. It seemed that he could only stop here. It seems like I won't be able to hold grandchildren in this life. Chen Tian Dao sighed and said. Subsequently, 
His figure quickly dissipated, and in an instant, only a head remained. When this head also completely dissipated, then there might not be a great summer sword immortal Chen Tian Dao in the world anymore. Senior, Beiyang looked at Chen Tendao with a solemn face. This senior was really a great help. If he himself, not to mention defeating the black dragon, he would be lucky to go back alive. There is no need to be too grateful to me. Our human's time is short. Life and death are common. As long as someone still remembers me in their heart, then I am still equal to living. If one forgets, then death is death. There was an indescribable spontaneity in Chen Tiandao's tone, but this spontaneity was tinged with a few points of reluctance. Chen Tiandao had always been a complicated person. It was even more so today. However, my untalented son, Trouble, if he is able to marry a daughter-in-law, he must come and visit my grave. Chen Tiandao said smilingly, he knew that there would be no such thing as an undead soul after his death, because his soul dissipated along with his life essence, and this world would have nothing but evidence that he was still alive. There would never be another person like him in the future. That's natural. Ba Young assured like you, don't worry senior, I'll definitely help you take care of your son. Ha 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 good. Chen Tiandao's head also gradually dissipated. The entire person transformed into a point of light and drifted away with the wind. The cheerful laughter still echoed in the ears, but that person was no longer there. A generation of top-tier powerhouses had fallen. Bai Yang stood in front of the land where Chen Tian Dao had left, unable to forget for a long time. He had also experienced countless partings throughout his life, and it looked like he couldn't shed a single tear, but no one knew the pain he felt inside. He once even watched his former best friend die in front of him. He could not do anything about it. Instead of getting used to it, it was more like a compromise. After a long time, Bai Yang left the place with the Red Dragon Guards. Because of the help of Chen Tian Dao this time, it resulted in them having little to no damage. Meanwhile, in the hospital of the Imperial Capital University, Chen Pinyon, who had just fainted, stood up once again. He once again pulled over the healing apparatus. He wiped away his tears like a madman, but he couldn't wipe them away. His tears simply dripped down uncontrollably in general. What happened? What happened? Chen Pingon pounded his chest in pain. He knew what had happened, but he was unwilling to admit that the invincible father was dead. However, this was why. Just then, the jade pendant in Chen Pingon's hand suddenly lit up. Congratulations, son, this jade pendant is now yours. How about it? A bit of anticipation. Here is a record of my life's work. If you can succeed, the second Chinese sword immortal will definitely be you in the future, but I don't want you to follow my old path. After all, my upper limit is there. If you can, I want you to step out of your own path, so that you can break the limit. A familiar voice came out from the jade pendant. Pingon Chen froze, selectively ignoring the question that followed. The entire person was like a bolt from the blue. What he wanted was never the jade pendant. In the blink of an eye, it seemed like he had become an orphan as well. Where was his father? Chin Pingon was lying on the bed with a pale face. He had guessed this long ago, but why was he still so sad? Why was this? Chin Pingon himself did not know. He would rather suspect that he had guessed wrongly than believe that his father was really dead. But the jade pendant of the jade pendant had been lifted. Pingon Chen remembered that Chen Tian Dao had told him that once the seal was lifted, then it meant that he had disappeared. Originally, he had thought that this day would be a long time coming, but he had not expected it to be so soon. Chen Pingon froze, his face ashen. What was next for him? And where should he go from here? Chapter 305 S Class Profession Innate Sword Body Pingon Chen held the jade pendant in both hands as he felt a deep sense of powerlessness. He had practiced sword training since he was young, day after day, year after year. It was not because he liked practicing the sword, but because his father, who had watched him grow stronger step by step, would reveal a pleased smile, and this was perhaps the greatest motivation for him to persist in practicing the sword all this time. Father died, he did not know why he wielded the sword, and in the end for what to become stronger. All along, the motivation to move forward completely disappeared. Casually, the jade pendant suddenly flashed with abundant sword chi. Chen Pingan's pupils shrank. What is this thing? Why is this sword chi so familiar? Could it be his father's sword chi? Chen Pingan looked ecstatically at the jade pendant held in his hand. If it was truly his father's sword chi, then there must be something he wanted to say in it. Pingan Chen trembled as he released the jade pendant's aura. And in the next moment, Chen Tiandao's silhouette appeared in front of him, falling into a daze again? Chen Tian Dao seemed to have anticipated this. At this moment, although he was only a residual influence, it was as if he was able to guess what was going on in the mind of Chen Pingan. Chen Pingan nodded his head heavily. It was indeed true. He had all but lost the motivation to wield his sword. He didn't even know what the point of upgrading really was. Child, no one knows you better than me. 
Your ambition can be much greater than mine. I am a former Chinese sword immortal. If you want to work hard with this as your goal, that would be a big mistake. How bright is your future? How can you compare it to me, an old man who has already died? Your talent is very strong. Believe in yourself. You are by no means as simple as you think you are. If one day your strength can be far superior to mine, I'm afraid that's where you'll start. Chen Tian Dao spoke with a lot of vigor. Chen Pingong looked at his hand somewhat incredulously. Could it be? Could he really? Inheriting his father's name, the legendary Chinese sword immortal Chen Tian Dao, such a legendary existence, would he really become it? Chen Pingong's mind was filled with thoughts. On the other hand, all the sword intent remaining from Chen Tian Dao did not stop and drilled into Pingon Chen's body with a brain. If you want to become the Du Hua Xia sword immortal of old, then you will become the Green Lotus sword immortal. But I believe that your future accomplishments will far exceed mine, and I believe even more so that you will create a path that far exceeds mine. Chen Tian Dao's voice rang in Chen Pingon's ears. Almost instantly, Pingon Chen made his decision. He finally understood that the deeply confused self that he had been in all along was completely unnecessary. He had long since ceased to be the frail self that he once was. The current him was strong enough and confident enough. It was just that all along he had felt that he couldn't do it himself. But now that he had removed the king of king dust, he was still far from having encountered a rival in the same generation. If he kept on being insincere, how could he grow into the existence that his father had hoped for? He, Chen Pingon, would definitely be able to pacify the world with a single sword. Right at this moment, the jade pendant in Pingon Chen's hand seemed to have received some kind of summons. The next moment, buzz, the jade pendant emitted a sharp popping sound, straight towards Pingon Chen. Pingon Chen dodged without dodging and ate the jade pendant hard. In a split second, Pingon Chen's aura changed drastically. Occupation, innate sword body, S rank occupation limit unknown. In an instant, Chen Pingon's occupation changed into the innate sword body. Don't look at the fact that with his previous talent being at the same S rank, it was completely inferior to choosing the S plus rank profession Green Lotus Sword Immortal. But the profession of innate sword body had room for growth. It means that he will be able to achieve the same level of S plus talent as Green Lotus Sword Immortal, and the knitting will be able to surpass him. More importantly, the innate sword body was his own path, far more suitable for himself than the Green Lotus Sword Immortal. This also meant that he had stepped out of the green shade given to him by his own father, and he had become a genius in the true sense of the word. Pingon Chen wore a smile on his face. He was able to feel the power within his body gradually skyrocket. Although he was the same S-class profession as he was just now, there was a world of difference in his strength. In time, he would be able to integrate all of his father's moves, and his strength would even be able to rise to the next level, surpassing his father. He, Pingon Chen, has this confidence. At the same time, Wang Chen had just finished his dinner, and he looked into the distance with a feeling in his heart. Dead already? Wang Chen's eyes were slightly closed. Chen Tian Dao, a top-tier powerhouse among the sword Dao. He was kind to people at the very least for Wang Chuan, and had a generous hand, but it was indeed a bit of a pity that he had died. After all, I'm afraid that such a strong person would not be able to find a second one in the whole of China. However, he had already had a death state for a long time, and he himself was by no means a saint, so it was impossible to see one and save one, not to mention, he currently did not have that ability to support him to go around saving people either. Life origin, it's still life origin ah. Wang Chuan sighed. The day of entering the primordial forest was gradually approaching, and he had to obtain the life origin from it to awaken his parents. He now immensely hoped that this day would arrive quickly, so that his parents would be able to get up again, and his own sister, too, would be able to stand up. Chapter 306 Imperial Capital Rin Family Not a single one left behind. Everything is going in the right direction ah. Wang Dust smiled faintly. Now he was strong enough to protect them. The opening of the primordial forest was also close at hand. Next. All that was needed was to settle the score with the Rin family. Thinking of this, Wang Chuan's mood couldn't help but improve. He decided that he would first kill the Rin family tomorrow, or else he would be sorry for being in such a great mood. Wang Chen put on his clothes and prepared to explore the Rin family. After all, it was the first time he had come to the Imperial Capital Rin family. So how could he do it if he left a survivor? The Imperial Rin family is full of enemies. Not one of them will be left behind. After all, born in such a family, even if there are innocent people, it is extremely rare. Rather than leaving a future problem, it is better to send them to a family reunion. Wang Chen glanced at the sleeping and Xiao Xiao and the others. Let him go by himself this time. It was better to not let them see so much blood. Wang Dust raised his hand and arranged several mechanical warriors. These mechanical warriors were at least capable of resisting level 80 powerhouses, and were more than enough to protect them. Unusual people simply couldn't take the mechanical warriors. 
It was estimated that only the top handful of people in the imperial capital could pose a threat to their own mechanical warriors, but they moved their hands to try one? As long as they dared to make a move, he would come back with a spatial transfer. After all, he, Wine Dust, was able to go home at any time. Going home Wine Dust, terrifying as it is. Wang Dust glanced out the window and decided to make a trip to the treasure pavilion first. He had to go there to buy some things, not because he needed life-preserving props or anything, but he felt that he couldn't let these guys die too easily. He had to make them regret coming to this world from the bottom of their hearts. Wang Chuan's eyes were cold as he looked in the direction of Renjadu, land of chaos. Ba Yang sighed as he looked at the mess in front of him. A generation of sword immortals had finally fallen. Alas, Ba Yang let out a long sigh. Even for someone as powerful as him, there were still many things that he could not do anything about. Perhaps in the eyes of ordinary people, being a top-tier powerhouse was enough for him to be proud of everyone in the world. After all, in the eyes of ordinary people, the Red Dragon Guards were simply like gods that existed. And many things that even gods couldn't do could be done by the Red Dragon Guards in their eyes. Red Dragon Guards, is the symbol of strength, is the faith in the hearts of all people, even if it is not seen once in a lifetime, but so what? They know that those corrupt officials in front of the Red Dragon Guards are like street rats. They do not dare to provoke the existence of the Red Dragon Guards in the eyes of the Red Dragon Guards do not even dare to put a fart. This is the power of the Red Dragon Guards. In fact, the Red Dragon Guards are far from invincible. Bai Yang profoundly know. If the Red Dragon Guards are truly invincible, then he, and whether it is like now so face anything are powerless? Obviously it is impossible. Red Dragon Guards may be very strong. But in the face of those who are really powerful existence, red dragon guards may be very weak. At the very least, this is the case in front of us. Bai Yang full state may be able to take down the black dragon, but just like that situation, only people who are not afraid to die can do to kill the black dragon. Obviously, Bai Yang had too many concerns in his mind. Once he reached his strength, there would be many things to worry about. Bai Yang had to be like this in order to protect the red dragon guards under his jurisdiction. What's more, behind him, it wasn't just the Red Dragon Guards, he was the hardened bulwark of the trillions of people in Huaxia, and if he died, it would be tantamount to the collapse of faith. He couldn't afford the consequences at that time. As a Zhengguo level of existence, why would he not sigh from time to time because of his own weakness? If he was really strong to the extent that no one could match him, if he was so powerful that no one could match him, so powerful that even the heavens and the earth would submit to him, then, I'm afraid there's no need for him to be afraid of anything anymore. He would even be able to expel all the foreigners from the human territory and execute all of them without leaving a single one. The ideal was rich, but the reality was cruel. He should not talk about expelling all of them. Even letting the humans languish and shrink in the corners was already considered the limit. Blue Star was big, especially especially big, and the territory inhabited by humans combined was probably less than 10%. Bayon looked at Chintendo's broken sword for a long time. He had faced this kind of scene countless times, even though he was endlessly saddened inside, he still needed to act like nothing was wrong on the surface. Bayon took a few deep breaths. Turning his head, he looked at the corpse of the black dragon. The demonic body of such a huge top-tier foreign race was definitely an unrivaled treasure for Huaxia. Not to mention how much dragon meat there was in this 99, 900 feet long black dragon. A single drop of blood from its body alone was conservatively estimated to cost hundreds of millions of Huaxia coins. With such a huge body, it simply simply could be described as immeasurable. After all, this kind of existence is extremely rare. Basically need every big power of the top of the powerful to fight for their lives. I'm afraid to have a chance. And China, there just happened to be. It is not an exaggeration to say that this half-black dragon is enough to buy any small country. Its value is simply incalculable. Chapter 307 Unexpected Changes Sudden Changes in Circumstances These things must be brought back. Bai Yong ordered the Red Dragon Guards to carry the Black Dragon. He himself sat down in front of Chen Tendeo's broken sword. Perhaps we did not know each other before. And I have merely heard of your great name. Before today, I thought that no one in this world was my opponent. And you have shown me what it means to be a strong person and what it means to be a senior. As a junior, I should bow to you. Bai Yang bowed deeply. A gourd appeared in his hand at some point. It was filled with his most treasured agar jelly. This gourd, weekdays he put aside for a few days before he could afford to open the plug and smell it a few months before dropping a drop, only a few years before he could afford to drink a mouthful. Every time you drink up, you will feel that this wine is only because of the sky. The earth can have a few times to hear. After all, this jelly is only a few bottles in China. Not only can enhance the qualifications, repair dark wounds, the flavor is even more remarkable. In the black market, I'm afraid that a few drops are worth hundreds of millions of Chinese coins. 
Not only that, this is still a priceless existence, but today, he felt that this wine should never be enjoyed by himself. No, instead of saying that, it would be better to say that this wine in this world, perhaps only sort immortal senior worthy of drinking, this kind of great righteousness, there is no second in the ancient times. Bayong poured the agar and jade liquid down the hilt of the broken sword, from top to bottom, even his subordinates were shocked by this scene. What was his own head doing? The top grade agar jade liquid that one normally couldn't afford to take a sip of, was actually, at this moment, being poured down all of it in such a big way. It was the first time they had seen their head actually show such a sad expression. Bayong had just poured down the liquor. The broken broken sword instantly bloomed with light. What is this? Bayong raised his eyebrows. He had a premonition as if something big had happened in general. He had just wanted to be a bit curious as to why the black dragon, as a powerhouse of the other fey gatherings, would come to the land of chaos. Where was the ruler of the land of chaos itself? Why wasn't he around anymore? There was definitely something fishy about these things. As for what it was, Bayong didn't know right now. But looking in the direction that this broken sword was pointing, could it be? Bayong's pupils shrunk. Could it be that Chen Tian Dao discovered something before he dissipated? Only then did he use his entire body to throw the broken sword here. That's right, at that last moment, Chen Tian Dao was as if he was in the realm of realization. Perhaps anything in this chaotic place would never be able to escape his eyes. Taking a look around, he realized that there was nothing. But the broken sword at the moment issued a burst of buzzing. It is pointing to the ground. Could it be? The real vision is under the ground. Bayan's head seemed to be hit by a heavy hammer. This matter, it doesn't look simple. Something is going to happen. He had a premonition that what was hidden deep under the ground was by no means simple. This was a premonition from a strong man. Bai Yong took a deep look at the underground. The situation was very critical. He had to adjust his state as fast as possible. It was necessary to speed up the pace. This might be the important thing that would upend Huaxia, Imperial Capital. Wang Dust glanced at the signboard of the Gathering Treasure Pavilion above his head. Not bad. It felt a lot more luxurious than the last time he came. It seems that the strength of the treasure pavilion is increasing with each passing day. Apart from those top families, looking at the outside world, who didn't know that the one who won the top prize won the world? Once Wang Chen's name was used as a signboard, I'm afraid that there would be countless people who would want to come to the treasure pavilion to buy things. And of course, the reality was exactly the same. In addition to the living signboard of Wang Duan, Jubao Pavilion has its own brand of good quality and low price. The brand's own advantages of good quality and low price cannot be discarded. This also makes the treasure pavilion become the most popular place to buy in the imperial capital and even in the whole of Huaxia. As soon as Wang Chuan entered, the receptionist at the door instantly reacted and was ready to go in and look for the supervisor. Wang Dust waved his hand, signaling him not to do that. After all, he had come out this time to play a low profile, and it would be meaningless if he was too high profile. This was because apart from being able to purchase things, the treasure pavilion had another advantage. That was that it was very close to the Rin family almost only a stone's throw away. Otherwise, there was no need for him to go through all the trouble of coming here. His purpose was to bring down the Rin family. The receptionist instantly understood, and immediately nodded for Wang Chuan to enter. Wang Chuan glanced around and realized that the atmosphere here seemed a bit off Ah, -off. The eyes of the people around seemed to be looking at themselves intentionally or unintentionally. Other than the staff of the treasure pavilion itself, everyone else's eyes seemed to carry so much. Hostile? Wang Chen was a little unsure as to why these people had such a heavy hostile aura about them. Was it towards themselves, or were they? It's not right. It's 9 out of 10. Wang Dust did not move and checked their attribute panel. As long as a normal person's attribute panel was hidden or props were used, even a 100 level powerhouse wouldn't necessarily be able to spy on them. But Wang Chuan was different. The probing eye that came with the profession of super god mechanic was even able to directly ignore anything that it hid. This was also the reason why Wang Chuan had always been able to probe no matter who he was. Otherwise, with his rank and authority, he wouldn't be able to probe that much information. Chapter 308 Run Family's Ambush Do not probe do not know. A probe shock. After this probe, Wang Dust realized that these guys, actually all are Run Family people. One by one, the whole damn surname run. Do not be so outrageous. This is not the treasure pavilion? Why are there so many members of the Rin family? Wang Chuan observed the environment of the treasure pavilion and realized that this place seemed to have been carefully arranged for him. What was going on here? Could it be, the gathering treasure pavilion had betrayed him? He had directly betrayed him. But what good would that do to the gathering treasure pavilion? Wang Dust was somewhat puzzled. After all, the treasure pavilion had no reason to kill him. The Ren family was now like a grasshopper on top of a hot pot, with the possibility of a thunderstorm at any time. And unlike himself, 
no matter which way he looked at it, he was definitely the meat and potatoes of the meat and potatoes. Wang Chen looked at the receptionist who had entertained him earlier. Actually, his surname was also Ren. Wang Chuan's eyes were not without shock. How in the world did the Ren family do it? As expected, to be able to become a tumor in the imperial capital and even the entire China, it was absolutely impossible to do so without a bit of extraordinary means. And the scanning tower he had just shot out told him that traces of a fight seemed to have erupted here. But the commotion was very small, and the fight even lasted only a handful of minutes before it ended. Such a speed was obviously only possible when there was a huge gap between the strength of the two parties. But what was the reason for all this? Could it be that the Ren family had anticipated that they would be able to arrive? No, impossible. No matter who you are, it is impossible for anyone to trace your movements. Even if the Red Dragon Guards led by Bai Yong arrived in person, it would never be possible. What's more, he was improvising this time. It was unlikely that anyone would reveal his whereabouts. If there was, he would even have to wonder if he had betrayed himself. Since all these options could be ruled out, doesn't that mean, the Ren family had not predicted this place, but rather had cast a wide net to catch more fish, preparing to lay a dragnet and then eliminate themselves in one fell swoop? These were quite possible. After all, he had already offended the Ren family to death, and there would be no room for detente between them. But of course, Wang Chen did not need this so-called room for detente. For him, the Ren family was just like dogs and pigs. As long as he wanted to slaughter them, he could destroy them with his own hands. As for consideration, what does Wang Chen have to worry about? As long as he was prevented from avenging his parents, then he should be killed. More appropriate enemy itself. Ren family. Wang Chuan looked around. The hall was full of people he had changed to kill. Interesting, interesting ah. The corners of Wang Dust's mouth rose. He couldn't wait to go on a killing spree right now. Who to kill first later? Should we kill them together, or one by one? So torn. Just then, two sneaky Ren family members whispered. He seems to have found us. What to do? Ch. How is it possible? A mere level 50 plus brat. This is something that is simply impossible. The people next to him were skeptical. But it was indeed so. If it really was a casual person who was able to recognize them, their Rin family would have already been destroyed. Where would they still be as strong as they are now? With the current strength of the Ren family? Not to mention looking at the whole of China. Even if you look at the whole world as the most powerful handful. In this world, no one can underestimate the strength of the Ren family. Right at this moment, Wang Chengdu's figure silently came behind them. What are you guys discussing? Let me hear? Wang Chen smiled faintly, but his smile looked like a devil in the eyes of these people. Help! Help! Before the two could speak, they were killed by Wang Chuan with a single strike. With Wang Chen's strength, killing two 70-level powerhouses was as simple as crushing an ant. However, the Run family, it actually had so many 70-level powerhouses? This was indeed quite surprising. However, if we look at it in conjunction with Rin Rushue's news, it is not surprising. Scum who sold their souls for the sake of the foreigners, even if they gained power. So what? After all, they were just ugly monsters. It was only then that everyone realized that Wang Chen had already discovered them at some point, and the strength he had just displayed could be called absolutely terrifying. How could such strength be as simple as just being over 50 levels? Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Only then did the crowd realize that the Wang Chen in front of them, who had been classified as a public enemy by the Ren family, was definitely not as simple as he appeared to be. How could an ordinary scholar have such strength? Then there was only one answer. Then it was good that Wang Chen had hidden his strength. Plus, he had used some special means to be able to kill these two 70-level powerhouses, but if he had encountered a group of them attacking him, how would he have one? What would he win with? How do you look at it? Wang Dust has no chance of winning. Wang Dust slightly raised his head. These little Karami really didn't have a clear idea of their own strength. In that case, don't blame him. It's time to give the Rin family a little shock, or else the Rin family will really take themselves as a dish. Other people are afraid of the Rin family, but he, Wang Chen, is not afraid. Chapter 309, Second Kill. Wang Dust counted these Rin family members. There weren't many, just 20 or so. It didn't feel like it was enough to kill them. Wang Chuan pulled out his ears. More than killing you guys, I'm more interested in why you guys knew that I would come here. Could it be that? Has your Rin family infiltrated so badly? But that's right. Wang Chen pondered. Worthy of being the Rin family that served as a dog to the foreign races. Such an awareness. It was simply a disgrace to the human race. When others were in a desperate situation, they had to fight to the death. But only the Rin family knelt down and begged for forgiveness. Wang Dust looked at these Rin family people. His palms felt like they were already a bit eager to fight. He really wanted to go on a killing spree first now. After all, as long as these Rin family fellows stood here, 
he had a bit of an urge to go up and slap them twice. It couldn't be helped. Who called the Rin family too indebted? Che, seriously, we really didn't expect you to come here. To tell you the truth, this huge imperial capital, almost everywhere is planted with the Rin family. As long as you dare to appear, then what will be waiting for you will be our Rin family swarm of attack. A mere scholar, you want to step on my Rin family's head? I tell you, no way. A mere glowing fire, to actually presume to compare to the white moon. Look at you to see if you have the strength to do so? The man at the head said disdainfully. In his tone, it seemed that he had never placed Wang Chen in his eyes. They Rin family looked at anyone who wasn't like this, as if there was nothing in the entire world that was looked upon by their Rin family. It could be before was before, and now is now. Their Rin family would probably never think that the day of being trampled underfoot would soon come, right? Do I have the strength? Wang Chan snorted. These guys, they really didn't realize the seriousness of the problem. Wouldn't really think that these guys would be able to cell phone their opponents. A rabble was still a rabble even if there were more of them. Of course you don't have the strength. You don't really think that our Rin family hasn't prepared anything, do you? Why do you think I just waited for you for so long? The corners of the Rin family's mouths were smiling. Although they thought that Wang Chen did not have that strength, they were not completely brainless. Just now, Wang Chuan was able to kill those two 70 level ones. So naturally, he could kill the rest of them. Rabbits would bite when they were anxious, and they would not make foolproof preparations. How could they possibly make a move? No, the boundary had just been set. If Wang Chuan had just run away with all his strength, they would definitely not be able to take him. But now, then, they would obediently bind their hands. In an instant, a dark blue cage completely trapped Wang Chen within it. Kissing mom entanglement. The person from the Ren family shouted. Up to this point, all the people of the Ren family thought that this time was foolproof. Wang Chuan bind your hands. If you bind your hands now, I'll leave you alive. You're a dragon rising scholar. Who can't go against anyone but our Ren family? You don't know what's good for you in this imperial capital. I think you're going to live and die. Forget it in this life. Don't mess with the Ren family in your next life. Wang Chen smiled contemptuously. This thing that is like paper is also worthy of being called a boundary? It's not an exaggeration to say that he could pick up a random rock from the street and it would be stronger than this thing. Just when the crowd felt that they had already decided to eat Wang Chuan. Who knew? Wang Chen made an unexpected move at this moment. Only to see that Wang Chen gently placed his hand on top of the barrier. In the next second, the arm slightly exerted force. Rumble. The barrier that originally looked impenetrable was actually as if it was made of paper at this moment. And it directly dried up and shattered. What? Just as the Rin family crowd was shocked, the corners of Wang Dust's mouth rose. This was shocked? It wasn't over yet. Wang Chuan's figure instantly disappeared in place. What? What speed? The crowd exclaimed in astonishment. This was not at all like the appearance of utilizing a skill, but rather absolute speed. That is to say, even if Wang Chuan relied on the speed of his physical body alone, he would be able to make them divine lords unable to even see the remnants of their shadows? What kind of terror was this? Such power was simply not something a human could possess. More aptly, one should call him a monster. What was the difference between such power and a monster? Just as the crowd was still in shock, Wang Chuan's figure removed everyone's heads in a near instant. Seconds, everyone suddenly went black before their eyes and their bodies fell straight to the ground. This was only Wang Chuan's first step. Chapter 310 Run Family's Arrogance Wang Dust patted the dust on his clothes. All of the Rin family members had died while Wang Dust was only slightly dirty on the corners of his clothes. Don't look at Wang Dust fighting so easily. But a 70-level existence was considered a phoenix-like powerhouse in the outside world, enough to be a teacher at a top university. In a city such as Luohai City, a 70-level existence could be nearly invincible inside such a small city. And naturally, in big cities, they were also considered to be strong on one side. After Wang Chuan killed them, he still felt that there was something wrong, and it felt as if the progress was going a little too smoothly. Wang Chuan instinctively sensed that something was not quite right. These people, they didn't necessarily want to kill themselves as simple as that. The Ren family was already at the tip of the storm, and they had sent out so many people in order to kill themselves. Was it possible? It should be unlikely. Not to mention the fact that they had sent such a large number of 70 level powerhouses. So if you did the math like that then it would be even more unlikely. Things were definitely not as simple as they appeared. But what else would be worth the Ren family dispatching so many people? Wang Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. Could it be? It suddenly occurred to him that Ren Rushua's memory seemed to have the Ren family nearly holding the lifeblood of China, and that they had a large number of S-class professionals in their hands, and perhaps these S-class professionals were not considered to be geniuses themselves, but they plundered the S-class talent of geniuses. 
such a huge base of s rank talent could completely reach the level of holding the Son of Heaven hostage. Put it this way, the Ren family made such a big commotion, is it hard to believe that it is? In order to gather s rank talents, as long as all the Ren family members with s rank talent gathered together, even if the Red Dragon Guards were stronger, it was probably impossible for them to lay their hands on their Ren family. A natural shield at this point, ha, Ren family, Ren family, really good tactics. Wang Chuan couldn't help but admire the Rin family head of the imperial capital. Sure enough, this fellow deserved to be an existence capable of achieving such a high position. Whether it was intelligence or strategy, it was far above that old thing in Luohai City. It seemed like he knew that with Rin Rushua dead, it would be hard to keep their secret. It's a pity. This Rin family missed one point. In addition to Wang Chuan, anyone else might be afraid of the number of S-class professionals he had brought with him, and thus might not be able to kill them and would eventually pay lip service to the matter, but he was the only one who wouldn't, no matter who it is, as long as it's from the Rin family, passing earthworms have to be split in half vertically, and the eggs in the chicken coop are given to him to shake the yellow cluck, obviously, there wasn't much time left now, and he needed to seize the time to directly inflict a thunderous blow on the Rin family, right at this moment, thud, thud, um, someone help me, the cabinet in the front desk suddenly made a loud banging sound, what followed was the sound of someone calling for help. Someone? Wang Dust thought that all the people in the treasure pavilion were gone. It seemed that there was still one here, but one that was actually tied up? Wang Dust opened the cabinet. He saw a sack moving around. Wang Dust is a little speechless. These guys still the whole sack. Set away is it? Wang Dust casually removed the sack. A cloaked woman was struggling hard. Ah, uh, ah, uh, save me. The cloaked woman stammered. Her mouth was stuffed with a towel and it was hard for her to even speak right now. Damn it. Wang Dust fixed his eyes on it. Wasn't this the front desk from before in the treasure pavilion? Zhou Yu Yu. When Zhou Yu Yu saw Wang Chuan, her face was delighted. After a burst of unbinding, Zhou Yu Yu looked at Wang Dust with palpitations. What exactly happened here? Why did they kidnap you? Wang Chan asked with a frown. Although he had always looked down on the Rin family, they were not so arrogant as to enter someone else's capital territory to kidnap someone else. What exactly was the reason here? to actually do such a thing, whether it was the distortion of human nature or the degeneration of morality, luckily there's you, wah, Zhou Yu Yu almost cried out, he had been tied up for most of the day, however, she didn't delay things and quickly adjusted herself, I don't know what these masked men are, suddenly in the afternoon, taking advantage of the small number of people, they directly forced their way in, no matter who, as long as they were in the middle of the treasure pavilion, they were all taken away, saying that they wanted to sacrifice something, and I happened to be taking a lunch break in the lounge at that time, and dodged a bullet, I saw with my own eyes that Sister Gu was taken away, their methods were extremely brutal, as long as there was the intention to resist, they would immediately be beaten, and they simply didn't care if they died or lived, it seems, it seems that it doesn't matter at all if they let these people live or die, I had intended to escape after they left to call the police, but did not expect, I hid in the closet to call the police do not know how to be known by them, direct violence to me arrested, just ready to even send me away together you came, scared me to death, Zhou Yu Yu said, while palpitating and patted her chest, said to the back is said a handful of snot and tears, this was the first time she had encountered such a thing, it was really too scary, such a big commotion outside as if no one knows, he even watched Gu resist being beaten half to death, these guys were simply demons, there's actually such a thing, Wang Chuan's face was grave, sure enough, none of these Rin family people were good, all of them were born awe, he was likewise a bit puzzled. It was reasonable to say that the commotion here was not small. How come no one in the outside world knew about it? Chapter 311 I don't eat beef. In that case there didn't seem to be many possibilities. Either the Rin family improperly killed these people completely, or they were using this tactic to threaten the Red Dragon Guards. It shouldn't be the latter. If it was to threaten the Red Dragon Guards, there was absolutely no need for this. A bunch of Rin family members with S-class talent was already enough to check and balance the Red Dragon Guards. There was no need to risk angering the Red Dragon Guards by taking so many people captive. Taking so many people captive would only make the ending counterproductive. Then these can be because of what? Could it be? Wang Chuan had a bad feeling in his heart. King of the Blood Devils? This guy seems to be from the Blood Demon Clan. And Zhou Ye Ye just mentioned the matter of sacrifices. It can't be. Alarm bells suddenly rang in Wang Chuan's heart. Not right. It was not like that either. Now there were many mysteries in front of Wang Chuan and there were many problems waiting for Wang Chuan to solve. All of this had to be known only when he, Wang Chuan, completely purged the Ren family ah. I know, don't worry, I will kill all of these guys without leaving a single one behind. 
You can rest assured here. By the way, don't go to the police. I have my solution to the problem. Wang Dust narrowed his eyes. His tone was undeniable. Zhou Yeye nodded heavily. She had completely just walked on the edge of death once already, totally not wanting to risk her life again. It was just too dangerous out there. Wang Chan sent out diggers, with the treasure gathering pavilion as the center. Hundreds of scanning towers gradually appeared under the ground of the imperial capital. This time, he was going to kill everyone in the Rin family. All of them, leaving no one behind. By the way, do you have anything here that probes other people's bloodline? Props that can still be tracked even if they are thousands of miles away as long as they have a bloodline. Wang Chuan asked, if there was such a prop, the Rin family would definitely be unable to escape. Ah, this kind of thing? Zhou Yeye said that he couldn't understand Similac. Not being able to understand it, he still quickly pulled up the information in the store. There it is. Zhou Yiyu then had a happy face and handed over the information in his hand to Wang Chen. Props, Miles Tracking Talisman. Grade, Diamond. Function, when you use this prop. You can use the 10,000 miles tracking talisman as a medium. Along with the scent of the item that needs to be tracked, you can track the things that are connected to that item. And under the 10,000 miles tracking talisman, there is nothing to hide from. Wang Dust nodded. It would be much more convenient to have this item. Put the account on Ren's head. When your supervisor comes back let him ask for it. Wang Dust's heart burst with playfulness. With his current worth, he definitely wouldn't lack the money for a diamond grade prop in the district. It's just that there's a Rin family that's about to be wiped out. After this trip, perhaps there will be no more Rin family between heaven and earth. He might as well make use of it. Ah, oh oh. Zhou Yu Yu nodded her head repeatedly. Although she didn't know what kind of relationship Wang Chen had with the Rin family. But since this scholar had said it, it must be true. It was estimated that even if Zhou Yu Yu could not think of it, I'm afraid that the Rin family would not live to see the next day. Wang Dust's mouth was smiling. The feeling of keeping score was really cool. It was just a pity that the Rin family would be lost. Zhou Yeye quickly fetched five miles tracking talismans from the treasury. This kind of thing was not much in their treasure pavilion. After all, no one uses this kind of thing. However, five of them were enough for Wang Chen to use. Wang Chen reached out and grabbed it. And the body of Ren's family member appeared in his hand. Casually, he threw it on top of the 10,000 miles tracking talisman. In the next moment, the 10,000 miles tracking talisman instantly turned into countless streams of light and entered Wang Chuan's mind. Wang Chen's eyes closed slightly. A huge wave of information surged out in his mind. Wang Chuan opened his eyes, and a monstrous killing intent surged out from Wang Chuan. This Rin family, it really has a lot of guts. Wang Chuan muttered. It actually dares to be in such a place. No wonder ah, all of this has finally smoothed out. Why was he treated as a subject for the first experiment? And why did the Rin family learn that he destroyed Rin Inian and wanted not to do everything in his power to kill himself but to strive for self-preservation? So that's how it is. The depth of the layout is unprecedented. Rin family plans are not small. Unfortunately, he chose himself. If he hadn't pushed himself to the brink of extinction, maybe the Rin family would have succeeded. If he had driven him to extinction, the Rin family would have succeeded. But the Rin family should never have done such a thing. Retribution would eventually come to the head of the Rin family. Obviously. The Rin family's retribution was him. Wang Chuan. Wang Dust's eyes gradually glowed with a cold light. It turned out that the beginning of everything was this Luo Hai city. Just wait. Run family. Soon. He would soon be able to change the position on each of their heads to a home. This is all fast. So what? Why don't you have a meal before you leave? Zhou Yeye asked tentatively. He was scared by what Wang Chen just did. She was afraid that Wang Chen would be chopped by her in the next second. Boy. Such a powerful aura. Is it really an 18-year-old boy who broke out? He had known that Wang Chen was strong before, but no one had told him that Wang Chen was actually this strong. Zhou Yeye instantly felt that she had lived these 20 years to the dogs. She didn't know if it was an illusion or not. She even felt that as long as Wang Chuan wanted to, she would explode and die with just one look. It was really too terrifying. I'll come for breakfast at 8 o'clock the next day. What good things do you have in the treasure pavilion to make for me? Remember, I don't eat beef. Wang Dust said indifferently. Zhou Yeye sniffed and just wanted to agree, but suddenly she felt that something was wrong. Chapter 312 Iron Ox Beef Noodle No, they are not a breakfast store. And what does it have to do with eating beef or not? If you want to eat beef, you might as well go to Iron Cow Beef Noodle, a bowl of beef noodles with no beef at all. All iron. Wang Dust did not say anything more. Super got armed. In the next moment, a helmet instantly appeared on Wang Chen's face, completely enveloping his entire person. The light wings behind Wang Chuan instantly unfolded. Terrifying power instantly swept across the entire scene. Zhou Yiyu looked at Wang Chen with a shocked expression. Such strength. Terrifying as hell. 
worthy of being a dragon ascending scholar, he is indeed the top student of the college entrance exam, terrifying, absolutely terrifying, how handsome, with a flap of his wings, Wang Dust's entire body instantly transformed into a stream of light and disappeared in place, at the same time, Ran family, the Rin family head's face was blue, another death in the family was definitely not good news, ever since they had gotten into this Wang Chen fellow, their Rin family hadn't had a lot of deaths, this kid really deserved to die, but unfortunately, now was not the time to settle scores with Wang Chen, there were still more urgent matters waiting for him to deal with, after all, there are too many powerful people in the imperial capital, he can't make trouble in the imperial capital, but it's different if it's in Luohai city, that place had been transformed by the Rin family into a lot of good things, as long as all of the Rin family's transplanted S-class talents were gathered together, then the district Wang Duan would be nothing to worry about, as long as there were that many geniuses with S-class talent, I'm afraid that China would be the Rin family's say from now on, however, according to the news from the front, it seems that his own clan members were killed by Wang Chen, this kid is really hateful, why did he have to stare at his Rin family's people, if there is a way to heaven and you don't go, there is no door to hell and you have to come, in this kind of juncture to the Rin family to drop stones, wait until the crisis is lifted, there must be no Wang dust good fruit to eat ah, how is the summoning of the many Rin family members scattered all over the place going, the Rin family head looked at the Rin family grand elder and asked, everything has been handled properly, and if there are no surprises, we will be able to rush through tonight, according to the statistics, the Ren family now has a total of 50 S-ranked professionals, 200 A-ranked professionals, and a number of B-ranked professionals. This force is an extremely feared existence even when looking at the outside world. It is estimated that even the Red Dragon Guards are not qualified to clamor with us. The Ren family's grand elder said calmly. The corners of the Ren family's mouth corked as his face showed joy. It seemed that the day for his Ren family to turn over their serfs and sing had finally arrived. Their Ren family had been silent for too long so long that no family took their Rin family seriously, it was a pity that such days would soon be able to pass, their Rin family was bound to be invincible in the entire world, who would have thought that so many people from the Rin family would be hiding in this small noodle shop, it was really not going to make Wang Duan whole, if you're here, you'll be at peace, Wang Chuan pushed the door to enter, the shopkeeper saw Wang Dust's face and instantly froze, but he quickly reacted, MD, how did I meet this bee cub here, can't make a mistake at this kind of juncture ah, but at any other time the boss would have directly taken Wang Dust down, but not now, the store owner took a deep breath, he swore that he would agree to whatever request Wang Chuan made later, at the very least, he would keep this grandpa here and drag him out until everyone from the Rin family came over, hello, welcome to Iron Ox Beef Noodle, the store owner looked at Wang Chuan with a smile, those who didn't know thought that this guy was a good thing, with that kind eyebrow, it was as if he hadn't killed anyone, an honest, honest man, I'll just take a casual look, you go about your business, Wang Dust said indifferently, okay, okay, the shopkeeper was looking at Wang Chuan's eyes that were looking straight at his own eyes, this kid was just a freshman student, why is he so scary, couldn't it be that he recognized himself, this also can not ah, he is just an ordinary shopkeeper, our shelved here hidden decades, not to mention Wang Chuan, is to let the red dragon guards to investigate, but also absolutely impossible to investigate any problem, Wang Dust swept a glance at the store, not big, just such a little tiny place, it was indeed unlikely that there were many people hidden, but the 10,000 miles tracking talisman would not lie, Wang Chuan did not move and placed a scanning tower under the ground, this time, he must dig out the entire Rin family without even leaving their pants, a mere Rin family, does it presume to turn over the sky, you, hello, a quiet looking young girl stammered, she looked at Wang Chen coming from this side, she was scared, oh, Wang Dust fixed his eyes and saw the trembling young girl with a sneaky man beside her, my name is Rin Yu, he is my brother, before Rin Yu's words fell, a pistol suddenly appeared in Wang Chen's hand, Bayu, Rin Yu's brother's chest was instantly opened up by Wang Chuan with a large hole, blood splattered on Rin Yu's face, giving Rin Yu the fright of trembling, not daring to move, this this this, Rin Yu was dumbfounded, although she was not strong, only level 65, her brother was a level 70 powerhouse, he was actually killed by Wang Chen in seconds, that's fine, but what's with the pistol in your hand? We are now the era of the transmigrator. Ordinary pistol to the transmigrator is not even a little threat. Right. Ten or so levels of the transmigrator can catch bullets with their bare hands. The key is this useless pistol. Second is 70 level strong man ah. Chapter 313, let's make a bet. Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. Nine out of ten. Using a pistol to kill a 70 level professional is not scientific at all. And pulling out a pistol in this day and age doesn't fit the laws of combat. 
What the hell is going on here? If this was converted into damage, this small bullet would be able to deal tens of millions of damage at the very least. According to the law of conservation of energy, this is simply impossible. Ren Yu was shocked. Unexpectedly, this Wang Chen did not follow the rules at all. Originally, she had wanted to sell her beauty to seduce Wang Chuan, but she didn't expect this guy to move so fast. This, this is my brother's father killer. From the pretty country specially rushed to China, in order to take my head from thousands of miles away. If not for you, I must die miserably in his hands today. Big brother I really love you to death. Yu Piaozua has not met a bright master in half of her life. If the benefactor does not give up, my concubine would like to give her body to him. Ran Yu's head was like experiencing a cosmic explosion, thinking so fast that it almost turned her head to smoke. After saying this, Ren Yu straightened her proud breasts and made a gesture to stick towards Wang Chuan's body. Wang Chuan was shocked. I shit. Looking for a reaction so fast? Just alive or your own brother it? Died to become your brother's father's enemy? That is to say, your brother's father's enemy is not your father's enemy? What's wrong with you? Are you half-brothers and half-sisters? If that's the case, then the Ren family is horrible. It might even do something out of the ordinary. Wang Chen stared at Ren Yu with a deadly stare. Egu, shy. Ran Yu instantly laughed a little, jokingly, with his looks, not to mention mesmerizing a district's Wang Chuan, even the governor would have to fall under his pomegranate skirt ah. Ran Yu feigned a slight blush, looks very shy, he could have a poisonous heart. In his mind, he had already thought of a set of silky little streaks, waiting for Ren's family to arrive to torture Wang Dust. There was no way, not to come to the people to fight. Before that, he could only slightly sell his color. Wang Chen finally came back to his senses. Born evil Ren family. This pussy face looks like you want to slap it twice. Wang Chen reached out and yanked Ren Yu over. The red color on Ren Yu's face became a few points redder. This guy is in such a hurry? This is ready to kiss him? Alas, there is no way. Who let her natural beauty is difficult to abandon it. Bored a pair of calamity of the country and the people pouring the country into the city of the top of the world face. Have such a face value. Not to mention take a small Wang Chuan. That is... To take the governor of the Tianning province is also a hand to pinch it. Ren Yu eyes slightly closed, ready to refuse to welcome their cherry mouth dedication out. For the sake of the Ren family, he had to do it today. Slap. A crisp slap sounded in the air. Ren Yu froze. He looked at Wang Chun with some incredulity. He, how could he, actually dared to hit her? Before Ren Yu could react, Wang Chun slapped him in the face again. This face of yours, you really owe it to yourself. Wang Chuan wiped his hand. Smacking this kind of person's face simply dirted his hand, but he couldn't do it without smacking, he couldn't help it, his face was sticking out in front of him, wasn't it a gift to him to smack, why are you smoking me, Ren Yu looked at Wang Chen with some incredulity, her face was swollen high, originally it could still be considered a little beauty, now it feels similar to a pig head, youthful pig headed girls don't meet gun toting seniors, sorry, I really couldn't help it, I was so focused on pumping the gun that I forgot to pump you, Wang Chuan backhanded and smoked another big DD pocket. Ran Yu's teeth were all knocked down a few by this slap. Wang Chen's force was just too much. She simply couldn't hold back. You you you, won't recognize me. Ran Yu pointed at Wang Chen and said with some shock. It shouldn't be ah, just a scumbag from the Rin family. Sit down honestly. Wang Dust had a bland face. Ran Yu instantly felt like a clown. People had obviously recognized him as a Rin family. She still put aside this kiss and received two slaps for nothing. But this kid's power is really strong ah, actually with props that can kill his brother in seconds. Ren Yu looked at his brother's body subconsciously shrunk. Fortunately, she did not seek death. And now she had developed a sense of fear towards Wang Chen. No wonder the family members wanted to kill him. A demon with such a terrifying strength, if he wasn't put to death, where would their Rin family's face go? Fortunately, the one who died was not her. She was still alive. As long as she waited until the Rin family's people came, she would be able to walk out. Yes, everything was moving towards a good place. It was just a matter of being slapped twice. Small problem, not a big problem. Listen, what's his name ring you? I'll make a bet with you. If you win, I'll let the two of you go. If you lose, the two of you, including the Rin family, none of you will survive. Wang Dust played with the flavor. Ren Yu was shocked in his heart. This guy, actually prepared to kill them. This guy was actually able to say such words without changing his face. Was this guy a devil? Regardless of how she internally cataloged Wang Chuan, at this moment, Ren Yu had to watch carefully as Wang Chuan spoke. Otherwise, she would die. It didn't matter if the store owner died, but she couldn't die. Only two days ago, she had airlifted a few oompas over from the Taiji countryside, and she hadn't even enjoyed herself yet. You're going to be killed by Wang Chen? No, 
Absolutely not. He must live. Chapter 314 Iron Ox Beef Noodle to have a bowl to taste. Aha! Uh -huh. What bet ah big brother? Rang Yu forced to smile. Looking at the pistol in Wang Chuan's hand that was able to kill her brother in one shot, she could not help but feel a little hairy in the middle of her heart. Was this guy a freak? Even if he was so powerful, he actually liked to play this kind of tactic to provoke people's hearts. This guy is simply a monster ah. In his opinion, it was better not to let the Rin family be the villain. He, Wang Chen, is the true villain ah. Let's bet on whether or not I have scallions in my noodles. After all, I'm the person who dislikes chopped scallions the most. Wang Dust said indifferently. Just, it's that simple? Ron Yu's face was bursting with joy. If really this one was simpler, they all had a chance of staying alive. That's right, it's that simple. Wang Dust smiled faintly too. He then looked for the boss. Boss, a bowl of iron ox beef noodles. No scallions. Wang Dust heaved on the word scallion. Good then. You have to try the iron ox beef noodles. The shopkeeper immediately nodded. In order to coax this master, not to mention no scallions, even no noodles would do ah. Phew, Ryan Yu could be considered relieved. Not to mention Wang Chuan, even if a vicious foreigner came here, the boss would also give him extra according to demand. Relief was written all over Ryan Yu's face as he believed that Wang Chen would definitely lose the bet. After all, there was no need for the boss to make himself uncomfortable with this kind of thing. So confident? Wang Chen was also exasperated and laughed. Come on, you're the ones who robbed clans day in and day out, and you're so confident that other people's words will count? Instead, you came to believe in him? It's really a bit funny. That's not true. Ran Yu was very confident, not realizing what kind of existence he had provoked. Wang Chen just sat there with a bland face. You're in family. You're not a good thing. As far as I know, you have run many orphanages throughout the entire Chinese territory, ostensibly to give these orphans a home so that everyone in the world would think that your Rin family is very kind, and there are indeed a lot of people who think so, but what about the truth? You brought all of these orphans to be researched, transplanting talent this kind of thing, your Rin family didn't do it too often, did you, and based on a certain secret technique left to you by the foreigners, you began a great deal of research, those with weaker talents, you felt that there was no experimental value to do it hastily, letting him appear in the public eye to increase credibility, and for this reason, it even solidified the status of your Rin family. What about those with stronger talent? S-class gifted transplants. Your Rin family has quite a few of them, right? Before this, your experiment. In the end, how many of China's geniuses have been scourged? These are an unknown. But before the success of each kind of experiment, there will be countless failures. I'm very curious. Where did these people in the hands of your Rin family run off to? Wang Chen gazed at Ren Yu with a deadly gaze. Ren Yu instantly sweated. How did this guy know so much? Wasn't this kind of thing something that only core members like him knew? She knew too well that once such things were revealed, the Rain family would absolutely collapse overnight. Unless strength was enough to suppress everything, but that was impossible. Unless they didn't expose this kind of thing so obviously. At most, as long as they revealed that there were so many geniuses on the surface, then this kind of thing could easily be covered up. But all of this had to be based on the fact that no one knew the truth. The Wang Chen in front of him was clearly not in this category. According to Wang Chuan's words, Wang Chuan not only knew the truth about all of this, but he also knew where their base was. No wonder he came here. Damn it. It seemed that this Wang Chuan had to be killed today. If this news was spread out, even more geniuses with rank talent would not be able to protect their Rin family. This has already violated the bottom line of people. What are you talking about? Can't understand Simulac. Even though Rin Yu's back was drenched in sweat, he still pretended to be calm. There was no way. It was impossible not to pretend. It would die. It would really die. He had seen how terrifying Wang Chen's methods really were. Killing people without even blinking. As if killing people was simply an insignificant trifle in his eyes. But what Wang Chuan did was trivial. What she lost was her life. No. Absolutely cannot provoke Wang Chen in this situation. Although it wasn't quite clear what kind of enmity or grudge this guy had with the Rin family. It wasn't so bad that he was offended to death. Let him come to retaliate so recklessly. Right. She still had hope for life. She absolutely could not give up. Ren Yu forced down her inner nonchalance and made herself calm. She was truly afraid of death. Once a person has higher power and status, they are far more afraid of death than if they are innocent. This was the case with Ren Yu. She hadn't even enjoyed herself yet. It was simply a shame to die and die. Yes or no? Perhaps no one knows better than you. Wang Dust said indifferently. Yes. Who else could be more clear about this matter than these Ren family's own family members? This matter was essentially a scandalous thing that the Ren family had done although it could not be spread to the outside world, but it was already known to everyone in their own family. 
and in such a situation can be this kind of thing firmly blocked, enough to see the Ren family's means, I'm afraid that those who resisted the Ren family had already been gotten rid of a long time ago, Wang Chuan did not doubt for a second that they would dog eat dog themselves, Wang Chuan naturally wouldn't be afraid to go for the wrong kill, chapter 315 against the sky Ren Yu, the two of them, Ren Yu and Wang Chen, were still sitting as if they had just been there, however, the atmosphere between the two of them became even more tense, Ren Yu's back was completely drenched in sweat, this guy was simply evil, why would he talk about this in front of her, even if you know I should not say it, this is not sincere drag him along with the death, no, don't ah, he still has a great blessing did not enjoy it, how can die here, no, absolutely not, Ren Yu's mind was racing with countless ways, but he couldn't think of a single way to save him, it's over, he's going to die, what, no more talking, Wang Chen smiled faintly and ignored Ren Yu, he did this, firstly, to stall for time, and secondly, naturally, he was doing it for people who had a heart to see, after all, he knew that his every move was now being watched, with his strength, it would be easy for him not to be watched by these spies, but why would he want to be watched, the reason was simple, Wang Chen shrugged his shoulders, after all, with his strength, not to mention not being watched, it was easy to watch them in turn, coincidentally, this was what Wang Chuan was doing right now, in human terms, Wang Chen had spied on the Rin family that was spying on Wang Chen, this kind of tactic was easy for him, and there was no difficulty at all, as for why Wang Chen was doing this, naturally, it was to make the Rin family let down their guard, the gathered people in Rin Rushua's words weren't just the Rin family's existing people in Luohai city, rather, it was more Rin family members from far away, if he wanted to execute all of these people and didn't want to go back and forth in a very troublesome manner, this was the only way to do it? No, no, Ren Yu stammered and looked at Wang Chen, you Ren family, you really have always been self-righteous, you think that these things have been done seamlessly for a long time, after all, with your Ren family's energy, it is simply easy to do all this, but also right, actually able to collude with foreigners in the Chinese territory, in the imperial capital in defiance of the Red Dragon Guards, I'm afraid that this vast China, only your Ren family can do it, but you must not forget one thing, the existence that you tend to think is not threatening is the most threatening existence, Wang Chen said indifferently, upon hearing this, Ren Yu's heart stirred, this guy didn't look like he wanted to make a move, this was definitely good news, the support from the Ren family will be here soon, Wang Chuan you're dead, ha ha ha, Ren Yu forced down the excitement within his heart, just his face as if before looking at Wang Chuan, the critical moment, he must not show his face, as long as he survived here, he would be able to kill Wang Chuan completely in order to eliminate future problems, ha ha ha, as long as he can survive, whether it is to be honored with riches and wealth, or anything else, he run you can get it all, if he was lucky, he could even be rewarded by the head of the family, rewarding himself with a few oohs and ahs, simply a multitasking ah, run you thought about his own great achievements while thinking about what kind of stuffed ham sausage he would wrap in his dumpling skin at night, our in family, we haven't done anything to wrong you, rain you whispered, she really didn't know what the Rin family had done to Wang Chen. After all, the Rin family's seizure of other people's talents had not been a matter of a day or two long ago, and it would not be too much to say that this kind of thing was well known within the Rin family again. How could they remember one of them? Wang Chen's name? In the younger generation of the Rin family, there might be people who had heard of him, but his fame was not even as good as Rin Yin, who had passed away in situ not long ago. After all, the profession of Knight of the Apocalypse was definitely not considered weak at the S rank. The S rank talent had a difference between strong and weak. Don't look at first glance the S rank talent that Wang Chuan had encountered so far were all very strong. However, none of them are the best of the best in terms of S rank talent. Normal S rank professionals were still weaker than the horsemen of the apocalypse. Facts proved that this kind of career was still in the hands of the original owner to be able to play a more powerful effect. Wang Chuan was so. This was true of Wang Chen. This was even more true of Rin Yin. In the hands of Rin Yin. He was only worthy of being called the best of the S-class talents, but in the hands of Wang Chuan, it is like a divine weapon, almost invincible, what should be his, cannot escape, what wasn't his, he couldn't play with, you said that the Ren family didn't do anything to wrong me, Wang Chen froze, then snorted, ha ha, this fellow seemed to think that he himself was the real victim ah, and from her tone, Wang Chuan was the demon in general, could there be a funnier joke in this world than this, Wang Chen was a little unbelievable, were all these demons wolves in sheep's clothing? How could they say these things so rightfully? Wang Dust admitted that he had been too merciful before. Leaving a bottom line, that was something done to people with morals. And if they didn't have morals, that was out of his hands. His mission was to send them to the king of hell. 
Right. Our Rin family is just trying to become stronger and consolidate our position. What's wrong with all this? Don't those orphans deserve to die? They deserve to die. It's our Rin family that saved him. The occupation in their body is taken as our payment. Ah, is any of this wrong? Ring you crowned. At this moment, it was as if she was standing on the moral high ground. Right. She was right. Why should she be afraid? The root cause of all this wrong was Wang Chen. As long as he went to his death wouldn't there be no such thing? Chapter 316, Facts Aside. Wang Dust had never seen anyone with such brazenness. He then realized why Rin Yu was so heaven-defying. And it turned out that the entire Rin family was so heaven-defying. Row by row. This was really showing Wang Chuan the diversity of creatures. You said they are all orphans? Wang Dust was exasperated and laughed. If they are all orphans, then what am I? Wang Dust looked at Ren Yu deadpan. If all of your so-called test subjects are using a person with both parents as a test subject, then you guys still call this creating an orphanage? Isn't it something only someone with a sick brain would do? Being an XX and still wanting to set up a house of cards. Being and setting up again is it? Wang Dust said in a cold voice. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. It's absolutely impossible for our Run family to do such a thing. Run you waved her hand. Of course she knew that the Rin family had definitely done such a thing. Their Rin family wasn't stupid either. How did it just so happen that so many S-class gifted people were orphans? There weren't a handful of accidents they thought created. It was even ridiculous for many to consider their father killer and mother killer as their closest relatives. Three years ago, I was involved in a car accident. Before that, my parents were alive and well, and I had a lovely younger sister. My qualifications aren't bad, and I'm bound to be able to awaken an S-class talent. If it wasn't for your Rin family, I might still be a Dragon Rising scholar. On top of that, I still have healthy parents and a lively younger sister. But all of this was lost in the car accident three years ago. My parents were hospitalized and never woke up. My sister's legs lost their souls, and I took Rin Inian, the one who killed my loved ones, as the only person who was good to me. Whenever I think about how I used to treat the person who hurt my loved ones as my good big brother, I get sick to my stomach. Is this your Rin family? Ha! Huh? Speaking of this, the killing intent in Wang Chen's eyes was somewhat suppressed. Without all of this, he believed that without the SSS ranked talent of being an ultra divine mechanic, he would still be a supreme genius. But since the Rin family appeared, all of this was broken. He was without a heart and wore a mechanical heart that needed to store electricity all day long. His sister sat in a wheelchair all day long and was never allowed to stand up, and his parents lay in their hospital beds every day without ever opening their eyes. All of this happened because he was a test subject, and the test subject's mistake of using a secret technique deprived other people of their souls as well? It was simply absurd. How could anyone in this heaven and earth be so absurd? It was simply a distortion of human nature and moral degeneration. Answer me ah, the Run family's eldest miss? Wang Chen played with the flavor. He was able to have everything today. All thanks to the Ren family. Luckily, amongst the misfortunes, he, an existence spurned by all humans, met the god of machinery who was betrayed by the gods. Two human gods carrying the same destiny began to resonate, only to be able to have today's powerful. Otherwise, I'm afraid he would have died long ago. Even his parents and sister should be gone. I'm afraid. This, this isn't my fault either. This is a decision made by our family head. It's his fault. Ran you quickly dumped the pot. He was just right anyway. Let's just assume that you're right. Just see if the beef noodles that will be served up later have scallions. Wang Chen coldly looked at Ren Yu. Ren Yu only felt like he was being stared at by an incomparably vicious beast. Horrible. Too horrible. This guy was simply terrifying. Why was the pressure someone emitted without thinking actually so powerful? Che, facts aside, aren't you at fault? Who let you have an S-class talent ah? Why didn't our Ren family rob others but you ah? It must be your fault. Ren Yu came back to her senses still acting as a little fairy punching. Oh, as far as I know, there are not a few cases of car accidents around. Right, but guess why? Every time, both parents die. Only one child survived by chance, and then was adopted by the Ren family orphanage. This kind of news, a random search is a few hundred right. Guess why that is? Wang Dust said indifferently. That's right, this kind of news was extremely abundant. He only went to understand it later as well. He realized that he wasn't even the first. The earliest had to be traced back to more than 10 years ago. That is to say, since that time, the Rin family had already begun their research on transplanting talents. It wasn't until three years ago that the research was successful. It was really hard to imagine just how many lives had been lost in between. How many civilian geniuses capable of shocking China had fallen. Over the years, a large part of China's green and yellow is the fault of the Rin family. This Rin family, the crime is unpardonable is simply the existence of the vicious. If not for the fact that the time had not yet come, 
Wang Chuan would have wanted to uproot the entire Ren family flatly right now and send them to the Nine Springs to see the King of Hell. I, I, Ran Yu was dumbfounded by her dislike, she no longer knew what to say. After all, this kind of stuff, she did indeed do it, but these things were very secretive ah, the heat had all been covered up. How on earth did Wang Chen know about these things? Don't be anxious, your Ren family will soon be punished. The real trial, it hasn't even started yet. Wang Chuan said indifferently, you you you, what evidence do you have to prove our Ren family wrong? We provided these orphans with food, clothing, shelter and transportation. It's not considered treating them poorly. So many years have passed without merit but also with hard work. Chapter 317, what, sacrifice your heart? Hard labor? What a big hard labor. Wang Dust snorted, not expecting the person in front of him to be so shameless and dare to mention the word hard labor. Come on, stick your face out. Wang Dust said indifferently. Ren Yu instantly recalled the pain of the two slaps he had just been wildly slapped by Wang Chen. Now her face was still hot and spicy. This guy didn't know how to be compassionate at all. He was simply destroying the flowers with his hot hands. Damn it, it was really too damnable. She didn't even dare to come within a meter of Wang Chuan now, for fear of receiving too big bd 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 again. Ran Yu was still thinking. Wang Chuan's two slaps had already come to her face. True pounced on his face. Two crisp slaps sounded. Ran Yu's just now asymmetrical face was finally symmetrical at this moment. The entire person now looked like a pig's head. What are you doing? Ran Yu blared at Wang Chuan with a deadly glare. If it wasn't for the fact that he was fortunate enough to take the family into consideration, it was estimated that he would have to fight Wang Chuan to the death right now. Damn it, damn it, how dare this guy, how dare he whip him like this. Even his father didn't dare to whip him like this. Ren Yu received such an insult for the first time in his life, it was simply the most humiliating thing in his life, to actually be smacked so many times in a row by one person. If I killed your parents, then dragged you to an orphanage and took care of you every day under false pretenses, only to end up pulling you directly to dig your heart out in the end, you should be very grateful to me right? What Wang Chuan said was not a lie. At the very least killing them all this was true. Time is going fast. It seems that we can proceed to action. The scanning tower has transmitted quite a lot of information. Probably know the exact location of the Rin family. These grandchildren, they're hiding really deep ah. You are simply a demon. Ryan Yu angrily rebuked. In her eyes, Wang Chuan was already a demon who had done no evil, and no one had done as much evil as Wang Chuan. Unbeknownst to her, the Rin family was the most vicious one. Which of the various crimes they had committed was not enough to be sentenced to capital punishment, but their clan had many means. No matter how big things, always be able to be their big things small small things, a lot of things will not be settled. No matter who it was, there was no way to truly sanction the Rin family now, unless substantial evidence was found beforehand. All the evidence of the Rin family that remained in the human territory had disappeared. Not to mention Wang Chuan, I'm afraid that even the Red Dragon Guards could not find any traces of it. Their Rin family had even less negative news, and they weren't afraid of making a big deal out of it at all. On the contrary, Wang Chen, if such a thing occurs, can he really live in this world? Ran Yu was confident that Wang Chen definitely did not have the strength and backbone to do so. In China, their Rin family was the reason why they were strong enough to allow him to be so arrogant and domineering without being sanctioned. He believed that whoever heard the Rin family's name was like thunder. So what if you're a demon? What, want to offer your heart to me? A demon? Wang Chen's voice couldn't help but chill a few notches. The purpose of his trip was very simple, and that was to completely get rid of everyone in this world who was a member of the Rin family. Of course, not everyone with the surname Ran, just those who were related to the Rin family. Ran Yu was so frightened that she stammered and didn't dare to make a sound. The current Wang Chuan had already unleashed his killing intent without any reservation. She felt that if she gave Wang Chuan the chance, Wang Chuan would inevitably kill herself. She had to be more honest. It was really too arrogant just now. Ran Yu sat aside as if she recognized her mistake. It was estimated that no matter who saw this quiet young girl in front of her would not put her together with that poisonous scorpion-hearted woman to make comparisons. But unfortunately, the two of them were the same person. Wang Chuan snorted coldly and sat in place waiting for the beef noodles to be served. Right at this moment, the imperial capital's flying dragon guards finally realized that something was wrong. They discovered that the entire imperial capital's security line of defense seemed to have been perfectly bypassed by whoever it was almost miraculously bypassing all of their patrol routes, so much so that the imperial capital actually had millions of family members disappear overnight. Among them, the ones whose numbers accounted for the most were B-rank professionals. With such a huge number of people missing, cold sweat oozed from the forehead of the flying dragon guard commander. This time things were big. If this matter was not handled well, it would be a light case of losing one's hat. 
and a heavy case of a direct death sentence, even the most brutal kind. The flying dragon guard commander's face was grave. Between them, there was a traitor, and this traitor was actually able to perfectly avoid their patrol route, and then stuck in a dead end to take so many people captive. Since the middle of the night, the police station's phones were almost bursting with calls, almost all of them coming to look for people. How could such a large number of professionals disappear out of thin air? And what exactly happened in all of this? For a moment, the entire imperial capital was on edge. After all, it was almost everyone's life that was at stake. One carelessness would even scare a few timid ones to death. Different from the flying dragon guard commander. Inside a certain office in the imperial capital building, Lu Hongsheng was flipping through the information at a rapid pace. At this moment, he suddenly realized that all the previous cases that didn't make sense in the Rin family. It seems to have become reasonable. This Rin family is definitely not as simple as it seems. Lu Hongsheng threw the observation of the Rin family traces of this hindsight. Wang Chen this time, I'm afraid to be in big trouble. Unexpectedly, the Rin family actually hidden so well. He didn't use some means to find out at all. Chapter 318 I bet a dollar that there are no bullets in your gun. The more Lu Hongsheng checked, the more alarmed he was, and the more he checked, the more sweat there was on his head. Unconsciously, Lu Hongsheng's back has been completely soaked. If all of this is true, the whole family of the Rin family life imprisonment is considered light. If these births are exposed, it is estimated that the Rin family will have to suffer. However, this matter is impossible to realize now. The power of the Rin family is really too big. Looking at the whole of China, the power of the Rin family is considered the most powerful of the handful. This is only on the surface. The real power of the Rin family can be far more than that. Lu Hongsheng slightly closed his eyes, began to think about the countermeasures of this matter. Even if all of these things were true, the Rin family still had 10,000 options to whitewash themselves. Before there was any substantial evidence, the Rin family would definitely not be able to fall. Unless, forget it, there was no unless, like such a big family, which item is not handled in an airtight manner. Lu Hongsheng sweated for Wang Chen in his heart. Such an existence was actually what a student had to face. The pressure on Wang Chen was self-evident. Iron Ox Beef Noodle House, Wang Dust placed a shotgun on the table. There was no way. After all, the shotgun was more powerful, and it was also more capable of making people experience pain. So it was definitely a must-have weapon for traveling at home. Watch this. It's this gun. If you don't listen, I'll kill you all. Wang Dust said softly. Ryan you instantly sweated. This shot to the body. Must not lose a layer of skin. Must not hurt him to death. But it is estimated that the pain cannot die. After all, died in place. Should not feel the pain. He 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 he. Iron ox beef noodle is here. The shopkeeper ran in with a bowl of beef noodles in both hands. Smilingly looking at Wang Chun. A benevolent frown was on his face. He had put it according to Wang Chuan's request without the scallions, and it was simply seamless. The next step was just to wait for the support of the Rin family members. Wang Chuan fixed his eyes on it. Ha, there really wasn't? Ha, Wang Dust snorted out a laugh. The shopkeeper and Rin Yu didn't know what to laugh about and could only giggle alone. Unbeknownst to them, death was about to come. Guest, I've put this according to your request. I'll leave first ha. The shopkeeper hurriedly said, fearing that a careless Wang Chen would slaughter him. Mr. Ascending Dragon Scholar. You said that as long as there are no onions you will release us. As Mr. Ascending Dragon Scholar, you must be true to your word. Ren Yu hurriedly said, it was better to do more than less right now. I think you misheard me. What I said before was that all of your Ren family hates me. So he put a lot of beef on me when I said I don't eat beef. I don't eat beef. The pistol in Wang Chuan's hand instantly ejected a powerful bullet that directly penetrated the shopkeeper's brow. And the shopkeeper's body fell straight to the ground. Ah ah ah. Ren Yu completely couldn't bear the pressure and began to scream. In passing, she touched Wang Chen's shotgun. Don't move. You've just seen the power of that small pistol. Now this shotgun will only be more powerful. Ren Yu had a confident look on his face. You were able to kill 70 level powerhouses not all by relying on this type of weapon. As long as you take the biggest one away yourself, not only will you be at your wit's end, you'll also become a piece of trash to be held hostage by me. Ha ha ha. The smugness on Rin Yu's face was almost overflowing as he pushed the shotgun against Wang Chen's brain. How about that? Go to hell. Ran Yu said viciously. Who knows? Wang Chuan unhurriedly pulled out a one dollar Chinese coin from his pocket. I bet a dollar Chinese coin that in your gun. There are no bullets. Wang Chuan said indifferently. After all, these types of guns were all created by him. So naturally, there were no bullets. And the energy fired was nothing more than his own power. How can that be? As soon as Rin Yu's words fell. He realized that the gun actually couldn't fire bullets. Right at this moment, Wang Chen arrived next to Rin Yu with a flash. 
Together with her arm, he ripped it off along with the shotgun. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. In the next moment, Ran Shui erupted into a shrill scream of pain. Pain. Too much pain. Just too much pain ah. Uh. This time was almost worse than death. Boom. Boom boom. Wang Chuan's next few shots hit Ren Yu's limbs as well as his torso. And due to the controlled power, it resulted in Ren Yu not dying. Otherwise, with Wang Chuan's destructive power, killing Ren Yu would be like playing. Looks like I lost. One dollar for you. Wang Dust stuffed a dollar nicely into Ren Yu's pocket. Afterward, the shotgun was jammed above her head. What? Any last words? Wang Chuan faintly said. Ren Yu instantly broke defense. What's wrong with this guy? Is this dollar humiliating? There is such a humiliation. This guy is really too hateful. Ren Yu looked at Wang Chuan dead on. She couldn't wait to eat his flesh and sleep on his skin. I'm going to kill you Wang Chuan. Ran Yu's words had not yet fallen. Boom. Shotgun bullets sprayed out. Ran Yu. Die. Wang Dust wiped the muzzle of his gun. These guys really can't tell who is the big and small king anymore. It's good that he didn't boom all over the blood. Wang Dust looked at the messy scene and nodded his head gently. It seemed that the time was almost up. Everything was finally going to start. A flame seemed to be burning inside Wang Dust. This time, it was bound to call the Rin family and leave no one behind. Chapter 319, Pseudo S-Class, Holy Dragon Knight, Wang Chen stomped on Rin Yu's head, dozens of terrifying auras suddenly appeared above his head, this kind was qualitatively powerful, and it was obvious that the people who came were all clear S-Class professionals, Wang Chen looked at the powerful enemies above his head, a few more smiles finally appeared on his face, how nice, all Rin family members, this night, it was destined to not be too boring, the people above the sky glanced at each other, wondering why Wang Chuan was looking at the sky, could it be that he had discovered them? No, it couldn't be. Wang Chuan was only a mere student who had just finished the college entrance exam. So what if he had entered the university? In the past, he would be taken by their Rin family at will. And naturally, he would be now. But why? Wang Chuan's body actually exuded a powerful aura if nothing else. How was this possible? The people of the Rin family were a bit surprised. But that was all. These auras might be powerful for people in the outside world. But amongst them, there were even quite a few level 80 powerhouses amongst them, who were all S-class professionals. They were different from Ren Inian. This punk, Ren Inian, although he was the first test subject, he only awakened his talent this year. They were different. As soon as they awakened their talents, they had the elders of the family to help them practice leveling. Plus the family had a deal with the foreigners. The Ren family provided a large amount of resources to the Fei, and the Fei provided them with a huge amount of monsters while they only needed to bury their heads in cultivation. With the huge resources as well as tireless leveling, their strength had long been different from what it used to be. Level 80 existences might be rare in the outside world, but they abounded in the Rin family, whose chi had almost reached a heyday. They were very disdainful of Wang Chen. He was just an ant that had been recklessly toyed with by the Rin family in the past, and even if he managed to survive, he should still live in a coy manner like an ant, instead of coming in front of them and flailing his teeth. In their opinion, the previous few crises Wang Chen had only been a bit lucky. If it wasn't for that good luck, just this guy would be able to survive? It was clearly impossible. Unfortunately, having met them, Wang Chen's good days were afraid to end here. Rumble. The person above the sky leapt up and fell straight from the sky to the ground. The dust that was raised drowned their figures, but they were looking at Wang Dust with evil smiles on their faces. They, they had eaten up Wang Dust. As soon as they came down, their powerful auras instantly erupted. The aura of a dozen top level 80 powerhouses was enough to shake the heavens and make even the earth and sky change color. They stared at Wang Chen. And soon, they were disappointed. There was no fear on Wang Chen's face as they had imagined. And even, they actually saw a trace of curvature rise from the corners of his mouth. An illusion. Definitely an illusion. How could a person smile when he encountered an enemy with such a powerful strength? The ten or so of them immediately felt something bad in their hearts. From just now, it seemed as if Wang Chen had not put them in his eyes. The expression on his face had always been confident. Could it be that he was certain of getting rid of them? Or perhaps, getting rid of the entire Rin family? Impossible. My Rin family is invincible. Only the Rin family kills others. There is no time when the Rin family is killed by others. In the end, the arrogance in their hearts overcame the trace of unknown fear. That's right. This unimpressive guy in front of them. How could he be their opponent? An illusion. It must be an illusion. They were people of the Rin family. Powerful. How could they possibly go and fear a fledgling kid? 12. Wang Chuan counted and was a little disappointed with these numbers. It seemed that this could only be taken as an appetizer. The Rin family still underestimated themselves too much. He had clearly done so many things to prove his strength. 
and the Rin family actually dared to underestimate himself so much. I really can't understand the Rin family's top management, returning himself to the mountain by releasing a tiger? Wang Chen shook his head, indicating that he did not quite understand. Afterward, he looked at the leading one. Name, Ren Tianxiong. Age, 21. Level, 81. Occupation, Holy Dragon Knight, Pseudo S-Class Occupation. Introduction is one of the most successful test subjects amongst the Ren family's god-making program. He was perfectly compatible with the power of S-Class professions in foreign races, and his strength was terrifying. But because of the fusion of other people's S-Class professions, his power was not as strong as S-Class powerhouses of the same level. But due to the blessing of a disaster, his Holy Dragon Knight underwent a metamorphosis under the support of the foreign race's cells. Wang Dust was slightly stunned. He didn't think that this guy had a bit of something. Although this S-rank profession belonged to the group of sewers, but after all, it was an S-rank profession, and combined with the so-called alien power, it was normal that it wasn't weak. Just, what was this pseudo S-rank profession? Could it be caused by the fact that the heart soul that hides the power of the profession doesn't recognize this body? Wang Dust pondered for a moment, so to speak, but it was not without this possibility. He said that it was impossible for something so contrary to human ethics and heavenly principles to be so generalized. Otherwise, if he got rid of a Rin family today, it was unlikely that some Zhang and Li family would come up behind him. Wang Chuan again looked at the few people around Rin Tianxiong. Their strength was generally level 80 talent. Apparently, their professions were all pseudo S class as well. Wang Chuan pondered for a moment, always feeling that things were somehow strange. Why hadn't this situation appeared when he probed Rin Inian in the past? Chapter 320, The Once Naive Boy Is Dead. Ron Enian was a real S-Class Ah, although his strength was just like that, but the S-Class was real. Is there something in here that he overlooked? No. From their tone, they didn't seem to think that theirs wasn't an S-Class professional. Without exception, they were all very confident that they were S-ranked professionals. These in the end and because of what? Wang Dust closed his eyes. All of this could only be known if he opened the secrets of the Ren family. He was very curious. Ren family in the end hidden what things? Why will be able to let a name not surprisingly small family into now the whole of China secretly the most powerful family? All of this was bound to have another hidden agenda. Kid, don't know what's good for you. Run Tianxiong was a little upset. A kid who had just graduated from college actually didn't put them in their eyes? How could this be tolerated? On weekdays it was always him who looked at people with his nostrils. Today he was actually looked at by someone else with his nostrils. It absolutely could not be tolerated. I don't know any better? As if he had heard a great joke. Wang Dust looked at Ren Tianxiong with some contempt. Just you? Wang Chen was disdainful. If the self before traveling to the land of chaos had met him, perhaps he would still be able to go 50 to 50 with his normality before he wore the super god armor. But now, it was undoubtedly a fool's errand. His own 18-year-old self had this such strength. This guy was still like a waste at 21. What right did Wang Dust have to give him face? If he is 21 years old only 81 level, then he might as well find a piece of tofu and hit himself. So Dish still licking a pussy face think he is very strong. He is not embarrassed. Wang Dust feel embarrassed for him ah. Is really Dish in love to play. You this guy. Ron Tianxiong's side of Reni guiding could not sit still. I didn't expect this Wang Chuan to be so disgusting. Worthy of being the person who was ordered to hunt down by their Rin family head. Obviously it was an honor to offer his heart to them. The proud sons of the Rin family. So why did he resist? Are you kidding? How strong is their Rin family? That huge resource as a pig is able to feed into a top tier powerhouse. And those children from the commoner families, even if they had S class talent so what? They wouldn't be able to walk to their current heights in this lifetime. It would be better to give them a part of their body and yell at them to take a part of their body to a more powerful peak. All of them in the Rin family thought that these were mercies for those with low talent. If there was no Rin family, they would one day die and their rank would gradually dissipate with the passing of their physical bodies. And only by handing over a part of their body to their Ren family would they be able to preserve that step part permanently. These were simply the honors of those who had their hearts ripped out. By simply leaving this world, they were able to pass on and keep their physical bodies alive in the world forever. This was a blessing they had cultivated in 10 lifetimes. You don't understand anything at all. Our Ren family is all about these people. If it wasn't for our Ren family, how could he have stayed alive? All of this is due to our Ren family. Ron Maguide spoke with vigor. It was as if Wang Chen was the unforgivable sinner, and he stood on the moral high ground, criticizing Wang Chen. Hiss. Wang Chuan sucked in a mouthful of cold air. He thought that Ren Yu was already invincible, but he didn't realize that there were even more explosive ones here. Whose men were these? It really didn't occur to me that each and every one of these guys were so bombastic. You think your pig gang hyena. The whole thing is so explosive. That's right. This is our Ren family. A family rich in responsibility. 
Don't believe you go online to search, for our Rin family are all clear favorable comments. As for you Wang Chen, your reputation as a Dragon Rising scholar doesn't seem to be very good, Ran I guide coldly said. After all, every year's Dragon Rising scholar, all the major media are predicting who will win. But this year, these favorites were all killed by Wang Chuan, the Dark Horse, without exception. This led to Wang Dust's reputation is not good. Although a bunch of people praised him on the surface, there were also a few people who cursed him. On a certain rating software, Wang Dust's rating was even the lowest in history. Oh, you guys seem to have misunderstood me. I have never felt that I am a good person. As for you guys, it doesn't matter if you are a good person or a bad person. The point is that you guys had deprived me of everything. Today, I will also deprive you of everything. Without you guys, I'm afraid I wouldn't be like this, right? Wang Chen smiled coldly. Before Ren Yinian had betrayed him, he had at least retained a trace of naivety. To actually really believe that someone would treat him well for no reason at all. It wasn't until the end that he realized that it was nothing more than a play by Ren Yinian, Just to kill him completely. In addition to killing his physical body, he wanted to wear out Wang Chen's soul. Since that day, a teenager woke up like a dream and gained great power. However, he had also completely lost the person he once was. But he didn't care anymore. As long as he was able to gain the power of revenge, that was enough. Now that he had the power and saw the hope of his parents awakening again, he naturally couldn't let the Rin family strike again. This time, he was bound to eradicate all the threats. Not a single one left. On the Rin family's side, it was all enemies. Not a single one left. All killed. Wang Xuan felt the surging power within his body. For the first time, he felt that this power was actually so hot. And it was roaring along with his heart. Chapter 321, Half Step Level 85 The time for revenge had arrived. Even you are getting excited? Wang Dust smiled faintly. Yes, his body was feeling excited. So he had to take revenge quickly. You fellow, what the hell are you laughing at? Ren Tianxiong angrily rebuked. The golden dragon flame around his body instantly rose up. Terrifying power swept across the entire field. What kind of power is this? Wang Chen cocked his head. It was actually so small. It didn't even allow him to mention a single interest in facing it. This was an 80 level S class professional? It really was so weak. Ha 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 ha. Wang Chuan, you still don't know what kind of existence you have offended. When Ren Tianxiang saw that Wang Chuan was actually a bit surprised, a smug look could not help but leak out on his face. Yeah, so what if it was this guy? In front of his own formidable strength, he still had to be surprised all the same. He was an 81 level top level powerhouse. Looking at the vast China, he was also a top ranked existence. In particular, he was also an S ranked talent. The Holy Dragon Knight. Looks like Big Brother is getting serious. Reni Gue said with a serious face. It was enough to see that even he rarely saw Ren Tianxiong being so serious. He was still the closest to Ren Tianxiong. The others had puzzled faces. What moving for real? It wasn't just a simple release of his power. What's so strange about that? They could do it too. Moreover, Ren Tianxiong didn't move for real at first glance. So how did he become powerful? Looking at the disbelieving eyes of his own people, Ren Mi Guiding showed displeasure. What's wrong with these guys? They don't believe in this. Just kidding, he run way guide cannot lie to them. Saying that there are unique features, then naturally there are unique features ah. At a glance you guys don't know. Big Brother's Holy Dragon Mode. Summoning a wisp of the Holy Dragon's consciousness that has been sealed in the body for a long time, and letting its power be added to one's own body as a way to achieve the Holy Dragon Mode. In this state, Big Brother's strength is 250% stronger than the more unusual S rank level 81 professional. In terms of combat power, holy shit. 250, so strong. What kind of concept is this? Doesn't it mean that Ren Tianxiong is now able to easily kill me in seconds? Are you kidding? The crowd expressed their disbelief. Such combat power was just too appalling. Such a thing was simply impossible. After all, no one was more aware of Ren Tianxiong's strength than they were. In the midst of fighting them, Ren Tianxiong had never displayed such a stance. Everyone was thinking that Ren was playing a trick. I'm lying to you guys? You're kidding. Ren Mi Guiding couldn't wait to smack two big BB pockets towards his own clan's face, to actually doubt himself so much. Did he give his face too much? You guys have to know that big brother. He hasn't really mastered the power of this mode yet. The first time he opened this mode, he directly discounted a level 85 powerhouse of our clan before he could stop the storming big brother. F asterisk CK. So strong, a level 85 powerhouse. This is simply heavenly. Unlikely. No. Look at Ren Tian Dome. Someone pointed at Ren Tianxiang and realized that Ren Tianxiang's aura had once again skyrocketed several notches. It had clearly come to the level of an 82nd level powerhouse. Just how terrifying was this? They simply didn't dare to think that such strength was something a human could use. 
What kind of joke was this? Their companion is actually so strong. The key to the dam themselves still do not know. This is not pure pure bullshit. Ha 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 ha. Wang Chuan you're dead. No matter how. I don't believe that a level 85 powerhouse still can't take you. Ren Yi guide disdained. In his eyes, he didn't take Wang Chen seriously at all. But now, he had changed his mind. He had to make Wang Chen die ruthlessly, so that he could see what cruelty meant. Everyone's eyes burned as they looked at Ren Tianxiong, whose power was still climbing. Level 83. Level 84. Half a step to level 85. Clearly, his power had reached an extremely terrifying point. Right at this moment, changes also occurred in Rin Tianxiong's body. Rin Tianxiong's body was vaguely permeated with a hint of golden light. And in the next moment, many scales suddenly grew on Rin Tianxiong's body. A faint dragon pattern also emerged on his face. Even his eyes became crimson. Obviously, Rin Tianxiong was out of control. According to the law of conservation of energy, when you wanted to obtain something, you had to exchange it with something equivalent in order to complete quantum entanglement to realize time closure. At the same time that Rin Tian Dome acquired great power, he also lost his mind. Obviously, the people on the Rin family side hadn't expected that Rin Tianxiong would actually lose control. What's going on? Something's not right. As Ren looked towards Wang Chen, he always felt that something was wrong. Ren Tianxiong had clearly overcome the shortcomings of being able to lose control. But why would he still be like this? Could it be that Wang Chuan had done something to cause Ren Tianxiong to lose control? But on Wang Chen, where was the thing that could make Ren Tianxiong lose control? Ren was puzzled. But he also realized that no matter what kind of undercard Wang Chuan had on him, in the face of Ren Tianxiong in such a state, there was only one ending. And that was death. Don't panic. Let the bullets fly for a while. You guys will soon be able to see Wang Chuan being torn apart bit by bit by Big Brother with his claws. No. Where did the claws come from? Forget it doesn't matter. Reni Gue comforted his clan. Although it was a bit strange for Big Brother to grow claws, but it made sense. After all, his body had changed. It was a bit strange not to have something on his hands. Chapter 322 Ren Tianxiong's Strength Dragon Emperor Heterodyne Wang Chen looked at Ren Tianxiong and could not help but laugh out loud. This guy couldn't even control his own power well. So what qualifications did he have to call his bluff here? How humiliating. 81 levels up. A whole 20 levels higher than him. And in turn, he was controlled by his own power. However, Wang Chen soon realized that something was wrong. Because he realized that the mysterious egg inside the storage ring suddenly began to tremble as if it had been stimulated by something. Wang Chuan raised his eyebrows. It was said that the Holy Dragon Knight profession, since the beginning of the transformation, had a giant dragon boarded in its body. And the way for this profession to become stronger was to constantly tap into the power of this giant dragon. That was one of the reasons why this profession was able to become an S-ranked profession even though it didn't have the power of the gods to boost it. Could it be that this dragon has a consciousness? That's right. If it wasn't conscious, how could Ren Tianxiong lose his mind? Right now, although Ren Tianxiong's eyes were red, he wasn't completely unconscious. Instead, he was looking at Wang Chuan with a tiger's eye, as if he was being suffocated by a poisonous snake. Obviously, there was another consciousness manipulating Ren Tianxiong. In the next moment, Ren Tianxiong's body erupted into an even more astonishing change. Dragon claws quickly grew out, and the entire person seemed to be enveloped by a giant dragon as the powerful force seemed to sweep across the entire heaven and earth. The current Rin Tianxiong was more aptly described as half-dragon, half-human rather than a person. Good. So strong. Even Rin Weiguide, who was accustomed to Rin Tianxiong's power, could not help but be shocked. I didn't expect Rin Tianxiong to actually hide a power. Just such a power to fight Wang Chen was it necessary? It was simply killing a chicken with a bull's knife. It's me who underestimated Rin Tianxiong. It's really strong my ass. That's right. Wang Chuan this wild boy, it's better not to come and get involved in Myron family, I guess today passed, this kid can only set up a clothesline, after all, surely to be beaten by Rin Tianxiong even dregs are not left ah, it can't be helped, who let this kid be completely ignorant of the heights of heaven, not knowing how to die, he deserves to die, ha ha ha, the people of the Rin family were all laughing at Wang Chuan, they believed that Wang Chuan definitely didn't have the strength to defeat Rin Tianxiong, after all, the strength of Ren Tianxiong was there for all to see. Powerful. Truly powerful. Such strength was definitely accumulated over time. And even more so, it was definitely an existence that could not be replicated by a freshman. The next moment, covered with golden dragon flame, Ren Tianxiong's mouth seemed to converge with thousands of stars and rivers, and the terrifying power converged in his mouth. Ren Tianxiong's strongest killing move? Dragon Emperor Interdimensional. Under this unusual move, not even an inch of grass could grow. 
and mountains tens of thousands of miles away that were hit by this strike would have to be shattered in an instant. Killing intent, living killing intent. Even the people of the Rin family also felt this blatant killing intent and could not help but tremble. This guy, is he really in existence only one level higher than them? How can he be so powerful? Such strength not to mention Wang Dust, is the sky can't help it. But Wang Dust laughed when he saw this strike. Such a weak strike was the full strength of a mole cricket? Against this level of player, he didn't even bother to put on the super god armament. After all, using the super god armament to deal with this kind of scum was simply wasting his strength. And it was even more of an insult to his super god armament. A mere gravel is not half as good as me. Wang Dust said in a bland tone. Arrogant tone is more Yelren family crowd on the spot to break defense. This kid in the end in the arrogance of what things. He is really think he is qualified to receive this move? What is he kidding? Arrogance is not so arrogant. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? It is the 90 level strong against such a powerful attack also never dare to face so. At least to fully cast shield. Or even have the possibility of overturning the car. Wang Dust who do you think you are? Actually so arrogant. The crowd all expected Wang Chuan to be hit by the Dragon Emperor's interdimensionality in the next second without even a crumb left. Rumble. Rin Tianxiong's Dragon Emperor Heterodyne erupted. Gorgeous golden flames of light danced in the air. And even the heavens and earth were illuminated in gold by this strike. The Dark Knight was completely illuminated by this flash of light. Terrifying. How terrifying. Was this Rin Tianxiong? The crowd was shocked. They finally cordially recognized the might of Rin Tianxiong. An 81st level powerhouse that was as terrifying as this. Let him be high in the sky, free in the heavenly vault, was this him? Only then did the crowd realize why he was called Rin Tianxiong. This, was simply the truest portrayal of his life. I thought it was arrogant, but I didn't expect it to be in a realistic portrayal. They hurriedly looked at what Wang Chen was at, after all, like this kind of attack hard catch is impossible to hard catch, can only try their best to avoid this attack, otherwise, will certainly die a miserable death. But who knows, the next second. Wang Chuan's action was unexpected. Wang Chuan actually stood in place and did not move. What was this doing? Could it be that he was scared silly? Right. Such a powerful attack has long been the surrounding space distortion. He wanted to go certainly not go away. Not be scared silly can do. Die. The crowd looked at Wang Chen with resentment. It seemed that Wang Chuan was going to die under this dragon emperor interdimensional next moment. But Wang Chuan made a decision that took them by surprise. Wang Chuan stood lightly in place. It seemed as if this move did not pose any threat to him at all. This, how could it be? Chapter 323, I'm going up to be a big bitu. What is this guy still standing still for? Is he looking for death? No one knew what Wang Chan's brain circuits were doing, but they knew that if an ordinary person took this blow, he would die with absolutely no dregs left. Rumble. The Dragon Emperor Bizarre Dimension blasted onto Wang Chan's body intact. Through the golden light of the Dragon Emperor Interdimensional Dimension one could actually see that there was a silhouette standing tall inside. Ha ha ha, dead dead dead, this guy is dead, taking this blow and still want to live, simply don't live, that's right, this guy is still here pretending to be a pussy, what are you pretending to be, I thought he had a lot of ability, but this is it, the crowd let out undisguised jeers, they were ashamed of themselves just now, to actually feel scared for such a waste, it was really ridiculous, the crowd looked at Wang Chen with disdain, it seemed that this guy's strength ended here ah, uh, but that's right, a mole cricket is a mole cricket, it will turn into ashes when it dies, ha 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 ha, but the next moment, the scene that shattered their self-confidence appeared, Wang Chen stood in the midst of the golden flames, his body unharmed, not even the corners of his clothes were stained with a single speck of dust, Wang Chuan held his one hand against the dragon emperor's interdimensional dimension, and there were still attacks hitting his hand, this is your full strength, ridiculous, Wang Dust said unperturbed, a player of this level really wasn't challenging at all, this is all coming to an end, Today's entertainment time, let's call it a day. Wang Dust casually flung his hand. The originally vigorous Dragon Emperor Heterodyne was instantly muted. What? The Ren family's crowd was shocked. What kind of means had Wang Chuan used to perfectly cancel out this strike? How was this possible? Why? Even if they were killed, they couldn't imagine how Wang Chuan managed to do it. However, they were more willing to believe that Wang Chuan had used some despicable means to barely manage to do it than that he had used hard power to resist this move. That's right. This guy must have used some means to do it. Damnable guy. His means were really dirty. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Seeing that his move was received, Ron Tianxiang instantly erupted into an angry roar. At this moment, his consciousness was further engulfed. What followed was an even more powerful force. This time, his entire body was wrapped in golden aura, and not a single bit of skin could be seen at all. In its place was its skyrocketing power. 
Level 85. At this moment, Run Tianxiong's strength officially crossed into the ranks of level 85. Terrifying power continued to leak out. Powerful. Unimaginably powerful. Even the power that was leaking out was enough to press down on the Run clan's crowd who couldn't lift their heads. What kind of terror is this? Ren simply didn't dare to think how on earth such power could lose. This simply will not lose ah. Fear. Fear from biological instinct. When they looked at Ren Tianxiong, it was as if a mole cricket was looking up at a giant dragon. It wasn't even in existence on the same level. At this moment, they finally realized how small they were. In front of Ren Tianxiong, how ridiculous they were. This is the real powerful? Ren Igai trembled and said. Afterwards, he was ecstatic. Under such a powerful force, this Wang Chuan would definitely die. No matter how powerful props Wang Chuan had just used, it was just a fluke. In front of true hard power, all means were meaningless. In the next moment, Ren Tianxiong moved. Whoosh. The speed was so fast that it was not even fast enough for a stump. So fast. That's right. This kind of speed. Even I, an S-rank professional divine speedster can't match it. You know that my current speed is able to match the speed of light. Ah. How terrifying is this guy in the end? Don't ask. To ask is to open up. Run Tian Dome is really powerful ah. Ask anyone who doesn't feel fear towards something they can pose a threat to. Even the Ren family crowd thought so. Wang Chen must be dead. As 80 leveled powerhouses, they couldn't see Ren Tianxiong's trajectory at all. Let alone the 60 leveled Wang Dust. This time, I'm afraid that Wang Chen will really die. Ha ha ha. The faces of the Ren family members were all filled with maniacal smiles. In their eyes, Wang Chen was dead. This sense of speed like a mad dog. Although it's very fast, it's not in any pattern. And, you don't seem to be able to control this power very well. My assessment is that if you're a dish, you should practice more. Wang Dust said indifferently. Don't look down on people. Ran Tianxiong's hissing voice appeared in front of Wang Chuan. Even though his consciousness had disappeared yet he was still dry humped by Wang Chuan. Oh, is that so? Wang Chuan looked up into the sky. Over here. Wang Dust snapped his eyes open and slapped out. A crisp slap resounded throughout the sky. Under this slap, everyone present was dumbfounded. Looking at Wang Chuan with unbelievable faces. What had he, in the end, done? Under this slap. Run Tian Dong was like a gopher, smashed into the ground by Wang Chuan, only a head leaking out. How is it possible that someone can actually react to the speed of light? Ren was shocked. This guy was truly open, right? How was this possible? Wang Chuan ignored these people and went up to give Ren Tianxiong another big BD BD BD. Ren Tianxiong, who was originally still golden in color, was hardened by this slap. Ren Tianxiong's face was like a pig's head, and a few of his teeth popped off. Chapter 324 A Cough Dragon Lama. Just as everyone was shocked by Wang Chen's strong strength, Run Tianxiong's head suddenly sank, and he sank straight down. Tick tock, tick tock. It was as if there was the sound of water dripping in Run Tianxiong's ears. Where is this? Run Tian Dong snapped and surveyed his surroundings, realizing that he was, at some point, in the middle of a sewer. Run Tianxiong was shocked. When exactly did he come to this place? Could it be that he had died? Is this place heaven? Just then, a voice came from behind him. Hey. Kid, a thick voice came. Run Tian Xiong was startled and hurriedly looked behind him. What met his eyes was a huge prison. And within the prison, a golden giant dragon was imprisoned. The dragon was 99,900 feet tall, with wings behind him, a long tail wrapped around him, and golden scales that almost blinded his eyes. Although it was said to be a dragon, it was better to say that it was a golden lizard with wings and scales. The golden dragon had a divine aura between its hands and feet. It made Ren Tian Xiong a little stunned for a moment. Who was this guy? And why was this guy's power so close to the holy dragon knight's power that he normally used? Could it be? The legend was true? Every holy dragon knight's continuous process of becoming stronger was tapping into the power of the holy dragon within his body. At a glance today, it seemed to be true. The holy dragon in front of him had an extremely powerful feeling just by looking at it. Even, to be far beyond anyone he had ever seen. That is, why is this guy a western dragon? Ron Tian Xiong was a bit disgusted. This guy was more or less a bit ugly. It would have been better if it was the kind that looked like a real dragon, but it was obviously impossible. If a real true dragon's power were to be used by him, then not to mention an S grade talent. I'm afraid an S plus grade talent wouldn't have the qualifications. However, even if there were creatures that looked similar to real dragons, they were not real dragons, and real dragons only existed in legends so far. Those creatures that resembled true dragons were just a trace of the true dragon's bloodline. It was not surprising at all. Ch. It always feels like your kid is thinking of something bad. The golden dragon said disdainfully. Afterward, he straightforwardly explained his purpose to Rin Tianxiong. Next, 
I will receive your power. You use this power of mine to kill the kid who just slapped you. I want the same thing in his storage ring. If you are able to do that, I will lend you a little more power in the future as well. The golden dragon had a lazy face. What's more, after resolving Wang Chen, he would be able to go far away. Joking aside, if Rin Tianxiang hadn't entered a near-death state, he wouldn't have known if he could directly touch Rin Tianxiang in his entire life, and could only allow his power to be borrowed. As long as today unsealed once, it means he is not sealed. Completely can bugger with his strength. Casually occupy the mountain is still no problem. When the time comes, he will have a Godzilla in his left hand and a King Kong in his right hand, so his life will be much more elegant. As for lending his power to Rin Tianxiang in the future, how could the evil Doragon's words be trusted? I understand. Ron Tianxiang nodded heavily. You are no longer the hated golden dragon, but my Ren Tianxiang's partner. One cough. Dragon Lama. There was a vague aura rising behind Ren Tianxiang. The golden dragon was filled with black lines. Dude you're playing awkwardly aren't you? Oh. The golden dragon cooperated with an ao. Oh. Outside. Wang Da slapped Ren Tianxiang a few more times. And Ren Tianxiang's face was almost unrecognizable. What had dragged this kid in? Why hadn't he come out yet? The next moment. A shocking power erupted from Ren Tianxiang's body. A powerful aura rose to the sky. Wang Dust was also shocked. Buddy you protagonist ah, a near death. You burst a few times ah, bad. He became the villain. Later, this Ren Tianxiang will not shout what friendship or custody ah what to put their own seconds. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Ren Tianxiang slowly climbed up from the dirt pit. This time, he had gained more power than ever before without the slightest sign of losing control. It had clearly broken the law of energy conservation. Ren Tianxiang's eyes snapped open and scales instantly attached themselves to his body, forming a huge armor. It surrounded his entire person in a deadly, airtight enclosure, especially his face. The hell knows why this Wang Dust guy likes to slap his face so much. Damn it. Is this guy alright? Slapping other people's faces all day long. Don't underestimate my bond with the Dragon Lama ah asshole. Ron Tianxiang shouted, his body's aura becoming even more terrifying. Golden Dragon? Big Brother I and you are very familiar with it. We know just two seconds ah. When the hell did I have a bond with you? Said the Dragon Lama is what the hell ah. He is not called the Dragon Lama. He has his noble name. The Golden Dragon. The Golden Dragon said he didn't understand. But he was shocked. Human brain circuits were truly peculiar. What? Big brother deserves to be big brother. In just a few seconds between them he made a contract with a top summon beast. Could it be that big brother is a hidden magical young man? Hiss. In that case, it's not impossible. I get it. Big Brother is worthy of being a Rin family charmed demon. This charm is giving me the whole thing. Soybean milk is coming out. Ha, huh? you're damn disgusting. Stay away from me. Just when everyone thought that Rin Tianxiong was sure to win. Chapter 325, Crushing Rin Tianxiong with only one hand. An incomparably terrifying power coalesced in Rin Tianxiong's body. Powerful. Truly powerful. The Golden Dragon's strength followed Rin Tianxiong's level. As the origin of everything in an S-class profession. The golden dragon's strength was naturally unquestionable. The aura on Ren Tianxiang's body was still soaring. Level 86. Level 87. Level 88. Level 89. All the way to the final level 90. The terrifying power was enough to shake the heavens and the earth. Even heaven and earth changed color. What kind of powerful existence was this that actually had such power? The Ren family crowd was a bit incredulous that Ren Tianxiang was actually hiding such a powerful force. Obviously. At the beginning. The difference between them was only one level. Still, because their experience bar was almost at level 81, and Ren Tianxiong was just a bit luckier and got to level 81 a bit faster, the gap between them was infinitely close to zero. Everyone was a genius with one nose and two eyes. Who could admire who? But now they realized that they were wrong, and ridiculously wrong. Ren Tianxiong's strength was not even on the same level as them. Was this Ren Tianxiong? Powerful. Indisputably powerful. Even they, the rebels, couldn't help but feel that Ren Tian Dong was powerful at the moment. Such strength. Unrivaled in the ages. There weren't many 90 level existences. Even in today's China. Such strength was even enough to walk horizontally in the outside world. This was Ren Tianxiang. How about that? Fear of this power. The corner of Ren Tianxiang's mouth was crooked. Leaking out an evil smile. He was confident that under the state. He, Ren Tianxiang, was definitely an invincible existence. Wang Dust glanced at his Ren Tianxiang. His face was bland, with such strength as if it was a mole cricket. He is also worthy of barking in front of him? It seems that this guy really does not know what is powerful ah. It was the first time he had seen someone with such a thick skin, who felt invincible after gaining a little bit of power. It was really ridiculous. Fighting with such a person. 
Wang Chen even felt that his hands were dirty. He had to slap him twice to wash his hands. Ran Tianxiong looked at Wang Chuan's aura of looking down on himself, and his face turned blue on the spot. This guy, by what right? Who is he to look down on him? Ran Tianxiong, does he, Wang Chen, have this strength or what? A mere waste that survived in the hands of their Rin family, is also qualified to go wild in front of their Rin family today? Less looking down on people. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Ran Tianxiong's aura rose once again, and this time, even as he stood there, he was as frightening as a giant. The overflowing chi flame slowly condensed a golden dragon behind him. The sense of oppression it brought was unprecedented. I am actually quite curious as to why your Rin family is able to be so thick-skinned, and also curious as to why no one has ever punched you in the face for being so thick-skinned. I kind of know now. Thick-skinned. You still need someone to cure it. As it happens, I happen to know a great healing technique. Come on, stick your face out. Wang Dust felt his hands itching again. I don't know how it happened. Now he was getting addicted to the matter of slapping other people's big pussy pockets Ah, He couldn't control it at all. There was no way. There was always someone who owed a fan. Wang Chuan, I want you to die. Ran Tianxiong moved. His speed was so fast. Compared to just now, it was at least several times or even tens of times faster. This time, not only could one not see the trajectory of the movement, one could not see exactly where Ren Tianxiong appeared. What kind of monster is this? The Ren family crowd was shocked. This was not scientific at all. Rumble. A fear suddenly appeared in front of Wang Chen's body. At the same time, a dragon claw suddenly grew out of Ren Tianxiong's hand. It was as if it was going to slice through Wang Chuan's chest in the next moment. Terror. How terrifying was this? The strength of this fellow in front of him. His power had clearly reached an extremely terrifying level. Right at this moment, Wang Chuan moved. In Wang Chuan's eyes, Ren Tianxiong's movement seemed like a clown that had been slowed down countless times. With every move, Wang Chuan was able to see everything. Such speed. It was indeed hard to be shocked off. Ah. Wang Chuan slapped his right hand backhandedly on Ren Tianxiong's face. Slap. A crisp slap sounded. Ren Tianxiong, who had actually flipped twice in one place, was actually smacked again. What? The crowd was a bit shocked as to why exactly this was happening. Wasn't Rin Tianxiong's strength already very strong? But why? Was Wang Chuan still able to manage to slap Rin Tianxiong with ease? Wang Dust backhanded Ren Tianxiong's throat in a deathlock. Do you want to dance too? Wang Chen said lightly, but the arrogance in his eyes could not be concealed. They then realized that Wang Chuan was not emboldened because of the props, but rather Wang Chuan, himself, had the strength. Strength enough to crush a 90-level powerhouse. W.H. What? The crowd was shocked by Wang Chen's move. Although he had locked Ren Tianxiong's throat, this had also exposed all of his weaknesses. Ah, how dare this fellow. But what was even more surprising to them was that Ren Tianxiong was like a little chicken. One pinch at a time without squeaking. Not resisting at all. What in the world was going on here? More than you're being a member of the Ren family. I'm more curious as to how the golden dragon within you was able to be so active. Wang Dust's tone was light, but his eyes were as if he was a devil. He vaguely sensed that this golden dragon, perhaps, might know the origin of the egg. Chapter 326, 36, 000 revolutions in one breath. Great compassion transfers the world. What? You, a punk, actually know about the golden dragon. Before Ren Tianxiong's words had even left his mouth, he sensed the huge force coming from Wang Chen's arm. He didn't doubt for a second that he could have his neck snapped by Wang Chuan in the next moment if he but stunk up his mouth a little more. This guy didn't care if he died or lived. Killing him was just like killing a mole cricket. Without a trace of mercy, it was hard for him to tell whether Wang Chen was a human or a ghost. Not coming out? Wang Chuan frowned. He had already pointed out the words to this extent. The golden dragon inside Ren Tianxiong's body still didn't come out. This was a toast, but not a penalty. Wang Chuan's arm began to attach the parts of the super god armament. Tear. Ren Tianxiong's body went violently soft, as if he felt that something was being lost in his body. Wait a minute. Where was his power? Give him back his power ah. The golden dragon was actually hardened and torn from Ren Tianxiong's body. This was tantamount to directly stripping Ren Tianxiong of his talent. After the golden dragon appeared and saw Wang Duan he was dumbfounded. No big brother, you can still directly rip me off? Originally if Ren Tianxiong had been killed he would not have mattered. After death he could still find a new professional. If he had been ripped off it would have been different. Hey what are you doing ah? It was the first time he had heard of such a thing. Meow? The golden dragon tentatively meowed trying to hide the fact that he was a dragon. Wang Dust was silent. A dragon learning to purr like a cat was really strange all right. Such behavior was tantamount to Galen making a whisper. Silence and breaking defense. Wang Dust ignored Ren Tianxiong and turned his head to put a gatling on the golden dragon's neck. This object is named gatling. 
Namo Gatling Bodhisattva, 6 Roots of Purity Depleted Uranium Bomb, 36, 000 Revolutions in One Breath, Great Compassion to Fairy the World, If You Don't Listen Again, I'll Use This Object to Make You Go to the King of Hell, Wang Dust's tone was bland, however, there was a kind of majesty in his words that made it impossible for the being to resist, obey and listen, the golden dragon conceded on the spot, if it wasn't for the fact that this body couldn't kneel down, he would have had to go and kowtow too, there was no way, this guy was too strong, the power he had just given to Ren Tianxiong was his current limit, and any stronger would be just that, it was simply impossible to be Wang Chen's opponent, unless he waited for Ren Tianxiong to rise above level 100 before he could unlock more powerful abilities, otherwise, it was simply impossible to be Wang Chen's opponent, compared to them wantonly venting the power in their bodies, but Wang Chuan was very different, Wang Chuan simply stood in place, and his power was enough to shake the sky and move the earth, and he could even easily take their attacks, he was simply a monster, he still resisted? What's the point of resisting? Afraid that he won't die fast enough? Do you know him? Wang Chuan's palm flipped, and the mysterious egg in the storage ring appeared in Wang Chuan's hand, compared to the last time they met. This egg had gone from being plain and ordinary in the beginning to being covered with golden lines all over its body, and it was undeniable that even though it had not hatched, Wang Chuan was still able to feel the bursts of pressure coming from the egg. This egg, is by no means an unusual thing ah, it was a pity that there was no one around who knew the origins of this egg, and he himself also had a half understanding of it, but based on the golden dragon's performance, could it be that this guy knew the origin of this egg? Rather, there was this possibility, after seeing the mysterious egg come out, the golden giant dragon scrutinized it carefully, and he had only been attracted by a mysterious aura within Wang Chen's storage ring earlier, it did not know what it was, his instincts told him that as long as he swallowed this egg, his strength would definitely change drastically, and at that time, he might be able to directly detach himself from the Run Tian Dome, and become the most powerful king of the dragon race in this world, I don't know, but this egg is close to my origin, moreover, I actually have a certain amount of fear towards him, if I wasn't too high in rank, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to help but prostrate myself, the golden dragon said truthfully, Wang Dust raised an eyebrow, close to this fellow's origin, this egg couldn't be a dragon egg, otherwise, the golden giant dragon wouldn't have risked so much to appear in front of him, could it be trying to devour him, alright, Wang Chen nodded, just when the golden giant dragon thought that Wang Dust was going to let him go, Wang Dust moved, he instantly shoved the gatling into the golden giant dragon's mouth, you're not thinking of eating him, are you, forget it, don't bother asking, all die for me, the gatling in Wang Chen's hand began to rotate, and a power with destruction instantly erupted, everyone had fear on their faces, was this Wang Chen's power, how terrifying was this, powerful, truly powerful, by UBU, 36,000 revolutions in one breath, nearly 10,000 rounds a second, not to mention the fact that there was also Wang Chen's power added to it, in just an instant, the golden dragon's huge body was shot into a sieve, Wang Chuan casually killed everyone left in the Rin clan. These guys, they weren't any good. Wang Dust pushed open the back kitchen of Iron Ox Beef Noodle. And sure enough, there was something else here. As for why this place was still there and hadn't been destroyed by the attack just now. Naturally, it was because Wang Chuan had just silently transferred all the fallout using his spatial ability. Iron Ox Beef Noodle is the top priority ah. Wang Chuan glanced at the corpses behind him. This was already the number of times he didn't know how many times he had walked out of the sea of corpses. Chapter 327 Their Rin family is in trouble today. A general success is a dead man's bone. These people, they just deserve what they get. Using a talent that wasn't their own to taunt the original owner. Just this kind of guy, simply deserved to die. On the surface, they were bright and shiny. But behind their backs, they didn't know how many dirty things they had done. After Wang Chen pushed open the door, pupils shrunk. Here, actually hidden Chen Kuan. It turns out that everything on the surface is an illusion. A large elevator was placed in front of one's face. It was clearly not something that a small beef noodle restaurant could have. Such a huge elevator seemed to be transporting something in general. But it was done so meticulously. It was hard for Wang Chuan to believe that there were no problems in it. Wang Dust just sat on it. He realized that there were actually no buttons on the elevator. Whoosh. As soon as he sat on it, the whole thing flew down. One could clearly feel the change in the surroundings. Wang Chuan was able to feel that his current body was actually descending at a rapid pace what exactly was down there, it actually made the Rin family make such a big fuss, soon Wang Chuan came to 500 meters underneath, while the elevator was still falling at a rapid pace, 1000 meters, 2000 meters, until 2500 meters, the elevator stopped, no wonder, after so many years no one has discovered the Rin family's strange, 
If the Rin family buried their various secrets in the depths of the ground 2000 meters, not to mention the Red Dragon Guards, who came also can not find such a hidden place ah, these Rin family's dirty tricks, there are really quite a lot of them, what a smell, as soon as the elevator door opened, Wang Chuan suddenly felt a bloody smell coming from his nose, not good, Wang Chuan snapped his head up, something wasn't right here, wait, Wang Chuan's tiger's body shook after he saw what was in front of him, here, actually, at the same time, the land of chaos, Bayong just happened to open the secret room in front of him, this is, Bayong's pupils shrank, and what met his eyes was a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood, as far as the eye could see, blood flowed in rivers, and the stench of rotting corpses hit his nose, Bayong clenched his fists, who in the world, actually dared to do this, it's really too abominable, whoever it is, don't let him get caught, after all, a place like this looks like it was prepared for humans, it doesn't even look like a place where a foreign race can come in, however, which human amongst the human race was able to engage in such intimate dealings with a foreign race, Bayan's face was a little unsightly, he also realized that someone had betrayed Huaxia, and even betrayed the human race, calling it a human traitor was not too much to ask, Bayong walked in with a gloomy face, the more he looked, the more alarmed he became, on both sides were large petri dishes that had been abandoned for a long time, filled with humans, although these petri dishes have long been unmaintained, the human beings locked inside have something in common, that is, the heart is missing, as if they were dug out directly, Bayong's face changed again and again, how could someone be so cruel, and it was obvious that these people didn't look like they died and then underwent heart transplants, then there was only one possibility, that would be, hard digging the heart out of a living person while alive, MD, born ah, Bayong's eyes seemed as if they were able to emit sparks as he looked at this large petri dish dead on, who in the world, did such a genocidal thing, he let the red dragon guards come in to search, but wherever they could search out a hint of a trace, he, Bayong, had to follow the vine to find the melon and put everyone in one pot, a few moments later, his men placed a pile of evidence in front of Bayong, and it was clear that the Rin family was using those orphans as test tools, time and time again, the hearts of these orphans were thrown open and fitted into the dirty shells of their Rin family, the failure over and over again represented the countless lives of the orphans they had used as props for their experiments, seeing this, Bayong's fists were clenched, these guys, they were really looking for death, if eyes could kill, the Rin family would have died a thousand times in Bayong's eyes, and later he even saw that the Rin family even manually turned them into orphans, all sorts of accidents, in the end, these orphans were rightfully institutionalized in their own orphanage, due to the large number of orphanages in the Rin family, the base is very large, tens of thousands of people die in a few hundred each year, that is a very normal thing, after all, some orphans are born with a bad constitution, some orphans because of the departure of their parents and a big illness, these are not a few, for a moment actually no one suspected the Rin family, Bai Young stiffly pinched the chair he had made into pieces, such a family was simply abominable, chief, what should be done about this, Long San asked in a low voice, take all the corpses here out of that damned petri dish, then go back to the imperial capital and have them buried thickly in the imperial capital's graveyard, our Chinese people, even if they die in a foreign land, I will definitely pick him up and bury him, Bai Young solemnly said, then collect all the evidence here and burn this place, in addition, Long San, you take a squad and purge the chaotic land, I must go on a killing spree today, yes, Long San nodded heavily, Bai Yong nodded, after all this yesterday, it was time for him to leave, with this violent temper of his, after returning to the imperial capital, it was inevitable that there would be a bloody storm, he kind of knew why that black dragon king came back, the original is to want to destroy the evidence for the Rin family, it didn't work, the Rin family is in trouble today, no one can protect them, Chapter 328, I will personally kill each and every one of you, not a single one left, Bai Yong stood on the body of the Red Dragon King and headed towards the Imperial Capital at full speed, this time, he was bound to behead the head of the Rin family, to do something so morally bankrupt, is this Rin family still human, the underground of Iron Ox Beef Noodle, Wang Chuan had been shocked by the place, all of them were corpses, these corpses are not old, they are all children, how did these people from the Rin family get off on this? If the other side of the chaotic land was all important experimental equipment, this was more like a place for those experiments. This place was more like a burial place for those experiments. Wang Dust's face gradually became a bit ugly. These Rin family members, were they all born? To actually lay such a poisonous hand on a group of children. They, Wang Chuan didn't doubt for a second that if he hadn't obtained the power of a super god mechanic, then the ending, would it be the same as theirs? The answer was yes. If Wang Chuan hadn't obtained this power, 
I'm afraid that he would have been killed by the hypocritical Raninian, or he wouldn't have been able to pay for the expensive treatment and would have died a horrible death on the streets. Together with his parents and sister, he left the world. He is unfortunate, but he was able to survive as the luckiest of the unfortunate. These people, on the other hand, are the ones who are truly unfortunate, they couldn't even survive. And many of them were even deprived of their parents by the Rin family. Wang Chen covered his heart. Once upon a time, his own heart had been ripped out from here. He was even really naive at that time, thinking that his heart was broken and had to be replaced with a mechanical heart. Straight to the back he realized that these were nothing but lies from the Rin family. They had bought the doctors to lie to themselves just to get his heart. This world, itself, was a lie. Wang Chen, on the other hand, was going to take the mechanical god, who had been betrayed by the gods, to purge this world of everything, since he had this power today, although he couldn't do anything to liberate them from the endless abyss, but it could bloodily slay the people of the Rin family in their place, such an existence never deserved to live in the world, Wang Chen's eyes gradually turned cold, today, he did not know how many he would have to kill, and he did not know how many he would have to kill tomorrow, not to mention in the future, but he knew that as long as he did not kill, there would always be such an existence in this world, if he does not die, the killing will not stop, if he doesn't die, the killing will not stop, he, Wang Chuan, must kill so that no one in the world dares to bark, the Ren family is this first stop, pa, 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 a sound of applause came from a distance, whoosh, the searchlights in the basement were instantly turned on, countless strong lights shone on Wang Chuan's body, Wang Dust was not afraid in the slightest, just so quietly watching the clown's performance in front of him, Wang Chuan, you are very good, but you can only go so far, Bei Feng, the Rin family director standing on top of the high platform, said indifferently, along with him on the high platform, there were nearly a thousand Rin family members, they had long known that Wang Chen had arrived here, and were just quietly watching Wang Chen put on a good show, obviously, Wang Chen's strength exceeded their imagination, but even so, so what, a mere 90 level existence, their Rin family could have as many as they wanted, at most, it was a bit of a pity that their family's genius had been taken out, but there was only that bit of regret. Ren Tianxiang was indeed strong, but such a genius Ren family could produce a large number of them in bulk. This is enough to see that such geniuses are not scarce in the Ren family. It was just a matter of going for a few more highly gifted people. Is this the means of your Ren family? Wang Chuan glanced at the corpses spread all over the ground. Many of them were not even clothed when they died. Then he looked at these Ren family people who were on high platforms and thought they were big shots. Wang Chuan only felt a little sick to his stomach. These people who thought they were big shots were so bright and shiny on the surface. But in reality, they had done countless unseemly nasty things behind their backs. These Rin family people were the most damned existences. It's just one of them. I don't think you're unfamiliar with the Rin family pharmaceuticals. After all, your main family is the Jubilee Pavilion. And although the Jubilee Pavilion's potions are equally divided with ours, their costs are too much higher than ours. We started out from using them for experiments. Only then were we able to develop potions with strong potency and cheap cost. After all, there are so many orphans in the orphanage. Not every one of them has A or S level talent. There are even people who only have D level professions. What else can we do if we don't pull them to be guinea pigs? Ren Beifeng said it as a matter of course. He was deliberately provoking Wang Chen. He really wanted to see how this mole cricket struggled helplessly in the end. No matter how this mole cricket struggled, he had the ability to suppress it with just one hand. Think of it as enjoying the last struggle of a mole cricket before it died. Ha 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 ha. Wang Dust suddenly laughed out loud. What? Ren Beifeng was a bit surprised. Wang Chuan didn't seem to be as desperate as he had imagined. It was indeed commendable for a freshman to be able to have such strength. But to just this extent, to want to touch base with their Ren family, it was still too far. Too far away. I have never moved with such killing intent. I admit that you guys won. Then as a reward, I will personally kill each and every one of you. Not one of you will be left behind. Wang Dust said in a cold voice. Kid are you kidding me? You don't even look in the mirror to see if you are worthy. The Rin family's grand elder jumped out and pointed at Wang Chuan and cursed. Wang Chuan did not say anything. And the only thing that responded to him was the cold sound of the mech assembling on Wang Chuan's body. Super God Armor. Bayou. Wang Dust's palm cannon shot out instantly. Chapter 329. I will. Judge you. What effect can this kind of wonky looking attack have? I don't even need to dodge. The Rin family's grand elder disdainfully said, and in fact, he did not dodge. Bayou. Ah, I'm dead. The Ren family's grand elder's tongue spat out, and a bloody hole instantly appeared in the center of his eyebrow as he collapsed in a pool of blood. What? Ren Beifeng's face instantly changed. Although the strength of the Ren family's grand elder was far inferior to him, 
but at the very least, he was also in existence above the 90th level, and he had even transplanted an S-rank talent, as well as holding alien cells. This kind of strength even in the eyes of the whole of China is an extremely powerful existence, but now tell him, actually died, and still by Wang Chuan a move seconds, how is this possible? This is undoubtedly the peak of Hawking against Tyson, the results of Hawking was told that Tyson is only the referee, his opponent is Terra, just when everyone thought that Hawking will be killed in seconds, Hawking a round of light to Terra to seconds, abstract, simply too abstract, Ren Beifong probed the breath of the Ren family's grand elder, and he was actually dead beyond death. What kind of strength did this Wang Chuan have to actually be able to instantly second such an existence? Ron Beifeng's face changed again and again. The situation was somewhat out of place. However, the arrogance in his bones could not be changed, and he still looked at Wang Chuan condescendingly. What? Still not forgetting to maintain your condescending image now? Wang Chan snorted. This guy really thought he was still a human being. He was a bit too high on himself. He ah, uh, but just a waste. What's the use of thinking highly of himself ah? Uh, it is impossible to be his Wang Chuan's opponent ah, you, must die here today, Ren Beifeng's body shook, and in an instant, countless Ren family members instantly rose up in the air, Wang Chuan looked at the overwhelming side of the sky, a stark contrast to him alone on the stage, one against a thousand, moreover, the weakest ones here were all top level 70 powerhouses, if this strength was placed in the outside world, it would be a first class powerhouse, an existence that countless clans would worship as their guests, but here, it was just the weakest one, if it was just any other person facing such a stance, it was estimated that they would have had to kneel and prostrate on the ground a long time ago, there was no way around it, it was too powerful, and such a lineup was far beyond what manpower could fight against, it was only a pity that they had met Wang Chuan, the corner of Wang Dust's mouth rose, these guys, they were really eager to suffer death, but indeed, he was too lazy to play with these guys, Wang Chuan, you won't think it's unfair if you alone have to fight a thousand of us, after all, you're the dragon rising scholar. The second elder of the Rin family laughed wickedly. In his opinion, Wang Chuan was bound to be in a situation of certain death. Wang Dust froze for a moment, and he was directly exasperated and laughed. Since he said so, it was better to use this against them. Wang Chen waved his hand. Starport, activate. The stored 5,000 units of mechanical warriors instantly appeared. Light armed, activate. Atomic laser sword, activate. Quantum energy shield, activate. Buzz, all 5,000 fully equipped mechanical warriors activated, then it's not a problem for one of you to deal with five. After all, you are the Ren family. Wang Chen said blandly, the crowd looked at the second elder of the Ren family as if they could knife him. What the hell are you doing that's not good? You have to mouth off a bit. They were able to perceive that these mechanical warriors were at least 75 level existences. 5,000 mechanical warriors are tantamount to a fully equipped army of soldier kings. I see that you are senile. Hoomph. I think he's just bluffing. How much strength can a mere big iron block have? The second elder of the Rin family said disdainfully. In the next second, a level 70 Rin family powerhouse was directly beheaded by the mechanical warrior. Second elder of the Rin family. F asterisk CK. What kind of profession is this guy? Why is he so fierce? Summoning out summons that instantly secured level 70 existences? Dude you're playing a cracked version ah. Uh. Dealing with you guys, on the contrary, is the easiest step? Wang Dust moved his wrist and a red light flashed on his goggles. What? The second elder of the Rin family had not yet had time to be shocked. Wang Chuan's figure had quietly arrived beside him at an unknown time. When he saw Wang Chuan raise his hand, a piercing pain came from his arm. With a hand slash, Wang Chuan directly removed the arm of the Rin family's second elder. How dare a vertical son! The second elder of the Rin family shouted and was just about to come to distance. But with Wang Chen's speed, how could he possibly react? I told you, you're all going to die. Not one of you will be left behind. Wang Chuan's right hand pinched the head of the Rin family's second elder and violently pinched it. It was as if pinching a watermelon. His head instantly exploded, and the entire mixture of red and white splashed out. This guy's strength. Ren Beifeng's face changed again and again. Not thinking that this fellow's strength was actually so powerful, he did not move and retreated behind the crowd. Wang Chen's figure flashed rapidly between the crowd. It was as if there was no man's land, and everything here was nothing more than playthings in his hands. With a flick of his wrist, a person's head would fall. At this moment, Wang Chen was like a god. Judge the sins of the Rin family. Wang Chen didn't understand why the gods were giving their power to these guys when it was clear that the s rank talents were boarded with the power of the gods. Since the gods were not versed in the world, it was up to him to judge the gods and vent the anger of mankind. Chapter 330 Don't you push me. That's all it takes to get scared? Wang Chen looked towards Rin Beifong whose body could not stop retreating. 
his eyes had a slightly playful look. Would such a towering figure actually feel scared? Interesting. If he had known this earlier, why would I have to be like this? However, there was no use in saying if with such a character, unless the calamity truly came upon him, he would not know fear. Otherwise, he'll still be the same unforgivable evil, dehumanized bastard. Fear such as he has now. At most, it was only fear of his strength at this moment. By no means was he regretting what he had done. It's not too late for you to leave now. Myron family will let you go. Ren Beifong said in a cold voice. Even though he was afraid of Wang Chindu's strength, he still had a strong demeanor. How could he, who had been in a high position for a long time, be soft to others? Not to mention that it was just a freshman student. He might be strong due to some chance that caused him to be strong. But if he thought that this was enough to rival the Rin family, then he was too naive. And his personal power could never compete with the family. If he pushed them to the brink, Wang Chuan designated that he would have no good fruit to eat. You guys let me go? Wang Chen snorted as if he had heard a great joke. You seem to have gotten one thing wrong. The current me is very strong. Stronger than any of you. You think that you still have the qualifications to talk to me as equals? You are like ants in my hands. You can be destroyed with your hands. Your lives are just in the palm of my hand. Naivety, there has to be a limit. Wang Dust said indifferently. What did you say? Ren Beifong was as if he had forgotten about Wang Dust's strength as he violently stormed up. Whoosh. Wang Chuan's figure arrived in front of Ren Beifong at an unknown time. A red light flashed on Wang Chuan's goggles, filling it with Wang Chuan's killing intent. As I said, your lives and deaths are in my hands now. Whether you live or die is up to me. That's all. Wang Chuan a big beady 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 directly pumped over. What do you want? Ren Beifong said with a horrified face. He realized that he was actually unable to dodge this mediocre strike. How was this possible? No matter how powerful an opponent was, he wouldn't be able to even move. This kid, what kind of existence is this? That slap seemed to carry the unrivaled power of thunder. Clearly before it hit his face, it was as if there was an endless aura of death locking him in place. Can't avoid it. Can't avoid it at all. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Obviously has such a high level weapon. But he likes to attack physically. Especially like to slap others. This is what special fetish. This is the legendary mage who can't engage in melee combat is not a good mecha manipulator. Slap. A crisp slap broke the sound of battle on the scene. The people of the Rin family felt their Dao hearts shatter as they looked at the Lord family head who had been slapped violently by Wang Chen. The strongest person among them was actually slapped? Moreover, the most important thing was that they couldn't beat these big iron blocks in front of them either. It was clear that he was only around level 75, but he was just as if he was open, especially with 5 and 5 combinations. Even a level 85 A ranked professional was no match for them. It was simply terrifying. Strength to fight over levels. This was a pipe dream at any time let alone summons fighting over levels. It would be fine if the kind of summons that took a lot of spirit to summon out. But these mechanical warriors, Wang Chuan could summon a bunch of them with his backhand. How can he fight? Someone was hanging on. Rabbits bite when they're anxious. Don't force me. Ren Beifong touched the right side of his already swollen face, and the sparks in his eyes seemed as if they could kill. Force you? It's you that I'm forcing. Wang Chuan backhanded another slap. The force of this slap was so great that it directly jerked Ren Beifong fiercely thousands of meters. Rumble. With the powerful blow, Run Beifong could not stabilize his body at all, and was blasted away from dozens of mountains one after another. Wang Chen leisurely flew into the air above Ren Beifong. If this is the only level you have, I will kill you. Wang Chen said indifferently, as if he was directly pronouncing Ren Beifong's fate. This condescending tone irritated Ren Beifong. In the past, he was the one who used this tone to speak to others. When was it okay for others to use it? It was simply a strange shame. No way. Couldn't bear it anymore. Wang Chuan, you forced me to do this. If you know the secret today, you will never be able to leave alive. You're not going to do anything about it until you've toasted it. Are you? Ren Beifong shouted coldly. Even the air around him seemed to drop to freezing point in an instant. Oh, Wang Chen became interested. This guy, could it be that he still has a hidden card? He he, it's a bit interesting. Wang Chuan lagged in place and looked at Ren Beifong with a bland face. Ha, looking down on me so much? Wang Chuan, you will regret your decision at this moment. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Ren Beifong hissed as the muscles in his body instantly expanded. Compressed. Expanded. Compressed. His breath was surging crazily. In just a few breaths of time, his strength had already risen to another level. At this moment, Ren Beifong appeared to be a human being and not a human being, seemingly indistinguishable from a foreigner. Ren Beifong, Alien Form, Chapter 331 Absolute Power. Ren Beifong's Despair. The feeling of power. Intoxicating. Run Beifong took a deep breath. 
his eyes filled with infatuation. At this moment, he felt as if he was compared to a god. Such power far surpassed his previous self. It was worthy of the power of a foreign race. You are the first outsider to see me in this form. As a reward, I will ruthlessly kill you, Ren Beifeng said in a cold voice. He had already given Wang Chen a chance. If Wang Chuan had just walked away, he might not have exposed this card of his. After all, if he was caught for cooperating with the foreign races in such a way, it would definitely be a capital offense. And even the Ren clan, which was so powerful and had so many geniuses, would not be able to protect him. What? Becoming one with the filthy foreign race is your means? Wang Dust snorted. Still really think that by fusing with a foreign race he would be able to become strong? This was simply delusional. Becoming stronger came with a price. Regardless of the means of fusing with a foreign race, it was the most inferior. Gaining the few strengths one had, one had to lose the only brain one had. Such a cost was far worse than performing a single fight for your life. Wang Chuan despised Rin Beifong from the bottom of his heart. It seemed that this family head who dominated the life and death of a family was not very good either. He was not strong, had no brain, and would only sell out the human race for the growth of his own family. Little did he know that he himself was nothing more than a dog that had been captured by a foreign race. For such a fellow to be used as an opponent, Wang Chen only felt that he had soiled his hands. Ren Beifeng, he was not worthy. What? Ren Beifeng's eyes grew cold. Perhaps he himself hadn't even noticed that his sanity was gradually being devoured by the foreign race. This was the drawback of fusing face cells. It was impossible to become stronger without losing something. You're looking for death. At this moment, Ren Beifeng could no longer care about anything. He only wanted Wang Chen to die now. This fellow, Wang Chen, did not deserve to live at all. It was just that he, Ren Beifeng, didn't have power before, but now he had power that was nearly enough to defy everything. This mole cricket actually dared to be so wild. It was simply hilarious. He, Ren Beifeng, would make Wang Chen regret it, and he would treat Wang Chen like a mole cricket and ruthlessly ravage him to death. Finished? Wang Chen looked at Ren Beifeng with contempt. What? Ren Beifeng was a little surprised. Did this fellow Wang Chen not sense his aura or not look at his panel? Obviously his aura was so powerful. Why did he still dare to be so contemptuous of himself? Could it be that this guy had strength that surpassed his own? No. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. How could this guy who was like a mole cricket have strength that surpassed his own? This was something that could never happen. Then because of what? Ran Beifeng's face turned ugly. No matter what, he wanted Wang Chen to die. After that, you can die. Wang Chuan said indifferently, as if he was pronouncing an established fact. No, or in his opinion, this Ran Beifeng fellow was a dead man from beginning to end. How could someone who had long been on his mandatory kill list be allowed to live? It was only the difference between dying later and dying earlier. S.H. Ren Beifeng's words had not yet fallen. He only felt a stabbing pain in his chest. At some point, Wang Shen had already arrived in front of him. The sandbag-sized fist pierced into his chest like a sharp sword. A huge bloody hole instantly surfaced. I said that you all have to die. Look behind you. Wang Chen blandly wiped the blood from his fist. Ren Beifeng followed Wang Chen's gaze, and his pupils shrank. Thousands of his own clansmen had actually been decapitated at this moment. Without exception, they were all beheaded. Ren Beifeng's heart twinged as he looked at Wang Chen. What in the world had happened? Why was he able to kill all of his own clan members without his complete knowledge? This was their ring clan's elite ah. The person in front of him, was he a devil? Why so cruel? Your position today is from stepping on the blood and bones of the human race. No one has cleaned you up. I've come. I forgot to tell you. I've already sent the mechanical warriors to the Rin family all over the world to hunt down and kill the people of your Rin family. Today, none of your Rin family will be left behind. Next year's today will be your sacrifice day. At that time, no one in this world will remember you again. Like my gift? Wang Dust smiled faintly. It was as if he was expounding on a very ordinary thing. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Don't. Don't. Run Beifong was hysterical. He didn't think that the kid he had looked down on in the past. Why would he have such strength? Spare my Rin family, my Ren Beifeng's head is yours to take, my Ren family's treasure trove is yours to pick. Ren Beifeng's knee softened and he directly knelt on the ground. Confused, killing all of your Ren family, these are just as much mine. Besides letting you go, I won't let you go even if you beg me. Wang Dust said indifferently, let my Ren family go, they don't deserve to die ah. If you want to kill, kill me Ren Beifeng alone. Ren Beifeng made a gesture to pull up Wang Chuan's hand, let your Ren family go? In the past. There were snakes who let me go? Wang Chuan's face was expressionless. With a casual tug, he removed Rin Beifeng's hands. Also, don't touch me with your hands. You don't deserve it. Chapter 332 Ugly Blood Demon Emperor Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. 
The immense pain caused Rin Beifeng's face to twist, a pain that he had not experienced in a hundred years. What kind of demon was this that was so good at torturing people? He had already begun to regret why he had messed with Wang Chen in the first place. If he hadn't messed with him, the Rin family definitely wouldn't have perished. Why did he want to victimize the Rin family like this? There were quite a few people in the Rin family who were still children, especially the few children who died at the Iron Ox Beef Noodle House. Those were the backbone of their Rin family. Why did it come to this point today? Why in the world ah? Spare me. Spare the Rin family. Run Beifong gritted his teeth. Under the roof, one had to bow his head. Nowadays, he only had this solution. According to Wang Chen's strength, not to mention him, even if the entire Rin family came together, it would still be a cakewalk, so he had to bow down. He also had to bow his head. What if I say no? Wang Dust snapped. At this moment, his anger had reached its peak. If pleading worked, then what would happen to the geniuses that he had victimized in the past? If pleading worked, would they have died? The remains of the test on the ground and those geniuses whose hearts had been ripped out spoke of their pain all the time. They, who did not deserve to die. If they hadn't died, without exception, each one of them would have been able to become amazingly talented and supreme geniuses. But just because of the Rin family, they died, died without anyone knowing, died a miserable death. If there were still people who felt sorry for the Rin family, then Wang Chen would kill them all. Perhaps there were innocent people in the Rin family, but those who were victimized were all harmless people. Wang Chen's eyes gradually turned cold. He, today, would be able to purge the Rin family of all its people. This, was what the Rin family deserved. I, Ron Beifong clenched his teeth. Before putting his eyes on the situation, he even had the certainty to negotiate with the Red Dragon Guard commander. But today, he actually lost in the hands of a freshman student. On what grounds? Why was Wang Chen able to have such power? And yet he didn't. It seemed that it was because he hadn't captured enough geniuses. If he had kidnapped geniuses from all over the globe at that time, perhaps today, Amir Wang Chen would definitely not be enough to worry about. Since this was the case, he had to use his bottom card in advance. Ren Beifong raised his head to the sky. This is what you forced me to do Wang Chen. Ren Beifong said in a cold voice. He did not want to use it. But today, there was no other way. Oh, Wang Dust smiled playfully. He had long guessed that the Ren family had been keeping something in captivity all along. Even if Ren Beifong didn't say anything, he had to pull this thing out. He was not a great benefactor. It was just that he could not see such filth staying in the human world. Roar. Suddenly, it was as if the ground in front of the duo was suddenly torn apart. An enormous force shook the sky and tore apart the mountains. All of this was just an act of bare hands. It was enough to see the power of the monster in front of them. This is? Wang Chen fixed his eyes on it. He only saw a lanky. Hundreds of meters tall behemoth appear in front of his eyes. Was this the monster that the Run family kept in captivity? As expected, it was as perverse as the Run family itself. A monster with no specific body shape had disgusting organs growing everywhere on its body. And if one looked closely, these things actually resembled a human heart. This fellow, what exactly is it? Wang Chuan was a little surprised that the unbelievably ugly looking thing was actually the monster that the Run family had been keeping in captivity. However, it was also right. If the hearts that had been there all along were transplanted to the people of the Rin family, then where would their own hearts go? Naturally, there was only one way back, and that was to go feed this horrible monster. Monster, Ugly Blood Demon Emperor, Emperor Level Boss. Level, Level 110. Skills, Infinite Regeneration. Blood Demon Revival. Blood Demon Dama. Infinite Terror. Cursed Bloodline. Devour Everything. Infinite Split. Creative Regeneration. Monstrous Power. Introduction, a blood demon prince who failed to fight for the throne was given to the Ren family by the contemporary king of the blood demons as a trade item. The Ren family cruelly erased its consciousness, and then kept it in captivity in the blood demon pool. Taking human hearts as well as blood as food every day for several decades so far, with an extremely horrible strength and extremely many means, which can be regarded as the most disgusting existence, and he will blow up a heart every time you kill him, and you need to exterminate all of his hearts. All hearts are extinguished in their entirety. Level 110. Emperor level. Wang Dust couldn't help but be a little shocked that the Rin family in the district was actually able to raise such an existence. King level monsters were already considered top level bosses, and a level 100 king level boss was at the very least able to hang dozens of S-ranked professionals of the same level. And the emperor level is even more terrifying. I'm afraid that hundreds of S-ranked professionals, also not necessarily his opponent, the emperor level boss above the emperor level, it is even more rare in the world. In the history of mankind, it had almost never been encountered. However, there was no doubt that even tens of thousands of S-class professionals of the same level would definitely not be able to defeat it. In the history of mankind, 
Every time an emperor level boss appeared, it was mankind that ended in a near tragic end. Terror, this was absolute terror. Ha 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 ha, Ran Beifong laughed almost maniacally. He didn't care anymore. As long as he could kill Wang Chen, he was willing to do anything. Chapter 333 Clown Ran Beifong. Ran Beifong's face was almost twisted. If he had been once, he would never have thought that he would lose his temper like this. But now, he could no longer care about that. As long as he could kill Wang Chen. Nah, ugly blood demon emperor. Go kill him. Ren Beifong ordered. Before the ugly blood demon emperor had advanced to an emperor level boss, he had absolute dominance over the ugly blood demon emperor. It was only now that he was a little unsure. After all, an emperor level existence was originally extremely unstable. Not to mention that its strength far exceeded that of Ren Beifong. Whether it would listen or not, it was really hard to say. Originally, Ren Beifong was prepared to fully train it before using it. Just now, it seems that there is simply not enough time. Even if it didn't listen, it was still enough in terms of strength. He he. A clear mockery actually came out from the ugly blood demon emperor's not fully evolved mouth. What? Tell me. What are you laughing at? Ren Beifong was shocked in his heart, and snapped his head up to look at the ugly blood demon great emperor. This fellow, why would he be laughing so much? Why on earth ah? Even if he was uncontrolled, at most, he was only berserk. It was impossible to make a mocking sound. After all, no matter what creature it was, there was a certain process for the birth of a spirit. This was true even for emperor level monsters. In fact, many monsters and even foreign races had already been born spiritually. Monsters would be a bit later. Foreign races would be a bit earlier. And foreign races would have evolved their spiritual intelligence more perfectly. But no matter what kind, there is no doubt that their spiritual intelligence is slowly evolved. There is no way that one second is still in the stage of learning to speak. In no way could there be a situation where one second they were at the stage of learning to speak, and the next second they would already be fighting back and forth with a Go champion. This was simply an impossible situation. Why on earth are you like this? Tell me. Ren Beifeng's spirit completely collapsed. He knew very well what it meant for the ugly blood demon emperor to let out such a laugh. It meant that everything before, he was just a clown. The ugly blood demon great emperor's spirit was not just opened at all, but had been there from the very beginning. He, from the beginning to the end, was just being used, to captivate a monster that he thought was domesticated by himself. The foreign race, the monster, the two races played themselves for fools, and he betrayed the human race himself. Oh, the corner of Wang Dust's mouth rose, it seemed that these two were not a group, could it be that something has happened? Ren Beifong looked at the ugly blood demon emperor above his head in death. His spiritual intelligence meant that his last card was completely reduced to a dagger that backstabbed his heart. At this moment, there was no more reliance behind him. You don't really think that with your means. You'll be able to make me completely lose my consciousness. The torture you inflicted on me I did indeed feel. But when I saw that you were able to lay such a cruel hand on even your fellow clan members, I instantly didn't feel the pain again. Ha 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 ha. There are actually such stupid people under the sky who actually think that they are able to tame an imperial level monster? Not to mention an imperial level monster with a foreign bloodline. What's even more ridiculous is actually handing over the hearts of their own people of the same race to me. While you let me devour their own own hearts, I was naturally able to completely devour their hearts. But why didn't I? Because they are still alive in their physical bodies. Their ability to use another person's heart every time they go to kill a monster can be shared just as well by me. Even more so. I'm able to steal the origin of their ability and use it for me, although there is a leakage, but it doesn't have any effect on me. As for you, from the beginning to the end, you're just a clown. The ugly blood demon emperor mocked without mercy. He had once thought that his clansmen were the most ferocious existences, obliterating their humanity and lacking any compassion for their fellow clansmen when he was fighting for the throne with the blood demon clan. Since coming to the Rin family, he realized that in terms of cruelty, the foreign races were just a figure of fun and the true Satan still had to look at the Rin family. The ugly blood demon emperor extended his large hand first towards Rin Beifong. The terrifying power was enough to distort the surrounding space. This was the mighty strength of a level 110 emperor level monster. This was still the fact that the ugly blood demon great emperor had been deprived of his foreign bloodline, or else he would only be even more powerful. You you, Rin Beifong hadn't expected that even he and his own clan were equally puppets of this fellow. He had thought that he would be able to lead the Rin clan to supremacy. Unexpectedly, it was actually, it was just a tool of the foreign race. Wang Chen, kill him. I'm sorry. Ran Beifeng's eyes were red. He did not want to be like this. At the very least, he didn't want his clan to be like this. Don't worry. I will kill both you and him, including everyone in your Rin clan. Wang Chen said indifferently. With that, he casually killed Ren Beifeng with a palm cannon. 
He sort of knew why all these people in the Rin family had all pseudo S class talents, so it turned out that they lacked the origin, while Ran Enian did not. Kid, you've ruined my pleasure. The ugly blood demon emperor turned his head to look at Wang Chen, his tone cold. Originally, he wanted to let this mole live a little longer, but now it seems there is no need for that ah. Chapter 334 A Shocking Change The Governor's Shock In his opinion, Wang Chen was nothing more than a mole cricket with strength, an indispensable part of his plan to complete. Although he was curious as to how this mole cricket had acquired such a strong power, however, just with his current power he wanted to touch him. I'm afraid it was far from enough. Such a mole actually killed the person he wanted to kill with his own hands. What a damnation. The ugly blood demon emperor looked at Wang Chen coldly. He was a top-tier powerhouse with a noble blood demon bloodline. Dealing with such human ants was simply dirtying his hands. Wang Dust clapped his hands. As long as they were his enemies, he would kill them all without missing a single one. As for who his opponents were and what kind of suffering they had, it didn't matter. He only knew that he would kill them all without a single one left. Perhaps Rin Beifong did have a moment of realization at the last moment, but it was only a moment. Wang Chen had no doubt that if he had the strength to suppress the ugly blood demon emperor, he would definitely kill the ugly blood demon emperor along with himself. Wang Dust would never show mercy to this kind of person. To show mercy to the enemy was to be cruel to oneself. Wang Dust understood this very well. Otherwise, I am afraid that he would have already died. Wang Dust looked at the ugly blood demon emperor as if he was looking at a dead person. There was no point in the existence of such a fellow. If there was only meaning, it would be to provide himself with experience value. Right? Griffin, you actually dare to look at me with such eyes. The ugly blood demon emperor said in a cold voice. Wasn't such a look exactly how he looked at Wang Chun? He would never allow a mole to look at him like that. Wang Chen should have knelt on both knees with a look of adoration and let himself kill him. It was only at this time that he himself reluctantly bestowed death on Wang Chen, allowing him to become a nutrient within the noble blood demon clan. What an honor for humans. Humans have the limitation of longevity, but the foreign races rarely had this trouble. At the same level of strength, the lifespan of a human is almost one-tenth of that of a foreigner, or even far less. Among the foreigners and monsters, there are even long-lived species, the elves, the blood demons, the dragons, and the turtles, etc. They all have a lifespan of 10, 000 years. Their lifespan is almost always calculated in 10,000 years, and with the increase in strength, these lifespans will also skyrocket. A human's life is like a flash in the pan, but only a hundred years. And only by following a foreign race could one blossom eternally and gain eternal life. It was simply a human's honor to have a human's body in his. And this one mole in front of him dared to scorn him so much. Wang Dust moved his body. It seemed that this fellow, after all, was a little too confident. Then he wouldn't mind teaching this fellow to be human. The corner of Wang Dust's mouth rose. It seemed that this time, he could finally go all out an emperor level boss, let's hope that we can make him a little bit more serious, he was curious, this emperor level boss, what kind of strength did it have, it was actually able to be rumored so divinely by the outside world, the boss that was claimed to be fighting against the power of the nation, on top of which there were only world class bosses, and even the most terrifying god class bosses, although these two levels of bosses have never appeared, and only exist in the official conception, however, it is enough to see how powerful the emperor level bosses are, a level 110 emperor level boss could be even more powerful than a level 150 king level boss. This was definitely the most powerful existence Wang Chuan had encountered so far. At the same time, the office of the governor of Tianning province. A sharp knock sounded on the door. Report, Lord Viceroy. A level 110 imperial boss has been detected in Luohai city. The governor of Tianning province's inspection division walked in with a panicked face. Granny, what the hell is this? Level 110. Emperor level. These two were considered earth-shattering explosions no matter where they were placed. But today, they actually appeared together within the jurisdiction of Tianning province. Even if they were the current existing high-end battle force of Tianning province, the highest was only the 85-level governor lord. The key was for the governor lord to personally go into battle, and to be slapped by that ugly blood demon emperor. They would have to fall back on 10 tubes of blood ah, can't fight, can't fight at all. As soon as the governor of Tianning province heard the news, the tiger's body shook and stood up trembling. Capture. How many? A fucking level 110 emperor boss? The governor's legs went limp and he directly paralyzed on the ground. This was a devastating disaster in the eyes of the imperial capital. And now it actually appeared in Tianning province? Wasn't this an old fucking sin? However, as the governor, he couldn't just throw away the mess. Notify the governors of all provinces at fire speed that the highest danger level is 100. 000 fire urgency. Secondly, 
Prepare the province's highest battle force and follow me to Luohai City. That's right. Notify the TV stations and have them contact all the people in Luohai City. Evacuate them all and abandon that city. Finally, I'll change my pants. The governor trembled as he held onto the table and walked out. It couldn't be helped. The pants were wet. It was too damn exciting. And over in Luohai City. Let's hope that things can pass safely this time. Don't make a big problem. Chapter 335 The entire world was shocked. The whole of China was shaken. Emperor level bosses. What kind of concept is this? The few emperor bosses that had appeared in history were all extremely terrifying. At most, they were only level 100 emperor bosses. Yet they managed to exterminate several small countries and more. Once upon a time, the Sakura Kingdom's little baka were opened up by a level 90 emperor boss on their face, leading to the eruption of the MT. Fudo Volcano. So much so that in the end, the little baka were wiped out. During this period, they even utilized several level 100 plus powerhouses, and even called upon the gods in the high heavens to grant them supreme greatness. Even so, in front of the emperor level monsters, it was still like a mayfly shaking a tree. Ridiculous and unimportant. In the end, it was China that deployed its top tier of strongmen and ended the battle at an extremely disastrous cost, even using a number of undercards to take down the level 90 emperor boss. And that time, the level 100 emperor boss, even more half of the world's top powerhouses were mobilized. No matter which emperor level boss appeared, it would bring a devastating disaster to the world. Terrifying. Extremely terrifying. At the same time, Bo Yon, the Red Dragon Guard commander, was on his way to arrive on his dragon. When he heard the news, he immediately expressed his disbelief. Joking aside, this was an emperor level boss. No matter how you look at it, it couldn't possibly appear in a small place like Luohai City. After all, that kind of small place simply didn't have the nutrients for him to grow. Even if a person's qualifications were good, it was always impossible to cultivate to such a powerful point without any resources, even if it was a monster. So what if he had an emperor level bloodline? You have to grow up step by step from a king level boss if you want to get stronger. And leveling up requires devouring humans or heavenly treasures ah. It was impossible for him to be able to level up to that high of a level without any movement so far. Unless someone fed him. This was even more impossible. Who the hell would waste so many resources to captivate a monster? Then would he still be human? What's more? It was simply impossible to get that many humans to serve as the monster's rations and remain untouched. And the people who raised him don't want to live? Don't say is like his people. Even their red dragon guards don't have the means to be able to control emperor level monsters. This is too much to live too long? Bayong laughed out loud. After all, this news was just too funny. As he laughed, he couldn't laugh anymore. He suddenly thought of what was in the middle of that laboratory. His face instantly turned cold. Luo Hai City. Ran family. Wang Chen's mechanical heart. These linked together. No matter who you are and what kind of background you have, no one will be able to protect you this time. Bayong coldly looked ahead. This time, he would personally get rid of all of this. Not a single one would be left behind. At the same time, the Xiao family head who had managed to rush back with great difficulty heard this news. His body trembled violently. Grandma, any more errands would be gone. However, on the matter of besieging an emperor level boss, it was something that all strong people above level 70 had to do. This is a kind of obligation. More so, it is a responsibility. The Xiao family had put on a storage ring of combat boots and turned his head towards Luohai City. The world's top powerhouses were all heading in the direction of Luohai City at this moment. After all, if such an existence ran out and absorbed even more humans, I'm afraid that he would even advance to become a world-class boss. When it really comes to that kind of level that only exists in conjecture, I'm afraid that they would be defenseless. They would only be ravaged to death by such a terrifying existence. Such an existence must be nipped in the bud. Emperor level boss ugly blood demon emperor. It was a sensation in China. And even in the entire world. Everyone didn't know that at this moment. There was actually a district freshman student who was confronting an unrivaled existence in their eyes. You're very good. From your eyes. You actually can't feel any fear for an unrivaled powerhouse. However. I hate this kind of look. The ugly blood demon emperor's voice was like an evil ghost returning from the nine hells. It was shuddering. Is that so? You are definitely not an unrivaled powerhouse to me. Rather. I am, Wang Dust said indifferently. However, this fellow was indeed a top-tier powerhouse at the emperor level. Even if it was his own self who had turned on the super god armament, under the addition of countless buffs, he was afraid that his strength could directly rival a 120-leveled powerhouse. But at this moment, he actually felt a bit of a struggle to even stand. Worthy of being an emperor-level boss, just the pressure alone was so powerful. Just, he had encountered himself. Wang Chen slowly extended a finger. 
Are you surrendering? The ugly blood demon emperor froze. No, I mean, one minute, to settle you, Wang Chen said indifferently. In the next moment, his aura changed abruptly. Super God Overload, opened at full strength. The full attributes increased tenfold. There was a loud rumble. Wang Chen's super god armament was instantly covered with supreme terrifying power. Even the super god armament was as if it couldn't withstand such a powerful force at this moment, and it began to flood with silk lines, in which there was even scarlet blood spreading. It looked extremely powerful. Chapter 336 Space Shift This power. Wang Chen took a deep breath. Unexperienced power. Was this all the strength he had now? Strong. Very strong. Unimaginably strong. He had never imagined that he would be able to grow to such heights and he would be even stronger in the future. He felt like he was omnipotent at this moment. Even the ugly blood demon emperor, who was like a huge mountain, seemed to be nothing to him. This was his power today, a power that was close to that of a god. Wang Dust looked towards the ugly blood demon great emperor, and the corner of his mouth rose. What's going on? The ugly blood demon emperor was shocked. The human mole in front of him was actually able to raise his aura several times or even dozens of times in an instant. Originally, he only needed to use half of his own pressure to barely suppress Wang Chen he felt that the human in front of him was already very impressive. He didn't expect that he would actually be able to be even more powerful. Now himself, even if he used his full strength, he could not stop Wang Chen's firm steps, not even shaking him by a hair could he do so. The ugly blood demon emperor was shocked. During the time he had been fed by the Rin family, he had almost complete knowledge of the human race's intelligence, regardless of which country or power. He knew exactly what cards were in it. In addition to the information that the Rin family had inadvertently revealed, he was even able to recklessly probe the memories of humans who were transformed into half-human, half-monsters. He was even able to directly plunder the memories of other monsters. Between these decades, he had almost grasped all the sources of information in the world. Knowing the undercurrents of all the forces wasn't too much, but this was undoubtedly holding everyone's lifeblood. This was also the reason why the ugly blood demon emperor was so confident. He knew that with this appearance of himself, there was simply no way that anyone in humanity would be able to stop him. This was because he had discovered that there was simply no one in the outside world that could match his existence. Furthermore, looking at the entire world, it seemed that there was no existence above level 100. This was very strange. The ugly blood demon emperor was able to sense that level 110 was far from his limit. At best, this period of his life could only be described as a growth period, and he was afraid that he still had a long way to go before he was truly fully formed. Even so, no one in the outside world was his opponent, which was strange. It seemed that amongst humans, level 100 would already be the upper limit? This was unlikely. And even if the ugly blood demon emperor had information from all over the world, he knew very little about such things. But the only thing he could be certain of was this. His strength was strong enough to be called invincible in the outside world. The battle now has only just begun. Wang Chuan took a heavy step, and his footsteps were so firm. Instantly, with Wang Chuan as the center, a powerful aura instantly tightened around the ugly blood demon emperor. The ugly blood demon emperor was not willing to show weakness, and another blood red aura forcefully pressed over. In an instant, it was as if heaven and earth were only blood red and gray. For a moment, the two forces were equal. The surrounding houses, trees, mountains, rocks, and rivers were all directly destroyed by this force. The heavens and earth also changed color. Powerful, extremely powerful. The two men were secretly competing with each other. It even gradually spread to the people around them. Wang Chen's face was grave. Although he wasn't a good person, he wouldn't stand by and watch so many people die. If he let go with the ugly blood demon emperor, not to mention Luo Hai City, he was afraid that Tianning province would be raised to the ground. He had to shift the battlefield. It couldn't be done here. After all, here, he couldn't hurt the innocent here. It's better to use this if I deal with you. Wang Dust said indifferently. Afterward, the divine shield of apocalypse instantly appeared in his hand. This power. The ugly blood demon emperor subconsciously took two steps back when he saw the divine shield of apocalypse in Wang Chuan's hand. If the other S-class talents were just gods casting their gazes, it was merely a trace of divine might that was only a remnant of that gaze. But the divine shield of apocalypse in Wang Chen's hand actually had the aura of a god? It wasn't even a very thin bit. Rather, it was extremely thick. It seemed as if Wang Dust was the god itself. What was going on here? The ugly blood demon emperor was not like other people. As an emperor level boss, he was extremely afraid of the aura of a god. The higher up the boss, the more so. The more one knew about the fearsome nature of the gods, the more one would fear them. Spatial shift, Wang Chuan said indifferently. Whoosh, the two of them had a heavenly rotation in front of their eyes. In an instant, they came to some other place, 
The Land of Chaos. Chapter 337 Wang Dust's Powerfulness. Great Emperor's Shock. Fighting in the Land of Chaos did not need to worry about hurting innocents, which was the best point. Otherwise, if one were to look at any human city fighting, I'm afraid that the aftershocks between them could easily take the lives of tens of millions of people. If the ugly blood demon emperor absorbed the essence blood of tens of millions of people again, it was simply unimaginable how strong he would become. Spatial system ability? The ugly blood demon emperor was astonished. This kid in front of him had brought him one surprise after another. He was actually able to directly teleport. Moreover, he was able to sense that this chaotic land in front of him was as far as millions of kilometers away from Luo High City. In other words, Wang Chen could even manage to ignore his strength and directly teleport him here in an instant. And it didn't require any preconditions at all. This guy was simply a freak. But after glancing at Wang Chen's shield, he was relieved. After all, this guy might as well be an existence that had been watched over by a true god. The weapon in his hand precisely illustrated this. Being able to have some unique god-given abilities was not particularly strange. The ugly blood demon emperor rightfully thought of Wang Chen's own abilities as those bestowed upon him by the gods. After all, I'm afraid that no one could have imagined. A mere human could actually have such strength. Even more so, he was able to grasp abilities that were close to those of a god. Terror? What kind of terror was this? The ugly blood demon emperor didn't even dare to think in that direction. Even an emperor level boss like him, who was above all powerhouses, did not have such a special ability. All of this could only be attributed to the fact that Wang Chen was simply too heaven defying. Obviously, he was only at a mere 61 levels, but he actually had such strength. Not to mention being at the same level, he was even able to pressurize an existence whose level was twice as high as his. This was already enough to show the extent of Wang Chen's heaven defying nature. However, even so, the ugly blood demon emperor did not have the slightest panic in his heart. He was able to come to this point. Naturally, he would not be without any reliance. His own powerful strength was naturally his greatest dependence. Wang Dust swept a glance at the ugly blood demon emperor. This fellow's strength was actually still rising. Worthy of being an emperor level boss, his strength was actually so terrifying. Wang Chuan shook his head slightly. If he dealt with this fellow, he had to be quick. If he allowed him to meld the power in his body, I'm afraid that it would be even more tricky at that time. Wang Chuan had a premonition that this fellow would definitely be the most powerful opponent he had encountered so far. There was no one. The previous king of blood demons did not even have a single word to say when facing the ugly blood demon emperor in front of him. Even though his own strength had increased a lot compared to then, the difference in strength between the ugly blood demon great emperor and the king of blood demons was simply more than a star and a half. If one were to say so, it was completely like comparing a firefly to a white moon. The two were simply not at the same level of existence. Wang Chuan slightly moved his body. And next, it was time to fight with all his might. Wang Chuan's breath changed abruptly and dramatically, instantly becoming terrifying. Finally getting serious? Human Griffin, let me see how strong you really are. The ugly blood demon emperor laughed out loud. The huge blood claw slapped out violently. Its power was so great that it shook the heavens and moved the earth. And even the earth was shaken by his mighty power with gusts of cracks. The terrifying power was enough to make even the heavens and earth change color. Terrifying. Truly terrifying. It was only at this time that Wang Chuan realized just what an emperor level boss was. Powerful. Truly powerful. I'm afraid that no one can surpass such a powerful strength. When looking at the world, it was the same. But unfortunately, his opponent is Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan aligned the palms of his hands, and a blue light suddenly glowed in his hands. A suffocating killing intent appeared out of thin air at some point. And if one looked closely, it was enough to see that a light blue energy was actually converging in Wang Chuan's hands. What is this thing? I actually feel threatened? The ugly blood demon emperor said with an incredulous face. Even if several hundred level powerhouses were placed in front of him, it would only be a matter of blowing a breath. However, the sesame-sized energy in Wang Chuan's hand made him feel no less threatened. You have to know that this kid is only at level 61, but he is so terrifying. If you wait for him to develop, it would still be a big deal. No, this son must not stay. The ugly blood demon emperor slammed out and a powerful force instantly erupted. The huge palm covered the sky, and with this strike, it was bound to kill Wang Chen completely. Tenfold Palm Cannon. Wang Chuan's hands instantly converged with energy. B.I.U. Terrifying power erupted out. Rumble. The palm of the ugly blood demon emperor was actually directly shot through by this strike. Although it was not fatal, it caused the ugly blood demon emperor to feel a long-lost sense of pain. This mole cricket was actually able to injure him? The effect is good. Wang Chuan did not think as much as the ugly blood demon emperor. It seemed that the trick he had stumbled upon wasn't working well. 
This move was enough to allow him to utilize the power of Super God Overload in his normal state. Next, it would be his turn to get serious. The corner of Wang Dust's mouth rose. Chapter 338 Second Kill Part 1 Griffin actually has such power. The ugly blood demon emperor looked at Wang Chen with a grave expression, not expecting that this kid was not only intimidating in terms of his aura, but also so terrifying in terms of his battle power. This battle seemed to take some of his strength. However, it was only some. The next moment, the ugly blood demon great emperor immediately exploded his power. A thick pressure instantly swept across the entire scene. Even Wang Chen felt a pressure if nothing else. Even after turning on the overgod overload, is it still possible to feel the pressure? Wang Chen muttered. This was the first time he had this feeling. In the past, turning on the overload of super gods had been unbeatable, crushing all the way through, and had never encountered any opponents. And now, it was true that he felt a definite pressure. This guy, he was very strong. Wang Dust's face was grave. This time, it had to be serious. Otherwise, facing such an existence, his stamina might not be enough to consume. No matter how long his blue bar was, in the end, there was only the upper limit. The guy in front of him, however, almost had no blue bar limit. He had at least tens of thousands of bloodstains. In terms of consumption, he is by no means his opponent. The only way to win, that is a quick battle. Coincidentally, Wang Chen had always been confident in his ability to fight quickly. The only way to know who is a mole is to fight. Wang Dust said indifferently. The Divine Lance of Apocalypse and Divine Shield of Apocalypse slowly emerged in Wang Chuan's hands, the Apocalypse Divine Lance and Apocalypse Divine Shield, which were assembled by machinery, actually bloomed with supreme divine might. It was hard to imagine why such artifacts actually hosted such power. What? Two weapons that contain even an aura? Even the ugly blood demon emperor could not help but be shocked by Wang Chen's weapons at this moment. Weapons that contained the aura of a god. It would not be an exaggeration to say that they were divine artifacts and the person in front of him actually had two of them. This fellow, is definitely a monster. He had to be killed. Otherwise, I don't know how high the sun ceiling will be in the future. 62 levels can fight a level 110 emperor boss. What he can achieve in the future, I can't even think about it. This guy's future could far exceed his own. It's fortunate that there is such a terrifying genius amongst humans. It was a pity that he had met himself today, and there was no way he would leave Wang Chuan alive. His goal was simple and that was to completely kill Wang Chuan. Any existence in the world that was more powerful than his talent did not need to exist in this world. Then he would be the strongest. That was why Wang Chen had to be killed and had to be killed. Jia Jia Jia, I must kill you today. The ugly blood demon emperor let out an evil laugh. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The sky was instantly imprinted with the color of blood red. Countless scarlet blood gates emerged out of thin air. Countless gigantic hands ripped out of them, as if they were going to dry up the sky. With this strike, the mountains and seas shook the heavens and the earth. Everything around them seemed to be dead silent. Trees snapped, the earth cracked, and the river flowed backwards. No matter what it was, it couldn't lift its head by this power. Wang Chen, I want you to die. Blood demon thousand hands. The ugly blood demon emperor shouted. Countless blood hands fell with a roar. Thousands of large hands in a second. The terrifying power even pressed down on Wang Chuan and he could not even lift his head a little. Just... Trying to take down Wang Chuan like this was a bit too much to look down on Wang Chuan, wasn't it? The corner of Wang Dust's mouth rose slightly. His strength was much more than that ah. If he was too underestimated, then he would be very bitter. He might have some shortcomings when it came to fighting single battles, but if it came to fighting group battles, he was still afraid of others? Don't forget that the super god armament was only to protect Wang Chen's life. The true strength of the profession of super god mechanic was far from Wang Chen's. All along, it was only Wang Chen's own strength that shone too brightly to set off his mechanical creations that were not good. But in reality, his mechanical creation was strong, incomparably strong. Sending him to meet the king of hell was a matter of weapons. And the super god armament was only protecting Wang Chuan from letting the mechanical creation send the ugly blood demon emperor to meet the king of hell. Snap. Wang Dust snapped a ringing finger. Rumble. 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 Several booms rang out in succession. Behind him, magma suddenly rose up. Countless weapons slowly appeared behind him. B.I.U. The energy gathered by the countless weapons was like an exterminating laser as it blasted towards the ugly blood demon emperor. The terrifying power even caused space to distort. This, what kind of power is this? The ugly blood demon emperor was shocked. This kid was fucking openly hung. What profession's main body was powerful? But it turned out that their summons were even more powerful. It shouldn't be. There shouldn't be an existence like this amongst humans. Rumble. The terrifying laser directly penetrated the countless blood-colored giant hands of the ugly blood demon emperor. 
a huge bloody hole surfaced in his center. Seconds, ugly blood demon emperor heart minus one, ugly blood demon emperor's remaining heart nine 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 nine. In the next moment, the ugly blood demon great emperor, who had just died, stood up once again, resurrected with full blood. Moreover, because of digesting a heart, he was even more powerful. The process of constantly dying also happened to be the process of him becoming more powerful. Chapter 339 Time Suspension Shock of Blood Demon Earth This was because his complete body was originally required to completely absorb these hearts. Wang Chen taking out one of his hearts was instead helping him. After all, it would take a long time for him to try to refine so many hearts by himself alone, and it was obvious that he didn't have that much time available to him now. Not to mention, there was still Wang Chen, the tool man, here. Getting killed once makes you stronger? Wang Dust said gruffly. It was really a tricky ability. If he hadn't opened himself up, he would have to say high and low that the opposite side had opened up. Fortunately, his hang-up was even more powerful ah. However, overdrive overload had a time limit. He had to kill this guy within the time limit. Otherwise, the only one who would die would be himself. A tenfold increase in one's attributes without any side effects was already considered a divine skill, and it was impossible for something like unlimited use to occur. Just this way, things would be troublesome. The ugly blood demon emperor still had close to 100, 000 lives. How easy would it be to kill him in the middle of the duration of overgod overload? It was obviously somewhat difficult. However, he had to try even if it was difficult. After all, the person who had offended him could not be allowed to live in this world. No matter what he said, if it wasn't for him, his own sister wouldn't have been unable to stand up for the rest of her life. If it wasn't for him, his own parents wouldn't have fallen into a coma. Everything was because of this mastermind. Good thing. After today, all this is going to end. Ding. Your mechanical warrior sends you a congratulatory message. All the remaining members of the Rin family have been purged. Wang Dust smiled slightly as these guys finally finished dying. This is really good news. Dealing with the ugly blood demon emperor in front of him was the easiest step instead. Wang Dust didn't move and gave a command to the mechanical warrior as well as his own mechanical creation. Turning his head. He looked at the ugly blood demon emperor again. Griffin, it looks like you just did something. Your expression has suddenly become confident. The ugly blood demon emperor laughed evilly. He wasn't surprised by what Wang Chen had done because he had even more powerful means. Once all the hearts were all gathered together, he would be able to raise to twice his initial battle power. And at that time, the Wang Chen in front of him would be nothing more than an ant. What's more, Wang Chen wouldn't necessarily be able to survive until that time. No matter what kind of tactics Wang Chen used, it would be impossible for him to raise his battle power that much in a short period of time. Since he couldn't raise it, there was only one end. That was to be killed by him. A genius with such great strength must be delicious. Not to mention, Wang Chuan's immediate surge in battle power must have been the result of using some sort of tactic. Perhaps a short time battle power increase was quick, but once time passed, there would immediately be horrifying side effects. He just needed to wait for the time to come. No matter how powerful the ability, how heaven defying the means, a flimsy battle power was always inferior to a steady battle power like his. Wang Dust casually dusted his body. Since everything was arranged, it seemed like he could let go of the fight. This would be his most serious battle. Wang Dust's feet slammed down, and his entire body shot out like a cannonball. Rumble. The earth underneath his feet instantly cracked. The terrifying power even made the ugly blood demon great emperor feel scared. This kid was indeed a freak. His strength was actually so terrifying. The ugly blood demon emperor was secretly terrified. I thought that the attack just now was already invincible. But I didn't think that there were actually similar means. What kind of profession is this? Actually so strong. Those who didn't know also thought that this kid was openly hung. 62nd level hard shaking level 110 emperor boss. Looking at the past and present. There was only one person. Wang Dust. There was no one who could match Wang Dust. And in the aspect of fighting at a higher level. Wang Dust was the most bullish. Even the ugly blood demon emperor, whose strength was so terrifying, was deeply shocked. This kid, is he really still fucking human? However, don't underestimate me either. The ugly blood demon emperor burst out. Huge blood colored fists came towards Wang Chen like a dense rainstorm. In an instant, tens of thousands of dense fist shadows surfaced in front of Wang Chuan. And at first glance the number was not great. But how terrifying was the body of the ugly blood demon emperor? Wang Chuan had no possibility of dodging at all. Even if an ordinary level 100 powerhouse casually took a punch from the ugly blood demon great emperor in front of him, then he would die completely. This was the terror of an emperor level boss. A true powerhouse. A powerhouse that no one could match. Just then, time pause, let time stop flowing. 
Wan Chuan's voice surfaced in the ears of the ugly blood demon emperor. What? The ability to pause time. The ugly blood demon emperor was shocked. There was a fucking time ability. Are you sure this isn't a hang up? Moreover, 62 levels of pausing a level 110 existence. Are you fucking kidding me? Man you're open. Emperor level bosses had the effect of absolute dominance over existences below their level A, completely immune to the control of existences below their level. This kid, really isn't a good fighter. Wang Dust shook off his hand. This was just an appetizer for him. Chapter 340, Wang Dust's prepared backhand. The ugly blood demon emperor could only watch as Wang Dust's figure was like a swimming dragon, weaving back and forth amidst the dense shadows of his fists, yet he was never harmed in the slightest. What kind of terror was this? The ugly blood demon great emperor gritted his teeth as he looked at Wang Chuan. This fellow's time suspension was just too insulting. It was obvious that he had the ability to suspend him along with his consciousness, but he preferred to leave his consciousness behind and only freeze his physical body. But the problem was that even though his consciousness had mobilized his entire body, his point body remained motionless. It was enough to see just how perverse Wang Chen's strength was. No, more accurately, it was this ability that came from the gift of the gods. In the end how terrifying it was. It was definitely the only thing he had ever seen, and it was unknown why such an ability had fallen into Wang Chen's hands. As far as he knew, those who could be chosen by the gods were almost always members of those great families. Since the beginning of their lives, they had displayed extraordinary characteristics, and it could be said that those chosen by the gods already had countless halos attached to them since the moment they were born, and since their births, they had embarked on a path of radiance. Even so, they were far less powerful than Wang Chen. Moreover, the gods, by definition, could not even look at someone like Wang Chuan, who did not even have a complete heart. The so-called gods were not people with good hearts. They were incomparably self-important and lofty, treating humans as if they were ants. And even if they gazed at them for a moment longer, they felt that their eyes were polluted. Their bestowers were almost always physically intact people. After all, how could those moralistic guys look at a disabled body? The ugly blood demon archon altering other people's souls utilized this very point of the gods. And as long as their bodies were made defective, those gods would not think about how to remedy their chosen ones. Rather, they would simply discard them. As for the so-called power of the gods, as far as they were concerned, it was only the power brought about by one more look. It was simply inconsequential. This was the reason why the ugly blood demon emperor found it strange the moment he saw Wang Chuan, who was clearly the first successful S-class gifted experimental subject, and was clearly physically crippled, but was still able to obtain such a powerful force with such a powerful force, who else could it be, excluding a god, the ugly blood demon emperor couldn't think of it, couldn't think of it at all, in the eyes of these foreign races of theirs, the battle between humans and foreign races, the fight with monsters, was just a toy for the gods, when the gods got bored and annoyed one day, they could instantly destroy the huge chessboard by simply raising their hands, everything they had worked so hard for was just a toy for the gods entertainment, it was precisely because he knew all of this well that the ugly blood demon emperor felt deeply weak, Right now, he was afraid that he might not even be able to defeat the king of the blood demon clan, let alone the unattainable gods that only existed in the high heavens. The ugly blood demon emperor looked at Wang Dust, curious as to how much greatness the gods had bestowed upon him, how much power they had bestowed upon him. It was actually possible to be so powerful. The ugly blood demon emperor did not have the slightest doubt that all of these were the powers that the gods had bestowed on Wang Dust. He knew that excluding the gods, no one would possess such greatness. Even he was the same. However, it was a bit too ridiculous to want to defeat him with just one move of time suspension, even if he was able to control himself. So what? What strength did he have to be able to kill so many of his own lives? A weak person, after all, was a weak person, and only a strong person like him would be able to last for eternity. Wang Dust flew to the front of the ugly blood demon emperor. Countless weapons suddenly surfaced behind him, with a terrifying power that regaled the soul. This is, the ugly blood demon emperor was speechless for a while. Did this guy expect human modernized weapons to defeat him? There was no mistake. Those weak weapons, he didn't bring fear when he was just born. Let alone now. Da day day. Countless more firepower poured onto the ugly blood demon Dai Duo. Soon, he realized that something was wrong. These weapons, although they hit him rather scratchy, but, they couldn't help the amount. Moreover, why could this weapon cause damage to him? How was this possible? Wang Dust wasn't idle either. He began to run behind the ugly blood demon emperor and pinched up his heart. That's right, as long as he pinched up these hearts, he would naturally die a life. It was just that this was a little too long. With each dead heart, the ugly blood demon emperor's aura was going to be much stronger. Next, as long as Wang Chuan killed fast enough, he would not be able to recover. What's more, 
Wang Chuan was preparing a backhand, he could pause for a localized period of time, and on the other side, the mechanical warriors he had lined up as well as multiple mechanical units such as diggers would help him prepare his backstroke, and in this wave, he had long since stood in a situation where he was sure to win. Next, he only needed to leave it to time. Thinking like this, Wang Chuan casually pinched and burst several more hearts of the ugly blood demon emperor. Shock relief ya. One pinch, one ring. Chapter 341 Gather the items and prepare for the upgrade. Soon, the time stop ended. The ugly blood demon emperor's aura skyrocketed by nearly double. The strength was incomparable to what it was at the beginning, and the strength was extremely terrifying. Such an existence, just by standing there, already made people unable to raise their heads. Wang Dust was somewhat surprised. Just by taking out a quarter of the heart, this fellow had actually managed to become so powerful. Pervert, a true pervert. Who could tell which one of Wang Chuan and him was open now? Even if Wang Chuan wanted to achieve a short period of time to increase to such a powerful strength, it would never be easy. One could only imagine how terrifying this ugly blood demon emperor's increase in strength in a short period of time was. However, his Wang Chen's strength was far more than that. If he wanted to defeat him with this level of strength, then it would be a bit too much to underestimate him. If he were to say how strong he, Wang Chen, was, then he would have to extend a palm and put his middle finger away. That is, terminally strong. This was his Wang Chen's bottom line, and even more so, his confidence in his own strength. Although the enemy army is a hundred times stronger than me, I will break it with one blow. This was more of Wang Dust's unrelenting and invincible heart. Griffin, I don't know why you have such abilities, but they will only be mine in the end. The ugly blood demon emperor said indifferently, as he had long regarded Wang Chuan's abilities as a bag of tricks. After all, it was simply too much of a pity that he did not have such abilities. By melding these abilities together, he would later become a powerhouse at that level without any hindrance once he leveled up to the threshold of a world-class boss. Once he reached that point, I'm afraid that no one in the entire world would be able to outshine him. He, on the other hand, would become the supreme true king of the world. And to do all this, he only needed to do one simple thing, and that was, to kill Wang Chen. You seem to be very confident in your own strength. Wang Chen smiled faintly. He didn't seem to realize the absolute difference in strength at all. This caused the ugly blood demon emperor to be a little puzzled. What was wrong with this human? He should be well aware of the difference in strength between himself and him at this moment. Before he himself had entered this state, he might indeed be about the same strength as Wang Chen. But now, the two of them simply could not be counted as the same level of existence. So where was this fellow's confidence? Not right. This kid had been stalling for time since just now. He had been misled, and the time pause just now was just a cover. He had been swindled by Wang Chen's so-called god's power all along. This guy's reliance, from beginning to end, was not his own powerful strength ah. The ugly blood demon emperor was sweating coldly as he realized that something was wrong. This fellow, not only was his talent so powerful, but even his brain was so good, he had been laying out a plan from the very beginning, utilizing one set of traps after another. He was completely kept in the dark. After dragging on for such a long time, Wang Dust suddenly unlocked the time pause. Only then did he realize that even with time suspension, it was impossible for Wang Chen to suspend the entire world. At most it was only a partial suspension. That was all. He had always overlooked this point, subconsciously thinking that a god was suspending everything. But this fellow, what exactly could he do by delaying for such a long time? The ugly blood demon emperor was at a loss. Moving for help? Even if more top human powerhouses came, they would be of no use. At their level, even if there were more mole crickets, they would still be mole crickets. The gap in quality could never be made up by quantity. He didn't understand, but he looked at Wang Chuan with a winning expression, and he felt hairy in his heart. After such a long time of fighting, Wang Chen's strength was clear to him. It was because of this clarity that he was afraid of Wang Chen at this moment. This fellow, exactly what kind of undercard did he have? Counting the time, it's almost time. Wang Chen said indifferently, immediately afterward, a mechanical arm suddenly drilled out of the ground and placed a boxed item into Wang Chuan's hands. Wang Chuan gently stroked the meteorite black iron with mysterious patterns. It contained an unimaginable mysterious power. The ancient and mysterious aura could not hide his power. Such power was truly a bit intoxicating. This power, however, would soon belong to him. What is this? The ugly blood demon emperor froze. This tiny box, no matter how you look at it, it doesn't look like something that can cause him harm ah. Finally, I've gathered all of you. Wang Chen slowly exhaled a breath. Bloodline steel, star silver, and meteorite black iron. Three supreme items from this world. Now, all of them were in his hands. And, these three things were even more miraculously effective for himself. 
the super god armaments on his body had begun to glow red, and Wang Chen knew clearly that this was them craving for these things. Bloodline Steel repaired the dark wounds of the super god armament, allowing it to be connected to the user's bloodline and become completely integrated. Star Silver, the metal with the strongest extensibility, could reshape the super god armament, and meteorite black iron, containing the power of destruction, granting the super god armament unrivaled power. These are essential. Chapter 342 True Super God Armament. And now, all of these powers, all of them, could be fused into his super god armament. Once upon a time, the consciousness of the super god armament had told itself that the power he could exert was far from the limit of the super god armament. He could completely become stronger. In Wang Chuan's hands, it became even more powerful than the once mechanical god. And this was precisely the first step for the super god armament to step out on a new path. It was also at this moment that the super god armament truly belonged to him. Wang Chen. What the hell is this? The ugly blood demon emperor's tiger body shook as he looked at Wang Dust with a deadpan look. This fellow, actually had such strength. What exactly were these three props? Obviously, they were just very simple materials. But why was it that they were able to emit such an extraordinary aura around Wang Chuan? This aura seemed to be far beyond him. Why in the world was this? The ugly blood demon emperor's face changed again and again. Looking at all the hearts on his body, as well as the corpse of Rin family head Bei Feng. Immediately, he made a decision. That was, to fuse him. Although the accelerated fusion would deplete his lifespan, he had always trusted his intuition. If it had been like this, he estimated that he might not even live through today. This fellow, Wang Chen, was truly terrifying, worthy of being a genius favored by the gods. In moments of crisis, there was always something that came from the heavens to help him through. Unfortunately, what he, the ugly blood demon great emperor, despised the most was these gifted guys who were looked upon by the gods. In his opinion, even a heavenly genius would kneel at his feet today. He, the ugly blood demon emperor, had this vigor, and even more so, this strength. The scene returned to Wang Chen's side. Wang Chuan sat cross-legged on the ground. The consciousness linked to the super god armament. From today onwards, you are the true owner of the super god armament. Congratulations. An ancient in vicissitude's voice sounded in Wang Chuan's ears. This was the consciousness of the super god armament itself. Due to the fact that the god of machinery had been backstabbed by the gods, the super god armament had already been riddled with holes, and it was already the limit for it to have a trace of consciousness, but he still wanted to hold on until the day when the super god armament could really change. Fortunately, this day is not too late, but he waited for a long, long time. Now, it had finally arrived. I will make the name of the super god armament ring out among the gods. An armament that surpasses the gods is a super god armament. Wang Chen solemnly looked at the remnant soul in front of him. The consciousness of the super god armament was like a candle in the wind, almost about to dissipate. This is the moment of your ascension to godhood. The super god armed burst out. Wang Dust felt something in his heart and let out a low gulp. The three materials from the outside world instantly appeared in Wang Dust's mind. Wang Dust looked at the three radiant materials and gently nodded his head. With a wave of his hand, the materials appeared in front of him. Rumble. The three materials suddenly exploded, and the fragments quickly spun in the air as countless forces coalesced within the three materials. These three materials might be rare, but there were definitely many possessors. However, it was only in Wang Chen's hands that they were able to utilize their true power. In an instant, countless spell formations instantly surfaced under Wang Chen's feet. Rumble, rumble, rumble. A loud roar resounded in Wang Chen's ears. The super god armament on his body surface instantly exploded. Fragments with the material began to coalesce in the air. At this moment, the super god armament, which was given life by the blood-striped steel, was like a living thing as it danced in the air. Terrifying power instantly surfaced. I wish air, a smooth journey on his future path. The residual consciousness of the super god armament was thrilled to see this scene. But his consciousness, it seemed, could only support him to see this. He had overdrawn enough. He, who was originally just a dead thing, had more feelings that he shouldn't have. He who should have shattered with the super god armament, but the power came from nowhere to keep the super god armament barely holding on. Though all of this, he never thought he would do. He still did it. Perhaps, when he was born, he was never meant to be ordinary. It was a pity that he hadn't been able to carry out this ordinariness to the end. And now, there was someone who was several times or even dozens of times more powerful than him who would carry on his will. This, would be enough. At this moment, he was satisfied. As a mechanical area. He was able to have today's ending. He was satisfied. The dust had settled. Finally, goodbye. The super god arm's remaining consciousness faintly said. Just as his birth was unknown, his death was also unknown. 
Wang Dust felt something in his heart and looked in the direction of the super god armed. Originally, the super god armament that had been there all along was maintained by him? Thank you, this power will never end here. He would become even stronger, more powerful than ever. Drink! Wang Chan gave an explosive shout. The super god armament quickly reorganized in the air. This was a brand new super god armament that belonged to him. At this moment, it was as if the shackles in Wang Chen's body had been opened. The super god armament was actually as if it was a part of his body. Ding! Congratulations on successfully unlocking the true super god armament. Wang Chen nodded. The next step would be his new chapter. Chapter 343 Half Step World Class. I am strong, unprecedentedly strong. This was the only thought in Wang Chen's mind. The previous her wearing the super god armor had always been as if she had used external forces, and although she was strong, she never had that feeling that she was strong in her own right. The truth was exactly the same. The previous super god armament couldn't do a true heart to heart with him. The power was his, but it wasn't entirely his. There was a sense of detachment if nothing else. In short, it was a strange feeling. But now, there was no such feeling at all. The current him, armed with the super god armament, the super god armor gave him a feeling as if it was a piece of skin on his body, and his blood was able to flow through the armor. It even gave him the illusion that the super god armor was his original appearance. He could even feel the super god armor on his body. Being excited, the corner of Wang Dust's mouth sketched out a smile. Since you want to fight so much, then let's fight. Battle him until the world is turned upside down, until no one else dares to stand out from him. Heaven and earth, I am the only one. Wang Chuan looked at the current attributes of the super god armament. Origin Divine Armor, True, Super God Armor, Undamaged, Quality Divine Grade, Ability, Super God Overload, Mechanical Ascension, God Super God Armament, Introduction, Broken Super God Armament roamed through countless years, and saw the rise and fall of countless races, he once did not understand what truly powerful meant, and even more so, he did not understand what the meaning of existence was, until he encountered Wang Chuan, he only knew what was powerful, and what was the strongest. Even if he had lost the light of his past, and even if he was about to be dispersed by the ashes of his soul, but for the first time, he felt that he was a truly living existence. He had poured out his remaining strength, all of it to dust, and he was finally able to rest in peace in the Nine Springs. One dust clenched his fists. He knew, this time, he would do all the things that the god of machinery and the super god armament couldn't do once. Even if it was a god, he would kill you. What's wrong with this guy? How is his power so strong? The ugly blood demon emperor looked at Wang Chuan dead on. This guy is fucking hanging on. Power doubling up? Unheard of. Obviously, he hadn't done anything, and just his aura had already doubled in strength. It seemed that even if he had fused his entire heart, he would only be able to barely hold Wang Chuan's level. But he was different from Wang Chuan, who had just raised his strength with a divine aura around him. Although this weak divine aura did not pose much of a threat to him, but, he was afraid. He didn't dare to touch the divine aura at all. Mouthfuls were mouthfuls, but if he really wanted to blaspheme the gods, including but not limited to him, he would definitely not be able to resist the god's sanction. That's why he sat down in place to improve his strength. But his current situation was different. He was now sacrificing his lifespan to boost his strength, and there was even no protection around him. How could this possibly beat Wang Chen? Bad. Really bad. The ugly blood demon emperor looked at Wang Chuan in death, fearing that Wang Chuan would raise his hand and chop off his head with a knife. Who knew? The next second Wang Chuan's action shocked him. Don't worry. You elevate. I will completely kill you when you are at your peak. The corners of Wang Dust's mouth rose. This was his gift to the ugly blood demon emperor. He wanted to watch this guy's pride, which he thought he was proud of. Be shattered by himself. What's more, he wanted to show the world what was the strongest. You damn it. The ugly blood demon emperor clenched his teeth, not expecting this kid to be so inflated. But since he was so arrogant, then don't blame him for being unforgiving later. The ugly blood demon emperor coldly looked at Wang Chen. He immediately must pay back this humiliation. Ten times a hundred times or even a thousand times. To have revenge. This was his ugly blood demon emperor's usual style. He now. There was still here to be this shrunken head turtle. Different from the two people on the surface of the calm. At this moment. China. And even the whole world has exploded. At this moment is riding the dragon to catch the road by Yong. Surrounded by a few other people. A few people face Stony. Commander Ba, the strength of this emperor level boss is still rising, but he hasn't raised his upgrades at all. Do you know what this means? He's leaping towards a half-step world-class boss. Once he reaches this class, I'm afraid that no one will be able to outshine him in this world. The big shot beside him had an anxious look on his face. Apart from the red dragon guards flying dragon guards, 
there were naturally a few corps in Huaxia. This person was none other than the bureau chief of the Green Dragon Corps, Li Tian Cheng. The same was true for the several surrounding corps' bureau chiefs. They were waiting for the person in front of them to give orders. This Xinguo level existence was the backbone of Huaxia, and in that person's absence, Bai Yang was the only one who could speak. If such a monster had appeared in that place, he would have been able to solve it with just his hands, but it had appeared in Blue Star, and his strength had been limited to level 100. Why should a guy beyond level 100 be able to appear in Blue Star? He naturally knew that level 100 and non-level 100 existences were simply two worlds. If this guy was an emperor level existence, perhaps by gathering the power of the whole world, he would barely be able to seal him, but once he crossed over to the half-step world level, then, Blue Star would definitely be destroyed. They might not necessarily die, but the people would definitely die. Right at this moment, a burly figure appeared beside Bai Yong. Seeing the bystander, Bai Yong's face showed joy. It was him. Chapter 344, the formerly invincible marshal is old at this moment. Marshal Long. Even though Bai Yong had been in the battlefield for a long time, he was helpless in the face of this situation. But if Marshal Long came out, it wouldn't be the same. There were a total of two Xinguo level existences in China. One of them was Bai Yong, and the other was Long Shui, Long Ding Tian. There were a total of three Supreme Guards in Huaxia, also known as the three great weapons of the state. The third, the Flying Dragon Guard, patrols China so that no madman can get away with anything within its borders. The second Red Dragon Guard, guarding the borders, foreigners and the outside world shall not step into China. Their boss, the true dragon guard, marched into the battlefield of gods and devils, expanding the territory for China. China can have today's strong, and these three inseparable, the strongest among them, who also had the most power of speech, naturally belonged to the true dragon guard led by Long Ding Tian. You summoned me, it was always going to come. Why is there such a situation within Huaxia? Long Ding Tian frowned. He was dumbfounded when he heard Bai Yong say that the talent of Huaxia had withered over the years all because of a certain family. Normally, how they fought and made their juniors fight to the death. He could understand all these. A good man has the blood and vigor to be able to open up the territory for Huaxia. But, he didn't expect that there would actually be a family that was so vicious that they would actually raise the entire national strength of China to enhance the strength of their own family, and also sell their souls to the foreigners. This was simply not something a normal person should do. Long Ding Tian immediately rushed to Huaxia at full speed. I don't know how that kid checked. When I found out, the hole was already huge far beyond what you and I can fill. Bayong sighed. Seeing that you all are in such a hurry, could it be that another big event has occurred? Long Ding Tian realized that the faces of the crowd were not right. That's right. Within the territory of Huaxia, a level 110, emperor boss has appeared. At these words, Long Ding Tian froze. This kind of thing, how could it happen? One had to know that monsters above level 100 could not exist in Blue Star. In other words, only by stepping into the divine and demonic battlefield would one be able to obtain the means to become level 100. And once they returned to Blue Star, this power would be sealed with it again, and would not be able to be used at all. It was almost impossible to become an existence above level 100 in Blue Star. This guy, how in the world did he do that? And it's an emperor level. There weren't many emperor level bosses in the divine demon battlefield either. The appearance of any emperor level boss was no less than a devastating disaster. Of course, the bosses of the Divine Demon Battlefield were far more terrifying than Blue Star. There, it was the real battlefield, and Blue Star's side was nothing more than a small fight. Then again, if the power over there could be brought in, it was estimated that it wouldn't take more than a few days for Blue Star to be blown apart. Long Shui, how is it? Bayon let out a bitter smile. There was nothing he could do now that he was burnt out. If it really came to that, he could only sacrifice himself to seal the ugly blood demon emperor. Although it was a bit of a pity for a Zhang Guo level to die in such an event, this was really the only and least damaging way. There is still a way. Follow me. Long Ding Tian took a deep breath. He naturally knew Bai Yang's way. However, he had sacrifices that were even smaller. The life of a Zhang Guo level existence all could not just be his alone. It was more of a representation of the strength of the entire China. But where there was one less, the pretty country would not be able to resist falling on its sword. Today's China even if the young generation of green and yellow is not cut, but after all, there is the existence of the old generation of people, they don't dare to be too reckless, if it is really less than one, they are bound to be lionized by those guys. When Bai Yang saw this, his face did not look good, Long Ding Tian was preparing to sacrifice all of his lifespan, this was no different from sacrificing a Xinguo level existence it was a pity that he couldn't do this, or else he was bound to sacrifice himself. Long Ding Tian's ability to exert himself in the Divine Demon Battlefield could be far greater than himself. 
But right now, there was clearly no better choice. It could only be so. I hope that the younger generation, it would be best if someone could pick them up within 50 years ah. A few people were not surprised to learn that the ugly blood demon emperor had appeared in the land of chaos, and hurriedly rushed towards the land of chaos. The land of chaos contained a hint of the god of chaos aura. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many foreign races inhabiting that side. They all wanted to partake of the god of chaos aura. But unfortunately, they were far from being able to do so now. However, if it was the ugly blood demon emperor, it would be hard to say. But once he inhaled it, he would inevitably step into the half-step world level. And at that time, I'm afraid that all of humanity would have no choice but to give up the blue star to head to the god devil battlefield. This is kind of a helpless move. Bayong sighed. He felt old. The invincible marshal of the past did not exist anymore. Alas, he let out a long sigh and his eyes were inexhaustible with despondency. Chapter 345 Blood Miles The main battlefield of the Land of Chaos The ugly blood demon emperor's face turned cold as he looked at Wang Chen who was waiting for him with a disdainful face. This fellow, he really didn't put himself in his eyes. It was a pity that this brat's rampage wouldn't last long, no matter how talented and powerful this kid was. But today, he would eventually die in his hands. His benevolence would be his biggest break. The ugly blood demon emperor didn't understand. Why would there be such an evil existence amongst humans? More evil than even their foreign races. It was equally incomprehensible. Why would there be such good people among humans? The years when he had just come to the Rin family to mingle. From time to time, he had encountered some people in the Rin family who had taken pity on him. He had thought that humans should be a better race than the Fae. He had never encountered these humans again afterward. And in their place were those who did not deserve to be called humans. Their hearts were even far more vicious than his own. The ugly blood demon emperor's goal in the beginning wasn't actually this. He was nothing more than a pitiful blood demon clan member who had been wasted by another blood demon great emperor. He had an empty royal bloodline but no strength to match it. That was why he was compelled by the Rin family. And then later on, as he devoured more people, his spiritual wisdom came up. Those hearts of the Rin family that he had devoured were influencing his thoughts. He gradually began to think that humans were not a good species. These people of the Rin family did confirm his suspicions for the sake of their own power, betraying the human race, for the sake of their own might, using their fellow clansmen as test subjects, for the sake of their own might, brutally killing their own clansmen, in a clan like the Run clan, he could even see everything, it was that he didn't see anyone who had shown mercy to him again, perhaps dead, perhaps changed for the worse, but there were no more people with pure hearts amongst the Run family, everyone was filled with the desire for power, as if power was everything, even as a foreigner, the ugly blood demon emperor rather loathed them. He even thought that their blood polluted his own body. To this day, the ugly blood demon emperor could no longer tell the difference. Which one was his true heart? His original heart might have been lost long ago after his fusion with the Rin family's heart. Unintelligible. There was no doubt that the current ugly blood demon emperor's heart was filled with evil and only evil. He might or might not be him, but invariably, the current him was him. Just as the ugly blood demon emperor thought of this, a steep surge in his aura occurred. He had always rejected these thoughts, but after accepting it he was realizing that he had long been inseparable from these evil spirits on his path to becoming stronger. Whether it was good or evil, he had long been unable to leave them. Since he had fallen deep into them, then, he would completely turn them into his own power. This would be enough. The ugly blood demon emperor looked up into the sky. Perhaps, this was the real him. Rumble, rumble. The heart on the ugly blood demon emperor's body exploded at great speed. The speed was so fast that it blew up all the remaining hearts in a near instant. Only then did the ugly blood demon emperor realize that those hearts were all the remaining consciousness of the Rin family, and it was only after fusing these that he was able to fuse his power. All of this was inseparable to begin with. The ugly blood demon emperor closed his eyes. The body suddenly changed drastically. The body that was originally as massive as a hill. At this moment, it was like shrinking, rapidly shrinking. In an instant, he turned into a humanoid red creature with not much difference in height from Wang Chen. Is this my new body? It's actually so similar to a filthy mole cricket. The ugly blood demon emperor was disgusted with humans. However, once he thought that he couldn't get away from it anymore, he gladly accepted it. I seem to recall my original name. My name, Blood Wanli. Blood Wanli looked towards Wang Chen and slowly said, I'm not interested in memorizing the name of a dying person. Wang Chuan said indifferently. The reason why he had allowed Blood Wanli to successfully refine the remaining heart was because he wanted him to be his whetstone. A powerful whetstone like Blood Wanli was rare. It was imperative to bring out his full strength today. Otherwise, the next time he encountered a suitable whetstone for himself, he didn't know how long it would take. He wasn't worried that he would roll over. 
No matter how powerful an enemy was, it was nothing in front of him. He, Wang Chuan, would be strong, would be stronger than anyone else. He he, sure enough, you're still as annoying as ever. Blood Miles was not as grumpy as he was at the beginning. But then, he straightened his expression. In return, I'll leave you a whole body. Blood Monley's figure in the air stumped violently. He actually stepped on the air. The air being stepped on by him was as if it was compressed. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Sonic booms sounded one after another in the air. Even the space around him faintly showed signs of cracking. Half step. World level. Today's Blue Star could no longer withstand the power of Blood Miles. If he was allowed to continue here, it was estimated that the Blue Star would be torn apart. Wang Chuan frowned. It seemed that he had to move a little faster. Otherwise, it would not end well at that time. Chapter 346 If you don't work hard at leveling, you'll be a brother to Blood Miles in the Soul Coil. Right now, Blood Miles is already infinitely close to half step world level. If any more breakthroughs come, I'm afraid that the entire Blue Star wouldn't be able to withstand the pressure. As a matter of fact, the same was true for Wang Chuan right now. He could feel that although he had a lot of power, if he exploded with all his might, it would inevitably cause the surrounding space to be torn apart. Could all of this be because his own power was too strong? Wang Chen felt that it was unlikely. Although his own power nowadays was said to be not weak, it was far from arriving at the point of being that powerful and unbeatable. Compared to a god, his current power was still much different. Then why exactly? The gods were able to devote themselves to this world. His own strength today shouldn't make the world so repulsive. It seemed that it was again something that hadn't been taught in the school books, combined with the previous statement that 100 level powerhouses were not allowed to explode to their full strength. Wang Dust had a few guesses about this restriction, but once you use your full strength it would tear through space, it would take a long time to deal with this guy without using it. Hiss, it was difficult to do. Wang Dust added the power of the divine shield of the apocalypse to his surroundings. A spatial power, if any, actually wrapped him all over meaning that today, he would not be affected by the tearing of space. So it's still possible to use the power of space like this? Wang Chen nodded. Next, dealing with the fellow in front of him was perhaps the easiest step. Wang Chuan straightened his complexion, and his breath steeply outward. The advantages of the strengthened super god armament began to show. At this moment, he was incomparably powerful. Compared to the previous unenhanced super god armament, his strength had clearly risen to another level. So strong, Blood Wanli's pupils shrank. He had made so many efforts and spent countless years laying out his plans. But why? His strength was still no match for the young man in front of him. There was quite a feeling that all these years of effort had been fed to the dogs. This fellow was actually so terrifying, so terrifying that even he must not bow his head under this power. Blood Wanli surface immovable. Inside has long set off a storm of mind. These years of efforts. In the end, what is it for? He actually still worse than a human boy? A mere 62 levels. Strength overwhelmingly beyond him this 110 levels infinitely close to the half-step world-class emperor level boss. Terrifying. Truly terrifying. However, as long as he was killed, everything he had should be his own. Blood Wanli's body shook around him, and his power poured out recklessly. Now that I'm strong, exceptionally strong, it's unlikely that anyone will be able to surpass me. Blood Wanli let out a roar. The sound was so powerful that the earth was directly shattered by his roar. Countless auras swept through the surrounding space. Tear. The space around him instantly tore out countless huge mouths. Who says no? I can. Wang Chen said indifferently. He gently reached out his hand. He was able to know the limits of the blood demon miles with just a slight strike. The breaths of the two men clashed continuously in the air. Wang Dust realized that it was not a good idea to drag on like this. With a wave of his hand, countless mechanical creations appeared out of thin air and came as if they were a tidal wave. Thanks to the upgrading of the super god armament. These weapons were now able to get a lot of enhancement in the super god armament state. It wouldn't be like in the beginning, when they were powerless for high level battles and could only clear small monsters. Blood refinement 3000. Blood miles bellowed out. Along with his shout, a thick blood mist suddenly rose up with him at the center. Within the blood mist, it was as if countless severe ghosts were wailing, and there were countless crises spreading within it. These are all the deceased souls of the Rin family. Now they have been re-summoned. If you don't make an effort in practicing, You'll be a brother in the 10,000 souls coil. That was them. Fire all out. Wang Dust shouted. The countless weapons behind him spewed out as if they were dragon's breath. Endless amounts of energy poured out. Wang Dust didn't care about blue depletion at all right now. Although his blue bar was limited. If he was stingy and released that little mechanical creation, people would see it and think that he, a super god mechanic, didn't have much use for it. Release. Must release. 
The battle between the two was like a collision between a cultivator and a mechanic. Every collision was accompanied by huge energy scattering, and there were countless spatial tears. Powerful, truly powerful. The clash of the strong against the strong, the ultimate aesthetics of power against power, played out in front of the two. Something, seeing the delay in taking down Blood Miles, Wang Dust found it interesting in a rare moment. As the mask was lowered, Wang Chuan's figure shot out like lightning. In just an instant, he arrived in front of Blood Wanli. So fast, Blood Wanli's pupils shrank. This fellow, the hexagonal warrior, was even faster than just now. This terrifying growth ability. Rumble. The two of them exchanged punches. It was actually Wang Chen who had a slight advantage. Blood Miles' right hand was already starting to collapse to maintain its shape. Although Wang Chuan's mech cracked briefly, it quickly returned to its original shape. This guy, is he a monster? Blood Miles said in a deep voice. This was dangerous. Chapter 347 Blood Demon's True Body For a moment, Blood Wanli actually couldn't tell who was the real monster, and the abilities that he had always been proud of were now as if they were toys that crumbled at the drop of a hat in front of Wang Chen. However, he absolutely could not lose this battle, nor could he lose. He had recalled the day he was driven out of the Blood Demon Clan by that fellow. His once close friend asked him, If the opponent was him, would you win even if you were driven away? Taken in trade, and forced to lose your power? Blood Miles smiled slightly then and slowly said, It would win. Since then, he had been striving for revenge. The meaning of his existence was revenge. Waving his sword at his former self. Waving his sword at the guy who drove him away. This was the meaning of his existence. And even more so, the reason why he had worked so hard to become stronger. He had been laying out his plans for countless years. From the time he was forced to come to the Rin family. Perhaps today's Ren wouldn't be that guy's opponent. But he was fearless. He believed that as long as he, Blood Miles, survived a single breath of life, that guy would definitely be beheaded by himself under the throne one day, the force is good, Wang Chuan lightly spat out a few words, indeed, Blood Wanli's power was good, but, that was all, after truly fusing the super god armament, his strength was definitely two levels of existence compared to before, he didn't even dare to think to himself that he would be that powerful after truly fusing the super god armament, but if he wasn't that powerful, how could he live up to the hardships he had endured along the way? He had come all the way here in order to be able to take revenge on his former enemies, in order to help the god of machinery take revenge. His life may or may not have existed for revenge, but until he figures it all out, he will unleash his fury on all his enemies. Live for battle until death. Kid, don't underestimate me. Blood Wanli shouted explosively. The blood around his body rapidly converged towards his arm, and in the next moment, he actually recovered completely. This was entirely thanks to the Blood Demon Clan's terrifying recovery power of Blood Wanli himself. Looking at the same level, the Blood Demon Clan's ability was definitely at the bug level, an ability that countless people envied. The abilities possessed by humans were undoubtedly one-dimensional. Moreover, it wasn't powerful. Even the most powerful s rank talent was nothing more than a universal ability of these foreign races. Unless he was able to make the gods lower their second gaze and become an s plus ranked professional. But this was far from being a one-two punch for those foreign races that possessed the royal bloodline. If mankind didn't have the mysterious planet of the Blue Star, it was estimated that they would have perished long ago. The Blue Star's restriction on the entry of level 100 powerhouses was essentially to protect the Blue Star human race. Otherwise, with that terrifying battle power from the outside world, I'm afraid that Blue Star would be annihilated with the snap of a finger. The Blood Demon Clan was strong enough, right? But in the outside world, he was just a small clan. The human race is strong enough, right? Outside the blue star, countless human martyrs fought for tens of thousands of miles in blood, and could only fight for a moment's respite. Those supreme existences that were second only to the gods might only need a glance from millions of miles away to completely kill a race. This was the tragic scene outside the blue star. The current blue star was nothing more than a greenhouse. I'm not underestimating you, but, your strength, that's all. Wang Dust's face was as normal. It seemed that this fellow in front of him, his full strength was here. No, this is not my limit. My limit is, the power of the blood demon, dying the nine heavens, countless dead souls, adding all to my body. I will pay for all the karma, and I will carry the burden of all the heavens and all the worlds. Blood demon true body. Now, blood Wanli shouted explosively. A huge giant instantly appeared before Wang Chen's eyes. Standing tens of levels tall, it was nowhere near as massive as his original body. But what was exchanged was a change in his quality. At this moment, Wang Chen truly sensed a sense of crisis. Unexpectedly, this fellow still had such a hidden card. In that instant just now, he had directly absorbed all the blood chi around him before he was able to condense into such a huge blood demon body. 
instead of blindly getting bigger. It was more like, similar to the kind of Dharma phase heaven and earth, an increase in quality. Wang Chuan knew deep down that the blood Wanli at this moment was definitely an uncontestable existence in its current state. However, this was exactly what he wanted. He still had one last card that he had not used. Kid, you're something compared to those guys. I'll only take your heart, not destroy your flesh, and leave your whole body. How about it? Blood Wanli seemed to have already settled on Wang Chen. He was really curious as to what Wang Chen's occupation was. Even if he had traveled in the outside world, he had never heard of anyone with such a perverse talent. He was also curious as to which god was able to cast such a blessing on Wang Chen. It allowed him to be so different from the others. You seem to have an obsessive confidence in your strength. It's not your fault, but if you are too confident, you are going to get beaten up. Little blood demon. You can't pretend to be a cupcake. Wang Dust said contemptuously. Blood Wanli was just about to get angry when he suddenly noticed a terrifying aura rising from the ground. Chapter 348 True Super God Armament True Super God Armament A black ball of energy suddenly appeared in Wang Chen's hand. It was violently thrown towards the ground. A large spell formation appeared. The totem of a true dragon slowly emerged in the spell formation. This, this is. Blood Wanli's tiger body shook. This fellow, how could he, still have a backhand? Obviously he had already bottomed out. But this kid was actually able to keep up. What kind of freak is this guy? Actually has this such strength? No. No, this is absolutely impossible. How could there be such a powerful human? This was simply not something that should occur. Such a human, such a freak, even in the divine and demonic battlefield, it is not rare, but why? Why would it appear in the tiny blue star? No, this guy, I'm afraid that he couldn't be seen even in the divine and demonic battlefield. Level 110 Emperor Bosses, there might be quite a few of them in the divine and demonic battlefield, but in front of those true geniuses, they were just practicing goods. Among the same level, the geniuses of those top races were simply not comparable to these inferior goods of theirs. He could accept all of this, but he couldn't accept that in the tiny blue star. There could be someone who could easily crush himself with a rank of 62 awe. Blood Miles clenched his teeth and decided to sacrifice his life again. Without breaking, he had no other way but this last resort. If someone asked him if he would rather die in an extremely suffocating manner, or be able to use the last second to display an invincible posture before falling then he would definitely choose the latter. Perhaps he would die, but he would never be willing to die in the hands of a junior, much less on the path of revenge. But if he had no other choice, he would definitely crush all the stumbling blocks that stood in the way of his revenge. Burning blood. Blood Wanli shouted explosively, and the blood around him evaporated as if it were boiling. In the blood demon clan, blood was the essence. Even if their body was crippled in every way, as long as they retained blood, they would be able to live on and resurrect all the time. But if the blood was evaporated before they were resurrected, however, if the blood was vaporized before they were resurrected, then there was no doubt that their lives would come to an end. This was the case for the Blood Demon Clan, and this was also the case for Blood Miles. Blood Wanli's life was just a snap of a finger, and the blood around him was evaporating at a rapid pace, in exchange for a constant stream of power. With a loud rumble, Blood Wanli's body had been half eaten away, but he, his strength had suddenly skyrocketed. Half a step. World level, a true half-step world level, strength compared to just now, Blood Wanli was simply enlightened, clearly one heaven and one earth, and this, was precisely the short-lived power he had gained at the cost of his life, Che, this power, I would have been able to obtain it after a while, thanks to you, human, Blood Miles said in a cold voice, but he didn't have the strength to talk nonsense anymore, next, it had to be a quick battle, or else he wouldn't necessarily be able to take Wang Chen away even until he died. The power gained from burning your life? Not bad. There are indeed redeeming features. Wang Chuan slightly raised his head, having a clear perception of Blood Wanli's strength today. Perhaps such power could be far superior to the former him. It was a pity that this fellow was not the only one who had become stronger. Even he himself was on his way to becoming stronger. He was strong today. He would be even stronger in the future. Stronger and stronger. So strong that, no one would be able to defeat him. This was Wang Dust. Wang Dust quietly watched Blood Wanli's performance. It seemed that his strength could only go so far. Blood Wanli, do you know what my greatest regret is? Wang Dust said indifferently. What? Blood Wanli didn't expect that Wang Chuan would still be able to speak to himself so calmly nowadays. Did this guy still have any backbone? A 62nd level guy. You've had enough ah. Do you have a limit or not? Enough. Really enough. Is there anyone who can be so unreasonable to keep enhancing ah? You think you're a plug-in. That is. You are too weak. I had thought that you were able to have some kind of bottom card, but unfortunately, it disappoints me too much. 
I'm strong, even stronger than ever. What's more, I'm afraid that the strength of today's me far exceeds what I once thought I myself could achieve at this level. Wang Chen extended his right hand and struck his ringing finger. It was as if the entire space entered a forbidden state at that moment, and anything around him seemed to be eclipsed, as if, it was the descent of a deity, and the Wang Chen in front of him was a god. Roar! A dragon's roar resounded in the air, and the majestic sound pierced through the clouds straight into the nine heavens, even if it was millions of miles away. It was just as thunderous, it was clearly audible. A huge mechanical mech suddenly and slowly poked its head out of the formation. The pitch black mech was dotted with elements that belonged to dragons, the dark black scales, bright red eyes, and the lines that flowed all over the body like blood, all told of the mech's power. The dragon's head in the center was lifelike, just like a real divine dragon. This is the true super god armor, the full power of the super god armament. Wang Chen would smile. How could a true super god mechanic not know how to open an armor? This was the full power of the super god armament. The super god armament was originally two forms. Armed, on the other hand, was the form of Wang Chuan's first transformation, while the second time, it was super god armed. This, what in the world is this? Chapter 349, thoroughly decapitated. Blood Miles had been shocked beyond words. The mechanical creations in front of him were clearly not products of the same era as him. One was a mechanical Gundam with a very futuristic technological style, while the other was still covered in blood steam, with the blood on its body constantly decreasing, as if it was a savage. The appearance of the two men was enough to make a difference. It was as if a savage was fighting in an ultra-high-tech battle armor from the future. What's more, the power of the real super god armor was far superior to him. This was Wang Chen's strength nowadays. It was also the result of his efforts to open up all along. Is this the super god armor? Wang Chen was moved. Unexpectedly, his super god armament could actually turn into two forms. Super god armament arm form, you can unlock your full combat power by arming yourself, and you can obtain additional abilities in the armed state, and you can upgrade to make the armament even more powerful. Super god armament super beast form, you can enter the super beast state through the super god armament, unlocking the full power of the super god armament, and in this form, you will receive a 15 times increase in all attributes based on the armed state, as well as a brand new additional equipment. Apparently, his current super god armament had already unlocked two forms. Looking at this stance, it seemed that there would be far more than just these two forms in the future. Not bad, things were starting to get interesting. This was all his Wang Chen's actual strength. The days were becoming promising. His strength would definitely grow stronger as well. This was his Wang Dust's confidence. This was his confidence and it was even more important for him to be able to stand on his own feet in the future. Wang Chuan slightly raised his head and looked towards Blood Wanli. I don't know what other cards this guy has now. However, looking at this guy's exhausted appearance, it seemed that he didn't have any more cards. Since you don't have any strength, then, it's time to send you to your death. Wang Chuan smiled faintly, looking at Blood Wanli, who was kneeling on both knees. His eyes lost in thought. He laughed, because, this foster fellow, he would actually kneel on the ground as well? Interesting, but, it was not worth his contemporaries. Try to ask if it is he lost today. Blood Wanli will be open to him. The answer is naturally negative. Blood Wanli will not master impossible to spare him. He, too, is the same. If a person's repentance before death, recognizing his own mistakes, then can erase all his previous faults? The answer was naturally no. This was true for Ren Beifong, and it was also true for Blood Miles, regardless of what kind of bitterness they had. If they did it, they did it and were not worthy of pity, even if he, Wang Chuan, was one day pointed at his nose by someone with a gun, then he would also recognize it, after all, this is the result of poor strength, there is no perfect saint, only a strong and invincible god of war, Wang Dust slowly walked over, a large laser gun appeared in the hands of Wang Dust, cool shape plus its body constantly passing black breath, it is really difficult to judge who is the real villain, the muzzle of the gun vaguely had a giant dragon roaring, directly causing Blood Miles to have a feeling of his bloodline being suppressed. No matter when, no matter where, since ancient times, the dragon race should be honored. It is tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of races or god and devil battlefield. Also as the dragon race can be king in it, and dominate a party. Blood Wanli Heart is not willing, but then there is no power of return. Only he can clearly recognize, at this moment of their own and now Wang Chen, how big the gap between them. The summer insect cannot talk about ice. In the distance, Long Dingtian's face moved. Then, his tiger's body shook. Not good. Half-step world level. Long Dingtian's face sank. Once he stepped into the half-step world level, I'm afraid that no one in the entire Blue Star could deal with it. Bad. Blue Star. Dangerous. 
Next to him, Bai Yang's face also sank. If even he was powerless, then who in the whole of China would be able to save them from the fire? No one, only no one. Such a horrifying existence. Not to mention the Huaxia, is the entire blue star came so what? The same is to send food. The same is a mole cricket. Ridiculous and not self-conscious. Just when several people made up their mind to fight to the death, the aura of a half-step world level suddenly disappeared. That's right, it disappeared. Such a huge half-step world-class aura definitely couldn't just disappear. There was only one possibility, and that was death. But how could that be possible? This is a half-step world level. What is this concept? Not to mention the level 110 half-step world-class boss. Even if it is a hundred levels, 90 levels, they are afraid that all of the blue star will die here. This is the horror of the half-step world. Also, the strength of the alien race is terrifying. Looking at the world, I'm afraid that no one can come out of it. But such an existence, now actually tell them that it is dead? In the end what happened? They didn't dare to stay even for a moment, fearing that an even more terrifying existence would appear. It was imperative to find it out at speed to avoid the situation from expanding. A few people's figures sped even more rapidly in the direction of Wang Chen. At this moment, Wang Dust was not the least bit aware of their shock. After all, to him, it was just exterminating a boss that could bring him rewards. Ding! Congratulations to the host for killing the level 110 half-step world level boss Blood Miles, rewarding him with 1 billion experience value. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining a world-class material, the Blood Demon's Heart. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining Chapter 350 Level Surge, the Terror of World-Class Props. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Emperor Level Prop Blood Refining Divine Forging Gold. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Blood Miles Legacy. Numerous system beeps sounded in Wang Dust's ears. The rewards provided by the half-step world-class level 110 boss were undoubtedly massive. No, it couldn't even be said to be massive. It was completely gigantic. One must know that a level 110 half-step world-class boss would at the very least require hundreds of thousands of level 120 professionals to cooperate with each other. And many more would have to be sacrificed in order to have a chance of beating it. For that matter, it's not 100% to be able to beat it. The probability of failure is very high but once it fails, what are their consequences? No thought. Hundreds of thousands of professionals will face the crisis of death. This was the power of a half-step world-class boss. Only Wang Chuan was able to display heaven-defying means to be able to complete a counter-kill when his level was completely suppressed. This was Wang Dust's strength today. It wasn't an exaggeration to say that no profession below level 160 was feared to be enough of a match for Wang Dust. Terrifying, really terrifying. Even Wang Chuan himself was deeply impressed with his own terror nowadays. Because, to be able to accomplish the reverse of a level 110 half-step world-class boss at the level of 62, there is only one person in the history of the world. Moreover, he had defeated Blood Miles in an almost crushing manner. No one has ever come before, and no one will come after. This was the terrifying strength of Wang Dust nowadays. Wang Dust himself was a little unbelievable that his strength today was actually so terrifying. Moreover, world-class materials? How had he not heard of it before? According to the prop levels he had previously learned about, they were generally divided into white plate, black iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, legend, and the eight major levels. But he had never heard of any emperor level props, let alone world level. No, world class? Wang Chuan I suddenly stared up. World class props, he did not not encounter. Although the cost of disposable world class props than the general world class props to be inexpensive, but there is no doubt that the world class props, before, the Rin family actually sent out world class props to kill themselves. This is enough to see that the Rin family is in the middle of their own killing hard awe. Wang Chuan's face was gloomy. He did not expect. Rin family actually willing to put down such blood for himself. But good. This wave is not a loss. As for the remaining wealth of Rin family, has long been packed by himself. This Rin family is really hateful. Actually using their world class props to hunt themselves down. Let's forget about it in this life. And pay attention in the next life. Wang Chen looked at the panel. The writing on the panel suddenly changed. Ding. Detecting the host's early contact with true. World class props. The panel automatically connects to the god and demon battlefield version. Ding. The panel completes the connection. The panel is fully upgraded. Emperor level. World level. And mythic level are prop levels after legendary level. Wang Dust's face was shocked. This thing could still be upgraded? He was now sort of getting more and more interested in this so-called transmuter panel. Who the hell created this thing? To the extent that even the god of mechanics, a god, needed to succumb to it, things were getting interesting. 
But having more world-class materials on hand now would only be a good thing in the end. When there were more materials at the back, he could soar the super god armament to an extremely powerful level in one go. And everything was moving in a good direction. Right. Killing a level 110 boss. What should his level be now? Wang Chuan looked at his level. And without looking, he was shocked. Nowadays, his level had actually reached level 80. What kind of concept was this? A fledgling freshman student with a level even higher than the principal. Not only that, each level of his rank was tough to raise, which also precisely illustrated that, for him and others to raise the same rank, the rank he needed was a hundred times a thousand times that of others, but the combat power he was able to bring out was a thousand times a million times that of others. This was true for one level, and if it was true for every level, it was enough to see how huge of a gap he was able to pull out with others. In time, this unbridgeable chasm would become even more unbridgeable. The harvest this time was simply full. Wang Dust felt a sudden sense of relief. In this one night, he had exterminated the Rin family and killed Blood Wanli, a half-step world-class big boss. He had obtained countless materials, and the Super God Armament had successfully completed its upgrade, and his level had directly reached level 80. He had a premonition that he was now, even without wearing the Super God Armament, countless times more powerful than his previous full force punch with the Super God Armament on. This was Wang Chen's terror today. It was really hard to imagine that such a freak was just a guy who looked like he was only level 80. Wang Chuan glanced at the sky. It was almost time. It was time to go back for breakfast. Wang Dust shook his neck and wondered if that guy had prepared his breakfast. It couldn't be that he had forgotten it. Just as Wang Chen left, Long Dingtian and Bayong and the others had already arrived. This, this is, is this really a battle that a human can break out into? Long Dingtian trembled. He considered himself to be the number one expert in China. But today, even just by observing the aftermath of this battle, he already knew deep down that at the very least, in this area of the blue star, no one would be able to outshine him. It can be called, absolutely invincible. Bai Yang also thought so. Chapter 351, Dark Tide Surge. Wang Chen was not the slightest bit aware of how much shock his unintentional action had brought to them. Imperial Capital, Gathering Treasure Pavilion. Zhou Yeye had even gone to Luo Hai City to look for the iron ox beef noodle in order to satisfy Wang Chuan's request. But the moment he arrived thinly, he realized that it was as if the iron ox beef noodle in Luo Hai City had suffered some kind of disaster, and had been destroyed without even a dregs left, which scared him into running back in a hurry. This was really too scary. Just then, Wang Chen opened the door. Don't be nervous, I've already solved the matter. Unsurprisingly, your supervisor will be back soon, Wang Chuan gently said. He naturally knew that the beef noodle had been destroyed by himself, and was not particularly concerned about this matter. On the contrary, he had also gotten a few 10,000 mile tracking talismans from the treasure pavilion, and this point was very good. After all, this thing, it wasn't cheap. What exactly happened? Zhou Yeye was very curious and wanted to ask. However, before he could speak, Wang Chen had already disappeared in front of her. Obviously, Wang Dust came and went quickly. By the time Zhou Yuyu returned to her senses, Wang Chen had already disappeared in front of her. It was as if it was haunted. Imperial Capital, Imperial Capital University. Wang Chuan had just sent the mechanical warriors to ransack the Rin family as well. After all, if he didn't go on scavenging, the Rin family would probably be on the verge of being seized. These dirty things that the Rin family had done, when the people of the Rin family were still alive, they might still be able to suppress these secrets, but once they died, these things would soon surface. All of this was just the retribution that the Rin family deserved. Wang Chuan could not show the slightest bit of compassion for them. It was just a bit of a pity that he hadn't been able to personally GA everyone in the Rin family. After all, it was not easy to gather them all together and kill them all in a pit, and there was no need for that either. It was just as easy for his mechanical warriors to go for the kill. Wang Chuan yawned, although at his level, a few days of not sleeping had no effect, but he had been used to a normal person's routine. Wang Chuan decided to go back to sleep. Unlike Wang Dust's calmness, the higher-ups of each country were already going crazy. Pretty country. What? Hua Xia actually fucking appeared a half-step world-class monster. And it's even fucking level 110. Fark, prepare to run. What about the citizens of pretty country? Fuck them, are their lives as precious as mine? All top brass evacuate secretly. Pretty country's five-star general, Acker Arthur, had an agitated look on his face. Are you kidding? Why should he be allowed to fight? If he really wants to fight, it's also those damn guys who will fight. What does it have to do with him? next to the various high-ranking expressed a high degree of agreement. Although they are powerful, but the life is their own. Why give other people to fight for their lives? Strength was not a tool to enjoy power? What business was it about protecting them? 
Wait, according to the satellite probe detection, the Chinese, a half-step world-class demon, disappeared? What? Acker Arthur was a bit incredulous. How could such an existence be defeated? But in the next moment, he understood. Immediately hold a press conference. I, five-star Admiral Acker Arthur, successfully led several 100-leveled powerhouses to buck the 110-leveled half-step world-leveled monsters. That's right. I also get credit. These guys have to pay more taxes next year. Otherwise how can we afford to protect them with our own lives? Hearing that the danger was lifted, everyone immediately changed their faces again and started discussing how to gain more benefits. Taiji country. Damn it. The Chinese side actually has the strength to deal with half-step world-class monsters. What kind of underhanded similitudes do they have in the blue planet? The Taiji country's top management was dumbfounded. When was it possible to use such strength on the blue star? One must know that even the Sakura country of yesteryear, which was so much stronger than them, was still made whole by a mere 90 level emperor boss that directly destroyed the country. Without exaggeration, with the strength of their smithy, encountered 90 level emperor level boss, the death will only be worse than the cherry blossom country. But now actually told him that China actually has the ability to control the 110 level half step world level boss. This kind of strength is enough to beat their Semida as a dog in Blue Star. No, I have to ask my father what to do. The top management of Simida made a call to the top management of the beautiful country in the night. In addition to Wang dust with a person like nothing, the other countries basically exploded. After all, such a thing, more or less too shocking. This is simply impossible to happen things. Actually by Wang dust to do, not to mention other countries, the top management of Huaxia was also baffled. His own family actually had this kind of means? How did he not know? However, at this juncture, instead of finding out the strong person who possessed this ability, it would be better to investigate the real cause of this matter. What exactly was it that could make a half-step world-class monster come out? It was necessary to find out the source of the matter. Today perhaps luckily it was solved. But what about tomorrow? What about the day after tomorrow? There would always be a time when one would be given a whole lot of extinction by such a terrifying existence. Instead of doing so, it would be better to just follow the trail and catch the culprit. This way it would be possible to get rid of it once and for all. For a time, dark tides surged all over the place and it was clear that the next China was obviously not too calm. If this guy who nearly destroyed the country was caught, the sentence would start with the execution of 10 clans, and the dregs would all be destroyed. Chapter 352 One month later. One month later. During this month, Wang Chuan's level did not change much. After all, in the primordial forest, a secret realm, the level cap for students was only 80 levels. He was afraid that he wouldn't be able to enter if he raised another level. After all, if he exceeded this level, it would be the official personnel who would carry out the sweep. However, in the beginning, the establishment of this level limit was just a figure of fun. After all, other than Wang Chen, there was no way that anyone would be able to reach that high of a level at the age of a student. After all, the vice chancellor of the Imperial Capital University was only at level 79. What if it was even higher than him? If he had that high of a rank, who would still be a student? It was worth mentioning that although Wang Chuan had basically been swinging around at home for the past month, and apart from eating and drinking every day, he had also been drilling on the super god armament, and Xiao Xiao and the others on the contrary hadn't been idle because of this. Everyone was working very hard to brush up their levels, although they were a vase in Wang Chen's place. In the eyes of outsiders, even in the Imperial Capital University, they were complete geniuses. There was no need to mention Li Yining and in Xiao Xiao. One was an S-rank profession heavenly swordmaster, while the other was an S-rank profession heavenly phoenix magician. Both of these were extremely powerful S-rank talents. Even amongst the many S-rank gifted people, they were only strong and not weak. As for Li Meng Meng, although her talent was very poor, she had worked very hard. Although her strength didn't surpass in Xiao Xiao and Li Ening, her A-rank talent Holy Light Angel was just as not bad. Looking at the entire ranks of A-rank talents, it was considered a superior auxiliary profession. The three of them were now at level 55. Perhaps it was still not enough to compare to Wang Chen. But when placed in the Imperial Capital University, it was definitely a T1 existence. The only ones who could be even higher than them were the top students of the senior year. Wang Chuan closed the computer and walked to his sister's room. Looking at his sister who was still asleep, a smile spread on his face. Luo Han, when I come back this time, I'll be able to get you back on your feet. As my sister, you don't need to endure any pain. Your feet will one day step on top of this continent again. It's been hard work all along. Wang Chen smiled. His parents would soon be able to see the light of day again as well. And all of this was moving towards a good place. This imperial capital university. It was really a feng shui treasure. So much good news came one after another. 
In addition, he also shot some scanning towers to spy for him, and only later did he learn. It turned out that the top management of Huaxia paid extreme attention to Blood Miles, and through Bai Yang's information, they finally determined that the black hand behind the scenes was the Rin family. The top management was angry and shocked at the same time. The Rin family was actually able to have the ability to cover the sky with one hand, immediately decided to copy the family. But to the Rin family they realized, Rin family empty, thought they are running away. The result is frozen and the Rin family opened in Luo High City Taino Beef Noodles basement inside, found thousands of Rin family executives of the body. In addition in all parts of the Rin family branch, also found the body of the Rin family run, as if someone deliberately on them to carry out large-scale murder and extermination in general. The top brass were a bit surprised, not a bit shocked by Wang Chen's killing methods. Rather, you killed all the wanted criminals and didn't come to collect the reward? These people were ready to send out wanted notices if they couldn't be found, and then you killed them all? Come on, this side is also saving money. Just some regret. He did not raise the knife to go up and cut twice. In addition, overseas have gotten the news that there is this hidden strong man in Huaxia. They have been sending their own students to the Imperial Capital University as excellent exchange students to see if they can get some information. Of course, there was also the more important strategic resource, the primordial forest. The good things produced in the primordial forest could be far more than just the life origin. As a strategic resource secret realm, there were more than just good things. Although others needed to hand over 90% of the stuff and buy 10% of the resources with the equivalent resources from the outside world, this was undoubtedly blood money. In previous years, this quota was not open. After all, all of these things were given to Huaxia to self-digest. This year, I do not know why suddenly changed the hang. This year, I don't know why I suddenly changed my mind. I allowed them all to come in and die, Bushy. Overall, this is a good thing. One by one, they scrambled to send their own country's top geniuses to Huaxia. And for a moment, Huaxia, which used to be a place where the young generation was not enough, seemed to have changed at the moment. It didn't feel that its young generation was weaker than others in the slightest. In fact, Bayong, have you got it wrong? You let other countries take these resources? The minister of education began to sputter. The status he was not a bit better than Bayong. But if it was about the students' resources, he stood up every time. After all, these things cannot be sloppy. Originally the young generation seedlings are few. If the injury how to do? Trust me, Bayong faintly said. He had complete certainty this time. If he remembered correctly, this matter of the Rin family, there seemed to be the shadow of the pretty country. This time it was just the right time to thwart him. The younger generation might not be able to beat it, but also do not look at whose territory is here. Really want to take too much resources. Directly let the other genius behind the 18 knives forced to commit suicide. This is something that has been done in the past by the big beautiful. What's wrong with him? Just when everyone was about to refute Bai Yong, Long Ding Tian stood out. Listen to him, after all. This time I got the news that those who participated in the primordial forest are not just humans. What? Chapter 353 Long Ding Tian's past. There are more than just blue star people? Even though all of you were senior executives who had been firmly seated at the top for a long time, they were shocked at this moment. They naturally had different news from ordinary people. Even more so, they understood what it meant that there were more than just blue star people. It meant more than just blue star people. Even more so. It meant that there would be many more powerful alien races that would come to this small secret realm. As I mentioned earlier, the reason why copies in secret realms seem to be the same but are actually different is here. The copy, at best, can only be said to be a replica of the secret realm, which is full of monsters that no one cares about. And for most people, there is no threat at all. It's just a way for the vase in the greenhouse to practice their skills. And the secret realm, he could be different from these childish games. On the blue planet, there was only one portal for each secret realm, but there was more than one, because these portals are far away in the god and devil battlefield in an unknown place. There are more, or rather, there was only one of these teleportation portals on the blue star, but he was only counted as the only one in the blue star. In the outside world, there were others who could enter. Moreover, the secret realm is different from a copy. A copy he tells you how many levels of demons he has at most, then he only has how many levels of demons. Even if they appear in all sorts of strange variables, his upper limit is only which is just, but the secret realm is different. There are a lot of strong people above 100 levels who have flipped in the harmless secret realm, and the ghost knows the secret realm will not honor what other strong man these can all be unknown ah. Generally speaking, the secret realm when to enter, which waves of people to enter, are several strong fixed, now how could? Several people looked at Long Ding Tian with questions in their eyes, they had an almost worshipful respect for the figure in front of them. In Huaxia, you could disrespect Bayong and disobey him. 
but you absolutely could not disobey this one in front of you. This one being was the very pillar of the entire Huaxia, even if the two were mortal enemies of each other, but to both be soldiers under Long Dingtian, then they must put aside all grudges and all kill the enemy. All of this was not coercion, but rather a sincere heeding of this lord's words. Dragon Marshal, almost everyone had grown up listening to the stories of Long Shui. If it wasn't for this legend, it would be impossible for Huaxia to build such a base, allowing Huaxia to have no one dare to make a move openly even when it was green and yellow. If the dissipation of Long Dingtian's return were to be released tomorrow, a group of people might carry gifts to the door to apologize. This is the prestige of Long Dingtian. Long Dingtian was born with a golden dragon and auspicious clouds falling from the sky, all telling that this son was born to be extraordinary. At the age of three, he successfully switched professions, a record that no one has been able to break so far. Many people said that Long Dingtian appeared with a mission because he was born to be extraordinary. This was indeed the case. Long Dingtian was 5 years old at level 10, 7 years old at level 30, and 15 years old at level 50. There was no match amongst his age. After all, others hadn't awakened yet no, and at the age of 18, he managed to become the only upgrade expert ever. He came to level 60, right at the moment when everyone's talents were awakened. Long Dingtian's profession once again underwent a metamorphosis. Golden scales are not the stuff of the pool. Once they meet the wind and clouds, they turn into dragons. Long Dingtian's upgrading speed was gradually slow, but since that day, it was like hanging on. The human race had been precariously eaten up by the foreigners. At this time, the 30-year-old Long Dingtian stood out. 90 levels of him, the first time to bring the dawn of victory to mankind. Successfully laying a thick foundation in this world where all people could transfer. Subduing foreign races and seizing lost lands. All monsters in the world were scared to death at the sound of his name. At the age of 50, he broke through 100 levels and drove the monsters to the corners, taking the name of Replica. Humans recreated the country, inherit the name of the martyrs, and Huaxia, since the cataclysm, is the first country with a straight back. Long Dingtian followed up by repeatedly entering the divine and demonic battlefield for the sake of resources. He bowed and died in his life, almost devoting everything for humanity. That's why even if there was a great conflict, Everyone listened to Long Dingtian. Such a gene was enough to make people stand in awe. Instead of saying that he came here with a heavenly order, it would be better to say that he put his life on the line to fight for every battle. The result today was good. But during the process, Long Dingtian had been mortally wounded countless times. Every time others asked, he would only say that it was just a fatal wound in the district. It seemed that this man was invincible. When this man spoke, there was no one who didn't believe him. That's right. Long Dingtian slowly nodded his head. The purpose of his return this time was this. Bai Yang's move was also signaled by him. It was just that Bai Yang did not understand his intentions. Speaking of Bai Yang, Bai Yang was just an orphan he saved by chance. On that day, when the smoke rose, under a broken wall, a dirty little boy came out from the ruins. There was no one in the area for tens of miles, and Long Dingtian didn't know how he survived. Bai Yang's innocent face was filled with seriousness. Eat monsters when I'm hungry. Drink their blood when I'm thirsty. Step by step. He walked from the village that was destroyed by the monster. His parents and clansmen all died on the day the village was shattered. And he was the only survivor who made a long-cherished wish to kill all the foreigners in the world. Bai Yang's talent was indeed not bad. And he soon became the second terrifying existence of the Zhenguo level. The relationship between the two of them was incomparably close. And it would not be an exaggeration to say that Long Dingtian had raised him single-handedly. Chapter 354, Unbreakable. This also led to others being even more fearful of Long Dingtian. But whenever someone said something bad about Long Dingtian, and if any of their top brass asses were even a little bit unclean, they would be raided by Bai Yong with his men. This guy was almost a madman. Not only is his strength horrible, even his quality is not very high ah. However, Bai Yong is quite good. As long as it doesn't involve Long Dingtian, he always gives them leeway. It was just that he was a bit grumpy. That's right. It's what you guys think. Long Dingtian paused, then slowly spoke. The moment these words came out. Everyone present was shocked. Unexpectedly, this was actually true? I'm afraid that no one was more aware of what this represented than them. Hundreds of years ago the foreign races had a general tendency to treat the human race as slaves. After all, humans are small in size, no strength, used as slave pets nearly supported by countless people. Fortunately, the back of the long ding Tiana knife cut through the sky, completely disconnect the alien race and human to and from the road, just behind the teleportation door and somehow opened. This he had no way to stop. He could only keep negotiating with the alien race. Why has the primordial forest always been prohibited from entering? And only a certain amount of time can be opened. All because of this. 
Because apart from the time when the human race enters, the rest is all for the foreign races. Strong as Long Ding Tian, in Blue Star thought that his talent was already considered relatively powerful. However, if you look at the I Demon battlefield, his talent can't even be ranked in the middle. He is one of the top ranked people among the 10,000 races. The dragon race was born as a hundred level or more strong. The talent is the beginning of the S level. How to let people not despair. The high talent, even more horrible, far beyond the human race can be compared. The upper limit seems to be locked in general, far less than other races. This is still only the tip of the iceberg of the foreign races. The human race is too weak and too weak. With these powerful races, all is not a level of existence. The foreign races' appetites have been getting bigger and bigger lately. Our days in the divine demon battlefield aren't good. They aren't satisfied with the amount of time we have to use these secret realms. And they even want to compress it further. I came back this time precisely for these things. We, the human race, can't go on like this. I have decided that a group of supreme geniuses will be selected and brought by me to the divine demon battlefield to be cultivated. There are better resources there. Otherwise, with such a lack of youth, when I die, Long Ding Tian paused and did not continue. It was a well-known thing that the human race had a limited lifespan. If he didn't have a greater breakthrough, I'm afraid, he would have less than a hundred years. If the humans didn't have a strong person to sit on the ground, I'm afraid that they would have even fewer resources. Sooner or later, they would not even have a place in that corner of the divine and demonic battlefield. The current him was quite intentional. The first time he arrived at the divine demon battlefield, he thought he would be able to renew his invincible path. But who knew? He was considered a proud genius in Blue Star. But when he arrived there, he was nothing. A random guard from those top races was far, far more powerful than himself. At that time, there was a sense of powerlessness in his heart. However, as the strongest person, he would not retreat and could not retreat. Behind him stood the entire Huaxia, and even more so, the entire Blue Star. So you decided to let go and let the geniuses of humanity enter it to obtain as many resources as possible? The Minister of Education inquired. H.M. Long Dingtian gently nodded his head. So although it was a bit cruel, but this was undoubtedly the last resort. A greenhouse could not raise an overlord flower. But what this world lacked the most was a greenhouse. But what was most lacking was an overlord flower. If he had a way, he wouldn't have made such a choice. But he didn't have a way. Furthermore, these geniuses of theirs wouldn't die. There were things like teleportation tokens. It's just that after they saw the geniuses of the foreign races, they were only afraid that their moral heart would be damaged. Oh, after all, they were geniuses. But compared to the real geniuses, it would only be mediocre ones. The crowd showed hard faces. They naturally knew what this represented. But they knew better. Even Long Ding Tian was like this. I'm afraid that there was really no way out. Was it chance? Or was it sadness? For a genius of this life to be able to wrestle with a foreign race's heavenly pride? As far as he knew, there were a large number of top-level heavenly prides of the foreign race at the same age. Level 70, 80, and there were a handful of S-ranked talents. Many of them even suppressed at level 80 just to gain more access to the resources of each stage of the secret realm, to build up and become stronger. The human race, how could they be their enemy? Their geniuses, they had encountered a much more powerful enemy than their teacher, the vice principal. Ah, if one doesn't break, if he doesn't even have the courage to fail, then he will fail sooner or later. Geniuses, are countless. So this is also the purpose of my trip. Long Ding Tian smiled faintly. He didn't think that he could win. His purpose was just to choose some capable worlds to cultivate with all his might. Maybe in the future there would be a genius that would be far superior to him. If it really came to that time, even if he died, I'm afraid he would die with a smile on his face. The crowd had a look of awakening. Thinking, worthy of being a Xinguo level of existence. Look, people's awareness of this thought, is Haya, which gives them death cannot think out there is also this trick. Do not break not stand. How did they forget about this? If they have been so cowering, they will only get weaker and weaker. But if they keep playing, I'm afraid they will only keep getting stronger. One generation dies, the second rises, the third rises. All the time, the life goes on and on. There was a time when they were like this. Chapter 355, I, Huang Tianba, and that kind of person? Although their generation had come to an end, as long as the next generation could obtain resources and become stronger step by step, that would be enough ah. One day, the human race would be able to become stronger. They've been bound all this time. I'm afraid that strength will end here. But the next generation was different. They need battles, not greenhouses. Only by fighting with battles could they become stronger all the time. It seems like you guys understand what I mean. Long Ding Tian smiled. All of these people had followed him a long time ago as well. An explanation was also necessary. 
What's more, he also wanted to stay for a few more days, wanting to see who that existence that suppressed the half-step world-level monster was, based on the residual power emanating from the battle of that half-step world-level monster. It was by no means an existence that the Blue Star was capable of spawning. After all, ever since that day when the road was cut off, this guy had not been allowed to have an existence above level 100. Cutting through the energy feed from that world, the Blue Star could not accommodate that kind of existence either. Long Dingtian was curious as to what kind of existence could break this restriction. He could go and reinforce the boundary. Otherwise, if he waited until he died of old age or died in battle one day, he didn't want to see his descendants being dominated by the foreigners. Just think of it as his own selfish desire. That dark time, he didn't want to go through it again. Since it's all been decided, you guys should stay here and take care of things, preparing for all the potential dangers in the future. As for me, I want to take a look at today's Huaxia and keep today's Huaxia in my eyes and heart. Long Dingtian faintly said. The surrounding executives froze, suddenly thinking that this being in front of them had been running around for Huaxia all along, rarely resting. Imperial Capital University. Today's Imperial Capital University was extremely lively. In addition to the senior students rejoining the school, there were also quite a few exchange students who came in one after another. Many of these exchange students had already shown their heads. On the internet, they were even more mysterious than each other. As soon as they came over, they captured countless brainless women. Each and every one of them shouted that they wanted to fall for it. Imperial University's old student conference room. Here sat the ten people who were originally prepared to enter the primeval forest. There were only so many people who entered the primordial forest every year. Although there were 20 people in this year's quota, it was geniuses from all over the world competing for these 20 spots. Compared to before, it was thankfully even more demanding. After all, the young generation of China had been poisoned, and there was actually not a single one of the new generation who had been cast under the gaze of the gods. The pretty country, on the other hand, excluding Caitlin, had several more. This made them instantly Alexandrian. If they were to play a ring match and had a little bit of bad luck, wouldn't they be directly brushed down? Li Baiyi, who was sitting in the chief, frowned slightly. With the strength of his Li family he actually hadn't heard of this matter. Apparently the school leaders had suddenly changed their minds. The original Li Baiyi in order to obtain as much as possible inside the scarce resources specially cultivated a squad that was extremely compatible with himself. But this undoubtedly disrupted his plans. With freshman Wang dust in front of him, and the existing overseas exchange students. He was a little puzzled as to what kind of drama Imperial Capital University was up to. Is it a good thing to ask people from other countries to come and share the resources of Imperial Capital University? I don't know. Although Long Dingtian wanted to let Huaxia see the power of the outside world's geniuses, he wanted to damage the moral heart, but not only Huaxia's geniuses, high and low to pull a few cushions. Bai Yang heard Long Dingtian say that at that time, were dumbfounded, did not expect Long Shui actually a little dark belly. However, this is just what he wanted. After all, those of them who play tactics, ahem, know it all, ch, can't figure out what this school is up to, the crowd was quite upset, after all, such a thing would not be pleasing to anyone, even Li Baiyi felt a sudden sense of Alexandria, although he had previously claimed to be the number one person of the young generation in China, however, this year, it was indeed a real sense of criticality, the reason started half a month ago, he had just returned to school when he felt a large sword coming towards him, when he fixed his eyes on it, it turned out to be freshman Caitlin. As a result, that guy was slashing at him like he was on fire. In a hard fight, his strength wasn't even weaker than his. Thanks to him being active on the battlefield all year round, or else he might have to roll over under the hands of a freshman. What kind of terror was this? Senior, can't beat a freshman? What a joke. This is still just a freshman being blessed by the gods. This time, but there are several senior. If they are all as perverted as Caitlin, I'm afraid that Li Baiyi will really have to weigh himself. It's fine. We'll soldier on. Water will cover the earth. As for that freshman, Li Baiyi frowned. Although he was upset that this one called Wang Dust had snatched their quota, he couldn't do anything to snatch the quota from him. But this time, the matter was obviously not as simple as it appeared to be, and there was no way he could just watch him die. They would show mercy. These foreigners would not necessarily. I'll grab the quota from him. Huang Tianba, who had a head of yellow hair, stood out. Huang Tianba saw Li Baiyi's dilemma at a glance. He had gained a huge chance this time, and he might not be unable to be among the top three in the top ten old students. This time, he had to defeat that kid and let him know that relying on connections to step in would not last long. Be gentle with your hands. Don't hurt anyone. I, Huang Tianba, am that kind of person? Chapter 356 Strong Men Gathering With Li Baiyi arranging things properly, he took a deep breath and walked towards the playground. 
For the sake of these quotas, he had to make the first battle a duel, a battle to the death. As the chief of the old students, he had to strike out the prestige, the entrance to the Imperial Capital University, one after another. Brand new limousines drove by, sitting on them were all top geniuses. As the doors of the cars opened, the people inside slowly walked out. Holy shit, who is this? If I'm not mistaken, could he be? That's right, it's what you think. Legend has it that the pretty country gave birth to a total of three strong men chosen by the gods three years ago, and this is one of them, Ward Fark. Rumor has it that Ward Fark's profession is a nightfaller, known as the Lord of Eternal Night. No matter what time of the day it is, he is able to overmake the weather turn into a state of darkness, and during that time, he blades storms and cuts down the rest of the professions as if they were chopping up melons and chopping up vegetables. F asterisk CK me. So bullish? How did such a powerful genius come to our school? I don't know, but I heard that the school seems to be letting them into the strategic level resources. What? Strategic level resources? The last time we shared strategic level resources was still last time. Did something dangerous happen this time? I don't know no. Wolfarb's appearance caused a crowd to be shocked. Ward Fark had appeared on top of the TV screen countless times, and many people might not have had the chance to see it once in their lives, but now they actually saw it. Coupled with its face of flirty blonde hair directly to some of the brain-dead female fascinated by the smoke, can't wait to immediately run to the people or deeply sniff on two mouth, but not yet boarded their shock finished, the next out of the second, but also let them shocked speechless. After all, this world is the most lack of ranking people. Trying to rank everything has long been a family affair for major netizens. According to the online list, today's world genius, Li Bai who was nearly undefeated in China was actually only able to rank fourth. After all, the reason they gave was very simple, and that was that Li Bai didn't have the blessings of the gods? Although they hadn't fought, the ranking appeared. Holy shit, could the person in front of me be the legendary top genius known as Satan? Caesar, it is said that he was once blessed by the gods cast by Hades, the king of the underworld, and is now an initial charge of the power of death and is undoubtedly known as a strategic level existence in pretty country. This kind of horrifying existence is actually able to meet today. Yeah, I heard that he once wiped out a copy from the map with his own strength, although it was only a very low level copy, but this can't hide Caesar's power. It is rumored that the next 5 star admiral is him Caesar. Holy shit, so NB, worthy of being Caesar, being cast a gaze by the gods is actually so powerful. I'm envious, his own arrival actually caused so many brainwashed people to cheer. Caesar smiled coldly. As expected, there was never a shortage of brainless people in the world. After all, they were the best at messing with these things at Big Pretty. With just a little bit of time and effort, they were able to get so many people to embrace them. Interesting. If it wasn't for the order from above for him to come here, he wouldn't have come to a place like this. He would rather go to a copy to hack monsters. And in the most luxurious car set, it was the most valued and powerful genius of the pretty country in recent years. The top magician who was claimed to be the perfect successor to Archmage Merlin. Mead. No way. Actually even Mayday is here. What has Imperial Capital University done? Is the primeval forest so valuable? How come there wasn't this kind of situation before? The crowd was madly shocked. How could they not expect that actually even Mead had come? Merlin, as one of the few existences recorded in Pretty Country's current history books, known as the Great Sage, he who had traveled to the pinnacle of magic along the way naturally mastered all the magic in the world. Unlike the likes of Caitlin, Mead had received the highest resources of the pretty country from a young age, and his status strength, naturally, rose. Other people's mages might only be able to comprehend one arcane symbol in their lifetime, but he could move with arcane symbols if he wanted to, although his skills would be much weaker than an ordinary Upanishad because of the limitations of his profession. It was still an Upanishad. It's actually Mead. Tangio list ranking deserved the first place. Rumor has it, he was once at level 60, against the 60th level boss. Terrifying magic ability, directly let the boss did not have the power to fight back. This is simply the tactical example of the magician. It is more than enough to be recorded on the textbooks on a battle. In time, he might directly become the most powerful pretty country powerhouse. The crowd was madly shocked. A genius of Mead's level had come. One had to know that such an existence wouldn't be seen more than a few times even on the internet. But now, it was actually seen in reality. How could this make them not be shocked? Many people were cheering for the arrival of the powerful man, Long Ding Tian, who was hiding in the sky to observe. Frowned. The gods bestowed blessings? What's going on here? Long Ding Tian was a bit puzzled as to why this kind of thing didn't occur when he was in Blue Star. And the ones who were blessed seemed to be Westerners. Why didn't they in China? No. Well the divine and demonic battlefield side must figure things out. 
It always felt like those four words didn't seem like anything good. And these students. Chapter 357, if a friend comes from afar, he will be executed even though he is far away. What's the matter with all these? How come he hasn't come back for a long time? The atmosphere has become like this. Worshipping the strong is a human instinct. But this has long exceeded that boundary. Turn back and rectify. Definitely rectify. Bayong instantly thought of the Ren family and was furious. MD, if it wasn't for that group of dogs persecuting so many geniuses, why would my China be like this? There isn't even a single true genius. No, we have to blitz the Ren family tonight. Nope, these guys seem to be all gaga. Damn it. No, have to dig out that old thing from the Ren family in Luo High City and whip it twice. Too damn hateful. There were some more geniuses in the followings, but compared to the Wang Fry at the beginning, they seemed a bit weaker by quite a bit. This is the so-called number one university in China. Imperial Capital University? It doesn't seem like it's very good. Caesar sneered. The freshmen here were actually such weaklings. The first half of the year was almost over and the strength was still like this. Just this is still the first university. The others were even worse. Although Wolfarb and Mead next to him didn't say anything, the contempt in their eyes was unmistakable. If it wasn't for the five-star General Acker Arthur letting them come, it was estimated that they wouldn't come in their lifetime. It was really unnecessary. The three of them disdainfully surveyed their surroundings. There was disgust in their eyes. This made the leading teacher's face turn ugly. They were all teachers of the Imperial Capital University. How could they allow others to be like this? These three guys, they were taking themselves too seriously. What? Do you have to let the sophomores and juniors go together to greet them? Simply ridiculous. The lead teacher wanted to have a fit, but his professionalism told him not to. After all, an adult bullying a student was not a skill. The lead teacher snorted coldly and his footsteps quickened. The three people saw this with frivolous eyes. Sure enough, a soft persimmon is a soft persimmon. You're a soft persimmon for one day. You're a soft persimmon for the rest of your life. Although in the eyes of outsiders, the three of them had a persona that was simply like that of a god, and they were on the verge of saying that they had no desires, but they themselves what kind of themselves know best. However, in the outside world there is no need to be restrained. After all, the strongest PR wasn't something to talk about. Just at this time, veteran chiefly Bai walked over as he looked towards the three pretty country people, especially when he saw the frivolity of their expressions. The color of his eyes instantly went cold. He could accept that the ranking was inferior to them. After all, it was a fact that he did not have a blessing from the gods. He also knew that blessings from the gods could be very powerful. Extraordinarily extraordinarily powerful. But that didn't mean that these guys who had been blessed by the gods could be wild under their own noses. They, the Chinese people, were not dough to pinch. Li Bai's aura around his body began to release. Obviously, this kind of aura with a threatening quality instantly attracted the attention of the three people from pretty country, who realized that this guy who suddenly came out might not be harboring good intentions. However, what could this do to them? Not to mention whether or not they could beat them. In this public place, would they dare to make a move? They weren't afraid to make the first move. There were their own brainwashed fans to help them wash the ground, but this guy in front of them was different. Once stuck by the dog skin plaster, it is impossible to get rid of it and lose it. Here, this is not your home. Here, this is Hua Xia. If a few people are still like this, please go back. Li Bai hugged his own large sword and coldly said, Holy shit, isn't this Li Bai? He went back to school too? I heard that Li Bai's strength has risen a whole lot more these days, and he even soloed a level 65 boss by himself a while ago. F asterisk CK. Is it that scary? Level 65. That's right. Although there has been no divine blessing for Li Bai, but someone has made a table. If Li Bai can obtain divine blessing even the weakest, he can instantly become the number one genius nowadays. But unfortunately, there are no ifs in things. What kind of words are you saying? Is it possible to just have divine blessings? That's right. But no matter what, Li Bai is also my Huaxia, a well-deserved first genius. For a moment, the atmosphere of the four was tense with swords. It was estimated that no one would have thought that a fourth-ranked one would actually dare to challenge the first three. Li Bai, somewhat heard of it, but it's just a mortal who hasn't obtained the blessings of the gods. How can he be compared to the noble ones like us? Ridiculous, Waldfarb said with disdain. They had long been blind to the fact that they didn't put the geniuses of the world in their eyes at all. In their eyes, they themselves were synonymous with genius. No matter how talented the genius was, as long as they encountered them, they would have no place to go. They, on the other hand, were the most powerful existence in the world. They had this backbone. And even more so, they had this confidence. After all, who made the gods look at them? The gods, that was their backbone. And even more so, where they relied on them. Chief, 
Don't talk nonsense with them. If there are friends coming from afar, they will be killed even though they are far away. Huang Tianba snapped. Although he was not good at languages, he could still say a couple sentences. Li Bai had just been in a strict stance, and all of a sudden every tot almost broke. You fucking language teacher so teach you? The first thing you need to do is to get rid of your friends from afar. Don't ah. This your language teacher no shall not jump out to beat you ah. But, in this scenario, it's just right. If you're here, you're here. Since we're here, let's bury it here. Just as the crowd was at swords drawn, the principal came. Chapter 358 Matching you with a flagrant opponent in progress. Don't be in a hurry. Use your strength for the battle that will decide the spots. Although Ouyang Bo didn't look very pleased with these guys either. His constant high quality still helped him retrieve some lychee. After all, he was just a mediocre principal. And at most, he had accidentally bumped into these two's flying mounts on their way home. It wasn't his fault, was it? And it wasn't the right choice for Li Bai to engage them now. He believed that Li Bai might not be weaker than any of them. But if all three were together, Li Bai was afraid that he would not be an opponent. What's more, this was Imperial Capital University. No one could bully his students here. Even if these three geniuses had monstrous backgrounds. So what? He was not afraid of the Imperial Capital University. Hua Xiao was not afraid. Hua Xiao's strength nowadays had long been no weaker than anyone else's. Hoof. Wolfard snorted coldly and looked at Li Bai dead in the face. This guy, it's best not to fall into his hands. Otherwise he, Ward Fark, must let this Hua Xiao person see what is called true cruelty. Pretty country again? Wine Dust, who was hiding in the corner and observing, frowned. These people's attitude made him very upset. Should he plunge their home? It wasn't impossible. Go back to pretty country one day and just stop by shallow to raid their homes. Wang Dust also remembered the pretty countryman he killed earlier. TSK, turn around and copy his house by the way. After all, he, the good-hearted person, just likes to send other people's families to be reunited. Resurrecting a person was something he couldn't do, but sending these guys to Hades together, he could still do it. Oh no, their side should be called Satan. Wang Dust decided to wait to strike. Now he wants to see the head of the two eyeing guys and what. He could tell that those two guys were sneaking around. He had been spying on them here. Better not do anything out of the ordinary ah. Long Ding Tian guessed that he had never dreamed that he was actually being watched. And the key guy was actually worried that he would do something untoward. He was naturally unaware of all this. Not that he couldn't discover Wang Chen. Rather, who the hell is a good person who has nothing better to do than to look at the top of his head? Playground. I have to go to the primitive forest this time. Caitlin closed her eyes slightly and faintly said. The reason was simple. She needed money. Since those two guys died, his long-term meal ticket was gone. Although he wasn't treated well by the pretty country, those two guys' families should be quite rich. She then realized that the treatment she had enjoyed since was not from pretty country, but them. The two of them, as Caitlin's long-term meal ticket, naturally contracted Caitlin's expenses. When they died, pretty country simply left themselves out in the open. Not caring. Although he was a genius watched by the gods, there were not a few such geniuses in pretty country. Moreover, they reported according to the people who were monitoring Caitlin that Caitlin played games every day, making it difficult to see any prospects, so they simply gave up on the investment straight away. Let Caitlin develop outside. Nowadays, Caitlin can't even afford to pay the electricity bill. Counting the time, she hadn't eaten for almost a month. So hungry, Caitlin rubbed her stomach. She felt like she was starving to death. The electricity bill was also almost gone, and it had tripped several times in a row recently. If the power went out completely, her most intuitive feeling would be that she would never be able to play with her cell phone again. This was no less than taking a complete nuclear strike for Caitlin. At this rate, she was going to be the only genius starving to death out there, so she knew that she desperately needed to make money. And nowadays, the primitive forest was a good way to make money for once. She had heard about it, but it was full of valuable monsters. When she came back, she would finally be able to eat. Caitlin was immersed in her fantasies. As for why he could become so strong even if he stayed at home every day, Caitlin herself didn't know. Her level seemed to rise on its own. Not fast but not slow either. Combat skills also seemed to be as if the body came with it. There was no need for any grinding at all. The body naturally knew it all. This was all very strange. But Caitlin wasn't going to delve into this. She knew that she had to make good money next. I'm sure there are quite a few of you who are here for the primordial forest quota. No nonsense, there are a total of 20 places this time. While hundreds of you have come, it is yet to be seen who this place will go to. If you are willing to do so, come up and report yourselves and I will match you with comparable opponents. Oh Yang Bo said indifferently. Once these words came out, the people present were not surprised and went up to draw their signatures. 
somewhere in the corner. The corner of Du Lacy's mouth twisted. Didn't expect it. He, Du Lacy, had come. The wind stopped. The rain stopped. And Du Lacy felt like he could do it again. After all, after these days of training, he thought that he was no weaker than Huang Tianba a month ago. This primitive forest. There may not be no place for him, Du Lacy. Come on. Let's see how today's opponent is doing. Du Lacy looked at the note in his hand. His face stiffened. Wang Duan? He now, quite literally, wanted to ask Headmaster Lao Deng. Me, Wang Dust, with equal strength? I think you're just senile. Du Lacy gritted his teeth and decided to run away, unable to fight a little. Chapter 359, Mine 2. What kind of a hammer is this flagging? One could only say that the principal, this old Deng, was really good at matching Ah. Du Lacy was so angry that he felt like he had become a clown. He had done a lot of preparation for this battle. He didn't think that he would actually be punked by Principal Old Den. Damn it. He was the king of Thunderbolt Dharma. But he actually lost in the first round. It was just a laugh. Du Lacy wanted to cry. But he also knew that it was the best choice for him to surrender now. Losing to Wang Duan was not shameful. But if he was seconded in the ring, it would be a disgrace. Du Lacy did not feel in the least that he was a match for even Wang Duan. In his eyes, Wang Chuan's strength had long crossed the battle power that they should have in their student age. In other words, his strength was far beyond his own. They were not even in the same class of existence. Letting him fight Wang Chen was tantamount to hitting a stone with an egg. It was estimated that before he even touched Wang Chen, he would have to be pressed to the ground and rubbed hard. The principal's eyelids picked up. Why did he feel as if someone was scolding him? Illusion illusion. A good principal like him, how could someone scold him? Headmaster, I'm applying for a battle with Mead. Li Bai faintly said. Persimmon should pick the hardest to pinch. Otherwise immediately. Even if he defeated, he would still have to fall into the name of a victor, and to challenge the strongest, it wouldn't be like that, but this also represented Li Bai's vigor all the same, the fourth battle was the first, godless battles with gods, what kind of vigor is this, the moment Li Bai said this, everyone on stage was shocked, what, Li Bai is going to challenge the strongest genius, Mei Da, this guy's strength isn't simple, right, a great demonic instructor of this level, once he strikes it's either death or injury, even if Li Bai is strong, there are no gods watching over him, which means his strength is limited to this at most. But Li Bai, why did he dare to do so? Could it be strength? No, never. Strength alone is not enough to explain Li Bai's move. Indeed, to say such words, can only say that you do not understand Li Bai. Li Bai has always been unobtrusive, extremely low profile, if it is not for the fact that these three are too arrogant today. Li Bai is afraid that he will not take care of them. There's a good show to watch today. The strongest genius of China versus the strongest genius of the pretty country. The crowd waited to see a good show. They were also really curious. Li Bai, whether or not he had the strength to defeat the foreign heavenly pride, and this pretty country's heavenly pride, whether or not it was a flower show, whether or not it was as godly as the rumors on the internet, everything seemed to be revealed right away. The crowd was very much looking forward to it. You're challenging me? Meidou was infuriated and laughed. This guy, how dare he? Knowing what kind of existence he, need, was, it was simply not an existence that such a mere mortal could touch. But today, he was actually told that such a mere mortal actually presumed to challenge him. It was simply laughable. If you lose, give up entering the primeval forest, and the same goes for me. Li Bai stood with his arms folded full of arrogance. Who, is not a heavenly pride anymore. He Li Bai is confident that his life is not weaker than who, before just act low profile, did not expect now really looked down upon. That good ah, he does not pretend. He Li Bai showdown. He, just have this strength. Good. Mead forced down the anger in his heart. If he hadn't promised Ake Arthur, he would have gone back a long time ago. The people of the world must obey his will. Who made him the strongest? But the person in front of him, did not listen to him in the slightest? Then don't blame him. He had to use the most brutal means to defeat him. With a cold snort, Mead stepped onto the ring, and the battle between the two top heavenly prides was about to begin. Good. Worthy of being a Huaxia Heavenly Pride, worthy of the name Heavenly Pride, Long Ding Tian was quite admiring. It was really good for China to have such a bloodthirsty person. It seems that greenhouses are not incapable of cultivating talents, they just lack the refinement of the battlefield. Li Bai, it seems to be a descendant of the Li family. Fearful descendant, Long Ding Tian praised. Bai Yong still rarely heard Long Ding Tian praising a person. The last time was decades ago. This kid does have some talent. Bai Yong nodded his head but it was a toss-up whether or not he could beat it. This kid called Mead, although he was arrogant, but he couldn't help that he had arrogant capital. His magic, 
In terms of great alone, I'm afraid that no one who plays magic can outperform him. It can be called terrifying. Chapter 360, His Way, Cutting Down All Obstacles. Bai Yong also couldn't help but sweat for Li Bai. Is it really possible? Li Bai. I will make you regret it. There is an old saying in your China. It's called the one who knows the time is the best. But you don't seem to understand this. I will let you know just how huge the gap between you and me is. Mead said in a cold voice. He had never lost since he was born. Wolfarb and Caesar, who were the same God's blesser as him, together, did not seem to be able to beat him, which was enough to see how powerful Mead really was. In his opinion, Li Bai was undoubtedly foolish to want to challenge himself, a towering near God, with a mortal body. This was undoubtedly ridiculous. This fellow, Li Bai, simply couldn't be his own opponent. Ah, he simply didn't know just how huge the difference in strength between them was. He also didn't know what, exactly, was the power of a god. However, since this fellow dared to come to his door, then, he himself would let him see how terrifying the power of a god, really was. If he got hurt, don't blame him for being unmerciful. Mead coldly looked at Li Bai. He was bound to let this guy in front of him know what true cruelty was. Bad. Mead seems to be angry. What can we do? Yeah, although this guy is indeed a bit arrogant, but one has to admit that he has arrogant capital. Legend has it that Merlin is the one who combines all the magic into one. The magic he masters are almost all forbidden arts. And he even has the ability to travel through the past and present to understand time to gain an insight into destiny and other heaven-defying abilities. That's right, although these are only the news released by the pretty country, even if there is some falsification, but even if it can be a little bit related to these abilities, this Merlin is also an extremely powerful existence. If we take an example, other people might have been gazed at one more time by a powerful god, while Merlin is a very weak god, but he didn't just simply gaze at Mead, but was gifted. Under this near vast divine power enchantment, even a pig would be able to succeed in being invincible, not to mention that this guy Mead is a genius. For a while, a crowd of people sang Li Bai's praises, and from the data on paper, there was no way Li Bai would be a match for Mead, to fight against the power of a god with the body of a mortal. Not many people throughout the ages could do it. In this ring match, Li Bai's defeat was near certain. For a moment, countless people actually felt sorry for Li Bai. Such a powerful genius had actually ruined his chance to enter a top secret realm because of his impulsiveness. One wrong step. One wrong step. After losing this opportunity, would Li Bai really be able to keep up with the other geniuses? I don't think so. Although Li Bai failed to get the blessing of the gods, his power may not be weaker than Mead. You have to know that as strong as Mead is, he's only a mage, and mages all have a common weakness, and that's the fear of melee combat. Even those melee mage professions are not as good as an equal ranked warrior profession let alone a turret mage like Mead? Li Bai's profession, Mad Demon Fierce Blade, is the most representative of the terrifying melee professions, it is said that his blade method wants to kill you by 3000, blade blasts, and there is no enemy under melee, against Mead, there may not be no power of a battle, countless people had a heated debate over this, overall, those who thought that Mead would win occupied the majority, more than 90%, even Li Bai's teacher was not optimistic about Li Bai, after all, the only way to know the gap between Li Bai and his opponent was to clearly know his opponent's strength. Such a gap was simply not something that could be made up for by occupational restraints. There was a huge chasm between S rank and S plus rank itself. The two simply could not exist at the same level. But in terms of whether or not they could be fought, the only way to know was to fight. This fellow, Li Bai, doesn't seem to be as simple as he appears on the surface. Wang Chuan narrowed his eyes. This guy's occupation. It seems to have something to hide. Things were getting interesting. This fellow, Li Bai, was hiding his clumsiness. However, it was also right. This guy usually wore a white coat from time to time, like a fluttering gentleman. If he was in this situation, it would be difficult for him to use the true power of his profession. On the contrary, people who had seen his real fighting stance should be close to none. This guy, Li Bai, even if he used all of his power and didn't care about his image at all, did he still want to win this battle? Wang Dust nodded with some recognition. To die for face? Li Bai was like this but today, he was able to put down his face in order to fight for a breath. Wang Dust was instantly interested in Li Bai. Just, his opponent was Mei Dei. This guy, he was even able to cross the level to kill bosses, although the magnitude was nowhere near as great as his own. The word cross-level boss beheading was an impossibility in itself. This guy, could he really do it? Is it? Li Bai raised his head, his deep eyes meeting Meads. It seemed like everyone around him thought he wasn't feasible. But whether it was feasible or not, whether it could be done or not, it was by no means up to others to say. Along the way, he was questioned and belittled. 
but he just didn't choose to give up. He didn't give up even if he failed, because he has the strength. More have this responsibility. His way, cut down all the obstacles. Chapter 361, Bloodthirsty Not Bloodthirsty. Li Bai's right hand clenched in the void, and a long blade appeared in his hand. His intrinsic artifact, instant artifact, bloodthirsty berserker blade. Grade, diamond. Grade, level 65. Special effect, bloodthirsty, the only special effect. Every time you swing the knife, it will enhance your attack power, with no upper limit. When you see blood, you will gradually lose your mind, and correspondingly, your attack power will gradually skyrocket. Introduction, the long knife needs to be fed with blood, but this blood, is the blood of the enemy? Every time he fights, he kills someone. The bloodthirsty frenzy knife will devour all of that person's blood. This was the ability of the bloodthirsty mad knife. It was very singular. But holding it in his hand, there was an indescribable comfort. Only Li Bai knew how confident he would feel with this blade in his hand. This blade, was his everything? His entirety? And even more so, the confidence that he had always stood for. He believed that he would never be weak in his life. Even if his talent wasn't that strong, and his weapon wasn't that special, but with one person, one sword, and one white coat, he could still kill the enemy in blood, and be victorious millions of miles away, maybe ordinary, but he was, definitely strong, when he first awakened this profession, in the family, no one looked up to him, just looking at the literal description, it was just a profession that would lose its sanity, it wasn't considered much stronger, not even as strong as some A-rank professions, Professions that lost their sanity and gained attack power could be more than just one profession, the Mad Demon Flaming Blade. Instead, there were quite a few professions that had this trait. That night, Li Bai was silent. A person went to the nearest copy and killed until he nearly lost his mind. He didn't understand why he had switched to such a profession when his favorite weapon had always been the gentleman's sword, which he didn't like. He was not willing, but there was nothing he could do about it. Killing day after day, he gradually lost himself, immersed in the surge of power. He forgot what it meant to be a gentleman. Until that day, his girlfriend died under his sword. He could even now remember his girlfriend's innocent eyes as she died under the knife. That was the first time he gained sobriety after acquiring this profession. Before that, he was like a man but not a man, slaughtering all day long, unable to distinguish between copies and reality, unable to distinguish between himself and beasts. He woke up and his girlfriend died. The girlfriend before she died didn't blame him. She just laughed softly and looked at him. He froze feeling the rapid loss of his girlfriend's body heat. He was scared. Why is this happening? Someone tell him. That day, no one knew how desperate he was. Only his girlfriend gently told him, you don't need to blame yourself, because I was supposed to be just the little girl you saved from the broken city. And the way you use your sword, it's pretty cool too. Can you protect others like you protected me? The young girl's smile was so sweet. And even though her face was gradually paling, she was still encouraging Li Bai. Li Bai realized at that moment that the knife in his hand was a magic knife. An ordinary person who was hit by the knife would definitely not die that fast, but the bloodthirsty mad knife would devour the blood of the person who was hit by the knife. The speed is so fast that it is too late to rescue. For a moment, Li Bai couldn't tell himself from the devil. Why was he like this? He himself didn't know, but he himself didn't like the person he had become. Girlfriend died. No one knew about it, because she was an orphan. Her family broke up when she was young and she was saved by Li Bai, to whom the young girl had a secret love. Li Bai was clueless. He didn't know what liking was, but the moment he saw the young girl die, he felt as if he had lost his world, and his world, died in his own hands. Later he realized that since the moment he entered the forest, he was like a split personality, often slashing with his sword. That was the main reason why the family hated him. It also placed him in a corner. None of the people who were usually close to him went up to appease him. Only a young girl with no hands went trading her own life for Li Bai's sanity. The young girl knew she would die, but when she saw the final clarity in Li Bai's eyes, she smiled. It seems that she has the weight oh. Later, Li Bai threw away his bloodthirsty mad sword and sat in front of the young girl's grave every day in a daze. He no longer knew the meaning of his existence. What was he living for? Obviously, he had awakened the S-class talent that seemed daunting to outsiders. But why? Why? This power only brought him calamity. Two years later, Li Bai's one day, saw himself under the reflection of the lake, bearded, a white coat had long become tattered, looking like a savage, you must not like me in this appearance, Li Bai muttered, in his mind, he instantly remembered what the young girl had said to him before she died, protection, Li Bai glanced at the young girl's tombstone, he understood, he would protect her, until the very last moment, on that day, the waste Li Bai died, 
Geniusly Bai returned strong. After a two-year gap, he rose to the top of the Imperial University in two years. No one saw Li Bai's out of control look anymore. Only know that he has a gentle face and a good temper. But only he himself knows that he already will not let the devil sleeping in his body go haywire. His body, not his turn to control. The only one who can control him is himself. Li Bai held his sword and looked at Mead in front of him. Chapter 362 A Sword Seals the Throat. Your weapon. It doesn't seem like it's very good. Mead said disdainfully. A weapon capable of making people lose their minds. A profession capable of making people lose their minds. This was Hua Xia's first genius? Their first day talent. The water was not too big. When were these unstable forces able to rank? How about the weapons? We still have to fight to know. Li Bai said indifferently. His bloodthirsty berserker sword crossed over his chest in a starting stance. Arrogant. Mead snorted coldly. A staff that shimmered with a brilliant light appeared in his hand in an instant. Natal artifact, Archangel staff. Grade, diamond. Grade, level 66. Introduction, wearing him is equivalent to possessing part of the power of a god. This is the authority as an angel. At the start of a battle, your damage will gradually increase and you will gain an immeasurable amount of mana value for normal people. Obviously, this native artifact is much more powerful. Moreover, Mead had hidden the characteristics and special effects of his weapon. But rightly so, if this kind of occasion got out, I'm afraid that I would be able to better target Mead in the future. But compared to Li Bai's boldness, between the two, it was simply the difference between the two. I didn't expect that Mead actually took the Archangel Staff in the first place. It seems like he wants to end the battle quickly. Caesar had a gloomy face. Half a year ago, he had fought Mead once. But that time, even if Mead hadn't used the Archangel's battle, their levels were similar. In the back, he had been crushed at one point when Mead used the Archangel Staff. Obviously, Mead was moved to anger. There weren't many people in this world that he, Caesar, had convinced and Mead definitely counted as one. The geniuses of the world totaled 10 buckets, and Mead alone accounted for 8 buckets. This sentence is not an exaggeration at all. The most powerful genius in this world was no one else but May Day. May Day's power was absolutely unreasonable. This kind of power was absolutely unprecedented. Even geniuses like them hadn't seen much. No, they hadn't even seen it. It was only when Mead appeared that they realized what it was to be someone else's child. While they were still practicing at the initial leveling base, Mead had already mastered forbidden arts to blast monsters at a wide range, if it wasn't for the fact that most of Mead's time so far hadn't been spent on leveling up, but instead on enjoying life. It was estimated that he would have reached level 80 long ago, and he probably wouldn't have even been able to enter this secret realm. This was Mead's terror, but even with his current level, he was invincible at the same age in the entire world. To be able to reach this level in thoughtfulness after awakening his talent, it was the only one in the world. Terrifying, truly terrifying. The flame that burns eternally will bring about the plague that burns the world. Upanishad, fiery meteor. A burst of blue light flashed from the staff in Mead's hand. In a flash, the sky felt as if it had been torn apart as countless rains of fire suddenly appeared from the air. Glorious flames reflected on the faces of everyone in the audience. Starting Upanishad, I'm afraid that only Mead in the entire blue star was able to do it. Because AOE didn't just represent a huge consumption. It also represented the threshold of using it. And when it came to the word AOE, it obviously couldn't be used at will. Is this the top heavenly pride? Huang Tianba's pupils shrank. He somewhat dared not imagine that if he had just encountered this move, he would have had a few percent chance of winning. Even if he played all his cards, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to last three breaths under this move, let alone defeat this fellow. Terror. What kind of heavenly pride is this? Why is it so strong? Huang Tianba thought that he had already been invincible after obtaining a powerful chance, but he didn't realize that there was someone who was even braver than him and he was several times or even dozens of times braver. With him, simply not a level of existence. How could there be such a horrible guy in the world? Huang Tianba clenched his teeth. He knew he would lose, but he didn't like that this man in front of him would lose. This man that he regarded as the goal of his life, Li Bai. In his heart, Li Bai was the undefeated existence. He was the invincible existence. You are very strong. But unfortunately, you don't have faith. Li Bai said indifferently. Whoosh. The next moment, Li Bai transformed into a residual shadow, his figure continuously weaving back and forth in the air. In his profession, he didn't have any special abilities, nor did he have any splendid skills. The only benefit that could be gifted to him that was that it allowed him to calm himself under the extreme berserk state. This benefit was not inherent, but rather something he realized after losing someone important to him. Perhaps not much, but, enough to use. In his life, he only had one blade. Brush. Countless sword lights flashed through the air, 
The originally splendid Upanishad spells actually all turned into flying dust and dissipated in midair at this moment. What? Need's pupils shrank as he realized that something was wrong. Li Bai was not as simple as he thought. This move of his own Upanishad was able to brush away 99% of the geniuses. And Li Bai was that last zero? 1%. Nadis staff was clenched tightly. And just as he wanted to chant, Li Bai's floating figure was like a swimming dragon, arriving in front of Nadis body in an instant. A sword was pressed against Mead's chin. A sword sealed his throat. You lost, Li Bai said indifferently. Lost? Not necessarily. Mead snorted coldly. Upanishad blink. In the next moment, Mead's figure instantly disappeared without a trace. Chapter 363 Million Years of Life Origin The skill that all long-range professions dreamed of learning. Blink. Although there were many mages who knew Blink, it was only the most ordinary Blink, with a certain casting forward swing and a fixed displacement. Upanishadic Blink was different. This was a move that completely ignored distance and did not have any foreshake. Surprise, enough to be called a divine skill. Many legendary mages' famous battles could not be separated from this move. It could be said that without Aeon Flicker, many powerful mages were equivalent to breaking their own arm. But once they had this move, mages could not be restrained by melee professions. What? It's actually a flickering Upanishad. How could someone be so genius? To be able to comprehend a near-mythical move at level 66, it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. Right. To know again before comprehending the Upanishad flickering the earliest must also be a level 90 top mage profession. With this move can completely in any mage. No. Any profession to open an insurmountable gap. Truly terrifying ah. Worthy of being mead. To be able to have such strength. I'm afraid that any means that Li Bai is proud of no longer have a chance of winning. After all, I can miss countless times. And you, you can only miss once. Everyone under the stage was shocked by Mead's means. If blinking was just a commonplace displacement skill, then Awe Blink involved the power of space. This was almost equivalent to an open-ended ability. Space was honored and time was king. This sentence was no joke. Once you master the power of space, you are already in an invincible position. Even if the opponent was stronger. So what? Even if they were faster, could they be faster than the spatial ability? However, Li Bai's face remained as normal, without any panic, because he knew that at this time, any panic was useless. Only absolute calmness could defeat the enemy. Once he panicked, and waited for the side effects of the profession of Mad Demon Flaming Blade to come up, then he was afraid that he would no longer be able to control himself. As long as he was calm, he would be able to maximize this profession. Li Bai was very clear about the flaws of his profession and was also very clear that his attacks didn't have much range. It could only be stabilized. The more it came to this point, the more one could not panic. Everyone was intensely interested in this battle. The final victory. And who actually won? Bayong of Long Ding Tian, who was peering from the dome, could not help but be a little surprised when he saw Mead's heaven-defying degree. After all, being able to have such a skill at level 66 was indeed enough to shock them. But what shocked them even more was that Li Bai, who possessed such a profession, was actually able to suppress the monstrous anger within his heart and turned extremely calm. This guy, how exactly did he cultivate on a regular basis? Such a sage mode was absolutely unheard of. But suddenly, Long Ding Tian frowned. News has come from the Divine Demon Battlefield. The alien race side has already assembled. This time, it looks like we are going to give someone else a dowry. This time, those who have come, excluding our human race ranked 9999. There is also the Evil Eye Demon Fox race ranked 7000 and the death crocodile race ranked 6001, and the most terrifying thing isn't these, rather, it's that this time, the primordial forest has actually attracted the fallen elf clan whose ranking can be ranked within a hundred amongst the tens of thousands of races, after saying that, Long Ding Tian sighed, the human race was too weak too weak, perhaps their top battle power was enough to be in the middle to upper middle of the foreign races, but their race needed a long development cycle and had a far inferior lifespan, this led to the fact that even if the human race ranked 9, 999. The battle power of the younger generation was not even as good as some of the 20. 000 to 30. 000 ranked races. Those who ranked within 100. They had another name. Divine Dependence. That's right. Those whose races were within the 100th place were already able to be associated with the gods. Every single person within their race had the qualifications to be able to conclude a contract with a god. Not only that. What was truly terrifying about them was. The incomparably long years and the terrifying growth. The same age. Some races might have been born already above level 60, or even level 80, 100. And since the moment of his birth, he had been carrying a talent above S rank. The strength of his strength and the terrifying talent of his talent crushed the vast majority of humans. 
The strongest prides amongst the humans might only be at an ordinary level when it comes to that. Not to mention those high-level races, there are also prides, and the strength of those prides is far better than humans. Long Ding Tian himself didn't know how exactly the humans would win. Foreign races, why did they send out so many geniuses? Could it be that there is something extraordinary in the primordial forest this time? Bayong asked as he looked at Long Ding Tian. Long Ding Tian gently nodded his head. That's right, just as you thought. According to the investigation, this year there will be a million-year-old eternal life ancient tree that will be about to take shape, and without any accidents, the million-year-old life origin crystals that he produces, that rich life force is enough to prolong one's life by more than a thousand years. Not only that, if it is given to a junior to take, it is enough to cleanse the essence and reshape the foundation. Even if it is a strong person who has not awakened his talent, he will also reap a great deal of all in all. This thing, no matter who, and no matter what he does, he will always be able to play a great role. Do you think that those great clans can't help but want this? This day's explosion, one-tenth. Chapter 364, The Thing That Beats You. Indeed, Bai Yong said in a deep voice, if he said that, even he would probably be moved. Not to mention those terrifying foreign races, who would dislike having fewer treasures within their own clan. Obviously there wasn't. It was just that. He hadn't expected that the things produced by the primordial forest would actually be so expensive. If it was a 100, 000 year old eternal life ancient tree, then the life origin he produced was actually not of much use. At best, it was just a holy medicine for healing. It would never allow those powerful foreign races to make a separate trip. But if it was replaced with a million years, I am afraid that not many foreign races would refuse. Although there is a level restriction. But, none of those foreign races rank above the human. Not to mention, the same level in the human fight any race. Almost no advantage. This is almost a must lose the battle. Alas, that's why humans should strengthen themselves. When I choose my successor, I will use a hundred years to help him become me. No, even surpass me. Although I am a genius, I have taken too many wrong paths, so much so that even I was inevitably pulled apart by those powerful races. If I were given the chance to do it all over again, I would be at least 50% stronger than I am now. Although I don't have a chance now, my descendants will still have a chance. And in the long run, the human race will one day be able to stand at the top of all races. When these words came out, Bai Yong instantly felt a surge of hot blood rising in his chest. Yes, once upon a time, Long Ding Tian had taught him the same thing. It was only a pity that he was not as genius as Long Ding Tian. Below, the battle between Li Bai and Mei De had entered a white hot stage. Li Bai was covered in wounds, and Mei De's clothes were slightly dirty. It couldn't be helped. Li Bai was almost restrained to death by Mead. Every time Li Bai approached Mead, Mead was always able to dodge and was so fast that he couldn't react at all. Li Bai and the Mead under this trick, almost no power to fight back. This is if another person probably would have been this cat and mouse trick to the gas to the abandoned plug. But who is Li Bai? It was clearly impossible to do such a thing. Such an ability is really tricky. Li Bai quietly looked at Mead. Upanishad Blink was worthy of being the top Upanishad of the mage profession. And this skill was even closer to having no CD under Mead's hands. Every time his attack was about to land on Mead's head, he was able to dodge it with an extremely fast speed that was simply unbelievable. Even Li Bai himself didn't believe that there was a day when his attacks could actually be dodged. In a situation involving spatial abilities, Li Bai sensed that his own abilities seemed to be somewhat one-dimensional. Although he was able to cleave through Mead's forbidden magic hard, he wasn't able to avoid it perfectly every time. There were always some fallout waves that affected him. One thing led to the fact that he didn't have much blood left now, plus the side effects of this profession. It caused him to have begun to become nonchalant. He could feel that there was now a slight agitation within him. Is there really no way out? Li Bai's brows furrowed. No, things hadn't come to the end yet. It was too early to give up. What's the matter? Is this the most powerful genius of Huaxia? Strength is nothing more than that. What? Is this your full strength? If that's all you've got, then I think that the geniuses of Huaxia are too much to handle. Mead said in a cold voice. Although Li Bai had the ability to injure him, but in his opinion it was nothing more than that. This guy, the light of a glowing fire dares to compete with the white moon? Ridiculous and insouciant. Simply a slag. Take what you just said and say it again. Li Bai coldly said. He could accept that he couldn't. Could also admit that he was not as skilled as others. But, it wasn't Mead's turn to judge the others. As Li Bai spoke, his robes rose up without wind. It was as if there was a mysterious power that was added to his body. What is this? Mead's heart suddenly felt bad. Something wasn't right. How come this guy just gave him such a powerful sense of oppression in that instant? No, not just a sense of oppression. Rather, it was an aura that could truly kill him. This is what happened. 
But the next moment, a white light suddenly lifted from Li Bai's body. This was, Long Ding Tian in the dome exclaimed in shock, blade intent, the only way to completely understand what is a sword, what is the self, and what is the sword in one's hand. Only then could one awaken to the realm of human blade unity, blade intent. Only by truly grasping this realm of intent would one be able to call themselves a blade Dao master. There was no doubt that the current Li Bai had just reached this realm with his breakthrough. This was no longer something that could be described by panels and ranks. Rather, it was the potential that came with humans and that only humans would have. Ascending to the peak, the extreme realm ascended to something truly powerful. Those who did not have enough perseverance and talent would not be able to master things even if they had a higher rank and more knowledge. Nowadays, Li Bai actually would. It was enough to see that Li Bai, just what kind of heavenly pride he was. What is this thing? Mei Dei exclaimed, staring at Li Bai's hand in death, fearing that this fellow would rise up and decapitate himself in the next moment. The thing of victory over you, Li Bai said in a deep voice. His aura surged steeply and his consciousness cleared once again. It was almost complementary to the tyrannical nature of the profession. Today's explosion, February 10th, Chapter 365 Bad. Someone's hanging up. In other words, it was that Li Bai had gained an increase in his profession for nothing, but had not been negatively affected. Instead of saying that the profession was a flawed talent that didn't deserve to be called an s rank talent. Instead, it would be better to say that he and Li Bai complemented each other and were born as a pair. Only Li Bai was able to possess this talent, and likewise, only Li Bai was able to utilize this talent to its maximum level. Li Bai smiled heartily as he sensed the power surging within his body. Very strong. Unprecedentedly strong. Finally, the flaws of the profession weren't considered a burden to him anymore. Instead, it was still a booster. A booster to sharpen his mind. Arrogance. Aeon meteorite fall. Mead's archangel staff was swung violently towards the sky. Tear. The sky was suddenly torn open with a huge gash. A meteorite larger than the entire school appeared with a bang. A meteorite? He was even able to directly summon a meteorite. Everyone unanimously said in their hearts. This guy? What kind of freak is he? No wonder. He's called Merlin's heir. With such a Rubik's Cube ability. I'm afraid it's not below the Merlin Archmage recorded in their beautiful national book. Is this the top profession? The arcane mage? Seeing him today, I finally know. What is true terror? Raising his hand to summon a meteorite to descend. This, is simply the handiwork of a god. Is this the genius of the pretty country? Compared to him, we are truly the light of a glowing fire trying to match the white moon. That's not right. Haven't you guys noticed that this meteorite, covers the entire school? Once it falls, we'll have to die too. Right. Help. There was a wave of panic in the stands. They hadn't even thought that with this move. Neat's target wasn't Li Bai at all. But everyone. It doesn't matter. I'll make a move. Li Bai stood on top of the ring without the slightest fear in his eyes. Instead, there was only a strong battle intent in his eyes. A genius like him was destined to have no fear of anything. But rather, battle. Fighting was everything to him, because it was only by fighting that he was able to guard. Li Bai stood horizontally with his sword. The majestic aura around him was gathering. Whoosh. Li Bai stomped with force. And the huge ring actually nearly collapsed by Li Bai's stomp in this instant. The violent airflow instantly ripped up. Nearly lifting me directly off the ground. Such physical strength. It's too foul. Even Need was incredulous. He was really envious of melee professions sometimes. It was really fierce. What? You're asking him why long range professions can't be melee as well? Isn't that nonsense? Of course it's impossible. The direction of development of each profession is fixed. Attribute points must also point to their own good which one, or simply not enough. If you want to balance the points, then waiting for you to the end of the only who are not as good as. A certain mechanical summoning profession itself is still fierce batch of pretty boy said very cam. Li Bai looked at the huge meteorite above his head. The pressure. As if able to crush him hard. Powerful. Truly powerful. This power. Before he obtained the blade intent there was absolutely only one way to be crushed. But now. Li Bai gripped the long sword in his hand tightly. In his entire life. The only thing that could be his companion was this blade. Other than that. There was nothing. Therefore. At all times. He would trust him. In the next moment, ripples spread out on the bloodthirsty frenzy blade. Drop. A crisp drop sounded in Li Bai's heart. It was now. He had already reached a resonance with the bloodthirsty frenzy blade. This blade, unprecedented. This blade was his strongest blade to date. Countless saber auras were added as much as they could. And monstrous sword intent continued to gush out. Perhaps at this moment, the only thing left between heaven and earth was his heart beating wildly with the sword in his hand. Li Bai seemed to have moved. And then again. He seemed to have not moved. Li Bai's single sword pulled a blade flower and stood on his back. 
completely ignoring the meteorite behind him. F asterisk CK, Li Baiyi is crazy, there is still a big meteorite behind him. How can he just focus on pretending not to turn around and cut the meteorite? Something's not right. Something's not right. Could it be that he's already chopped it? Fart. Cut a hammer. If he just cut, I directly upside down to eat. Brother don't pretend. A meteorite. The audience was in mourning. They didn't expect that Li Bai would actually be so good at pretending. It was clear that the danger was already behind him, but he still didn't make a move. What was going on here? This brat. Long Dingtian's pupils shrunk. It didn't occur to him that Li Baiyi's natural talent was so heaven-defying. He was actually able to slash out tens of thousands of slashes one after another in a split second. It looked like it didn't move, but it actually did. That meteorite, at this moment, was already in a state of disintegration. Terrifying, truly terrifying. This sun is as terrifying as this. The qualification of the Tao of the Knife is simply heaven-defying. He has traveled across the divine and demonic battlegrounds for countless years. But this is the first time he has seen someone with such a heaven-defying natural talent. This natural talent did not originate from a profession gifted by the heavens. Instead, it was the obsession in his heart that was truly what made him powerful. Even Long Ding Tian was shocked by. Boom! The meteorite was instantly exploded away. And countless pieces of debris were blocked by the help of the teachers. What had just happened? Even the principal didn't see it clearly. After all, he wasn't too strong. If he concentrated on it he might be able to see it but he hadn't been very serious just now. Bad. What the hell happened? Hanging up? Today's explosion, three tenths. Chapter 366, what is a true genius? Need looked at Li Baiyi with an unbelievable face. Not it. You damn hanging is it? Made a weekday's road own open hanging open more. Or the first time to see by people also open hanging. But there is no doubt. Li Baiyi all this hand has long exceeded his expectations. Just now that move. Almost is his strongest move. Plus the previous consumption. Obviously, the amount of blue in his body is not much, but if he lost in front of so many people, where would he put his name as the strongest heavenly pride of pretty country? Right at this moment, Li Bai's body was like a kite with broken strings, falling straight down from the air. That slash just now had consumed a lot, at the very least, for Li Bai. Such a consumption, such a strike had depleted the blue amount left in his body. Damn it, it was at this kind of time, Li Bai's consciousness gradually began to collapse. It was starting again. Bean-sized sweat began to seep out from Li Bai's forehead. Adding this layer of debuff was like adding fuel to the fire. It's going to be difficult. If we lose here. Unwilling ah. Ah ha 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 You're not. Like. Out of blue. Are you? Need laughed out loud. At this moment. He didn't have much blue either. But the highs and lows were still able to stand up. Ned dropped his guard and walked towards Li Bai step by step. Li Bai tightly gripped his bloodthirsty berserker. He only had one last chance left. The time to decide the winner was here. What's wrong? China's top genius is so weak, so soon he's on the ground as if he's a dead dog? Garbage is garbage. Without the blessing of the gods, you can't defeat me with the blessing of the gods in this life. Despair. This is the dreadfulness of the profession of arcane mage. An existence that you will never be able to touch point in your lifetime. Mead taunted. Don't care if he's strong or not, but his mouth really stinks. This was also the reason why Caesar and Waldfarb didn't want to fight this guy ever since they lost once. Winning the fight was fine, losing the fight with that trash talk made them get up to kill at one point. Li Bai clenched his teeth. Could it be? Was he really going to lose? His undefeated Li Bai, really going to lose here? No, he was not willing. He, Li Bai, how could he lose here? Li Bai stood up. He stood up again. Although his body was staggering, he finally stood up. His gaze was firm, and at this moment, even his favorite white clothes were stained with dust. It was as if an exiled immortal in the sky had colored with mortal dust. But his image became even more magnificent in the hearts of the students of Imperial Capital University. Who said that there was no genius in China? The white clothes of the Imperial Capital University fought in the sky. You can still fucking stand up. Is there any mistake? Mead shouted angrily. But the next moment, Li Bai's figure suddenly appeared in front of him. Brush. A blade slashed out. Upanishad blinking. But this time, Mead's hair was cut in half. Obviously. Because of the high intensity of the battle, Mead was also gradually starting to lose his ability to keep up, and that Aoi blink just now had used up his last bit of blue. The next two of them would enter into a battle with no amount of blue. Griffin, you're really pissing me off. Mead shouted angrily. The spatial ring in his hand flashed with light. Not good. This pretty country brat, actually trying to use props in an arena between fellow clans. Don't you know that this is expressly forbidden? Long Ding Tian said in a cold voice. He didn't expect that after he had only been gone for a few years, Pretty Country had actually become so shameless. 
simply shameless. Do they still have to be shameless? Cough cough. This kind of thing they did had to be less. But let's not make a move yet. This kid still has the will to fight in his eyes. So maybe he has other tricks up his sleeve. Bayong thought of the shameless things that pretty country had done over the years. Some do not know where to start. But now the main thing still has to look at Li Bai. Whether he has this strength or not. To get back on his feet again. If he has it then it would be great. If not. They don't mind stepping forward to help Li Bai. But this would damage this heavenly pride's mentality. Even if the follow up explained to him. But according to Mead's current hand speed. Instead of seeing Mead cheating. Li Bai would think that his strength was not good. Causing damage to his heart. Find them in the fall to settle the score. Long Ding Tian forced down the dissatisfaction in his heart and continued to watch. You were able to carry this first meteorite. But what about this second one? Mead pretended to chant. But this was a magic scroll that his teacher had refined in advance. Each time he used it, he only needed to destroy it to summon a magic twice as powerful as the one he used himself. Tear. The sky was once again torn apart. A meteorite that was twice as big as before appeared with a bang. Everyone's hearts felt as if they had been hit by a boulder. Is this Mead? The beautiful country's pride of heaven. His strength was just not on the same level as ordinary people like them. Being able to have the blue amount to release the first meteorite had already shocked them. But now he was actually told that there was a second one? It was important to realize that their school was incomparably huge. Large enough to be as big as a district in the outside world. It could even be bigger than the province before the transformation era. And Mead could summon two of them. The second one was twice as huge as the first. Is this, in fact, a human, or a god? His amount of blue, was it bottomless? Terrifying. This was a truly terrifying genius. Just then, today's explosion, April 10th, chapter 367, you drive, I drive, everyone drive together. The space around them suddenly became black and white. Everyone was suspended in place. TSK, cheating, and a pretty country. Wang Dust looked at the magic scroll in Mead's hand that was labeled with an invisible secret talisman. This guy, he's really shameless. It's not even if you drink a blue pill. You still use such a powerful magic prop. According to you so late simply who and do not go to upgrade. Once to the actual combat examination to take the magic scroll against the bombardment on the end of the matter. This guy really give beautiful country shame ah. Wang Dust. No. They seem to be a hill of peasants. And Big Pretty is not a good bird either. Wang Dust looked around inside. It was a bit too much of a waste for his time pause to actually be used on this kind of thing. If this was given to some people who would make good use of it, it was estimated that the children and grandchildren would be full of them. Or was he too kind? If they didn't cheat between them, no matter if they won or lost, Wang Dust wouldn't interfere. After all, this was strength against strength. It's not about anything else. But if you cheat first, then don't blame Wang Dust. Don't ask. Ask as you started it first. Wang Dust slowly walked to Li Bai's side. Snapping his fingers, he lifted the suspension of Li Bai's hearing and thinking. Junior, do you desire power? Wang Dust's magnetic voice was full of temptation. Li Bai, who are you big brother? I can't hear your voice. That said, why I was suspended ah, only able to hear, but cannot say what is going on ah, do not understand, but he Li Bai greatly shocked. What the hell is this and what? How can he somewhat not understand what Wang Chen is saying ah, because your opponent used cheating means, if you want to defeat him, I can give you power. Wang Chen said indifferently. In passing, he unlocked Li Bai's throat, and had actually forgotten about it just now. But it was just right, appearing as if he had an inscrutable face. He's open? Li Bai's face was incredulous. Not buddy, I'm fighting with you with my life. You're playing mind games with me. No, he must be sanctioned. Li Bai made the right choice almost instantly. Wang Dust understood. Ever since he was level 80, he had unlocked many more things. However, this time, it was basically some upgrades to previous weapons. The names didn't change anything. Instead, it became outrageous for the weapons assembled to the mechanical warriors. Atomic Laser Sword EX Particle Laser Sword. Quantum Energy Shield EX Nano Energy Shield. These two sounded pretty outrageous anyway. But Wang Chuan hadn't used them yet. Anyway, it can be assembled to humans. Just take Li Bai to test the performance. Seeing the system's meaning, his own super god mechanic may have a qualitative change by level 100. In fact, not only Wang Chuan, many professions will have a qualitative change when they go to the god and demon battlefield after level 100, including, but not limited to, career leveling up, the upgrade threshold becoming lower, and even some careers would undergo even greater changes. For example, transferring to a new profession. This career change was not another career change. Rather, it is a transfer on the basis of the existing profession. In human terms, it is through this transfer to obtain the power of the origin of the profession. 
it will become even more powerful. And after the second turn, it is often able to make the profession level become even more heaven defying. Wine Dust was still looking forward to the changes he would experience after level 100. At that time, his changes might be even greater than he had imagined. Of course, all of this was an afterthought. Wang Chuan waved his big hand and an EX particle laser sword appeared in his hand. Although he could build tens of thousands of this thing with his hands, however, it was still handed over to Li Bai with a solemn face. Take it, your holy sword, Wang Chen said in a deep voice. Li Bai had no doubts, squeezing his hands tightly. After everything was in order, Wang Dust continued to return to the sky to watch the show. Time began to flow. Strange, what's going on? Long Ding Tian frowned. Why did it feel like he was just a bit out of time? It shouldn't be. A strong person of his level. No one on the Blue Star should be able to stop his time. It seemed like he was a bit sensitive. This should be an illusion. On the stage, Li Bai subconsciously gripped hard. And in his own other hand, an EX particle laser sword suddenly appeared. What just happened was actually real. But he was using a sword. What was the point of giving him this thing? He wasn't a sword player. But that one gave it to himself. There must be his deep meaning, big sickness. It just seemed like he needed to take a step now. What is this thing? Mead was silent. This thing, it seemed a bit like a sci-fi product of a bygone era as recorded in the ancient books of the pretty country. It seemed like they weren't conducting any research in this area right now. But where did Li Bai get a physical object in his hands a uh, hello? But that's not the point. He cheated all secretly. You fucking blatant right. He secretly pinch a hidden scroll are afraid to be found by others. You take a laser sword so big, is afraid that others do not see it. Big brother, you pay attention ah. Uh, Nearby thousands of eyes watching you ah, Mead felt tired, nothing he could say would help now, however, he was still not optimistic about Li Bai's laser sword, after all, even if you take a diamond grade weapon, it may not be useful, what's more, what you're taking is just a product of technology, there were experts who had long ago said that technological artifacts would never be able to compare to something like equipment from the transmutation era, he, for sure, was going to win, today's explosion, May 10th, Chapter 368 If you lose, there's death only. Mead was already tempted to celebrate the victory in advance. After all, this was completely a sure win, without any possibility of failure. If he would lose, it was purely because he had voted for himself, and if he didn't, I'm afraid no one had the ability to make him lose. Mead snorted coldly and looked at Li Bai dead on. He wanted to see how this guy could actually turn the tide against the wind. He wouldn't really think that a handful of old-fashioned technological era artifacts would be able to break such a large meteorite of his own. You have to know that the destructive power of a meteorite is not just that big of a rock coming down, but has multiple factors. Even if it didn't have that many factors added to it, relying on that weight alone, it would still be enough to make Li Bai drink a pot of water. It's a pity that this Chinese genius is going to die here today. As for whether the teacher resisted or not, he didn't care. As long as it was Li Bai, he would be satisfied. Such an existence will certainly threaten his position in the future. Rather than let the tiger return to the mountain, it is better to kill directly, so that he has the benefit. If you let the tiger return to the mountain, in the future, ghosts know what kind of strong person he will become. It would be better to kill now. Moreover, with such an attack, those teachers might not be able to block it when they came. As far as he knew, the security force of the Imperial Capital University was not too good and there were even many teachers whose strength was not as good as Li Bai's, and even their 79 level vice principal might not be able to stop this attack, if their principal made a move, hoomph, sorry, the security guards that he, Mead, brought with him were also strong enough, not daring to say anything else, stalling their principal for a while is still doable, otherwise, he Mead would not be so assured to come here, after all, according to the pretty country's character, as long as you deal with a genius coming, then you don't want to go, either surrender, or just GA off, it was natural for them to think that way about others as well, unbeknownst to them, Hua Xia would not do so, how to do how to do, Li Bai can block this move, this meteorite, looks even more massive than just ah, a glance cannot see the end, as if countless mountains pressed on the dome, no, Li Bai cannot block, we do not also have to die ah I shit, Li Bai, come on ah, we do not want to die, yes, yes, come on, I believe you, have the strength of this, said you put away your laser sword ah, who still play with this kind of children's toys ah, that's right, this kind of product of the old times, put it into the present, whether it can deal with the black iron equipment is a toss up, not to mention the knife splits the meteorite, this is undoubtedly to take the firefly compared to the white moon, laughable and not self consideration ah, a group of people cried and cried, feeling as if they were going to die here the next moment, 
After all, they were truly afraid of death. With such a powerful attack, not being afraid of death wouldn't work. Not being afraid of death would also lead to death. Ah, everyone had a grave face, including the vice principal and principal Ouyang Bo. If Li Baiyi really couldn't resist, they had to strike with a thunderous force. They were principals. They couldn't just watch their students die here. They must give them protection. Cluck. Li Baiyi gripped the EX particle laser sword tightly as he remembered what Wang Chen had just said in his ear. You have to trust this laser sword. He can take you to heights you couldn't reach before. Li Baiyi did not know who the voice was just now, nor did he know what the weapon in his hand was, but he knew that with his own strength, he would not be able to fight against the meteorite in front of him no matter what, and that strong person who could pause time just now might actually be able to do it? Although with a weapon wanting to chop up a meteorite of such a grade, it was a bit of a fool's errand, but he, Li Baiyi, was willing to believe in this so-called dream today, he believed in Wang Chen, and even more so, he believed in the person he believed in, just, how to use the sword thing. Although Li Baiyi had always fantasized about being a swordsman when he hadn't awakened his profession, but that was just a fantasy. Even if he had taken a sword and swung it a few times, it didn't mean that he could play with it. Even if he could play with a sword, it doesn't mean that he can. Laser swords have nothing to do with swords. They were just called swords, but they were two completely different things. Li Baiyi's mind felt a brainstorm. Bad, bad, bad. Can't play how to do ah. Is it possible to carry it up and slash it? Although he believed in the sharpness of this thing, but how could he think that he couldn't do tens of thousands of knives in a split second? Even if he did, he couldn't crush that many meteorites without a skill like blade intent. Bad. It seems to have entered a dead cycle. The crowd only saw Li Bai standing in place and staring blankly, not noticing in the slightest what kind of brainstorming he was going through. Eh, wait, there seems to be a button here. Li Bai's hands were getting sweaty when he inadvertently ran into a red button. No ah, uh, you damn actually have a button. More like a toy ah hello. Li Baiyi was a little panicked. So like a toy sword. Really able to cut the meteorite above his head. But if he does not go to cut how to know if this thing can cut it? Forget it. No matter what. The big deal was that he was not afraid to die anyway. And people like him were born as the kind of people destined to go to hell and be punished by bullhead and horseface. If there is a next life. I hope I can still meet him. Li Baiyi's eyes were slightly closed. His feet moved back. And he started his hand. Today's explosion. Six tenths. Chapter 369, A Giant Dragon is Awakening. He moved. He finally moved. Are you kidding me? He really wants to fight against my meteorite with this old antique from the old era. This guy, is he just not very good in the head? This level of weapon is not considered a first choice even in the old era. And now he actually wants to use it against me. Old era guys just hurry up and die. Don't come and delay me. Need had an unbelievable face. Thinking that this guy was just a whole job. But he didn't expect it to really become a masterpiece. Could it be that this guy doesn't have a brain? No wonder. It was said that all berserkers shared half a brain. Although he wasn't a berserker, he probably still shared his brain with berserkers. To actually want to use a laser sword to harden a meteorite. What kind of weird idea is this? Something's not right. When did he have this laser sword in his hand? Bai Yong did you notice? Long Ding Tian was instantly confused. He didn't even notice when Li Baiyi had an extra laser sword in his hand. But he himself just had it all of a sudden. This was just a strange thing. This was really strange. Something was wrong. Something was wrong. Something was very much 9 out of 10 wrong. Had someone really suspended their time? But if that were true, he would have noticed something. No, or rather, no one on the blue planet could suspend his time. One must know that his spiritual power was extremely powerful. All time suspensions could not be separated from one point, And that was that the spiritual power had to be stronger than the other party. In the blue star, although the physical body level could not be used, but the spiritual power thing, as a means of attack could not be attacked, but if it was used as a means of defense, how much could be used? Want to suspend him? What a joke. If someone told Long Ding Tian that you were suspended in time in front of him, then Long Ding Tian would definitely think that this person is joking. What? Do you have a time pause device? So you press it and time is paused? This weapon. Bayong fell into deep thought. He wasn't deep in thought because of when the laser sword appeared in his hand. Rather. This thing hadn't even been brought out earlier ah. Even looking through the ancient books, laser machines were just theoretical things. It couldn't be built in ancient times, and it was even more unlikely to be built now. After all, no one was putting technology points on laser swords now. But Bayon subconsciously point think, this laser sword, seems a little familiar. Strange today. How to encounter so many strange things. Li Baiyi moved his feet slightly and placed his hand on top of the red button of the EX particle laser sword. Suddenly, the laser on the laser sword showed the words, not big brother, you're a laser weapon ah, 
And you're still fucking displaying words. You think you're a lead light tube. No, you can not really it. Li Baiyi put all the problems behind him. As long as he didn't bring a brain, he was invincible. Took a closer look. Here actually let him shout in front of so many people. Eldritch holy sword. How do you still have an accent here? And so socially dead. The corner of Li Baiyi's mouth twitched. I really don't know who came up with this. But now, there is no other way. Can only be a dead horse as a living horse? What's more, it might not be a dead horse. Li Baiyi held the EX particle laser sword, took a deep breath, and fiercely pressed towards the red button. He yelled, Eldritch holy sword. The sound was so loud that it was as if the wheat had exploded, and the entire room was able to hear it. Everyone thought that Li Baiyi was just living the whole life. But the next moment, they were shocked. Shu, the EX particle laser sword in Li Baiyi's hand was like an explosion. It instantly converted from a tiny one to a huge one. It towered over the clouds, and it was even heavy to hold in one's hand. Light actually has weight? Buddy I've read less you don't lie to me. Li Baiyi's shock at this moment was unrivaled. You play for real awe. Are you sure this is a relic from the olden times? It was really hard for him to imagine what black iron grade weapon could touch this thing. Need's mouth was wide open. Man you're playing for real. Referee I want to report. How can someone open such a big hang? Are you really blind? What part of this ability is like his own? This is the home field advantage? He opened a hang fearful, afraid of being found by others, but Li Baiyi did not have this feeling. Should open open, not afraid of being found by others. On the contrary, there are a bunch of people are cheering for Li Baiyi, as if opening is the right thing to do. Can't help it, really can't help it. Where did this thing come from? I'll turn around and try it too. Bai Yan's tiger's body shook. If we want to have this thing at the border, are we still afraid of the damn foreigners? Straight away, he had his red dragon guards ride red dragons and then manned a laser sword. When they see the foreigners, they will spread out in formation, and one person will shout holy sword, and end the foreigners old home. It's true that we can do something about it. I'll ask Li Baiyi how he did it. It's strange, who researched this thing, how come I have no news at all? Wang Dust covered his face, his own moment of bad taste, did not expect Li Baiyi really shout ah. In fact, press a little on the out. Not shouting is also fine. Ahem, but this wheat is a little fried ah, almost deafened by the dry, but Li Baiyi's performance did not let him down. If others can open, why can't our side open? You can be strong, but you can never step on Huashia's head, because this long sleeping dragon is awakening. Today's explosion, 7 tenths, chapter 370, Mead brushes a shady trick, so strong. Li Baiyi gripped the EX particle laser sword in his hand tightly, and at this moment, he was actually so weighty. Moreover, he could feel that the EX particle laser sword at this moment was constantly converging an unknown particle. The destructive aura contained in its body was continuously getting stronger. Strong, very strong, very strong, even so strong that Li Baiyi's hand was constantly trembling, because he was actually able to grip such a weapon and fight one day. He also knew that he must not lose today, or else he would not have any face to face everyone in the school. He had to win this battle, and he could only win. He believed in himself, and even more so, he believed in the EX particle laser sword gifted to him by that senior. It was time to go, Li Baiyi muttered. The EX particle laser sword stored up more power. He could not grasp it. After all, his strength is here. His physical strength is not much. To be able to do this extent, he felt that he had reached his limit. It is a pity that he did not play the senior's EX particle laser sword to the extreme. If he could play to the extreme, I'm afraid Senpai would be even happier. Alas, it seemed that he could only go so far. I hope that I won't make Senior unhappy. Li Baiyi looked at the huge meteorite at the top of the dome. There was not the slightest bit of fear in his heart. On the contrary, he was even a little bit happy. Because, thanks to Senior, he was even qualified to touch such an existence. In return, he was bound to fight with his life. Li Baiyi raised his EX particle laser sword high, his worn out white clothes fluttering in the wind at this moment, as if he were an immortal descending from the heavens. Combined with the laser sword above his head, it was simply the perfect combination of cyber and immortal cultivation. Under the combination of the two, there wasn't even the slightest bit of alienation. Instead, it was extremely integrated. It was simply the most perfect match in the world. Eldritch Holy Sword, explode your full power. Li Baiyi roared explosively, as if the entire sky was about to be roared off. The heavens did not give birth to him. Li Baiyi, and Cyber Vanguard was like a long night. Whoosh. A sword slashed down violently, the powerful might even directly cut through the clouds. This to the onlooker's view. This strike, enough to open up the sky and the earth. So terrifying, but also just the tip of the iceberg of this laser sword. Rumble, rumble, rumble. 
A huge meteorite met such a huge beam of light head on. No, to be more precise, this was a pillar of light. The laser that such an unprecedented laser sword was capable of exerting was actually measured in light pillars. It was really hard to imagine just how it was possible to make this weapon so powerful in such a narrow location. It wasn't scientific at all. It didn't follow the law of conservation of energy. It's too late to think about it. The powerful force carried through the entire sky. Even the huge meteorite, which was like a monster that covered the sky and the earth, was like a mole cricket in front of the laser, and could be destroyed with only one hand. Terrifying, truly terrifying. The more Meade watched, the more he was shocked. This can't be the technology of China. If China really has this kind of technology, then they would be finished. This laser sword obviously didn't depend on any profession or skill. Just need to manpower a, ride a flying mount, directly run to their beautiful country above the cuckoo towards the bottom of the poke. It was estimated that it wouldn't take more than a few days for their beautiful country to be reduced to flying dust. Yes, it is true that there are strong people who can resist this laser sword. But, how many of them are there? Under Li Bai's chop, the meteorite instantly turned into two halves. Brush, brush. Several white lights flashed in the air one after another. Li Bai landed a few more swords. The powerful laser sword directly shattered all the meteorites of everyone. And even if some occasionally fell down, it was not enough of a threat to these professionals. Just kidding. They are also professionals how to say will not be comparable to these rubbles. If they can be hurt by these debris, they may not deserve to come to the Imperial Capital University and come to go back to retake their studies. It was estimated that their previous teachers would have to ask him why did you come back ah? Answer. By the rubble head hit all over the body. In the end, here at least is the Imperial University. The mediocrity here is also a rare genius in the outside world. Most of the people here are A-class professionals. The concept of A-class professionals in the outside world need not be said. That is close to the existence of the genius. That's a child of someone else's family. It was a pity that in the Imperial Capital University, they were nothing. Li Bai did all this, panting paralyzed on the ground. This thing consumes physical strength is not small, has a certain threshold ah. To the death of Li Bai could not have imagined that this is just the standard equipment of Wang Duan's mechanical warriors. After all, for science and technology, as long as you can make one, then you can make far more than one. It was bound to be able to make more. If it couldn't be built, then it meant that the technology didn't work. The dish would still have to be practiced more. Li Bai's clothes shattered all over the place, but he still stood up. In this battle, he did not fail everyone's expectations. You, lost. Li Bai used the last of his strength to arrive in front of Meade, pointing his EX particle laser sword at his forehead. I lost? Ha ha ha. There's no way I can lose. Even if Meade was surprised by Li Bai's tenacity, there was no way he, as the world's number one genius, would admit that he had lost to Li Bai. Meade's storage ring flashed once again. Explosion scroll. Rumble. A violent explosion rang out. Today's explosive reel, August 10th. Chapter 371, What There Are Still Experts. When the crowd heard the explosion, they had seen Li Bai as if he was a kite with a broken string. The entire person shot out as if he was a cannonball. F asterisk CK. You're fucking playing dirty. No, pretty country people, do you have the strength ah, can't fight but come to in trick, you are really shameless ah, who can be shameless over you ah, it is simply a small knife slash than the eyes, to the master open the eyes, everyone played for Li Bai, who are you to play this trick for Li Bai ah, you guys must give me an explanation, Oh Yang Bo's face was blue, you can accept it once, after all, Li Bai opened up, but what's with you the second time, knowing that Li Bai doesn't have any ability to resist anymore. You still used an explosive scroll with that much power. What? Are you trying to put this child to death? Being a man leaves a thread to meet in the future. But if you are like this, it is like not leaving yourself a way to live. Oh Yang Bo coldly looked at Meta. This little birth is really uneducated. This life is even. Pay attention in the next life. Your excellency is not putting me in your eyes. Needs old dog. His so-called bodyguard stood out. Level 85 S ranked professional. Apparently. An existence of Meade's level went out to take away even one of the country's mainstays. I don't think you have the qualifications to talk to me. If you don't give me a reasonable explanation today, you all have to die here. Oh Yang Bo thought he had a good temper and hadn't lost his temper in many years, but he couldn't endure his students suffering from this kind of aggravation. Putting aside the identity of the principal, he was still a Chinese. Even more so, he could not endure his own family being bullied by a foreign race. At this moment, Oh Yang Bo moved to kill. If he wanted to make a move, no one present would be able to stop him. It was just a matter of getting a few more people killed. The big deal was that when the time came, he would learn a hand from Big Pretty and get a dozen or so knives in his back resulting in being ruled a forced suicide. Hoof. 
The bodyguard grunted coldly. Indeed, he could only do so much to cover Mead's escape. You have to remember. I'm the governor of the pretty country's Knox estate. He's the topmost heavenly pride of the pretty country. Get us killed. You won't be able to wrap it up so easily. The bodyguard stared at Ouyang Bo dead in the face. He was afraid that this guy would suddenly strike. Yeah, I didn't think of it until you said it. Killing you guys is simply profitable. Anyway, my old life isn't worth anything. The big deal is that I'll say I'm a mole when the time comes. Ouyang Bo shrugged indifferently. Any way you look at it, this was a very profitable piece of news and his killing heart became even heavier. Mead, you're damn well pushing me to my death. Mead glared at the bodyguard. This guy, can you negotiate? Cough, cough. Amidst the ruins, a hand reached out from the rubble, and Li Bai, who was covered in blood, coughed and stood up. Fortunately, he reacted at the last moment and blocked this blow with his original weapon. Otherwise, he would really live or die. Ouyang Bo immediately asked the medical teacher in the school to save him. As long as he didn't die and didn't injure his origin, a mere fatal wound could be cured in minutes under the current medical level. How do you guys want to die? Oh Yang Bo said indifferently. See if he didn't die here too? It means I showed mercy. Mead had a disinterested look on his face. He had killed many people. In his opinion killing a person wasn't a big deal. On the contrary, in pretty country, no matter who he killed, the next day the family of the person killed would have to come to him to kowtow and apologize. No one could resist him. Human life was nothing to him either. Ouyang Bo just wanted to get angry. Wait. Li Bai interrupted Ouyang Bo. Lord Headmaster. I will duel with him and put it in the secret realm. Moreover, in this battle, I, Li Bai, did not lose. My Chinese genius is not weaker than any other country. Although Li Bai's voice was hoarse, shouting for the holy sword, but his tone was firm. Fine. Then I'll kill you in the middle of the secret realm. Joy flashed within Mead's eyes. Once he got to the middle of the secret realm, he could kill whoever he wanted. It was just the right time to kill all the geniuses, so that he, Mei Da, would be the only genius. Ha 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 ha, Mei Da laughed out loud, not caring in the slightest about the people around him. All of this realized that Mei Da, was a true scum. This guy, didn't take other people's lives seriously at all. Compared to him, Li Bai was like a fluttering gentleman, always so spring-like and gentle to others. When the time comes, I will also kill you. Li Bai smiled. It was as if he was talking about something insignificant. Not bad. This son has a good heart. And his talent is extremely powerful. Perhaps I have already found a good successor. Long Ding Tian's eyes lit up. He had just naturally seen that the strike was not fatal. Otherwise he would have gone down to block it. However, he still made a move to protect Li Bai's vital parts at the last moment. Otherwise I'm afraid that his injuries would need to recover for a while. It's naturally a blessing to have the Dragon Marshal look at him. But there's one more person that I still hope the Dragon Marshal will pay attention to. Moreover, he is still a freshman. Bayong thought about selling Wang Chan to Long Ding Tian again. After all, Wang Chuan was also an absolute genius in his opinion. What? There are still experts? Isn't this an audition for the older students? How come there are still freshmen? Today's explosive shift, September 10th, Chapter 372 Long Ding Tian's shock. Long Ding Tian froze. He didn't come to Huaxia once in a long time. Why does he feel that China is so much stranger? When you say it separately, he can still understand it, but when you combine it together, he can't understand some of it. Freshman? Able to participate in a duel with a veteran? Brother you are not kidding. Don't look at only three years of time difference. But you remember ah. Freshman only three months before the transfer success. You tell me now can and transfer success three or four years old students arm wrestling? If someone had told him before then he would have thought that person was crazy. But now. Long Ding Tian was silent. Because of this trip to China today, he even had the illusion that he was able to retire early. That's right. This kid's situation is a bit special. But don't care how special it is. There's still strength. Nowadays. Maybe it might not be as good as the older students. But the results he created at the college entrance exams were unprecedented. Trial Tower. Pass. Ba Yong slowly spat out these words from his mouth. Long Ding Tian was like a thunderclap. Wait. What the hell did you say? Trial Tower Pass? Is it the trial tower I know? Long Ding Tian was shocked. This shouldn't be ah. According to the difficulty of the trial tower, it is estimated that no one has this possibility to pass. After all, awakening less than a month. One would have to go solo to brush a copy whose highest level was 60. Not to mention teaming up. Teaming up would only make the boss even harder. The most critical thing is not here. The key is, this is simply not a person who can fight ah. Even Long Ding Tian didn't clear it at that time. After all, it was just too difficult, and he simply couldn't think of anyone who could pass such a difficult trial tower. That's right, 
It's the same trial tower you thought it was. Bayong nodded heavily. All along this news had been blocked. Not the slightest bit of it had leaked out. Otherwise, I'm afraid that in addition to the major forces throwing out olive branches, there would be countless forces that would want to get rid of it, and it would be impossible for him to completely protect Wang Chen. Why don't we just hide the news? Anyway, Wang Chen was still a dragon rising scholar. Long Ding Tian was instantly petrified. Unexpectedly, there was actually a real expert. Coming back this time was simply a great deal of money. The ancients did not deceive me. There will be a phoenix chick within ten steps of a crouching dragon. Wang Duan and Li Baiyi were his crouching dragon and phoenix brood. Long Ding Tian's face showed joy. He hadn't heard such good news for a long time. With these two people, there is no worry that China will not prosper. Good. When he comes on stage later, you have to point it out to me. Long Ding Tian was excited. He felt that after coming back to Blue Star this time, his mindset was a lot better. There was a complete lack of the worried look he had before. After all, he had previously suffered from not being able to find a successor. He knew that today's Blue Star was nearly holding on to itself bitterly. Once he died, I'm afraid that humans would not be able to establish themselves at all in the divine and demonic battlefield. And the major secret realms would also become channels for the foreign races to invade Blue Star. In that case, what he had been doing before would all be for nothing. He couldn't bear to see such an outcome. And even more so, he couldn't bear to see his compatriots in Blue Star fall into deep water. The two brick heads looked towards the ring. The next match in the ring was basically all about deciding places. Because of Mead, the pretty country's side wasn't as favored as it had been in the beginning. Instead, they took the blame, but they didn't care about catching their opponents and humiliating them. One thing worth mentioning was Caitlin. This pretty country's girl fought in an exceptionally fierce manner, as if she was a lioness, obviously with a rather petite figure, but she had to carry a large sword and slash around. However, his fighting strength was even able to crush a group of veteran students. Perhaps right now for Li Bai it might still be quite a bit worse, but if you compare it to Huang Tianba, I'm afraid it's already not much worse, or even equal. I'm afraid that this guy is the true first genius of pretty country. Such terrifying strength was enough to make people sweat. If she was given another two years, who knows how terrifying she would be. And although Caitlin was cold, she wasn't like those three losers who caught the winner with a bucket of taunts and weren't human at all. Live and let live was born. Caitlin wasn't humiliated. And when she won she just walked out of the ring alone and wouldn't say a word more than that. She doesn't communicate with others because no one has ever taught her to. All she knows is that if she wants something, she fights for it with her own strength. If you can't fight for it, you die. She is pure. But because of this purity she becomes impure. Because of that it caused her to look as if she was a machine, without a mind of her own. My opponent is, Wang Duan? A senior student glanced at his opponent's name. When he saw that it was a freshman dragon rising scholar, he couldn't help but laugh out loud. Was this a gift from the heavens? Originally, advancing was a bit up in the air, but now it's stable. District freshman, Wang Dust walked onto the stage. Without speaking, you know it's senior. Senior doesn't want to hurt you oh. The senior student laughed as if he saw victory waving at him. Wang Dust frowned slightly, clasping his hands to his chest. One finger was slightly raised. Wait, this is, this power, this sense of oppression. It was as if the senior student's body was pressed down by countless heavy objects, and he instantly slumped in place. What in the world had happened? How could this be? Wang Chuan lowered his finger, and the pressure instantly dissipated. Go surrender yourself. Wang Chuan walked towards the audience. Today's explosion, October 10th, chapter 373, the whole audience was shocked. Wang dust gently come, gently go. This pussy pretend. Directly let all the people present are dumbfounded. Who does this guy think he is ah? Let the senior surrender people surrender? I'm not going to be able to do that. He was a senior. Even if his strength wasn't considered powerful amongst the juniors, it was still amongst the top 10. And when looking at the entire Imperial Capital University, there were only a handful of people who were able to defeat him. The current Wang Chen actually asked him to get out of the ring by himself? What kind of joke is this? This is simply impossible to happen ah. Crazy crazy. This guy must be crazy. He dreamed not dare to think of things Wang Chuan actually went to really do. The crowd in the audience were all surprised. They were also a little confused as to what Wang Chen was doing. Could it be that he had really expanded to this extent? Although he was a dragon rising scholar. After all, he was only a freshman. Just a freshman. Where did he get such confidence? To actually let a senior go to the ring. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Everyone didn't believe that the senior would actually walk down to the ring. Although they didn't know what he meant by getting down. Maybe he was looking down on Wang Chuan and pretending to get down on the ground in a strange sleeping position to catch his breath for a moment. This was also very possible. Everyone's eyes burned as they looked at the senior on the stage. 
looking forward to what this guy would do next. Should he stand up? Or, he really left the stage just like what Wang Chen said. The next moment, the senior moved. He raised his hands high. Referee, I surrender. The moment these words came out, the entire arena boiled. What? You actually fucking surrendered for real? Could it be that Wang Chuan had bought him off? In their eyes, it seemed that this was the only possibility to make a senior student withdraw. Other than that, there was no other possibility. To know that Wang Chuan was only a freshman ah, how could he instantly kill a senior with his strength? The huge gap between ages. Was it something that your talent could make up for? Not to mention that this senior student wasn't weak. Joke, it was impossible for a weak person to enter the Imperial Capital University. What's more, this senior student was considered a leader in the Imperial Capital University. The terrifying strength and amazing talent was absolutely unprecedented. However, under such a disparity in strength, Wang Chen also made him lower his proud head, which, it was really a bit unbelievable. Wang Chen glanced back at the senior student. That's right, this wasn't his full strength. If it wasn't for the sake of going to the primordial forest, he didn't want to fight this kind of ring match. What's the difference between this and bullying a child? His strength had long since not been comparable to these students in school. How could he say that his opponent had to be in existence above an emperor-level boss? Note that even an emperor-level boss was only qualified to fight him and was bound to not be able to defeat him. Wang Dust's strength nowadays was riding high, almost crushing the entire Imperial Capital University in a crushing manner. And, no one could raise their heads, even the principal, Oh Yang Bo. Their strength might have reached the limit of their current age long ago, while Wang Dust didn't. He still had a lot of room for upgrading. Hopefully, the next primordial forest would be a bit more interesting. Otherwise it would be a bit too boring. With the referee's announcement of Wang Dust's victory, which senior student instantly sighed in relief, and his entire body collapsed to the ground with utter disregard for his image. He froze as he stared at Wang Chen's back. Was this, Wang Chen's true strength? The momentary pressure just now, which even the vice chancellor did not possess. He was nearly crushed directly into mush. This guy was so terrifying that he was actually just a freshman. A freshman? How is this possible? But even if he didn't believe it anymore, he couldn't change the fact that Wang Chen was a freshman. This fellow, I'm afraid that his strength is far above Li Bai. The senior student was sweating. I didn't expect this guy to be so terrifying. He, far from being an opponent. On the contrary, he was also incredibly grateful for the decisiveness of surrendering and surrendering. But where he was a little slower, the end that awaited him would not be so easy. Maybe he will die. Because of this level of existence, as long as a miss their own will absolutely die. Is the king of hell to come also difficult to save Ah? This time, he lost without complaining. He would not hate Wang Chen. After all, it was his own skill that was inferior to others. And it was a schoolmate who was inferior. It seemed that he still needed to upgrade more. In this world, upgrading was the king. Having said that, again, he was he wasn't very lucky, causing him to be matched with Wang Chen. Otherwise, with his strength entering the primordial forest wasn't much of a problem. Soon, the list of those entering the primordial forest came out. Chinese, Li Bai, Huang Tianba, Wang Duan, Chen Tianyu, Pretty, Mead, Caesar, Waldfarb, Caitlin. After all, it was China's home field, and Imperial Capital University had the most people enter, with eight in total. Pretty country was next, with four people entering. The other countries did enter sporadically, but they were not enough to be feared. Originally, there were people from Taiji country who were able to enter, but they were very unlucky. Wang Chuan encountered three of them, and Li Baiyi encountered two of them, and all of them were eliminated. Wang Dust was a little curious. Caitlin, this fellow, could also enter the top 20? If he remembered correctly, this girl was also a freshman exchange student. It seems that this year's freshman year is full of hidden tigers. Caitlin actually came here as well. But, so what if she's here? I'll get her in one shot. Chapter 374, in that case, it's good. This brat, Long Ding Tian looked at Wang Chen with a bit of fire in his eyes. He thought that Li Baiyi was already invincible. But he didn't expect someone to be even braver than him. Whose student is this? Why? He's not bad, right? A month ago, he had dragged down the 90 level alien boss blood demon king for a while with his own strength. Although I don't know how he did it, but he did do it. When Baeyong said this, Long Ding Tian was even more shocked. What? A freshman? A single person to drag down a level 90 boss? Are you sure you're not joking with me? How could this kind of thing that simply can't happen actually happen? You have to know what the concept of a level 90 boss is. Even a level 100 top tier powerhouse would probably roll over. Not to mention Wang Chuan, a freshman. Terrifying. Just too terrifying. How could there be such an existence in the world? 
Long Dingtian was shocked by the extent of Wang Chen's heaven-defying nature. Such talent was definitely comparable to himself. No, it even far surpassed him. Such a level of genius was simply a freak all right. Who could compare to him? Such a terrifying existence was undoubtedly unprecedentedly powerful. Can't compare, can't compare at all. If the world's geniuses totaled 10 buckets, the rest of the geniuses totaled 1 bucket. And Wang Chuan, directly calculated by tons. Such a genius was actually in Huaxia. It was simply God blessing Huaxia. Long Ding Tian was excited. It was the first time he was so excited. Such a terrifying genius was actually so close to him. Once he thought he was a genius, but later realized that he was far from being a genius. With his strength, in the distant battlefield of gods and devils, he could only be counted as a weak person who had a place in the battlefield. With his strength, he could only be counted as a weak person with a place in the distant battlefield of gods and demons. He was only a human, a human who could only rely on himself. This was a race without the favor of the gods. Everything here was fought by human hands. In this process, humans would die and perhaps lose, but no one ever said that they would give up. With the pride of human beings, they will never give up lightly, because humans know that giving up is no way out. The biggest way out is only death. Instead of dying in vain, it would be better to fight one last time before dying, in case you can succeed. But the moment he met the genius, Long Dingtian knew he was wrong. Geniuses have the right to change the world. And what ordinary people like them can do seems to be only this little thing. It was simply not enough. And Wang Dust was the genius. Having awakened his talent for more than three months, Level could already do things that he was far from being able to do before. At the same age, he might only be able to surpass Wang Chuan for that period of time when he awakened his talent earlier than Wang Chuan. The rest might be crushed. By the way, which family is this guy from? Surnamed Wang? Could it be from the Wang family? Long Ding Tian asked. In his opinion, to be able to cultivate such a powerful genius, the only possibility was that he was a son or daughter born from a large family. After all, even if a student who was born in a mediocre family had a strong talent, the school did not have the resources to give him the resources to become that strong. After all, a school was just a school, and the resources it could give were definitely not comparable to those of their own families. However, according to Long Dingtian's memories, this Wang family did not seem to be a big family. As long as Wang Chuan wanted to, I'm afraid that there would be countless clans that would want to throw an olive branch to Wang Chuan and promote the Wang family into a behemoth. No, this kid is not a member of any family. Instead, instead, he's from a commoner's family. He was born in poverty, yet he has a swan's will that even we people can't see through. But he is because of their own are talented. Parents and sister was killed by thieves. Their own heart was hard to deprive of the enemy. And finally people and money. See so can't afford to pay the hospitalization fee can only watch his parents and sister was kicked out of the hospital his heart a hard, in the end made a choice, made an unprecedented choice, that is, with a mechanical heart to awaken the talent, fortunately for him, he succeeded, but this could not heal the scars in her heart, Bayong had obviously checked Wang Chen's information very clearly, when he first learned about this matter, he was as angry as Long Ding Tian in front of him, even if he said it himself now, he could not soothe the anger within, what kind of pain had Wang Chen gone through all these years, there is actually such a scum family within my Chinese territory. Long Ding Tian was completely angry. He didn't expect that someone would actually come close to badgering his genius. And even more so, wantonly suppressing the genius under such circumstances. Was he really not afraid of retribution? Have you found out the culprit? Long Ding Tian forced down his inner rage and said, Already found out. But I think that this kid should have already taken his revenge. I'm going to hide it for him for a while. After all, there's nothing wrong with him taking revenge on this matter. It's just that the means are a bit ironic. I'm afraid that when the time comes, it will bring negative effects to this kid. Even if the Rin family falls, his minions are still more or less the same, and will definitely spare no effort to whitewash for the Rin family. Bai Yong slowly spoke. He had long known that it was Wang Chen's doing. It was just that he did not intend to tell those at the top of the hierarchy about this matter. The only person he maintained trust in from start to finish was Long Ding Tian. You did a good job. Long Ding Tian took a long breath. So, very good but this wasn't enough. Chapter 375, Primordial Forest. Initiation. At that time, we will think of a way to compensate him. If he comes to the Divine Demon Battlefield later it would be a good thing. There are some good things in my treasury. It's just a pity that I can't bring them back from my treasury. I'm afraid that this planet can't withstand them if some of them are high in grade. Long Ding Tian said with some regret. By the way, how is Sword Immortal Chen Tian Dao? Long Ding Tian suddenly asked. He still remembered Chen Tian Dao even now. He remembered that Chen Tian Dao was on the Divine Demon Battlefield with himself. His strength was not below his own. 
But it was a pity that he encountered the other party inviting the gods to rise and hard summoning a demigod level existence. After that battle, Chen Tian Dao was almost beaten to the point where his Dao was damaged, so he returned to recuperate. He spilled his blood with me. Bei Yong froze, thinking back to that day. If it wasn't for Chen Tian Dao fighting for his life, he might have had to account for his life as well. Long Ding Tian also froze. The deceased people drifted down one after another, as if they were leaves falling in the wind. Perhaps, he was also close. There were really many regrets along the way. However, this was also something that could not be helped. Who made him not too good at it? Long Ding Tian was silent. He knew that his strength was not good, but this was not his intention. If he had the strength, he would be happy to go and chop up all the demons in the world. But he didn't. Alas, let's not mention it. Let's prepare to enter the primordial forest. If I don't go to suppress the scene, those damn foreigners should be dishonest again. Long Ding Tian glanced at the time and realized that it was almost time for the appointment with the foreigners. Since this was the case, it was time to enter the primitive forest. I hope that the children won't have their Dao hearts shattered due to facing a powerful genius Ah, uh, If that happened, then this trip might really be more than worth it. Life may always be filled with regrets. Otherwise, one cannot become a truly strong person. No one knows the despair Long Ding Tian felt that day when he arrived at the upper world and realized that his strength was nothing. That was the real despair. There was no big tree in front of him to support him, and there was no hope in the back for him to move forward. But he still managed to persevere. So there are still foreign races? Wang Dust had been eavesdropping on Long Ding Tian and Bai Yong, and he didn't dare to say in the God and Demon battlefield, but at the very least, in Blue Star, they still couldn't detect themselves. In that case, that would be a bit difficult to do ah. No, there didn't seem to be anything difficult to do. As for their claim that they had, for Rin Jiadu, hatred? Just kidding, who would bother with dead people? In order to put the people of the Rin family one not to be destroyed, he had specially used the 10. 000 mile tracking talisman that searched about the Rin family lineage again after emptying everyone in the Rin family to make sure that everything was safe. The grass must be cut down to remove the roots, and the spring breeze would blow away. But these foreign races, they seem to be different from what one knew. Was it the divine and demonic battlefield again? Wang Dust's eyes narrowed slightly. He had already heard this name for I don't know how many times. Divine demon battlefield. A gathering place for foreign races? It seemed that the outside was bigger than he could imagine and this god-devil battlefield. It seemed that it was necessary for him to make a trip. Otherwise, he didn't know when his level would rise, because of the heaven-defying nature of his own talent. This led to the abnormally high amount of experience value he needed to upgrade. Killing monsters of the same level would only result in the experience bar rising by an extremely rare sliver. If one wanted to rise to a hundred levels on the blue star, it would probably be difficult. At the very least, it would take 10 level 80 or higher copies before he might be able to level up. This prerequisite still had to be killing all the monsters empty, but if the secret realm and the divine demon battlefield came out, then his plans would change. It turned out that the world was far from as small as he thought. Perhaps the alien races of the blue star were gone, but far away in the divine demon battlefield, there was an inexhaustible amount of alien resources there, using the divine demon battlefield as a transit point, until Huang Long had also brought the alien races lair to an end. At that time, the experience he had gained was simply unthinkable. The next step would be interesting. Wang Chen smiled faintly. This way, he would be able to do a lot more. And not just the ones in front of him. One had to know that the blue star was even 10,000 times more vast than it was before the era of universal transmigration to calculate. But such a huge blue star was as small as a gravel on top of the god devil battlefield. Comparing the blue star to the god and demon battlefield is like comparing a planet to the universe. Rumor had it that the god devil battlefield was so vast and boundless that no one was able to walk from the beginning to the end. Even the most powerful races were the same, because this was the battlefield of the ancient times. When gods and devils fought, countless gods and devils had fallen here, their bodies turning into nutrients that nourished this battlefield. It was only under the circumstance that the battlefield of gods and demons was so huge. The power of the gods represented authority, and authority would never disappear, which also meant that the power of the gods would exist forever. It was inexhaustible. The same meant that under this continent, it was full of opportunities. Maybe one day when the fortune arrives, you will be able to pick up the lost artifacts of the gods with your hands. From then on, against all odds, turn over the surf to sing, crush the major foreign races to fulfill themselves is not a dream. Because, that is a god. In this world, god is such an omnipotent existence. No one could change all of this. Wang Chen looked down. He knew that it was time for him to set off, regardless of what lay ahead. As long as he survived, he would definitely make this world resound with his name. Wang Chen, he would live forever.
Primordial Forest. Start. Chapter 376 Entering the Primitive Forest. Rumble. Accompanied by a violent ringing sound. A teleportation portal glittering with green light unfolded in place. It was only then that all of them realized that the original strategic level secret realm of Imperial Capital University was right in front of a large crowd. However, Imperial Capital University wasn't worried in the slightest that someone would come to snatch it. After all, no one had the qualifications to come to Imperial Capital University to spread their wildness in the round off. Although the strength of the president of the Imperial Capital University was just like that. Behind him, after all, he relied on the entire China. What's more, Daidi University is the number one ranked university in the whole of China, which here does not come out from inside a large number of strong people. And these strong people, which one does not bear Daidi University's favor? If his alma mater was in trouble, he would certainly not stand by and do nothing. Li Bai body injuries at the moment also almost good. After all, his strength is not weak, plus received only superficial injuries, did not hurt to the root or such a short period of time is simply impossible to become intact. Wang Dust swept a glance at his so-called opponent, suddenly realized that this lay seems to be somewhat boring. He was very different from before. Among the same age, now there was simply no one who could pose a threat to him. Even the stream of top foreign geniuses they spoke of, I'm afraid it was the same. His strength had long since developed to the point where he wouldn't be able to fear anyone. When he returned, he would be able to let his parents see the light of day again. And he would also be able to let his sister regain a foothold between this heaven and earth with both feet. Wang Chuan also let go of his heart. Life origin right. I'm coming. Oh Yang Bo led the way ahead. Introducing himself as he led the way. This trip may be dangerous. But when you encounter an unbeatable disaster. Don't think of force. But rather teleport back through the jade talisman in your hands. This time is different from the past. Although the jade talisman is not capable of instantaneous teleportation. But he is able to deploy a shield for 3 seconds. And after 3 seconds he can teleport back. So remember. In this secret realm. No matter who you are, don't hand over your jade talisman, not even your most trusted friend. Likewise, if you lose your jade talisman, you will not be able to come back unless you wait until the next time the secret realm opens. So remember to remember, within this year, you will be in the divine demon battlefield, which is full of foreign races far beyond the blue star's powerhouses. Once you are deep in this place for a year, I'm afraid that you will die 10 deaths without any possibility of being rescued. So be careful. At that time, even if I want to save you, I'm afraid that there is nothing I can do. As Ouyang Bo said, a jade talisman suddenly appeared in the palm of each person's hand. Wang Chuan was able to sense that this jade talisman, it seemed to be not simple ah. No wonder on this trip to the primordial forest, everyone except him could hardly get any resources. It was estimated that the resources were all used to exchange for this jade talisman. The power contained in it was even able to block a blow from a level 80 powerhouse. It might be useless for himself, but for the others, it was simply a life-saving card. For the safety of the students, it was obvious that the school was paying attention. As long as there were no hundred level foreigners in the secret realm, I'm afraid that all of them didn't need to worry about their lives. Not bad, really good. After a burst of introductions, the twenty people had begun to change continuously before their eyes, and immediately afterward, felt a wave of dizziness. When they opened their eyes again, a patch of towering trees came into view, this towering into the clouds, but it was literal. A random tree is tens of thousands of meters high and the diameter of the tree, I'm afraid that thousands of people can't hug the end of it, this is only the smallest tree here, as far as the eye could see, it covered the sky and the moon, and the whole world seemed to be nothing but trees, this scene gave these geniuses a small shock, they had lived in the blue planet, when had they ever seen such a sight, this was simply the greatest challenge to their perceptions since birth, terrifying, it was just too terrifying, it was hard to imagine to what extent the secret monsters here should be powerful again, primordial forest, also known as ancient giant forest, the last thing that is lacking here is this kind of towering trees, as well as millions of monsters, foreign races, there is almost no place that is safe here, so make sure to be careful, alright, that's all said and done, it's time for me to go back, remember, love, as soon as Ouyang Bo's words fell, his figure dissipated into a shadow, that's right, the Ouyang Bo who had just said so much was just a shadow, after all, if his main body wanted to come over, he was afraid that he would be directly suppressed by those powerful foreign race existences. Wang Chen glanced around and shook his head as he prepared to search for the life origin first. His purpose was fundamentally different from that of these students. They were tentatively thinking that they could make a fortune by casually finding some resources. But directly, there was an only one goal. And that was the life origin. His current desire for the life origin had surpassed all else. With all the goodness right in front of him, 
Just ask how many people could suppress it, no matter what was waiting ahead. He, Wang Chen, would finally break it with one force, what is he going to do? Li Bai looked at the direction this freshman apprentice was traveling was not quite the same as his own. Ouyang Bo had clearly told them to go in the direction of the shorter trees because the taller the trees were, although there were more chances, the risk could be the same. Isn't Wang Chen asking for trouble by going in that direction? Could it be that he has such strength? Chapter 377 A Strange Change Arises Impossible, absolutely impossible. As soon as this crazy idea appeared, Li Bai felt that his idea was too crazy. After all, he considered himself to be a little genius, but he didn't have the backbone to break into that unknown area. Because of the large number of trees in the primitive forest, it was almost written on their faces that they were in the light and the foreigners were in the dark. I'm afraid that they wouldn't even be able to see the alien race's face. This is horrible. It meant that if the Fei attacked with all their might, they would not have any chance to counteract it. Li Bai sighed. If he was strong enough, he would follow up to see if he could secretly help out. After all, they were all Huaxia people when they went out. But he wasn't strong enough today and didn't have the strength to break in there. So he could only wish Wang Chen good luck. This guy. Caitlin frowned. She had paid attention to Wang Chuan a long time ago, when his performance was far less stunning than the last time he came. But even so, Caitlin still didn't care too much about Wang Dust. After all, she, Caitlin, would not be weaker than anyone her age. But Wang Dust, this time, had fought too easily in the ring. Perhaps only a mediocre person would think that Wang Dust's name was a list by. Only Caitlin knew clearly that that senior senior was absolutely stunned for a moment. This also gave her a new perception of Wang Dust's strength. This guy was definitely not simple. Even she, who had fought in this ring match, did not have an easy time of it, bearing in mind that she was a freshman. She immensely understood how much strength these three years of constant leveling up would increase. But it was only when she took the qualification to enter the primordial forest when it was time to enter the primordial forest that she was incomparably proud of herself. After all, a freshman battling a big four heavenly pride. Throughout history, how could there ever be one? But today, Wang Chuan's performance had truly opened her eyes. She was already a little bit unable to see through Wang Chuan as a person. Whether he was pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger, or was he simply vain and actually didn't have much combat power? Caitlin didn't understand, but he was greatly shocked. These might only be known by seeing if Wang Chen could go back successfully this time. She didn't want her opponent to die on the path to becoming stronger. At the very least, one would have to die under the sword to be called a rival. Ch. This kid. A cold light flashed in Mead's eyes. This Huaxia actually produced so many people who were against the heavens. The previously Bai he had to find a chance to get killed. Heard that this Wang Duan was not a good thing either. And even killed the top genius of his befriended family. Causing his pretty country to have one less top genius. What an abomination. Before he came, he had told five-star Admiral Acker Arthur that this time when he came to China, he would definitely make Wang Chen's head fall to the ground. To be able to make such a proud man want to strike such a hard blow was enough to see his hatred for Wang Chen, as well as Li Baiyi's hatred. He had to find an opportunity to kill these two people. If they lived, they would be a great influence on him. Wolfarb and Caesar's faces gradually turned cold as well. This fellow has caused our pretty country's people to suffer such humiliation. He must be made to die a miserable death. Walfarb said in a cold voice. That's for sure. Originally amongst the rumors, the young generation of Huaxia wasn't that strong. It seems that we've all been fooled by this kind of fake news. The young generation of Huaxia is not only strong, but very strong. It's just a pity that paper can't keep the fire alive after all. TSK, TSK, I'm getting excited. What would happen if I could kill all these geniuses? Caesar laughed evilly. He usually loved killing geniuses the most. These three people were obviously one in the same. Otherwise, how could they have such a good relationship? According to their thinking, as long as they themselves had the strength, then there was no need for the other geniuses to grow up. If they threatened his position in the future, that would not be good ah. Wang Chuan advanced all the way towards the tall trees. Sure enough, the closer he got towards the center, the more massive the trees became. Wang Chuan casually flung an appraisal spell. Species, tree, age, 70, 000 years. Description, it's just a mediocre 70, 000 year old tree. If it's cut down and made into a coffin for the enemy to lie in, it should be a good option too. One dust. Good lord. So this thing is for making coffins for others? But the enemy doesn't deserve to lie in such a good coffin yet. He usually chooses to burn to death in situ. Also known as cremation. It was efficient and didn't pollute the environment. Hissing. Behind Wang Chuan. There was a sudden sound of a snake spitting its letter. Wang Chuan turned around and looked. It wasn't there either. Then how how did one hear the sound of a poisonous snake? 
Wang Chuan frowned. What's going on here? Wait a minute. Wang Chuan probed and a giant snake that was tens of thousands of meters long was coiled at the top of the tree. Holy shit. Such a huge giant snake? Could this be the monster in the secret realm? Obviously so ordinary, yet so huge. It seems that the monsters in the middle of this primordial forest are all like this. Sure enough, it's not simple here. It's extremely uncomplicated. Is this the monster of the divine and demonic battlefield? Sure enough, it's vastly different from Blue Star. Things are starting to get interesting ah. Uh. Wang Chuan looked towards the huge python at the top of the dome. And not only did he not have any fear within his heart, but instead, it was all excitement. Interesting, things are starting to get interesting. How can this not make people happy? How can this not make people excited? Wang Dust threw out a scrying technique, and the next thing he knew, the panel of the giant snake in front of him appeared in front of his face. Chapter 378 Mandala Giant Snake Demonic Creature Mandala Giant Snake Level, Level 80 Skill, Savage Growth Forest Favored Forest Favored Giant Snake Roar Giant Snake Entanglement Kissing Horse Entanglement Introduction As one of the countless guardian beasts of the primeval forest, he was born with the favor of this forest, which led to his strength being extremely powerful, among the same level, even if it was a demon, he was able to fight against foreigners of the same level, coupled with his huge size, there were almost no opponents among the same level, Wang Dust froze after reading the panel of the Mandalorian snake, no, buddy you this body so huge thought you how ruthless it, the result is a normal AQ small monster, however, even small monsters have the title of being nearly invincible at the same level, it seems that the small monsters of this primitive forest have almost elite monster templates. In this way, this secret realm for people other than themselves, the difficulty is still to soar. Unfortunately, for him, the difficulty of this secret realm is nothing less than a full-level big brother returning to the newbie village with his big number to GAGA Meskila. However, did anyone other than himself really have the ability to deal with a copy of this level? Even the level 80 demons were just small monsters. Where would they have the ability to face them? That said, this Mandalorian giant serpent's body was still huge. Even the giant's lair that he had visited before, the monsters in it were already replicas famous for their behemoths. But if they were here, I'm afraid that their biggest giants wouldn't be able to rank up. Things are starting to get interesting ah. Uh. Wang Dust smiled slightly. Just then, the Mandalorian giant snake saw the human, and he stormed up and began to attack. After all, the human had come to his bottom, and that was a death wish. The Mandala giant snake roared and all the mandala giant snakes in a radius of tens of thousands of meters heard the commotion. The surroundings instantly shook as if it was an earthquake. As expected, when these behemoths moved, it was extremely terrifying. After all, these behemoths weren't just huge in size, they also had a power that was unrivaled by ordinary people. As long as they were in this forest, their strength would become infinitely stronger. And this was their terror. To be able to possess this kind of divine skill, I'm afraid that in the entire blue star, there aren't even a few copies that can have this kind of small monsters, but the divine demon battlefield, it was everywhere. Sure enough, it wasn't without reason that the blue star would open a huge gap in strength with the divine demon battlefield. The gap, after all, was simply too great. Ordinary people simply could not cross this unbridgeable chasm. It was only a pity that Wang Chen could. Wang Chuan's lean point was so brilliant that, not to mention blue star, I'm afraid that when looking at the entire divine demon battlefield, I'm afraid that there were no geniuses that could rival him, because, inside his body, he was hosting a god that was truly feared by the gods, the god of machinery. Wang Chuan's figure kept moving, fluttering between the swimming snakes like a butterfly, and they simply couldn't catch Wang Chuan. After all, speed, there was also a difference between the two. The level 80 small monsters here are estimated to be close to the level of a level 75 copy boss in Blue Star. A bit too strong. Wang Chuan calculated the strength of the primordial forest monsters. He did not expect the gap to be so large. However, the group of demons would not be given a chance next. He desperately needed the life origin now. Wang Chuan stood in place, and the temperature around him instantly dropped to freezing point. Nowadays, even Wang Chuan's mere pressure was enough to make the strongest people below level 100 not be able to raise their heads. And the same was true for these monsters. But this was not enough. Wang Chuan once again increased the suppression of his power. Well, a large snake planted itself straight on the ground. Although it looked intact, his internal organs were probably crushed by Wang Chuan long ago. The first time this ability was put to use, the effect is good. Wang Dust smiled faintly. Previously, his mighty pressure could not cause much substantial damage, and at most, he could only say that he could overwhelm others in terms of his aura. However, since upgrading the super god armament, he had continuously developed new skills along with the constant exploration of his daily use. 
Moreover, many of these new skills could even be used by his own body without the help of the super god armament, although he couldn't directly increase the upper limit of his combat power. When he didn't transform into a super god armament, his output means wouldn't be as single as before. Instead, he had more options. This point in turn made Wine Dust somewhat pleased. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Several loud falling sounds rang out one after another. The Mandala giant snake with such a huge body was actually directly crushed to death by Wang Chuan. What kind of strength was this? If someone else had seen Wang Chen's strength today, he would have wanted to smack himself a few times. How in the world had he upgraded? And how was the gap between his strength and Wang Chen so huge? No, they could even be described as different species. It was hard not to be skeptical with such a huge gap in strength. Next, a full search, Wang Dust said indifferently, immediately afterward, scanning towers, scouts, diggers, spread out towards the surroundings as if it was a tidal sea. He made sure to find the source of life as soon as possible. And on top of that, it was his first time coming to the divine and demonic battlefield after all, and he was bound to more or less bring back some more local specialties. Coincidentally, this was all over the place, so he happened to take it for himself. Chapter 379, Killing the Death Crocodile in Seconds. Just then, two pairs of eyes quietly hid in the corner and began to observe Wang Duan. This is a human? Sure enough, as if it was as frail as the people of the clan said. Right, look at him. No move to lift his hand is a break. He is simply a white. Such a person is considered a genius amongst humans? Ch. Our clan. Age 20 less than 80 level party for waste. They this clan observation to now. Seems to appear only this one 80 level. Not waste is what? Waste is waste. Strength is nothing more than that. The two crocodiles exchanged words with each other. They were of the death crocodile clan. And looking at the entire divine demon battlefield. For their race to be able to be ranked in the 6000th place on this divine demon battlefield. That naturally showed the terror of their race. Their race was considered to be at the upper middle level even amongst the thousands. They weren't even really geniuses amongst their race. But when placed in this primordial forest. Their strength was actually able to be ranked. After all. The human race ah, no matter when this race is out, that is the existence of dragging back. In terms of combat power is not as good as their death crocodile clan. In terms of brain power is not as good as the evil eye demon fox clan. Comprehensive is even more impossible to compare to any of their clan. Not to mention that this time, there was even a fallen elf clan that he was afraid of. That ranked in the front row, is the real big terror ah, he didn't dare to think about it. So the human race is trash? Yeah, aren't you talking nonsense? Who is a waste if humans aren't waste? The two replied without thinking. No, there were only two of them, and those two answered. Who asked the question? The two men looked violently towards the back. Wang Chen who was just in front of them did not know when he appeared behind them. Big daytime ghost belongs to is. Obviously no movement at all. In the end how to avoid their perception. And successfully came behind them. The two men looked at Wang Chen as if they had seen a ghost. This guy, could it be that he has some means of hiding himself? The two began to speculate about Wang Chen's abilities. On the contrary, they did not have any fear for Wang Chen's strength. After all, a mere human was not enough for them. I've been listening behind you guys for half a day. It's not quite appropriate to be so outgoing all of a sudden. Wang Chen smiled. As a matter of fact, he had long since discovered the existence of these two foreign races. So he deliberately displayed his strength to see what reaction the foreign races would have. As a result, these two didn't react at all and kept saying that they were trash. He was still because these two had some kind of undercard. The feeling was that they came too late to see the moment they defeated the Mandala Giant Snake. Hiss, I really don't know if they are weak or strong anymore. The two death crocodiles at the moment. Although they were death crocodiles, they were not crawling crocodiles at all, but the kind that walked upright. Appearance is not much different from crocodiles. Only the color of the crocodile skin on their hands is more pitch black, filled with a lingering destructive atmosphere. It seems that in addition to human beings, the abilities of other races are not so diverse, and there are even many races that share a single ability. Only the difference in talent will lead to different strength. It seems that there is still an article here. You are human? Now give Master Crocodile two kowtows. I can still spare your life. Or else I'm bound to let you know how the word death comes from the word death of death crocodile. Crocodile Big said in a cold voice. Crocodile 2 nodded repeatedly. With their strength, if they wanted to take down a mere human, it would not be a handful. An 80 level human. Come as many as they could plus meals. Is that so? Wang Dust smacked his lips a little. These two scumbags. Are they not too confident in their own strength? As the saying goes, overconfidence. That can be Pushina. Alien race, crocodile great, death crocodile race. Level, level 80. Skills death roll. Crocodile roar. Life snatching crocodile bite. 
Crocodile Frenzy, Devour, Annihilation Breath, Death Strike, Introduction An Ordinary Person Among the Death Crocodile Clan, He is Mediocre in His Life, But His Strength Is Also a Horrible Genius for Humans, Alien Race, Crocodile 2, Death Crocodile Race, Level, 80, Skills, Death Roll, Crocodile Roar, Life Snatching Crocodile Bite, Crocodile Frenzy, Devour, Annihilation Breath, Death Strike, Introduction, Like Crocodile Big, they are all mediocre death crocodiles among the death crocodile clan. Level 80, still just ordinary? Wang Xuan had a clearer understanding of the strength of the death crocodile clan at this moment. Sure enough, these guys, they were really powerful. At the very least for humans. Even though they were not considered geniuses among their own clan, they were able to easily overpower human geniuses. Racial talent, terrifying as hell. However, these two clearly had no use for them. Then they could be killed. Death crocodile. Isn't it called Death Crocodile because the crocodile died? Wang Dust said indifferently. The two crocodiles just wanted to retort. Suddenly, they noticed that it was as if a large hole had been opened in their chests. Death. Wang Dust's actions were just so dry. Against this kind of cargo, he didn't even need to use his skills. Just flat A was enough. According to the information coming from the scanning tower, there seemed to be quite a few foreigners that had come this time. Far more than than humans ah. Chapter 380. You and I is a hand in each other's position. Well let him head and tail cannot be taken care of each other. It seems that this time, the matter is not as simple as it seems. After separating from Wang Chen, Li Baiyi, Huang Tianba, and the remaining few people from the Imperial Capital University walked together. After all, amongst the Imperial Capital University, Li Baiyi's prestige was still relatively large, and there was almost no one who would not listen to Li Baiyi. Li Baiyi had asked them to walk in a group, so that there was also a smaller possibility of encountering danger. What is this? Li Bai accidentally stepped on a soft wooden stick and was shocked. Giant snake. Mandala giant snake. In an instant, Li Bai's few people were surrounded by mandala giant snakes. Luckily, the mandala giant snakes here were not powerful. There were only a mere 60 or so levels. But the number was so huge, the few people were instantly caught in a bitter battle. It was too difficult to deal with. On the other side, the three people from pretty country weren't doing well either. Their overall strength wasn't weaker than the side of Imperial Capital University. But they were after all high-minded and proud, and one of them didn't want to cooperate with the other side at all, which led to being forced into a desperate situation by the Mandala Giant Snake at one point. The same was true for the geniuses of other countries. The only one who always drew a different picture from the others was the Three Kingdoms. Wait, this is. The genius from Asangwa's eyes lit up when he saw the giant lizard in front of him. Third sister-in-law. Another genius from Asan also had a delighted face. I thought that this time when I came to the primordial forest, I was bound to be bored for a while, but I didn't expect that there would actually be such a strange encounter. You and I, the two brothers are united, and we will use each other as a hand with this demon, and we will definitely tell this demon to not be able to take care of its head and tail. Okay big brother. And so, the giant lizard that was still napping comfortably suddenly had no peace. He, unclean, death crocodile clan gathering place. What's going on? Those two losers from crocodile big crocodile too. Why haven't they returned yet? A death crocodile one clan's world with a scar on his face said in a cold voice. His tone was filled with coldness. As if he was able to put people in death in the next moment. This was the existence of a truly great terror. Compared to Crocodile Big Crocodile 2. He was simply like a child. This is the real genius. Although still 80 level. But its body exudes the breath. Whether it is quantitative or qualitative. Are far better than the Crocodile Big Crocodile 2 stream. Belong to the real strong. He. The genius of the death crocodile clan. Crocodile Chinli. None of the surrounding dared to talk, for fear of touching the frown of the one in front of him. After all, if this person is angry, will not care whether you and he is the same tribe, but only one word, that is, kill. He who does not dare to kill, he who dares to kill, as long as it is not as he wants, not let him satisfied, even if it is a few elders in the clan was also killed. Death Crocodile Clan believes in power, as long as the power is strong enough, that you are the hero of the community kill their own clan old in their eyes, is not filial, on the contrary, they are also very worship Crocodile Chinli, because he is really strong, but even if he worships him again, he is still afraid of being killed himself ah, and who wasn't afraid of being killed themselves, obviously there was none, there's no need to look, their crocodile head is here, Wang Dust said indifferently, he had just found it here, this time, when he entered the primordial forest, aside from looking for the life origin, his second major purpose was to see how this foreign genius was doing. Now, it seemed that it wasn't as mysterious as what Blood Wanli and Long Ding Tian had said, 
and the strength of these geniuses seem to be nothing more than that, maybe other people will be afraid, but he Wang Chuan, that is never be able to fear such an existence, Wang Dust said, then threw the crocodile big crocodile two two crocodiles head on the ground, you are, human, crocodile Chin Li licked his lips, excited, he had tasted the blood of countless races, just not humans, he heard the elders of his clan say that human blood tasted extremely good, this then made him somewhat curious, unfortunately, there weren't many humans on the divine and demonic battlefield, and they were usually almost impossible to touch, it seems that today is a blessing, let's see if what the elders said was true or not, that's right, Wang Dust said indifferently, he saw bloodlust through Crocodile Chen Li's eyes, as well as, desire for his blood, so it seemed that this fellow was not a good thing, but even so, so what, regardless of whether it was a good thing or not, as long as one dared to plot against him, no one would be able to survive, even if he wasn't human, Wang Chen smiled, but he couldn't stop the killing intent in his eyes, his hands were a little itchy again now, although these foreigners behaved no differently from humans, they were nothing more than animals in his eyes, going back, he could let in Xiao Xiao help himself to deal with them, it was really not easy to find such ingredients, the strong people he encountered before were either the blood miles type, covered in blood and without any usable parts, or the king of giants type, not to mention that kind, this time, he might be able to come across a good ingredient, how dare you, human, do you know who the existence in front of you is, that's right, the true genius of the death crocodile clan, his strength, even able to match the geniuses of the top races, you have to know that to die in his hands, that would simply be an honor for you humans, don't be ungrateful, look at that weak appearance of yours, you don't really think that you are able to defeat the genius of our death crocodile clan, crocodile chinli, kid, be a little cognizant of your own strength, chapter 381, not afraid is not afraid, numerous people from the death crocodile clan madly denigrated wang dust, wang dust looked at them with cold eyes, these noisy jumping clowns, they hadn't even said that they would kill them before they jumped out to provoke themselves, even though they hadn't intended to let them go, right, but in this way, it was their fault instead, but Wang Chuan always had a question in his mind, why was it that even the divine and demonic battlefield was speaking Chinese, it wasn't right, was it, ahem, putting that aside, these guys, it seems that they are already a bit eager to die, interesting, there was no need to continue dragging this out himself, the next step had to be a quick battle, according to the news that the scanning it had sent him, the tree of eternal life was being coveted by another group of people at the moment, although he hadn't encountered it yet, Wang Chuan had long ago labeled those things as his own, take it yourself, okay, other people touch, not, chance is always exclusive to the powerful, perhaps Wang Chuan originally in this kind of thing has no chance, but that has nothing to do with it, as long as he sees, it is his, as far as the eye can see, all are his things, in this world of the weak and the strong, there was no such thing as the story of the big bad wolf and the white rabbit helping each other. There were only wolves who did not hesitate to kill rabbits in order to survive. Ha ha, human, do you know what Lousy's favorite thing on weekdays is? That's right, it's humans. Crocodile Chen Li laughed out loud. This gave Wang Dust all the talk of Pan Naja. This guy, is really a bit of that. No, it had to be a quick battle. Because according to the information coming from the scanning tower, when the other geniuses were still trying to fight the demons and even went to look for heavenly treasures, only Brother San was immersed in the fun of using the giant lizard as a mutual aid. Although it was just an inadvertent glance, the image was still extremely explosive. As expected, under the cooperation of the two brothers, the giant lizard could not take care of its head and tail. I can only say that it is worthy of being San. The cooperation is tacit understanding. These two are not blood brothers better than blood brothers. This skillful technique is obviously not the first time. Just don't know if they will be arrested. Ahem. I think you've misunderstood. What I like is cannibalism. Realizing that Wang Chen's eyes were not right. Crocodile Chen Li instantly realized that he had said the wrong thing. After all, their race didn't have any false pretenses. Instead, they were honored by power. As long as one possessed power, then, it was the same as possessing everything. No matter what it was. As long as one possessed power, then he could have it. And that was the benefit of possessing power. Right? However, he still knew something about human affairs. He soon comprehended Wang Chen's meaning. All right, cut the crap. Wang Chuan moved his wrists. Now that he had strength, it wasn't that abundant. This time, the primordial forest had to be speed brushed. Regardless of what kind of chance he gained midway, the first thing he had to do was to ensure that the life origin arrived. He could wolf all other times, only not this time. So eager to make a move against me? Ha 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 ha. Human, this is the biggest mistake you've ever chosen you have no idea, 
what kind of existence you are about to face, and you don't know who your opponent really is. It's me, the most talented existence in the entire Death Crocodile Clan. Me, Crocodile Chinli. If it wasn't for the copy in this secret realm, I should have upgraded a long time ago. Do you know what level I should be? Level 100. The top is not capped. Crocodile Chinli laughed out loud, but the aura around him wasn't weak at all. Obviously, this guy was getting himself all excited. Wang Chen was a little surprised that Crocodile Chinli was only 20 years old and was actually able to race to level 100 at the age of 20, although boosting to level 100 wasn't a match for him, right? But this was only the 7,000th ranked race? There were so many other races before that. So what about their talents? Wang Dust had gotten a little excited without realizing it. He really wanted to see whether his own super god mechanic was strong, or whether those so-called dragon race phoenix race was strong. Blood and flesh suffering. Mechanical ascension. This was the eternal truth, but Wang Chen's face only had excitement, not the slightest bit of fear. Human, you're not afraid? This time it was Crocodile Chen Li's turn to be surprised. It was reasonable to say that an ordinary person hearing this horrifying data would twitch as if they were being violently bombarded by 100. 000 thunderbolts. But Wang Chuan actually looked as normal, as if he did not take his words to heart. This human kid, where in the world did he get such boldness? Could it be that he had some unknown undercard? No, impossible. A human only, ranked 2999 behind their death crocodile clan, ranked 9999 human to have such a genius. How could it be possible to only shoot in the 9999th place? That's right, this was just this kid in front of him bluffing. It was simply not enough to be afraid of. The one who was truly afraid shouldn't be him at all, but the human kid in front of him, and he, who had been in the battlefield for a long time and had countless amounts of blood in his hands, was only because the one who laughed in the end. Why should I be afraid? Wang Dust asked rhetorically. This question gave Crocodile Chin Li a hard time. Why ah? He also did not dao ah. Damn it, damn humans, actually so articulate and fickle. After holding back for a long time, Crocodile Chin Li finally came to say, Why not afraid? Not afraid just not afraid, Wang Chen said indifferently, with his strength, there really wasn't any reason to be afraid ah, chapter 382 well, 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 play it this way, well well well, play so right, crocodile Chin Li was whole taught, did not expect this guy will actually say so, still not afraid is not afraid, you shelve this with me shelve this, good boy, crocodile Chin Li inhaled a deep breath, did not expect this guy, shelve this with him to play set of children, damn ah, Crocodile Chen Li looked at Wang Chen's gaze, with a few points of annoyance, did not think that the human actually so brazen, is really breaking his cognition of the human. If the human race were all like this, then it was obviously hopeless. Wang Chuan casually threw out a probing technique. Alien race, Crocodile Chen Li, Death Crocodile, Talent, S plus level, Level, 80, Skills Death Roll, Crocodile Shock, Brute Charge, Berserk, Complete Madness, Invincible Punch, Crocodile Battle Roar, Crocodile Roar, Death Strike, Death Force, Partial Giganticization, Ultra Giganticization, Introduction, a top genius from the Death Crocodile Clan. His strength is so powerful that it can definitely make any genius from the same clan pale in comparison. Young and promising, he is even able to directly rival the geniuses of races ranked even higher than him, and under his leadership, the Death Crocodile Clan will inevitably move to new heights. Death Crocodiles, Greek your king, Wang Dust looked at the panel of Crocodile Chin Li in front of him, Obviously much more luxurious than Crocodile Big Crocodile 2. It is true, even if it is the same race, even if it is the same rank, the gap between the two is obviously also very huge. Can only Shua Crocodile Chianli, this Death Crocodile Clan's top genius, deserves his name. However, this fellow, actually has talent? Of all the geniuses he had encountered so far, only Crocodile Chianli had the option of having talent. In front of him, whether it was the powerful and ugly blood demon great emperor blood wanli or the weak as a chicken crocodile great crocodile too. None of them had talent. Could it be that this column of talent was a special existence of some sort among the foreign races? Wine dust frowned. The foreign races were different from humans. His clan's race was their best talent. At most, it was based on the bloodline concentration to determine where the top line would be in the future. But this thing of talent, it was a matter of two feet in the air. If it was a human, the column of talent would be labeled with a specific occupation. However, this was the first time that a foreigner had encountered such a new one. Difficult to do. I'm afraid it's not going to be easy to figure all this out. Right. It suddenly occurred to Wang Chuan that the S plus level talents that he currently knew of, excluding the Chinese sword immortal Chen Tian Dao, were only those few guys who had been blessed by the gods. Could it be 
Crocodile Chinli was also blessed by the gods? What exactly is this divine blessing? Was it really just the gods simply wanting to cast their power? Wang Dust held his forehead, feeling like his pig brain was overloaded. A bunch of mysteries were waiting to be solved by himself. You know, gods bestow blessings? Wang Dust coldly came up with a sentence. Although Crocodile Chinli was puzzled, he answered honestly, Don't think about it. If we are able to have the blessings of the gods, it would be far more than just being rank 7, 000, and we would only be able to obtain the blessings of the gods if we have the power of the gods' favorites, that is, the so-called top 100 rankings, we are far from being qualified for that. These words from Crocodile Chenli caused Wang Chen to fall into deep thought. Then, Caitlin and their divine blessing, what exactly was it? Was it really a divine blessing? Or was it some other something? Wang Chuan sighed, he really did know too little about the things of the divine and demonic battlefield. Going back, he could ask the mechanical warrior to look through the ancient books for himself. What? You're letting him read it himself? That's not possible. A quick battle and a quick decision. When Crocodile Chenli saw that Wang Chuan didn't say anything, he opened his mouth wide, and a fiery power kept gathering in Crocodile Chenli's mouth. Holy shit, boss actually came up and used this move. Yeah, the boss is extremely exaggerated in battle, especially in the case of using this crocodile roar, even able to directly kill level 85 demons. The strength of the terrible, can be seen, this human is dead ah, actually able to let the boss move so among the killing intent, he does not die who dies? That's right, if I want to be hit by the boss this blow is about to hit, then I will definitely run away, as far as possible to run as far as possible. Look guys, this human is actually standing still stupidly, he won't be scared silly, laughing to death, under this kind of powerful pressure. Isn't it normal to be scared silly? It's just that this guy started off with all sorts of pretending. I even thought that this human in front of me was invincible. I didn't expect that. He actually really is just pretending ah. He doesn't have any strength at all. How is he good at it? That's right. There's nothing to see. I guess this guy is not even a match for the boss. None of the people on the Death Crocodile clan side looked favorably on Wang Chuan. After all, Wang Chuan was firstly of the human clan, and secondly an enemy of their boss. Speaking of which, the human clan's current position was really special. Anyone who was stronger than him was able to bully him. As a result, right, the human race wasn't strong enough to be able to bully those below them. It led to the fact that all along, even those weaker than him were able to provoke. It couldn't be helped. Who made the human race a new force that had only recently joined in? Like in the past, the divine and demonic battlefield had lasted for an unknown number of years, but there had never been a precedent of adding a new power. Generally speaking there were only destroyed forces, so they would despise the human race even more, because the human race was weak. Chapter 383 Absolute Power Gap Crocodile Thousand Miles of Despair If Wang Chen knew what they were thinking, he would definitely freeze in place. No, this thing also needs to be dodged? With an attack of this amount of power, it would probably be too weak to tickle him. In Wang Chuan's opinion, such an attack didn't need to be blocked, and there was no need to block it, it was just too weak, so weak that, it was so weak that Wang Chuan could not even raise an ounce of interest, although this guy's strength was strong, it was far from reaching the level that made him feel excited, so it seemed that his limit was as far as he could go, right? Rumble, the crocodile roar of Crocodile Chenli was like an arrow that had left the strings as it sped towards Wang Dust, the terrifying speed even made the air leave residual shadows, at the very least, for these crocodile clan people, it was indeed extremely terrifying, because it could be seen from their expressions. Being shocked by this move of Crocodile Chenli, powerful, truly powerful. It was really hard to imagine that their boss's level had once again increased. It seemed that the boss was truly a genius. Not only was his strength so terrifying, even his talent was so terrifying, even though the level was still the same, but the power of his skills was as if it had been turned on to rise crazily. It was simply terrifying. This was something that they couldn't do even in their exhaustive lives. Was this a crocodile over a crocodile? A crocodile that was angry to death? All the death crocodiles were shocked by this move. Even the corners of Crocodile Chanli's mouth spread a smile. Jokingly, who could beat him? His strength was more than powerful. It was simply open and shut. Under such a huge disparity of strength, it would be hard for anyone to be his opponent. Even that evil eye demon fox who was ranked 6000 was the same. Ch. It's a pity that that genius isn't here nowadays, or else he could really dare to challenge it. Crossing so many rankings to fight in one go was rare in the entire Divine Demon Battlefield. Only previously, when the human race had just descended into the Divine Demon Battlefield, a person named Long Ding Tian had done so. That time, the human race hardened themselves from the bottom of the rankings, relying on Long Ding Tian's hands to fight their way up to 9, 999, 
And at that time, this matter was a sensation. It even attracted a strong person from above to come here to watch. It was a pity that that strong person was only a flash in the pan. And from then on, the prestige that the human had fought for gradually disappeared, turning into the kind of thing that it was today. After all, once he took into account whether or not the people at the back had resources, whether or not he could be a little better and safer in obtaining them, that invincible aura in him would also gradually dissipate. The once invincible young man would also gradually fade away. This was the case with Long Ding Tian. He was in such a special position that he couldn't lose and didn't dare to lose. That's why the challenges he receives are fewer and fewer. Wang Chuan looked at the not very powerful crocodile roar and froze a little. Was this his strongest strike? Indeed, it wasn't very good. Even he himself was able to release it when he was over level 50. And the power was even more terrifying than his. Wang Dust slowly stretched out a finger. Stupid. Since this guy wants to rely on a single finger to try to stop this attack, what kind of joke is he playing? It's impossible. It's simply impossible. That's right. This guy can't be knowing that he's hopeless wanting to put on another act before he dies. TSK TSK TSK. What a disgrace. This kid seems to be just that strong. A human is a human. He won't be a match for my death crocodile clan at all. Ha 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 ha. The death crocodiles looked at Wang Chuan with a disdainful face as they looked at him with a look of death. It was as if Wang Dust was a dead man in their eyes. After all, it was only a matter of time before one became a dead man after being hit by this blow. It was only a matter of one or two seconds then. Stupid human ah. But the next moment, what happened in front of them, exceeded their imagination. Wang Chuan he, was actually able to, stop it with one finger. This, how is it possible? They even thought that they had blurred their eyes. This impossible thing, how could it happen right in front of their eyes? However, the truth was exactly the same. When the majestic energy ray block touched Wang Chen's finger, it instantly dissipated as if it had gone out. Could it be that Crocodile Chen Li specially let him off the hook? They subconsciously thought in this direction. But unfortunately, things were not destined to be as he wished. Wang Chuan's face was so lighthearted that it didn't say anything about the ease with which he took this move. The district Crocodile Chen Li, his full force strike in front of Wang Chuan, was like a clown. Weak, really too weak. It was simply not enough to worry about. Crocodile Chen Li looked at Wang Chuan dead on, wondering what the hell was going on with what he had just done. Was it a life preservation prop? No, this guy didn't have any traces of props appearing on his body just now. Then why is it? Crocodile Chen Li began to panic. He would rather believe that Wang Chuan was using a prop that was not easily detected. And he would never want to believe that Wang Chuan was using his own strength to fight this blow hard. And no one knew better than he did what this really meant. And even more so, no one knew that if that was the case, how he should fight next and what he should do. Bad. Something happened. Crocodile Chen Li's mind went blank. He understood that this time. He should have run into a tough opponent. I don't know if your elders have told you. Forget about it in this life. Pay attention in your next life. Don't mess with people you shouldn't mess with. Wang Dust looked at Crocodile Chen Li lightly. What do you mean? Crocodile Chen Li looked at Wang Chuan with some uncertainty. Chapter 384, Sending You to Reunion. What I mean is, in your life, I guess this is the end of it. Wang Chen said indifferently, as if he was talking about something insignificant. That was how unflinchingly he decided Crocodile Chin Li's next fate. After all, this fellow also wanted to cause his own death. There was no need to keep his hands off. If he should be killed, if he was overly merciful and soft, others would always feel good to be bullied. The only way to make these guys afraid was to have tough enough means. What? Before Crocodile Chin Li's words fell, he immediately felt a blur before his eyes. And in the next moment, he actually saw the scales on his chest. Dead. Killed in seconds. Absolutely killed in seconds. The most powerful genius among the death crocodiles was actually killed by Wang Chen in a single move, without even reacting at all. This, how could this be possible? The remaining death crocodiles didn't believe it. Why? Why? The top genius that they regarded as invincible under the heavens was actually killed in seconds. How could this be possible? How on earth was this possible? How could their genius be so frail? It must have relied on other means. Surely, Crocodile Chen Li was invincible. Crocodile Chen Li was an undefeated god in their hearts. There was simply no one who could defeat him. Don't worry, you won't be separated for long. Wang Dust said indifferently, since Crocodile Chen Li was already dead, how could they be reunited again? The answer was simple. Send them to the hell to be reunited. And if they were lucky, they could even drink a pot of Mona's soup and be reincarnated afterward. What? The crowd exclaimed in unison. But the way they died was no different from Crocodile Chen Li. They were all killed in seconds by Wang Dust with a snap of his fingers. And they were lying neatly in a row. There was no room for resistance at all. This was Wang Chen's terrifying strength. Seconds, 
All of them were killed in seconds. After Wang Dust cleaned up the battlefield, he flew towards the million-year-old eternal life ancient tree at full speed. This thing, no matter what, he had to get his hands on it. In this world, renewing the lives of ordinary people was a very troublesome thing. Because of the limited strength of ordinary people's bodies, there was also a limit to the amount of medicinal power they could receive. And many professionals potions were so effective that they were almost miraculous medicines for ordinary people. However, there is a very embarrassing problem is that ordinary people are not blessed to consume such a huge potion. Even if it is a shallow taste, its overbearing medicinal power on the body are far more destructive than the power of the medicine. This also led to the fact that ordinary people were unable to use the items of the transmigrants. Although living in the same world, ordinary people lived with extra caution, fearing that they would explode and die if they were not careful. This also led to the ordinary people to renew their lives exceptionally difficult. The transmigrator can enhance the props for decades and hundreds of years. Ordinary people cannot use. Transfiguration drink can enhance the body cells. Strong body potion. Ordinary people also cannot drink. Even the world's richest ordinary people, he can use the life extension method, but only to go to the collection of transfer era before the ginseng ganoderma lucidum, in exchange for two or three years of respite. This kind of rather than prolonging one's life, it was more like hanging on to one's breath. For Wang Chuan, whose strength was growing rapidly, a thousand years might be just a snap of the fingers. He still wished to have the means to extend his lifespan. Coincidentally, the life origin was one of the few props that could enhance an ordinary person's lifespan as much as possible. The life origin was the power of the origin and was extremely gentle, which made it extremely difficult to obtain. There was actually not a single trace of life origin in such a huge treasure trove of the Rin family. Moreover, the life essence might give people a second spring, and if they were lucky enough to be awakened, Wang Dust would pile them up to the level of a top-tier powerhouse. This was also the reason why Wang Chuan needed this million-year-old life essence so urgently. 100,000 years could only save a life, but a million years, however, had the probability of allowing them to live for thousands of years more? It was clear which was stronger and which was weaker. Those guys are quite fast. It seems that he also needs to speed up the action. Time does not wait for people ah. Meanwhile, on the other side, Li Bai managed to finish resolving all the demons in front of him. What a sound battle. Li Bai's white robe was drenched in sweat from the battle, but looking at the corpses of the mandala giant snakes all over the place, he couldn't help but feel a little bit more complacent on his face. I'm afraid there aren't many people who can do this to this extent. He ah, uh, truly deserves it, actually has such strength. The corners of Li Bai's mouth rose, and then, he looked towards the forest heights again. Wang Chen, have you already gone back, or are you still here? Li Bai was a little stunned. The outside pocket was so difficult, it might be even harder inside. This, did Wang Chen really have the strength to break through? Li Bai was a little confused. The demons here were much more powerful than on the blue star and he was enough to kill demons of the same level as if they were small monsters in a chaotic manner on the blue star. Even if it is to kill the same level of the boss is also as simple as eating and drinking water. But came here on, even if it is to deal with their own same level of demons, are exceptionally difficult. Is he really a genius? Li Bai didn't know, but he had already somewhat started to self-doubt. On the other side, the several people of Mead also ate their noses, because the three of them didn't work too well together, coupled with the fact that the three of them liked to pretend they wouldn't give a damn if others wanted to join. This led to the condescending ones being hungry even up until now. If you were to ask what the storage ring was for, how could a person like them pack food? Chapter 385, The Maiden of the Fallen Elven Clan. They lived their lives with clothes on their backs and food on their stomachs. Although the transmogrifier wouldn't starve to death if he didn't eat, but he would have a hard time. Coupled with the fact that they kept dropping blood and were being chased, they didn't bring many potions with them, and they belonged to the category of opening with a headwind opening. But even so, they kept planning ways to Li Bai, bullying the soft and fearing the hard. That's what they said. On the other side, Caitlin was used to brushing monsters alone. And even with such a huge gap in strength, he didn't choose to team up with Pretty Nation. In her words, she wasn't looking down on Wang Chen. She just looked down on everyone equally. What's more, these few pretty countrymen and the guy from before were also the same thing. So it would be better to team up with them and watch out for them, rather than going alone. Dangerous was a little bit dangerous, but one could continuously sharpen one's strength. Caitlin's strength nowadays couldn't be said to be very strong, but at the very least, she was basically invincible at the same age. What's more, her strength was not rising slowly. She didn't even bother to brush monsters to upgrade, and her level still rose to level 60, comparable to the speed of hanging. Bah, mushy, Caitlin began to try her first kebab. Just now she had luckily come across a boar, but it was relatively strong 
and Caitlin spent nine cows and two tigers to barely kill it. But she didn't know how to handle it, so she simply cut up a few pieces and put them on the fire. Caitlin looked at the roasted like charcoal, but the inside was still raw. She fell into a deep thought. It seemed that she didn't seem to have any talent in this aspect of cooking. I thought that such a big boar was enough for him to have a full meal, but I didn't realize that it was a waste of time. Caitlin sighed. It looked like she would have to go hungry again, although he was used to it, but there didn't seem to be much else to do at the moment. She had to grab lots and lots of stuff and go back to Imperial University to exchange credits for something to eat. I heard that the cafeteria of the Imperial Capital University had everything. She would have to give it a try. Speaking of which, when the meal tickets were still around earlier, they had been mumbling about how they only loved steak and stuff. Caitlin's pursuit of food wasn't that big, and she was kind of used to eating it every day. However, she didn't really like the taste. Since she ate Chinese food once in a while, she fell in love with it. After all, there are magical creatures in this world. The Chinese food made from the meat of magical creatures was so delicious that it could make people fly. The original steak was slightly inferior. As long as she could make money, she could go back to a bunch of delicious food. Thinking about this, Caitlin perked up again. She, for sure, had to make more money. And Brother San was still fighting the giant lizard for 300 rounds at the moment. One could only say that this guy's vitality was extremely tenacious, and he still had the power of resistance until now. Next to the million-year-old eternal life ancient tree, there were originally hundreds of foreign races here. But now, only one person was left. No, instead of a person, it was more like an elf, a fallen elf. The fallen elf's small face was white and tender. Her face was exquisite, and even though she didn't put on any powder, she also had the qualities of a beautiful country, especially the pair of big watery eyes, which attracted people's pity. A long black dress will be her body perfectly wrapped, but it adds a few more points of mystery. If it wasn't for the pointed ears, I'm afraid that looking from a distance, this would be a living, breathing human. Is this the million-year-old eternal life ancient tree? The fallen elf, also known as Ching Rushue, softly said. The voice was so clear and spiritual that it was as if she was a fairy who did not eat the fire of the earth. She had come this time for this very purpose. Otherwise, I'm afraid that there was nothing in this secret realm that could attract him. As a top 100 race of fallen elves, her vision is very high, but the only thing in front of her is worthy of her own personal trip. What elves needed most was the life essence, and so did fallen elves. Once she had this, she would be able to become stronger until she became the strongest existence within the clan. Sorry, this tree is mine. Wang Chuan put away his super god armament and leapt up from above 10, 000 meters in the air, his right fist smashing heavily on the ground. Who are you and why are you robbing me of this? Cheng Ruashiwa's willow brows were slightly frowned. It was clear that he had just driven away a batch of them. So why did another one come? Moreover, the person in front of him seemed to bear a slight resemblance to him. Could it be that he was also an elf? No, not really. He didn't have pointed ears. So which race could he be? Chang Ruashiwa did not dare to act rashly for a moment. Me? You don't need to know. You only need to know that this tree is mine. Understand? Wang Chuan slightly angled his head. He wouldn't show mercy just because the other party was a girl in awe. But the fallen elf clan. Hiss. It really had a few similarities with humans. No. A full nine points. He even thought for a moment that this guy was a human. Unfortunately. It wasn't. And this Ching Ruashiwa. On the face value. In no way in in Xiao Xiao. More Lioli. Li Ening Delo, even because of the dusty temperament on the body, even because of the dusty temperament of her body, she was slightly superior, but again beautiful and Wang Duan has nothing to do with, he is not what kind of soft-hearted mother of God, the person in front of him is not moving to kill, even if he lets him capture a little bit, the other party has no good fruit to eat, but as far as I know, this tree is an ownerless object, so naturally, there is a capable person who can take it, I can perceive that you are the same level 80 as me, but you should also be clear that even if you are the same level 80, you are far from being my opponent. Chapter 386 Ching Rushiwa's Terrifying Strength Chang Rushiwa was very confident. She herself was located in the top 100 ranked clans. The strength was extremely powerful. Not to mention, he was a genius, although she hadn't seen any races that looked similar to her. The elders of the clan had said that this trip was nothing more than some unimpressive races other than herself. There wasn't a single threat to her. What's more, she did need this ancient tree. It's good to have someone who can do it. Wang Dust laughed lightly. If it was said that those who were capable were in charge, he did not consider himself to be incompetent. This fellow in front of him, although he was the 97th ranked fallen elf clan and extremely powerful, he might not be his regular opponent. It was not enough to be feared. Even if it was an even more powerful genius from the divine and demonic battlefield, 
So what? It wouldn't be his Wang Chuan's opponent all the same. Wang Dust casually flung a scrying technique out. Foreigner, Cheng Rushue, Fallen Elf. Age, 18 years old. Talent, SS level. Level, 80. Skill, Fallen Radiance. Elven Bloodline. Fallen Power. Elven Divine Power. Fallen Magic. Meteorite Skyfall. Arcane Flicker. Forbidden Magic. Introduction, Fallen Elf. Abandoned by the gods of the Elf Clan. Strength because there is no divine favor is not as good as the Elf Clan. But Cheng Rushue is different. She was born with the qualifications of the opposite. If not for the millions of years of life essence, he would not have come here. Wang Chuan saw this luxurious panel and couldn't help but smack his lips a little. Actually a SS level genius. This is still the first and only SS level genius he has encountered so far. This god in demon battlefield is really heaven defying. The human race had only had those few S plus level talents since the transmutation era had opened so long ago. And excluding Chen Tian Dao, the source of their power seemed a bit off. On the contrary, it was different on the alien side. It felt like all the dogs passing by were S grade talents. Was this the so-called S plus level talent everywhere and S level talent was inferior to dogs? This side reached level 80 at the age of 18 as if it was the norm. It was really strange. Wang Dust was a bit curious. Is this side of the upgrade so fast? If you want to reach level 80, you are basically 30 years old or older. And you still need to have an S rank talent plus the ability to brush levels day and night. Only then is it possible to reach it. If you compare it like this, the alien race's talent is truly terrifying. Compared to her, a human is like a mole cricket compared to the sun and the moon. Only a pity. Today's human race had produced him. Wang Dust. What are you staring at me for? Cheng Rushue frowned, a little displeased. Grandma had said that staring at others all the time was very impolite behavior. This guy in front of her. How rude. What race is it ah? How come she had never heard that there were actually other races in this world other than the elves that were so similar to them? Hmm. Wang Chen didn't know what Cheng Rushue was talking about. Look at the panel ah. Does this even need to be asked? Doesn't this guy look at other people's attributes before fighting? Wait. He suddenly realized something was wrong. The foreigners on the blue star didn't seem to be able to view panels either. And such an ability seemed to only be possessed by humans. It couldn't be. What on earth had humans done to be able to possess such a special ability? However, Wang Chen's probing technique was still a little different from the others. Other people's probing at most probed the level and age. The name could be chosen to hide or not. Not to mention the skills, which had to be open to the other party to be able to view. It seemed that only Wang Chen's probing technique was able to view anything without restriction. However, in this way, the space available for one scrying technique was much larger. Moreover, didn't see it. Ching Rushua's three dimensions were actually so heaven-defying. Don't get me wrong. Three-dimensional attributes only. It was definitely the most powerful one within the 80-level powerhouses he had seen. Well, second only to himself. It was really hard to imagine what kind of freaks were in this so-called god and demon battlefield. Each and every one of them was as powerful as an inappropriate person. No wonder, Blood Miles was so arrogant in Blue Star. But as a result, he didn't dare to develop in the Divine Demon Battlefield. The original is because he himself knows that he is nothing. Half-step world level is certainly very strong. But although Cheng Ruashue was not a boss, according to Wang Chen's projections, if this guy is converted into a boss level, he is a world-class boss. Terror? What kind of terror is this? Level 80 Cheng Ruashue's strength was already no weaker than the King of Blood Demons that he had encountered in Blue Star. It was even far beyond. Was this the heavenly pride of the Divine Demon Battlefield? Battling across levels was near impossible to achieve in Blue Star. But here, geniuses could achieve it at will. It's nothing, but since you want to fight, then let's fight. Wang Chen looked straight at Cheng Rushue. Hmph. It seems that you still don't know the might of my fallen elf clan. Cheng Rushue snorted lightly. She did not expect this fellow in front of her to be so bold. However, she had knowledge of all the races before the hundredth. And the person in front of her had not seen him before though. But indeed, he was not among the hundred. I don't know where he got the confidence and self-confidence to dare to challenge himself. Cheng Ruashue breath slowly leaked out. A powerful and extremely invasive aura instantly swept across the entire field. This fellow, not weak. Wang Dust gave this evaluation almost instantly. This aura alone knew that between Cheng Ruashue and Crocodile Chinli, there was no comparison between the two. Very strong. Chapter 387 Eating Demon Flesh Turns You Into a Bad Elf. But this not being weak also depended on who it was compared to. Cheng Rushue was strong, but that was the only thing worth praising. Judging from the outburst of breath alone, her strength wasn't at a level that threatened her. And even if Wang Chuan stood still, he might not be able to break his defense. Was this the only degree of a SS level genius? Or was this guy intentionally letting off steam? 
Take out your full strength, Wang Xuan said in a cold voice. If that was all, he would be cut down immediately. When a lion fights a rabbit, it also uses its full strength. This fellow wouldn't be unable to understand this point of reasoning. The hundreds of geniuses of other races from before were all knocked down by Qing Rushue, but she froze and didn't kill a single one of them. She let them all go. This kind of behavior directly to the Wang Dust CPU are dry burned. Big brother do you know you this in the fight ah? If they immediately take advantage of your defenselessness to a sneak attack, you do not really think you can counteract it. The outside world is far from so many good people, like the death of the crocodile clan, are hunting for fun, perhaps their race is to believe in such a rule, but that didn't mean that others believed in it. Why? Cheng Ruashue's eyebrows were furrowed. Could it be that this fellow was strong? Definitely not as simple as it appears? That was possible, but even if he was strong, how strong could he be? Just the same, he wouldn't be more powerful than him. Ching Rushua was well aware of just how terrifying her full strength state was. Therefore, before testing out the other party's full battle strength, Ching Rushua would definitely not use her full strength, otherwise it would be bad to let the object die. His own purpose for this trip was only the ancient tree of eternal life. There was no need to hurt the innocent. It was already excessive for an existence of his level to snatch the chance with these people. There was no need to put them in a desperate situation. Still not using it is it? Wang Dust had a smile on his lips. Since this was the case, the crows took the airplane. Wang Dust instantly arrived behind Qing Rushue. With one move, he pressed her to the ground. See, your strength isn't very good. Wang Chuan said lightly. Qing Rushue couldn't care less about the mouthful of mud she had eaten, and her pupils shrunk violently. How was this guy's speed so fast? He actually didn't notice anything just now. This, how is it possible? The person in front of him should also be an 80 level awe. But why? The speed was so fast that he couldn't even react. You said it, the one who has the ability to do so. Wang Dust said indifferently. The eternal life ancient tree at the moment was still a bit short of fire. It was necessary to wait until the moment of nightfall to take out the life essence from its body. And at that moment, it was the most powerful point of efficacy life essence. Wang Chuan naturally wanted to maximize the effect of this thing, but there was no lack of this moment. Wang Chen glanced at Cheng Rushue, ignoring her, he sat himself on the ground. A wild boar brought from the blue star was casually disassembled by Wang Dust. Building a fire, roasting the meat, the actions were done in one go. After all, before Wang Chuan awakened his talent, he was all alone to take care of himself as well as his sister's living. If he didn't know how to cook, he would have starved himself to death long ago. Soon, a smell of roasted meat came to his nose. Wang Dust definitely couldn't let himself starve. So he usually came out with bottles and jars filled with all kinds of seasonings and spices. What is this flavor? Chang Ruashua looked at Wang Duan eating with his mouth full of oil, and this pungent aroma was unheard of by himself. Well, literally unheard of. As a member of the Fallen Elf Clan, she hadn't had much of a mouthful since she was born. At most, she ate the spiritual fruits on the trees, but that stuff was really not very tasty. To say that it tasted like chewing wax was about right. After all, this thing, eating is equal to eating for nothing. But the thing in Wang Chuan's hand, it seems to be made from the flesh of a demon. Devil's meat, can eat? Ching Ruashua was deeply skeptical. Clan elders have always said that the meat of the devil is a filthy thing. Eat it to pollute the mind. And the flavor of the strange smell. Difficult to eat? Eat it is like chewing wax. After the clan elders had said this, the fallen elf clan simply didn't dare to eat more of this kind of thing. Even Ching Ruashua was the same. Before today, she didn't even dare to imagine that such an aromatic flavor was emitted by demonic meat. No, can't eat it. The matriarch had said that gluttony would turn you into a bad elf. After all, the fallen elves were only abandoned by the gods. It wasn't like they had essentially turned bad. They were just like ordinary elves. They all depended on the world tree to survive. Aside from not having the power cast by the gods, they kept almost the same routine as ordinary elves. However, it really smells good. How in the world can there be something that smells so good? Oh, hungry. Chang Ruashua swallowed her saliva and looked away. A mere roasted devil's meat. Also want to tempt her? How could that be? She, Chang Ruashua, today is to die outside and jump from above the ancient tree of eternal life. Nor would she eat a bite from the person in front of her. Hey, I say, do you want some? Wang Chen was bound to not be a holy mother. Rather, Chang Ruashua's saliva was already dripping onto the ground, which was really affecting his appetite a bit. In other words, your fallen elf clan is so unproductive. Just such a simple roasted meat and you're being craved like this. Ch. Shame on you. Wang Chuan did not even dare to think that if he put the blue star's food in front of Ching Rushue, she would not be able to find her own delicious food. Chapter 388 Abstract Ching Rushue. Is it really? 
really okay? Ching Rushua hastily wiped the crystallized saliva from the corner of her mouth. As a noble fallen elf clan, it was more or less out of character to reveal such a stance outside, but he really couldn't help it ah, it was really too fragrant, never had eaten anything so fragrant in his life, the human in front of him was really detestable, to actually tempt her like this, but if she had to let her taste it, then she wouldn't be polite, Cheng Ruoshua quickly cupped a kebab from in front of Wang Chen with a swift movement, taking a deep breath of the meat's aroma, holy shit, this thing is just too fragrant, never in my life have I eaten something that smells so good, what were the spirit fruits of the elf clan? Compared to the fragrant kebabs, they were nothing but dross. This guy. Wang Chen looked at the speed Cheng Rushua had just traveled. Sure enough, this fellow had just hidden his strength in the middle of his fight. Isn't this guy a fallen elf? According to reason, he should be similar to a phantom demon. But how does he feel like an ordinary elf? Strange. However, Wang Dust was also curious. Although Blue Star had only recently entered the divine and demonic battlefield. However, most of the races in the mysterious battlefield were recorded in Blue Star, and there was not much difference from what was recorded. Could this be a coincidence? Whether it was the elves, dragons, or other races, there are all records. But, Wang Dust felt that what was behind this must be extremely complicated. No, it's not. He was thinking about things for a while. Ching Ruoshue this guy how to eat that one? To know that this one foot two pounds of meat, Wang Chuan himself to eat is not a problem, but Cheng Ruoshue at once all eat is really shocked to Wang Chuan, so can eat, wait, what is he doing, she is actually gnawing on the bamboo stick, big stupid spring what are you doing, quickly put it down, you elves, do you usually eat bamboo sticks when you eat roasted meat, Wang Dust asked, what, what's roast meat, that said, is the bamboo stick this, it tastes good oh crunchy, Cheng Rushua looked confused, not knowing what Wang Dust was talking about, Wang Dust was silent, were all elves like this, he could understand if he hadn't eaten grilled meat, but you even ate bamboo sticks, this is a bit exaggerated, right, that said, how did you eat this thing, doesn't it stick to your mouth, air, although with her physical strength, it's impossible to stick her mouth, didn't you find anything wrong, Wang Dust was deeply powerless, but he didn't know where to spit, this guy, is simply an oddball ah, right, Wang Chuan, is there any more, I still want it, when these words came out, Wang Dust instantly stood up, what kind of tiger and wolf words was this guy talking about? It better not be too outrageous. Wang Dust looked at Cheng Rushua's expression that was gradually out of place. This young girl, it seemed like she really didn't have a bit of common sense in life. Wang Dust was also full, so he simply stuffed her with all of the wild boar. After all, his own cooking wasn't as good as in Xiao Xiao's cooking. After getting used to eating in Xiao Xiao's cooking, eating his own felt very ordinary. However, in Cheng Rushua's eyes, it was like a heavenly gift. A pig leg in her left hand and a pig elbow in her right hand were nibbled. Hiss. Wang Chen was a bit unable to bear to look at it. How pitiful. Actually unable to even eat. It seems that this guy also belongs to the bullied ones in the fallen elf clan. Otherwise, how could he not be able to afford to eat? A few moments later, Cheng Rushua held her large stomach. It was filled with Wang Chuan's achievements. It was full. So delicious. Cheng Rushua said with satisfaction. She never dreamed that the world actually had something so delicious. You elves, are all like you? Wang Chen asked in disbelief. If that was the case then it would be too horrible. No wonder the gods didn't like the fallen elf clan. So they were all hungry ghosts. Not all of them. After all, geniuses like me are still relatively rare. Saying that, Chang Rushua proudly lifted her chest. Hiss, terrifying as hell. Wang Chuan sucked in a mouthful of cold air. Ever since his transfer, it was the first time he had encountered such a player. Instantly. He felt that a large portion of his brain cells had died. Horrible. Just too horrible. Ching Ruoshua thought that Wang Dust was scared by himself and became even more proud of himself when she heard this. Wang Chuan was a little bit in tears. If he moved his mind, he probably could have abducted Ching Ruoshua casually. However, he was not interested in Ching Ruoshua. If you have eaten and drunk enough, then let's go. You don't have any killing intent towards me, and I'll let you off the hook. Of course, if I see you next time, I won't be merciful either. Wang Dust said indifferently, it was getting late, and he didn't want anyone around to disturb him from obtaining a million years of life essence, this kind of thing was vital, and he could not afford to lose it, don't worry, although I, Chang Ru Xue, am not a good talker, but I'm a man of my word, and if I say that it's yours, I definitely won't snatch it from you, after all, I've lost, Chang Ru Xue completely without the beginning of the cold temperament, but gradually sand sculpture up, as if the tamed era, the corner of Wang Chen's mouth twitched, and he somewhat regretted it. This guy, 
seems to be a bit abstract. Suddenly, tear, tear, the sky above his head went dark all of a sudden. What happened? Wang Chuan looked up and saw that the moon, which had just been hanging high in the sky, was actually invisible at this moment. It was as if it was plunged into darkness. That's not right. The million-year-old eternal life ancient tree that was hundreds of thousands of meters tall in front of him. It was glowing at the moment. Chapter 389 As a genius, who doesn't like to challenge opponents who are more powerful than themselves. Is it coming? Even if Wang Chuan had obtained something even more precious, he was all but as excited as he was right now. Because once this divine tree emitted light, he knew that this time, he would finally be able to let his parents see the light of day again. Good. Great. Wait. The sky is this dark. How come it seems to be moving? No. This is not the sky. Rather, it was a huge object. Because it was too large. Wang Chuan didn't see its full appearance just now. All that was seen was his incomparably small piece. But even so, for Wang Chuan, it was considered to be covering the sky and the moon. The demonic creatures of this primordial forest grew more exaggeratedly than one another. One grew more gigantic than the other. If the previous mandala giant snake was an earthworm, then the behemoth in front of him was considered a giant dragon. The size of the body was so large that it covered the sky and the moon, and one could not see the end of it at a glance. Even if suspended tens of thousands of meters above the dome, it still shrouded this piece of watertight. It was like a dark space. Not good. This is the guardian divine beast of the ancient tree of eternal life. The aquamarine dragon python. Chang Ruoshua said in shock, she had thought that this guy only existed in mythology. Unexpectedly, it really existed in reality. It was rumored that on the day when the real heavenly treasures bloomed, in order to guard themselves, the heavenly treasures would summon a divine beast out of thin air to guard themselves. And the aquamarine dragon python was the guardian divine beast of the ancient tree of eternal life. It could be seen that wanting to take this million-year-old life essence didn't seem to be as simple as he had imagined. One could even say it was difficult. Very, very difficult. This was because a normal guardian divine beast was, at the very least, a world-class existence, a world-class boss. If one was at the same level, Chang Rushua would still be able to deal with it. But once it was one level more than her own, it was absolutely impossible for her to have any chance of winning. And this was the terrifying strength of a world-class powerhouse. Chang Rushua looked at the turquoise blue dragon python in front of her. And she sensed that the turquoise blue dragon python in front of her was, at the very least, an existence of the same level as her. If this went on, it would be difficult. It had a huge body and was already thick-skinned. It would be difficult to deal with. Wang Dust flung a scrying technique over. Demonic item, blue dragon python, world class boss. Level, 85. Skill, evil dragon roar. Blue power. Divine dragon swing. Divine dragon roll. Half dragon power. Python power. Berserk. Introduction, the primitive forest. The guardian beast of the ancient tree of eternal life. The strength of the horror. Can be seen. Its real strength can even force countless mandragora snakes to lift their heads, so horrible enough to be called a guardian beast. Note that there is no level 100 level. Do not easily try to challenge this monster oh. Worthy of the primitive forest ah, this god and the devil battlefield. Really is a person or world class boss it. Wang Dust is unaware that even the god and the devil battlefield. The secret realm with good things are not in the majority. Not to mention the secret realm with heavenly treasures. Naturally, there should be the most powerful magical creatures to guard it. The aquamarine dragon python happened to be extremely powerful. However, Cheng Ruoshue did not have a probing skill similar to Wang Chen's. And as for how strong the true strength of the aquamarine dragon python really was, it still needed to probe itself based on the other party's aura. Stronger than me, but not by much, should have the power to fight. If I use my bottom card, I might be able to kill her single-handedly. Cheng Ruoshue only had a more reasonable perception of her own self-strength and the strength of the aquamarine dragon python in an instant. If he were to fight the other party in a fierce battle, he would inevitably be caught up in a bitter battle. But, the Wang Chen beside her was not necessarily as powerful as herself, and he had just been careless in not flashing at Wang Chen's attack. If she had her senses fully open, Wang Chen might not be able to hit himself. What's more, she had just taken on the favor of a meal from Wang Chen, and it was time to repay the favor. What are you doing? Wang Chuan watched Cheng Rushue continuously raise her breath and wondered what she was going to do. I just ate a delicious roasted meat from you. I've never eaten anything so delicious. Thank you for pushing open the door to the new century for me. And now, it's time for me to repay my favor. I will take down this aquamarine dragon python for you. Leave it to me. Cheng Ruoshua smiled. But in the next moment, her aura steeply changed tremendously, as the most powerful genius amongst the fallen elves. How could it be as if it was as simple as it appeared? Her strength was definitely that of a true genius. 
In the entire history of the fallen elf race, I'm afraid there weren't many people who could surpass her. It shouldn't be much of a problem to deal with an aquamarine dragon python whose strength wasn't too different from her own. Unfortunately, the aquamarine dragon python wouldn't burst out with its full strength right from the start, and this battle was destined to be a vicious one. Hmm, Wang Chuan was a little surprised. I didn't think that she was actually thinking of repaying her kindness? In that case, it's not bad. You go and take it. Wang Chuan said indifferently. He happened to want to see Qin Rushua's strength as well. The speech he had just erupted had already caught his attention. This genius of the fallen elf clan was definitely not as simple as it appeared. All the more reason he wanted to see just how terrifying this fellow's strength was. Got it. Qin Rushua's aura skyrocketed several times. This moment was her full strength state. As a genius, who didn't like to challenge opponents who were stronger than them. Chapter 390, The Terror of the Aquamarine Dragon Python. Not bad. Wang Chuan slightly angled his head. The strength of Qing Rushua nowadays only matched his perception of her panel. Indeed, it was enough to be called a terrifying existence of a world-class boss. He now sort of knew why Blood Miles was afraid of coming to the divine and demonic battlefield, and wanted to raise his combat power a few more notches before going. Nonsense. Casually taking out a top genius with a higher level than him and stronger than him in a cross-level battle. He simply didn't have any shred of possibility of victory. Such was the case with Blood Miles. Level 110 was high, right? But it depends on where. In the blue star, no one's level is more powerful than him. Once he storms out, if Wang Dust doesn't come out, I'm afraid that no one will be able to stop him. But if you are in the god and demon battlefield, I'm sorry, level 110 may not be shit. Here 110 level of horrible existence is everywhere. Why is this battlefield called the god and demon battlefield? Naturally, this piece of land is full of top level pride gathering place. Weak people don't even have a ticket here. The fact that humans were able to have the status they had today was not a gift from the heavens, but rather a result of Long Dingtian's punches. Long Dingtian had almost carried a race on his own. He hadn't suffered many injuries and had shed blood, but he still rushed up without any hesitation. No one can get their hands on the tree of eternal life, and neither can you. Leave quickly or my wrath will be rained down on you. The turquoise blue dragon python said in a cold voice. In its entire life, it had to protect the tree of eternal life since it was born. Throughout its life. It had enshrined this tree as its faith. And now someone wanted to plunder its faith? Then it could only say that there was no other way. It was just an ordinary snake in this primitive forest. Cultivating for 10,000 years before he could barely become a python. And for 100,000 years he barely became a Jiao python. And now, he has already retired his snake skin and sublimated into a half-step true dragon. Such strength was also very explosive when placed in the history of the entire snake clan. He might not be too gifted. And his chances weren't too sufficient but he guarded beside the ancient tree of eternal life, night and day, while guarding, he was also utilizing the power of the ancient tree of eternal life to cultivate, nowadays, the aquamarine dragon python had long been a terrifying existence of the 85th level, it even had half of it metamorphosed into a dragon, the terrifying strength of its strength was evident, leave quickly, I'm sorry la, the ancient tree has something I need, Chang Rushue apologized, however, her aura was not seen to have dropped the slightest bit, Guardian God Beasts were all like that. Obviously, they had been constantly absorbing the essence of the guarded heavenly treasures, and they themselves coveted this power. But they didn't give it to others to use. The turquoise blue dragon python in front of him was clearly this kind of guardian divine beast. He was thinking of taking the ancient tree of eternal life in the future when his lifespan was about to expire, at which time he would be able to prolong his life for countless more years. If he gave Cheng Ruashue a million years, he would be able to become the topmost existence in this continent at the very least not to mention becoming a god. But the aquamarine dragon python in front of her was actually on the same level of strength as her, who had just turned 18. He he, greedy fellow, divine dragon swing. The turquoise blue dragon python's huge body slightly moved, and the entire primitive forest shook. The body of the aquamarine dragon python was extremely large. Even if it was just a small section of his tail, it was still far longer than the tens of thousands of meters tall huge trees by an unknown number of times. This was the aquamarine dragon python and his terrifying strength even deterred many people who wanted to plot against the ancient tree of eternal life. Before Ching Rushue, those races had gathered, and their purpose was to attack the aquamarine dragon python as a group, but they couldn't even defeat Ching Rushue, let alone the aquamarine dragon python. World-level existences were long past the point of relying on the number of people to be able to defeat them. Rather, it required quality. The only way to defeat the aquamarine dragon python was to absolutely crush it in terms of power. This was also where the aquamarine dragon python's backbone lay. The level restriction of this secret realm was level 80, which meant that no matter who came in, 
No matter if their strength outside exceeded level 80 or not. Here, a dragon would have to be coiled, and a tiger would have to be nested. This caused him, a level 85 existence, to be extra special. As long as he was a level 80 existence, it was impossible to be his opponent, regardless of which clan's pride or various geniuses. As long as they didn't break through to the world level, then it was simply impossible for anyone to be able to defeat him. As for defeating a level 85 existence at level 80, that was simply a fool's errand. It was something that was simply impossible to do. There was no one who could do it. If he were to be told that one day, a level 62 existence would be able to defeat a level 110 half-step world-class boss, then he could only say that you're kidding. This kind of thing that simply couldn't happen. There was simply no way that anyone could be able to do it. A level 110 half-step world level existence would have no problem hanging on to a level 80 world level. After all, the level was superior. What's more, 62 levels, was that damn near the same thing as 110 levels? Simply impossible to realize the vision is just. The turquoise blue dragon python's huge dragon tail jerked violently. The surrounding trees were constantly shattered by this blow. These trees that had existed for an unknown number of years were actually being destroyed so much at this moment. This also made Ching Ruashua even more certain that the turquoise blue dragon python in front of her was not something good. Chapter 391, Ching Ruashua's Crisis. The aura around Ching Ruashua began to become deep. It was just a power that belonged solely to the fallen elves. This power wasn't considered strong, but it was able to make the aquamarine dragon python shrink backward. This fellow, it seemed to be somewhat terrifying. This guy, it seems like he's not some kind of genius at the back of the pack. Rather, it was the kind of genius that was at the top of the list. Bad. This time, we should have encountered a tough opponent. Chang Rushua clenched her hand in the void, and a lance appeared in her hand. Dark Knight Lance. A weapon that she had brought with her since birth. As long as one was scratched by this lance, it would leave a wound that would never heal. As long as Chang Ruashua wanted to, then she could make that person go into a blood loss state all the time. This weapon was also once regarded as ominous, because it was too bizarre. Even the patriarch of the fallen elf clan didn't know where it came from and why it appeared in Chang Ruashua's hands. Everything was too mysterious. Not bad, little girl. You're very strong. But it's not too easy to crotch this move of mine. The turquoise blue dragon python laughed out loud. Against a little girl of this level, he could casually defeat it. How powerful he was. In this secret realm, he knew that he was invincible. Even if someone was able to defeat himself, they must not have been born yet. If he couldn't defeat him once, he naturally couldn't defeat him now. No one could defeat him, at the very least in this secret realm. Starfall. Chang Rushua droned out. The Dark Knight Lance in her hand immediately bloomed with 10,000 lights. And in an instant, it nearly enveloped the turquoise blue dragon python's tail. Chang Ruashiwa's spear handle turned violently. When these rays of light touched the turquoise blue dragon python, countless wounds were made on the turquoise blue dragon python's tail. And these rays of light, which were highly lethal, roar. The aquamarine dragon python ate the pain and let out a mournful roar. He didn't expect the human in front of him to be so ruthless. Moreover, his previously invulnerable scales were like toys at this moment. Unable to resist the seemingly non-threatening light. What the hell was going on here? Chang Rushua smiled faintly. There had been countless opponents who had lost under this move, and no one would pay attention to an insignificant attack, but often the ones who didn't care were the most deadly. Moreover, the function of the darkness lance was far more than just a wound that never healed. He could countless a person's defense. Of course, this person's level couldn't be too much higher than his own, but as long as in this level range, he hit people are almost always 100% real damage, until the soul of the damage. So this also led to Ching Rushua being extremely terrifying in the eyes of upper class geniuses. After all, if you fought this guy, it's not just a superficial injury. You have to go back and eat medicine to repair your soul. Otherwise, regardless of whether they fought or not, the ones who were injured were themselves ah, but the real power of the star meteor. And more than this, Ching Ruashua's lance was waved impermeably, like a glimpse of an impenetrable city wall. Swish, Ching Rushua violently stabbed out. Zila. A huge mouth was instantly opened in the chest of the turquoise blue dragon python. The feeling of this gun really hurting. This weapon. It did have a few terrifying moments. Wang Chen glanced at Cheng Rushua's weapon. It was thought that this was the innate artifact that came with the SS rank talent. As expected, compared to S rank and S plus rank, these weapons had an essential difference. Cheng Ruashua's weapon deserved its name. It was capable of inflicting 100% true injuries on the opponent as well as injuries that struck directly at the soul. I'm afraid that you can't find a few weapons like this, but Cheng Ruashue was born with it. Either how to say all roads lead to Rome. Someone born in Rome? Maybe the end of your lifetime efforts, but also the starting point of others. 
Wang Dust also observed that the so-called fallen elf power didn't seem to be as gloomy as he had imagined. Instead it was a feeling full of life energy. It could be seen that the difference between the elves and the fallen elves didn't seem to be that big. Wang Dust shook his head and began to stop thinking about these things. The situation on the field was changing nearly every second. Chang Ruoshua was not always able to overpower the blue dragon python. On the contrary, when the blue dragon python reacted, it was Chang Ruoshua who fell into the wind. After all, the huge gap between levels is here. The gap of five levels, under the same quality gap, is undoubtedly huge. It must be that Ching Rushue also knew that she was inferior to him at this moment. Wang Dust was curious to see how Chang Rushue would respond now. Right at this moment, a sudden change occurred. A row of spikes appeared under Ching Rushue's feet at some point. In addition to the divine dragon swinging its tail from the turquoise blue dragon python on its head, Ching Rushue was in a critical situation. If this move was taken, even if she didn't die, she wouldn't have the strength to fight again. The blue dragon python guy, from the beginning, was laying out a plan to lure the enemy in, wanting to kill Chang Rushue with one move. As expected, a fox that had lived for a thousand years could become a spirit, let alone a blue dragon python that had lived for a million years. This guy really wanted to put Chang Ruoshue in a place of death ah. Wang Chen narrowed his eyes, not expecting this guy to be so ruthless. Generally speaking, like this kind of heavenly material treasure could not be stained with blood, even if it was killed, it would be dragged elsewhere to be killed. Could it be that this guy couldn't wait? This eternal life ancient tree, there is something that needs to be taken care of as soon as possible. Wait, it was dark. Wang Dust used the scanning tower to glance at the outside sky. There were only the last 10 breaths left before the occasion of the sun and moon. Chapter 392, 3 seconds to solve you. It seemed like there was no time for them to continue to spend like this. The only way to get the most out of the eternal life ancient tree was to harvest it at the moment when the sun and moon alternated. It must be the same for the aquamarine dragon python who was aiming to devour the life essence he was guarding for himself. He had guarded it for millions of years, and he had long since considered this eternal life ancient tree as his own. All of this was what he deserved. If it wasn't for himself, I'm afraid that this fruit tree would have died long ago on its way to growth. So how could it be as powerful as it is today? How could it be as powerful as it was today? It was only natural that it would be devoured by him. Wang Chen reached out and yanked, directly yanking Chung Rushua back. What kind of ability is this? Cheng Rushue was a bit incredulous. She was actually pinched back by Wang Chuan as if he was pinching a chick. The key was that she hadn't noticed anything. Was it extreme speed? Or was it spatial ability? Cheng Rushue had a hunch that it was obviously the latter. After all, she thought she was fast enough. If Wang Chen was even faster than him, then he would simply be open. It was barely acceptable if it was a spatial ability. After all, it wasn't his best area to beat himself. Wang Chuan, don't go. You can't beat him. Why don't we just run away? Chang Rushua blinked twice. After the short encounter just now, she had already deeply realized that she would not be a match for the aquamarine dragon python. Since she couldn't beat it, it made sense to just run away. The matriarch had said that it wasn't shameful to not be able to beat it. It was only shameful to not be able to beat it or run away from it. This also led to Chang Rushua practicing her ability to run away. She might not be able to fight, but she would never be able to run. In terms of running away, she, Chang Rushua, was serious. Can't beat him? Wang Dust was a bit surprised. After all, this thing, when did it have a fighting ability? He didn't just randomly fight this thing anymore. He was also not afraid of this level of boss even when he exploded at full power at the time of the blue star. Not to mention now, one couldn't possibly go back the more one upgraded. You stand here and don't move. Wait for me to fetch his head. Chang Rushua looked at Wang Duan's back. Why did she feel a sense of being scolded? Damn it. What is this inexplicable feeling? It was obvious that Wang Chen was saying these words in a very normal manner. It seems that he was the one who thought of the gentleman with a small man's heart. A different person? But so what? Any of you fellows who want to plot against the ancient tree of eternal life, I'll take it all. The turquoise blue dragon python said with great righteousness, as if all of this was for the ancient tree of eternal life and he didn't have a bit of selfishness in himself. Three seconds. Settle you. Wang Chen said indifferently. Ch. Human. Are you kidding me? Before the turquoise blue dragon python's words fell, suddenly, a terrifying aura arrived instantly. Super God Armament. Wang Chen completed his Super God Armament in midair. The black battle armor was more soul-stirring than ever. The powerful force even caused all the surrounding demonic creatures, all of them, to prostrate themselves. Of course, the demonic beasts here were besides that giant lizard. That giant lizard had already been made whole by the two sand brothers to the point where its head and tail couldn't care for each other. This, was still just the power that had leaked out inadvertently. Wang Dust arrived in an instant. 
And in just a moment, he had already arrived at the top of the aquamarine dragon python's head. How huge was the body of the aquamarine dragon python? Millions of kilometers in a radius. Nearly all of it was his body. No wonder. One could not see the edge at a glance. One could only say that the environment on this side of the primordial forest was truly terrifying. It seemed that snake-like creatures grew extra large here. However, this was not surprising. The life energy here was simply thick to the extreme. If it was utilized well, it was normal for it to be huge in size. You are only a python after all, and not a true dragon. Even if you evolve any further, you still can't wash away the darkness within you. Moreover, I'm in a hurry, Wang Chen said indifferently. One punch, just this one punch. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The turquoise blue dragon python's huge body collapsed to the ground. Countless trees were overwhelmed countless times in an instant. It was simply terrifying. This was Wang Chen's power. It was incomparably terrifying. Is this the power of the person in front of us? Chang Rushue was shocked. A punch that killed an existence that one could not even defeat with one's own fist words said what was on his body ah, handsome to the point of being foul right. How so handsome ah? No, it feels like it's going to explode if I look at it for a second. Wang Dust lifted the armor on his body. Unbeatable. Wang Dust said indifferently. It felt inferior to blood miles. For the first time, Ching Ruashua knew that there were so powerful geniuses other than herself, as if she had opened the door to a new world. Which race are you from? How come it's so powerful? Could it be the dragon race? In Chang Ruashua's cognition, it seemed that only the dragon race had abilities similar to Wang Chuan's, but their physiques were not very similar. So he was curious. Ranked 9999, human race, Wang Chen said indifferently. What? Unbelievability was written all over Ching Ruashua's face. How could this be possible? A genius ranked so low was so powerful? It was reasonable to say that every race would have a lower limit and an upper limit. Generally speaking the upper limit is extremely limited. Is that this is the destination of the ranking behind the race but why? Wang Chen's strength is so powerful. Is this all a distortion of human nature or a moral degeneration? Like her, even as a genius of the fallen race, she couldn't even touch the geniuses of the 90 ranked races. Chapter 393 Life Origin Crystallization This was the insurmountable gulf and bloodline. But fortunately, generally speaking, the higher the strength, the more difficult it was to give birth to a child. Those top races, they were afraid that they would only be able to give birth to a child for hundreds or even thousands of years. Wang Dust shrugged. He was just strong. Moreover, if it wasn't for the great significance that the word human race represented, I'm afraid that Long Ding Tian and Chen Tian Dao would be able to break the shackles. For humans, shackles were meant to be broken. There were no shackles that could not be broken and there were no difficulties that could not be overcome. Constantly surpassing one's own limits was what made a human being. Just at this time, the sun and moon overhead appeared at the same time. The time of the alternation of the sun and the moon has arrived. Only when the sun and the moon are alternating will the sun and the moon appear on the dome at the same time. The life essence at this time is also the most powerful. Such a scene would only exist for a moment. Like a flash in the pan, it would disappear in the blink of an eye. Wang Dust was quick on his feet. He placed his hand on top of the eternal life ancient tree. In the next moment, countless lights blossomed in an instant. The pillar of light that contained a rich breath of life rose up to the sky. Ten feet, hundred feet, thousands of feet, ten thousand jang, one hundred thousand jang, a million fathoms, ten million feet. The pillar of light was so high that it reached the sun and the moon. The incomparably dense life essence aura poured out as if it were a tidal wave. Is this the true energy contained in the ancient tree of eternal life? Such a vast power infinitely close to a miracle. No, or rather, this eternal life ancient tree, was a divine miracle. The millions of years had not washed away the life of the ancient tree of eternal life, but had instead given him unending power. Endless greatness washed over the ancient tree of eternal life. At this moment, it was as if life had become eternal. Obviously, it was only a single breath of time, but it was incomparably long, as if it had traveled the entire life of the ancient tree of eternal life. Even Wang Chen himself was fed by the ancient tree of eternal life. Ding, congratulations, you have received a million years of feedback from the eternal life ancient tree, and your mechanical heart has changed. Ding, your mechanical heart is replaced with a biomechanical heart. Wang Chen froze, he didn't understand what the point of all this upgrading was, he knew that his heart had always been a mechanical heart. After all, when his previous artificial heart had broken down and the god of mechanics had pulled himself out of hell, he had naturally obtained a mechanical heart. But unfortunately, the heart that was uniquely his own could no longer come back. Once there was a chance to take it out of Rinian's body, but he disliked the fact that Rinjadu's blood was dirty, so he just pinched and exploded it in passing. 
But at this moment, he was able to feel his heart beating, although it was not very useful, and so on. Wang Chen suddenly realized that his life value, directly doubled. Was this also a feedback from the ancient tree of eternal life? Wang Chuan smacked his lips a little. No wonder so many people wanted this ancient tree of eternal life. Perhaps for those big races at the top of the list, his efficacy wasn't that counterintuitive. But for ordinary races, such efficacy was undoubtedly heaven-defying. The efficacy was indeed heaven-defying. And what about his true core life essence? Wang Chuan continuously gathered and compressed the power of the eternal life ancient tree. A few moments later, 10 million year life essence crystals were lying in his hands. Such a huge ancient tree had actually only condensed these 10 pieces. It was enough to see just how precious this item was. I'm afraid that if you look at the entire divine and demonic battlefield, there are only a few that are more precious than this item. This moment was finally his. After the ancient tree of eternal life finished dedicating all of its power, it instantly disappeared and dissipated between heaven and earth. If not for the large pit left in the original place, I'm afraid that I would have to doubt whether the ancient tree of eternal life had ever truly existed. This scene was extremely shocking. After Wang Chuan put away all the life essence, he took a deep breath. This was all. Finally. Over. What about you? What is the purpose of this trip? Wang Chen asked. Cheng Rushua playfully spat out her tongue. I don't have what I need the most for this trip. I can rely on you for a while. Going back so early is going to be talked about by the matriarch. And follow you there are delicious. He he he. See and the I just contributed to all on the sake, Ken tube meal. The more Ching Rushue spoke, the redder her face became. It wasn't her fault. Who made Wang Chen's cooking so delicious? Never had it. Never had it at all. Back in the clan, it was definitely impossible to eat such good food. And the matriarch's control was particularly strict. A lot of things were prohibited. Chapter 394 Him, Shaking the Heavens and the Earth. Then you can follow. Wang Dust said indifferently. Anyway, after this trip, they would be separated, and it was completely unknown if they would meet again in the future. How could he say that he had also taken something that others wanted to take? A little food or something, he could still afford to give it. Had had good. Chang Rushua nodded heavily. This was simply great news for him. After all, this kind of opportunity to mix delicious food was something that didn't come along very often. What's more, Wang Chen actually had an attraction to himself if nothing else since just now. One just glanced at his deep eyes and felt that he seemed to emanate an aura of life? This aura was mysterious and mysterious. In short, she was very interested. After finishing these things, Wang Chuan glanced at the massive amount of information that the scanning tower had transmitted to him. It was discovered that this primordial forest was not as simple as it appeared. The resources he contained in it and the Blue Star Replica Building were heaven and earth. Even if it was such a simple secret realm, the resources it contained were countless times more than any replica resources he had seen on the Blue Star. It was truly a bit terrifying. Wan Dust did not look deeper into this issue. These diggers could collect them for him anyway. Rather, according to the information coming from the scanning tower, at this moment, Li Bai Huang Tianba and the others were clearly in a crisis. Waldfarb, Caesar, and Mead were currently leading the talented doglegs from other countries to surround Li Bai. Even if Li Bai's combat power alone was not below that of Mead, he was even able to slightly outperform him without using additional means. But now, what he was facing was not just Mead alone but all the western geniuses, and the geniuses on the side of Imperial Capital University were all being divided and attacked without Li Bai's knowledge. So clearly, they were now in a precarious and dangerous situation. What? Is this the only level of geniuses in China? It doesn't seem to be very good either. In the image transmitted from the scanning tower, Li Bai was currently covered in blood and collapsed in a pool of blood. Even though his face was filled with rage, he could no longer stand up. Even though he had used all of his means, he was still no match for these guys. Their strength was not just in themselves. It was also their abominable, all-encompassing dirty tricks. Even if he was strong, he still had no power left. You guys, despicable. Li Bai stared angrily at the people in front of him. There was indescribable anger in his heart. Thanks for the compliment. Instead of being embarrassed, the three people laughed. After all, they hadn't done this kind of thing too often. Moreover, for them, using a little bit of despicable means or something could cause the geniuses of China to fold. So even if they lost a little bit of people, it wasn't a big deal. What's more, as long as all these geniuses died here, how many people in the outside world would know? It could only be said that their strength was not good and they died in the secret realm. Geniuses were certainly valuable, but dead geniuses were precisely worthless. Wang Chen exhaled deeply. Just right. Let's slaughter a few of them in passing. Then go back to Blue Star. He would come back to this primordial forest in the future. But the top priority now was obviously not here. The purpose of this trip had been achieved, 
and there was little point in continuing to linger. You seem angry? Cheng Rushua was a little curious. Why could Wang Chen be fine one second and so angry the next? They, of the fallen elf clan, could perceive emotions very clearly, so she was sure that she hadn't sensed anything wrong. It's nothing, it's just some stragglers, Wang Dust gently said. Chang Ruashue nodded with seeming understanding. Miscellaneous scraps and whatnot, he was not sure. But if it was based on what the clan elders had said, the so-called stragglers should all be killed, right? The two of them flew towards Li Baiyi's direction. You guys can kill me, but, you are not qualified to say that the geniuses of Huaxia are only at this level. Li Baiyi raised his head. Even though his white clothes had long been drenched in blood to a blood-red color, but he still stood up trembling. That thin and somewhat crippled figure had actually become very magnificent at this moment. What? Aren't you only at this level? Ha ha ha, you're just only this degree. Don't deny it, Maida laughed out loud, not putting Li Baiyi in his eyes in the slightest. A mere genius was like a mole cricket, how could it defeat him? Maida, is that so? Then how about me? A slightly angry voice had arrived at an unknown time. Along with it, there was also a terrifying power. He, long ago, did not need to hide it. He, who was strong enough to shake the heavens and move the earth, he had already possessed an invincible stance. This moment was the day of his true return. He, Wang Chen, is here. Chapter 395 A Powerful Aura You are? Mead instantly only felt a powerful aura coming over him, such a powerful force that he had very much not felt before. This was simply appearing in front of him in a crushing manner. How was this possible? Mead's face became very ugly, because he realized that this aura was simply not an existence that he was able to fight against. Once he made himself an enemy, he was afraid that he wouldn't last more than three rounds. If the other party was just passing by by chance, that would naturally be the best. If not, then he could only use that bottom card. Me? You don't deserve to know my name yet. Wang Dust said indifferently. In his deep eyes was an uncountable amount of coldness. He had clearly moved to some anger. These few fellows in front of him were not good things. Such geniuses staying in the human race would also be a scourge to the human race. So it would be better to kill them directly instead of keeping them. In this way, at the very least, it would still be considered a good deed. May De frowned slightly. He dared to appear in the primordial forest. Naturally he had enough cards. If the other party was just a genius of a hostile race, he could just say a few good words, and if he wanted to take action against himself, he was even more unafraid. But this guy in front of him, he didn't speak politely at all. What kind of meaning was this? Mead kept rubbing the storage ring in his hand. Obviously, he had already made plans to fight with Wang Chen in a bloodbath. He naturally could not come to the primitive forest without the slightest preparation. Moreover, the primordial forest had a much weaker restriction on strength. No or there was no strength restriction at all, so that he could use some of the props above level 110 that he had gotten from his family. These props might be broken after one use, but these life-preserving props were all terrifyingly destructive props capable of directly exterminating level 110 existences. Ordinary people, not to mention the geniuses of the foreign races, might not be able to resist a bit of the bosses of the primeval forest. This was the terror of Mead's strength. No, it should be said that this was the terror of his family's strength. All of you go together. Otherwise I'm afraid you won't have this chance. Wang Dust said indifferently. Only then did the crowd see Wang Dust's appearance. What? It's actually Wang Chuan. Isn't Wang Chuan a freshman? Where did he get such courage and guts to actually be able to say this kind of thing to the pretty country's expert? Meat? Yeah. Holy shit. This is too outrageous. Wang Chuan is simply a model for my generation. However, with such a huge difference in strength, is Wang Chuan really able to defeat Meta? What are you thinking? Although Wang Chuan he is a genius, but whoever is sitting here is not a genius. Even if he is no longer a genius, the upgrade time is so much less than ours. There is no way he can be the opponent of the other party. Mead. Indeed ah, one can only say that the courage is commendable, but that doesn't change the ending of our deaths. Damn it. The many geniuses sighed repeatedly. Under such a huge disparity in strength, they couldn't even bring themselves to resist. The opponents were too strong and too powerful. It was impossible for them to be opponents, much less defeat them. Sure enough, even if they were as strong as they were, they could only fall in the end. Just then, they noticed the sister beside Wang Chen again. A cool aura seemed to be able to pull one into the nine springs in an instant. What kind of existence was this life energy? Just one look at it and you almost had to kowtow one to him? There was no need to doubt in the slightest that the young girl beside Wang Chen was definitely a much, much more powerful existence than all of them present. Is this your dependence Wang Chuan? Need naturally recognized Wang Dust as well, and he had heard something about this scumbag, perhaps a genius, but compared to him, he was far from qualified, 
And now it seemed that Wang Chen was even more of a fool, daring to appear in front of him without enough strength. I'm afraid that he doesn't know how to write the pretty country word for death. Now it seems, just now the powerful breath is not Wang Chuan exudes out of the cackle, but this young girl beside him. Meat was able to sense that this young girl who looked similar to a human was not a human, and the strength was so powerful that it far surpassed them. Just, such strength might not be a match for their own undercard. So what if they were even more powerful geniuses? Once they were up against their own undercard, they would only fall. In his opinion, the so-called geniuses seemed to be just that, and definitely did not pose a fatal threat to him. After all, he had crooked melon.